You want to get Mark Harris in here? Gary, bring in Mark Harris, husband of Martha Ray, the 70, the 60 some odd year old comedian, comedian. 60? <laughs> how old? generous. Jeez. Hey, Mark, how old is your wife? How old is my wife? Yeah. 76. She just looks younger. Nice glasses. Well, ever since I did your show, I could use them. Why? <laughs> well, talking about masturbation is one thing, but this bisexuality, your friends get too close for comfort. I mean, everybody's getting closer. What do you mean? Everyone want, all the guys yeah, it's want really you now? It's unbelievable. You admitted to being bisexual on the air. Yeah, but I'm, again, I have to tell you, I'm not involved with anybody. Woo, Ooh. The perfume. No, no, I don't have it on. That's don't just, say that. Listen. You're listen. lying. That's you, toilet water. My, no, no. My friend outside yeah. I was with he and his wife yesterday. Yes. And he owns a perfumery. So he's, perfumery. You, he's bringing you a whole basket. He's outside. Beautiful only you know. Only you know words. You, Robin. Only you know words like perfumery. perfumery. Oh, you wouldn't know that. Yeah, perfumery. Let me, let me tell you about. Uh, only a guy who's with other show. guys would know the name perfumery. Then you should remember. You know, we share two women. What in happened? Common. Wait, you and I share two women in common for quite a few years. Who is that? Sally Needleman. Yeah. Her daughter. You remember? Yeah. Did them for many years. You did what for many years? Do you years? do you know them? No. You don't know Sally Needleman? Sally Needleman? Yeah. I have an aunt who's uh, named that's, Sally. That's yeah. Sally Needleman. Yeah, what about now her? What do you mean you did her? You know your, no, your I, aunt's last name? No, yeah, but I, I mean, I think he was, was referring to my aunt. <laughs> Very nice lady. What do you mean you did them? Ye years ago. You I was did aunt, her? Yeah, and her daughter. You, I was you did aunt. her and her daughter? If you look. My cousin and my Roberta. aunt. Roberta. You did. Yeah, you yes, did her. Yes. What it do you mean you did her? I'm going to explain it. If you open up your bar mitzvah album, I do believe I did their hairdos. For the oh, you were a hairdresser. Yes. <laughs> Before the garment sense, I didn't know how to suggest that she's a lovely woman. <laughs> oh, but, man. Yeah. Oh, I want to see those hairdos. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, that was beautiful. On the airline, I go home. <laughs> listen to this. I thought he was having sex with my aunt. I go. I yeah, yeah, yeah I your, he did your hair started straightening out. Right. Anyway, yeah, they used to fight. Who goes first? But Sally was a big tipper. I go home, and the, the captain... <laughs> I doubt that. No, she, yeah. She Cap, was? Yeah. The captain uh, comes uh, to me in the middle of the flight. He says, I heard you on Stern this morning. He says, you're really great. So I said, you heard everything about masturbation and bisexuality, and you're still talking to me? <laughs> he says, yeah, he says, you're really great. I really love that I heard show. you thought I was mean to you. You know something. I wasn't mean to you. You said you were a bisexual. I asked you uh, yeah. if you had sex with men while you were I living would, with Martha I Ray, would, and you said no. You no. masturbate. Right. God, I didn't easy. know. Hey, I hey, didn't don't have the say end. that word. I on didn't here. know. Hey, oh, hold it. Mark. Mark. Mark Captain, listen to me. Mark. 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 Listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> don't use that word on the air. Don't. What is the replacement? I'll have to throw you out. What is the Breast. replacement? You oh, wouldn't know any other oh, names oh, for oh, them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Mark Harris is married to Martha Ray. Yes. Obviously, the marriage is a bit of a to get married you don't Martha sleep loves together. this song I think that Martha married him I'm not sure why, but it makes no sense. If he's a homosexual. No, 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 no. Bisexual. Right, right. But you didn't marry Martha for sex. You know something? We were giving this... How uh, big are Martha's breasts? Listen, oh. we were giving this uh, at least... What cup breasts. is she? What cup is Martha? I don't know. More like a bowl. But I want to tell you something. No, really. What, what cup I don't is know. Martha? Why she don't you know? She was the biggest in Hollywood, really. She had the biggest breasts in Hollywood. The biggest breasts in Hollywood, Martha Ray. And you don't know your wife's breast size? No. You do not? No, but I'm going to ask her. Yeah, I mean, how could you, you not know? Have, have you ever seen Martha yeah, Ray naked? Yeah, don't you have to go buy her bras and stuff? Have you seen her naked? Well, of course. You have? Of course. But yet you claim you've never made love to your own wife. I wouldn't say never, but up to date, no. Not now. But you have she seen her naked? She had five strokes since we're married. Where did you? I know. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd have a couple of strokes if now I was married. Now you're going to say you're, you're married. married to me. Wait yeah. a minute, Mark. No, you Robin. You come in here. Yes. You every, change your stories. Mr. Controversy. <laughs> because you want to know about my sexual life totally here. No, the marriage was consummated, but you don't have to go into whole <gasps> Oh, so you oh. did have sex. The marriage yeah, was consummated. You, yeah, but you get so tacky about it. You he, know? So he did have sex yeah, with her. Yeah, he's been telling us all along yeah, that you know, he didn't. I didn't even know who Howard <laughs> Stern was. And he, the first time I'm on the show, you were aroused by being big mouth. Were you and, aroused by being with a woman who was in her late 70s? Oh, it's not so much aroused. It's Martha Ray, and she's really some woman. Is she in her late 70s? 76 now, yeah. Right. And you made love to a 76-year-old woman? To Martha Ray. Yes. Martha Ray, yes. That's different. That's different. <laughs> now no, you I've got seen it. pictures now of Martha. I mean, she's it. a very old woman. Well, and I mean, that's amazing. Relative. To me. She looked and you great. Were, for you were what fully she aroused during this? Yeah, what? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I rise for all occasions. All right. How loaded were you? Were you drinking oh, at the no, time? No, no. <laughs> you were no, not on a drunken binge? Not on a drunken binge. And when was this? This was no. the night of your wedding? The night of your yes. wedding you made love? Mm-hmm. And you have not made love since then? 
Maybe once or twice. I didn't mark it down on the calendar. Uh, did you but use a paper bag? Let me tell you something. Wait, did they do it before? The end. Uh, did you do it before you got married? Was there premarital sex? You see, that's just it. Let's cut off the sex business here. Why? Let me tell you. Why? People Magazine. Because You're open of your about show. this kind of stuff. Yeah, just a minute. People Magazine. We're yeah. the end issue of December 92, Martha and I. So they come over the house. They're yeah. talking about Howard Stern and everything. And then uh, they're interviewing Martha separately. And uh, they say, yeah. well, uh, Martha, what about this bisexuality? Right, right. And uh, she looks, yeah, what about it? And you'll read the rest about it in yeah. People. But she says he's not a murderer. You know, and she gave a very uh, uh, good... Uh, yeah, but interview. I understand what you're saying. I'm just curious. You guys did not have premarital sex. That's why you had to get married. Martha wanted to right. have, make love to you. Right, she, right. You. she's from So she was holding out. World. She said, yeah. if you want me, you have to marry me. She didn't say it that way, but she is from old And world, you had Hollywood. your wedding? You had a church wedding, a, a, no, a ceremony? she ordered a rabbi in. Yeah. A rabbi? Mm -hmm. Where do you call for that? Is she Jewish? In Vegas. No, I'm her third Jewish husband. I see. So she had a uh, rabbi in. Right. You were married by a rabbi. Right. And that night, the two of you retired to your honeymoon suite. Did you carry After her a very over big the party. threshold? After, did you carry no. her into the room? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you, you laid her down on the bed. Wait a minute. Did she go into the bathroom and slip into, you know, her pinoir? Yeah. Did she have a pinoir I set? Get, I should really get the nurse here so she could give this full interview here. How she? <laughs> you mean a nurse? Martha for the occasion. She did prepare Martha for the occasion. Oh yeah, yeah. She oh. prepared her in what a nighty of some sort. A uh, beautiful uh, trousseau. The trousseau. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> trousseau. So, so let, uh, how many guys know it. the word trousseau? Oh. That's why you got to love Mark. So then she not she biblically please. came out of the. Now what were you doing? What did you do with yourself? He was Mark vomiting was in the men's room. I like to hear <laughs> Howard's version. <laughs> he was throwing up in the I mean, men's room. This is getting to be a movie. <laughs> Admit, though, that you were probably a little nervous to be making love to the great legend Martha Ray. I mean, uh, so, I mean did you have a pair of pajamas on? Or did, did you have you... satin jammies? <laughs> did I have satin jammies? And you, you climbed... So, so, in other words, she climbs into bed. Oh, this is crazy. Now, no, are you in bed first? Sure are you in? <laughs> sure is. Is. <laughs> Were you saying that to yourself as you climbed on top of that old woman? No, is this, this is all getting this is nuts. Crazy. This is crazy. Are you going to play the song? Are you going to play the song? I'm getting to the you song. Because I want to tell you. you what, are you in a rush? Remember. No, Martha happens to be one of the greatest singers of all times. I well, know everyone you knows know that. that. Do, no, no, everybody you. doesn't. I knew that. And her ear is perfect. Is it? So you made love to her ear? Absolutely. So now she comes out of the bathroom. I don't know, man. 76 years old. There's no payoff big enough for me. <laughs> and you're laying in no bed. Payoff. You're laying in bed. And you were laying what? In your jammies or are you totally nude? Actually, I was totally nude. You were totally nude. Yeah, now, let me think about that. I don't wear anything. You're laying there naked. And Martha Ray probably, is, you're a very attractive man. I think Thank that everyone you. would agree. Am I right, Robin? I would agree, yes. To see you laying there nude must have aroused her. That's like a banquet. Yeah. <laughs> Did she know you were nude? Was she able yeah. to identify that you were nude? Very okay. Conscious. So okay. So you were so you're laying there nude. I assume smoking a cigarette or uh, something no, I like don't that. Smoke. You do not smoke. No. And Martha Ray comes in uh, on her own uh, of her own fruition or is she volition, volition? Set up, <laughs> or is she you know escorted closest, is she escorted into the, the room? Did the, the nurse bring her in? Did the nurse bring her in? I was Just not in the room. I was saying good night to all the guests. Was, I see. Right? You were saying good night to the guests. Yes. And she was laying and in the so bed when you came in. She was already in bed. Prepared. Yes, she said good She was bathed and, and, and prepared. The whole thing, yeah. And, and I think the closest you can get to the scene is watching Sunset Boulevard with right. Norma Desmond and William Holden, where they allude to the uh, moment. I see. Yeah. I see. So, it so was very romantic. You, she was laying there in her you see, you only in her know, trousseau. Bang, 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 bang. No, she was yeah. in her trousseau. You walked in mm -hmm. and you said, "My darling, I'm so happy." You remembered the word. No, I'm saying, yeah. "My darling, I'm so happy to be married to the great Martha Ray. I'm, I love you." Thank uh, you so much. You've made me such a happy man. And then you disrobed in front of her for all, for all, in all of your glory, for her to see. The minute I walked into the room... She undressed you. I went into the bathroom part of it, the right. gold nugget, got undressed. I don't put a robe on. That's right. It. And you walked out naked. Into the room, yeah. Oh. Now, were the lights sort of <laughs> low, or was it fully lit? So you could see every wrinkle. What oh, lights? Geez. Did you kiss every wrinkle? What lights? No lights. You completely dark. There are no wrinkles so in no, your laying down position. So nobody knows, even if you really did make love. You assumed you made love. You don't know what happened. It was so dark in there. You don't know <laughs> who was in the room with you. <laughs> I know nobody else was there. Right. But why have you two not made love since that wedding night? Did something go wrong? In, in, well, besides the stress we've all been under, of right. course. Uh, you know, the conservatorship, the Bette Midler case, which is going tremendous in our favor. And... Um, you know, five strokes she had. It's been pitiful. So in other it's words, you, you, and I see. 
But you're sticking by her. That's very admirable. Yes, I do. I love her. Half my uh, earnings go to the conservatorship now. <laughs> no. What earnings? It's the truth. truth. What, what earnings, earnings do you have? I'm not getting oh, into man. everything. What earnings? <laughs> you think I don't earn money? No. What do you what do? do, you, do? You, you attend to Martha Ray. Yes, Martha most, pays you, most of the time. and then you take half of your pay and give it back to Martha? I sang in Berlin six weeks ago. All right, you were paid for I that. Was paid. All right, okay. Now let's get to this singing oh, career. All right. Mark Harris, who was married to Martha Ray, who is known as Martha Ray's husband. That's how you came into uh, your fame. Right, like, right, right, right. You're correct. All right. So and, he doesn't uh, mind being known as No, that. I think it's No, a he's very it's honored. Funny. <laughs> it's funny. It reminds me of Sheila McRae in the 1950s and Gordon. Right. right. It's funny. Mark went over to Berlin and began his singing career. Of course, they put the wall back up after me. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, now for the first time, I think, broadcast anywhere, oh. yeah. we will hear Mark Harris sing I'm Just a Jiggle Up. Uh, oh, right, and there's going to be a video. Song. There's going to be a video. Oh, where will they play this right video? Now, well, right now, it's at uh, Madonna's uh, production company, yes. and we are trying to negotiate a video. Of course, this video will be... What do you mean? Wait a minute. Hold Madonna it picked this up. Now, Madonna heard when this song. When it's in writing... Yes. Uh, it's at her, her company song. now, and a, and a goomba no. from Vegas is making a deal, hopefully an offer she shouldn't refuse, and this video will be very high class. So in other Hollywood. words, Madonna has nothing to do with this. You have somebody delivering the tape to her, hoping she that she'll listen to it. With the whole, uh, the, the concept right. of the video is very cute. It's uh, old Hollywood style with all the old Hollywood queens, and that's just the men are shooting me at the end for singing just a jiggle. All right. Okay. Now, will we hear Martha moaning in the background at all? Anything? No, no, you won't, yeah. Okay, here we go. Mark Harris with his new single... Just the gigolo. The nations. All gigolo. Right. All right, a different kind of version, more jazzy. <laughs> like a Robin dance. Like. I'm just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the part I'm playing. I'm paid for every dance, selling each romance. Every night some heart betraying. Come here, I'm going to strangle you right now. Good guy. When you hear the ending. Robin, what, what do you make of this? I mambo up to the audience. All well, right. I can't see it. Yeah, you know, I can't <laughs> oh, go ahead, the go visual ahead. that goes yeah, along go. with it. All right. <laughs> there will come a day my youth will pass away. Then what will they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just a gigolo. As <laughs> life goes on without me. I hear Martha Ray's, Martha Ray's uh, leg slamming shut right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the instrumental part? Mm, I see. I'm just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the part I'm playing. I'm David Lee Roth just called up. He left in front of a bus. <laughs> it's a full yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, full <laughs> bus. <laughs> and pay it for every dance. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Every night some heart betrays. Now who's going to play? Is MTV going to pick yeah, this up? Yeah, where do you think this is going to be played? Oh, it's going to be played after I get the video on it. It's being very promoted. But by whom? Not MTV. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll get my agent on the phone. I, I wouldn't doubt MTV would play it. Yeah. You don't have to make it's all good... songs criminal. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, let now me get you upset. Take it I'm easy. Not upset. Hey, stop crying. <laughs> yeah, right. You're wearing eye makeup. No, I'm not wearing eye You're makeup. You're not. Those I are your eyes. Yeah. Mm, gorgeous. <laughs> Those are real. Mm -hmm. Then what will they say about Interesting me? singing technique. Yeah. <laughs> Then what will they say about me? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be in the act, Robin. You are going to be in the act. Interesting, Absolutely. huh? Absolutely. <laughs> nice impression I'm, of Mark yeah, Harris. Yeah, yeah. That's a distinctive style. It is. Yeah, you can't say I sound like anybody. I've never heard that before. Well, yeah, I haven't heard anything like that. I think I sing better than Mark. <laughs> yeah, wait till the ending. And the end comes, I know they'll say just a gigolo as life goes on without me. When the Comes, I know they'll say just to do the loan as life goes on and on and on as life goes on <laughs> without me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. I you see you. Know, yeah. I see you in evening wear when you sing this. You said, 
<laughs> you have such creative ideas. Oh, man. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Mark. Yeah, uh, I'm a little stunned right now. I'm almost speechless. i got to be honest with yeah. you. I have never heard such a song. <laughs> it's, uh, it's wild. It's yeah. wild. It's yeah. wild. Uh, There's more coming out. <laughs> There's more. Life is just a bowl of cherries. All songs are from the Depression. Everything about life. They're written from the Depression. Well, I'm songs. in a Depression. I think you got yeah, this. This whole country's in a Depression. Us pretty much. The whole country. <laughs> you know, after hearing this record, seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. on my advice, go yeah. into, go into uh, dry cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Well, with my costumes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, Mark Harris, uh, about to embark on a very exciting so musical career. So now you career. sang in Berlin, you said. Yeah. yeah. I didn't sing this song, and this song is originally from Germany. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't go with America. this song. Yeah. Well, this what did the... you sing while you were over there? Yeah. Uh, in French, uh, I sang La Fête de Morte, which is Autumn Leaves. You know how to speak French? Oui, je parle beaucoup en français. Really? Oui, j'ai yeah. visité Paris encore beaucoup. Well, there you go. <laughs> ich kenne ich kenn, uh, ich kenn Bibel. Yeah. Right. Do I, I know job. what you're saying. <laughs> 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 well... If this is a hit, well, that's very now look. Do you do you guys want all your gifts? There's a guy sitting out there. A, perfu a perfumery? Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice. I don't wear perfume. <laughs> no. Right. Oh, his come wife on, bring is the in. most. Bring, the most bring in your friend. Okay. I want to see bring who your friend is. Come on in. And uh, gee, his wife uh, gave me such a beautiful weekend. I tell what do you do? Fantastic. You put nail polish on? No, I get manicures. Yeah, but what is, you're wearing nail polish, right? Well, they put that clear stuff clear on, stuff. right? It's not colored. Uh, no, it's clear. Yeah. He'll have it ruby red. <laughs> and you're not going with any guys now? No. You're not dating any guys. No, I'm really so not. When you really? Say if I was, I would tell you. Right. When you say you're bisexual. Yes. I had an experience. But, no, no, no. Just, yeah, I, you don't there. know what my question is. Yeah. yeah, don't answer before you get the question. <laughs> Do you feel that you're more attracted to men or women? Well, if the partner men. that <laughs> night is a real bow wow on either gender, I'll be for the other. But, I mean, I had a beautiful evening with Shirley Bassey. You, you made love to Shirley Bassey? Beautiful evening, yeah. When did yeah. you make, You made love to Shirley Bassey. Yeah. A matter of fact, the funniest part of that... The woman who sang Goldfinger? Well, the funniest Finger. part of that, we were, in, we were in this hotel after her concert, you know, and uh, we're so stoned from this uh, Dom Perignon, and uh, we're laying down, and we're talking, and talking about all kinds of things and everything, and then all of a sudden, I said, unlike you, Shirley, you know, I sing, and she said, oh, go ahead, show me. So I stood up in the bed, and I go, Mr. Goldfinger, you know, and she thought it was, you know, really very funny, and we, <laughs> the rest of the night, we had a good time. And, she, and you made love to her, or you didn't? Tell the truth we didn't consummate that one all right but we had a ball did she sing mark's finger <laughs> no, it's just, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right this is your buddy now what is your name richard richard richard, richard now you uh, are a married man i uh only on weekends howard i see and did you uh you and mark are not an item are you no, I'm uh, normal from the Lower East Side of New York. Can't you tell from my accent? Yeah, and what are you, a perfumer? I own a cosmetic specialty boutique in New York, among other things. I see. And uh, you've brought what? Uh, perfume for us? For you, I didn't bring perfume because I know you don't like it. You have mm. bubble baths. Oh, oh that will do it. Intimate with uh, your lovely bride. Yes. And uh, <laughs> my lovely bride. <laughs> you have, uh, I have something. What do you, how do you know uh, Mark Harris? How did you get involved? With Mark him? knew my wife, Vivian. I, it's his wife I knew. In yeah. the Garment Center. And Mark and I got close, uh, figured of... Uh, what do you think of his relationship with Martha Ray? Do you think that that's a legitimate relationship? He was there. Yeah, the I was there. You were at the house? It's, it's, it's very loving. It's paternal. Right. Not, not intimate type of stuff. But, right, right. Uh, it's maternal or paternal, you were Paternal. About. Paternal. It yeah. could be either way, depending on the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know me. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that Martha Ray's daughter is very upset. She feels that Mark is there for the money. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really. Do you Believe feel that... Believe me, really, she doesn't. She's do you think Mark's already. there for the She's money? finished. Yes. You do? Yes. You do, really? Yeah, really. What well, money? 400 <laughs> <laughs> 400, 400 went out. Uh, what money? What money? I want to know. He about. sits at home in California. Just he just sits there. Right. In Bel Air. Right. Um, counting showing, the money. Counting the plaques on the wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it takes me in this room with all these plaques on the wall. Right. And he's going over. This is Martha when she was uh, nineteen and singing for the Navy. Yeah, he's got like a. You know, he's I a historian. Love it. <laughs> but a lot of guys who are effeminate, yeah. seriously, are into Judy Garland. And they're into Martha Ray, and they're into that whole era. That whole era yeah, but Mark's of into Hollywood. women. Who, Mark's only into women who wear the pens. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. stupid, <laughs> stupid joke. He tried that last night. Don't say that about all the goombas in Vegas and the whole crew in Brooklyn committed suicide after hearing that song. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones Louis promoting did the song. that song first. Well, <laughs> poor Mark. Everywhere he goes, he's just oh, a gigolo. Yeah, right, right, right. Well, right. so Mark takes you through Martha's house and shows you all the plaques on her wall and all that. Other other stuff. Yep. And he says, say he's like living, he thinks he's Martha Ray, I think, sometimes. Yeah, I, that's fine. You Paris. would like to have been Martha Ray, admit it, wouldn't you? No. If you could have come back in another life form, you would have liked to have been Martha Ray and had her career. No. Oh, come on. No, Louis B. Mayer, yes. No, you would like to be Martha that's Ray. That's when the lion roared. 
That's why he's so excited by Martha Ray. He so, want, he feels like he's she part is of this a part of the American Hollywood elite or something. Yes, There's and now that you are part of the Hollywood elite, yeah, and they're getting to know you too. Right. So there you are. And you feel Mark is in it for the money, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't really. You really do. do. You really? Yeah, well, you know, I'm the world's Everyone foremost authority does. in my own opinion. Right. In your own opinion. <laughs> well, <laughs> so. let me tell you that the, the list in my life of people that could kiss my ass is growing bigger. <laughs> and you're going to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Give him the gift. <laughs> All right, we'll leave the so gifts there, and I'll go in. through them. And get uh, his wife on the phone. She's intelligent. Well, I'll tell you something. I think I had enough of both of you right now. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank Mark Harrison. What is your name? Richard Impressia. Rich Dick is your name, right? <laughs> For short, yeah. Hey, I saw you on Leno. Did you see your rerun Friday night? I forgot that it was on. Jesus. It was wild, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it was a lot of fun. great rating. Yes. All right, listen. Mark. You, you're, you're out of control today. Uh. <laughs> now I got to get my coffee. Give him the gift. All right, we, got, we got the you gift. got the gift. Gary, escort Mark and Dick out of here. <laughs> it's been a pleasure seeing you again. Mark. I want to thank Mark Harris. Thank you, husband of Martha Ray, now new recording artist. Thank you yes. for plugging. New we can't hit song wait for the video. Yeah, I, you keep waiting for it. <laughs> it will be. All right, we'll see. You bring the video by and bring by any yeah. other music. I want to. I'll talk yeah, to you as many times everything. as you want. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mark Harris, everyone, dressed in a uh, white sweater with crosses on it. And uh, what are you wearing? You wearing men's underwear under there or panties? Nothing. Uh, Nothing, really? Nothing. You don't wear a... Uh, really? No, yeah, well, I bathe every day. Bye-bye, <laughs> I bathe every day. <laughs> I love that guy. Mark Harris, everyone. <laughs> you got to love him. No wonder Martha Ray's in love. Of course. I bathe every day. <laughs> so what? So do I. I don't so have... put on some underwear. So put some underpants on you. <laughs> Everywhere I go, people want to know, how do I bang that old woman? <laughs> she's getting very old, but she's got a lot of gold. <laughs> and hey, I'm no Tom Selleck. <laughs> you should have changed the words to that song. Really? Then it would have been on he's MTV. singing for real. Yeah. <laughs> well, every time he comes in... He dropped some really cool bombshell. Yeah. I'm, he really slept with Charlie Bassey? Oh, well, no. Then it turned out no, he didn't. No, he didn't uh, really sleep yeah. with her. He just... I think I he just... I thought it was the bombshell was sleeping with Martha Ray. Yeah, that's the bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> he always claimed that he never slept with Martha Ray. Now right. he's... On his honeymoon night, he laid there naked in the bed with her. Oh. <laughs> I walked in. She was already in the bed, prepared. In her... The nurse got her ready. A nurse. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse. I love that guy. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> I wish a nurse would get my wife ready once in a while. <laughs> Move her into the bed for me. Well, very nice. Okay, look, there it is. There's a guy hey, who it's uh, a slice of life trying to make his career, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. Gary, what are you doing? He's <laughs> giving us the song backwards. I thought you, would, I thought you were going to go to that. Yeah, I was trying to. What is it? <laughs> I keep trying to play it. Wait. <laughs> the soundtrack is too much. <laughs> I'm just alone, <laughs> and everywhere I go. It sounds like Rex Reed doing the song. I'm oh. just a jingle and everywhere I go. All I play. Come on, everybody. You know what's growing on me? <laughs> Every night, someone's raging. Oh. There'll come a day my youth will pass away. Ba 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 ba. What will they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just a jiggle yeah. As life goes on without me. Whoa. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> I'm just a jiggle and never. It's wild. It's wild. He's amazing. <laughs> he is amazing. I think he's got a hit on his hands. <laughs> What is it, uh, Baba Boo I? Uh, meticulously dressed in a black and white ensemble Baba in our green room. Yes, is uh, Mark Harris. Baba All right, is it, I, I have five minutes for him. Really, I'm not because Baba I want to play the uh, phone call. Did, didn't you think this is worth replaying the, the call with Bo Money? Yes, she was uh, quite informative. Yes, Bo Money. <laughs> I will talk to Mark Harris. What is it he wants? 
He just, he, he just wants to come here. He just I likes think he wants to be here. a co-host on this <laughs> show. All right, I'll give him five minutes, and that's okay. it. This is Martha Ray's husband. This is the guy. The admitted. Why is he in New York so often? Uh, because we have a show in New York. If it was on in Los Angeles, he wouldn't have to leave. <laughs> He's got development deals. Remember, he was in doing a development Who's deal he with Geraldo. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Then, yeah. We we learned about that. Let's okay. tell him how we learned about oh, that. Oh, what have you found out? We investigated. <laughs> you got to hear this. Mark Harris is the guy who admitted bisexual. Yeah. Who uh, says uh, he married a Martha Ray, the legendary Martha Ray. Maggie. Maggie, as he calls her. Yes, Maggie's doing Maggie. very well. Oh, oh gee whiz. Oh, <laughs> what are you dressed for a cruise? Oh, Frankie Avalon. That's it. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie Avalon. <laughs> Frankie Avalon just walked in. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the legendary Mark Harris. He's becoming. You're yes. becoming the legendary, the legendary Martha Ray's husband. Mark now you Harris. asked me, what is he doing in New York? Yes. Now, if your wife was 107 years old, Wouldn't you'd be oh, out of town. Wrong. You'd want to be in New York, also. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. If your 107 year old wife lived in L.A., you'd want to be in New York. <laughs> wrong, wrong. <laughs> Why wrong. are you always in New York? On the way back from Europe, it's easy to stop off, you know, say hello to relatives. That you were in here. Europe. Yeah. Again. And, and where do you get all this money to be in Europe? You're the second person that asked me this. Yeah, I mean, you're always on the go. Uh, is it Martha Ray who paid for the uh, trip to Europe? No. How did you get the money? How do you get the money? You work. I work. Now, what no, do you do? In Berlin, I was singing at fests. Oh, my God. Oh, Before so you had the a, holiday. You had a singing engagement. As yeah. soon as that wall came down. Uh, <laughs> right. I made a lot of friends. Mark, <laughs> Mark no offense. No seriously. offense. I, I mean, you were gracious enough to perform at our L.A. funeral. <laughs> oh, yeah. And dressed for the occasion. Nobody the else occasion. came dressed for the funeral. you got to admit <laughs> that, uh, I mean, you're not, a, you're not a singer in the traditional sense. No. I mean, Nothing about me is traditional. Your voice is a little uh, weak. Can I say that? It's a very strong voice, so you're wrong. No, no, I mean, not that it's not strong, but it's not the greatest singing voice that ever... Uh... It's, it's not a singing voice. Everything's <laughs> relative. Let's face it, it wasn't all that great. Okay. Now, you, you mean someone paid you to go over and sing? Yeah, I sang there a few weeks ago also, yeah. And what did you sing, Just a Gigolo? I did, yeah. As a matter of fact, that's originally a German song. And, and what, and else? what do the Germans do when you're singing? Do they vomit? <laughs> no, I think, I think it's more surprising when I talk to them. <laughs> so you go over to Europe and you perform. Mm -hmm. and, and do you get a, a, a big uh, round of applause after you sing? Yes, plus a few marks. And you got a lot of money. And not a lot. You know, right. But you, relative, but, but, right. Did yeah. it cover the plane fare? <laughs> <laughs> Advanced purchases do wonders. <laughs> All right. So, uh, by the I way. I got to tell you, Howard, the last time Mark was here, he brought us some gifts. Yes. Did you notice, was that a bottle of champagne he bought you? Yeah, the one for Howard. Did you notice what it said on the side? No. Something about being the property of the airline? Oh, right. was it? <laughs> <laughs> his, no, seriously, his flight attendant gave it to me when yes. I woke up at, uh, what was it, Chicago. Yes. And uh, I said, oh, I figured, give this one to Howard. Yours I bought. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very nice of you to give it, but, but uh, right. so the last time Mark was here, do you have uh, Mark performing uh, uh, outside the L.A. funeral? Not right now. All right. Oh, do you? Yeah. We'll play a little encore presentation. Oh, yeah. How could you forget this performance? He's the only guy at the whole L.A. funeral who got stuff thrown at him on stage. <laughs> and threw it back. Yes, he now, did throw it back. You, that was were, vaudeville. They were non-professional performers yeah. on the stage. And well. they didn't get booed. <laughs> 25,000 people throwing stuff at Mark Harris. I've never seen anything yeah, like it. It's much kinder in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I ran out into the audience and threw some stuff up on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you, were, you were in all your glory. You enjoyed performing in front of that bigger crowd, Absolutely. didn't you? Absolutely. It was fantastic. You felt totally comfortable in front of a crowd like that. Did I look nervous? No, not um, at all. No, really comfortable. Yeah. Really comfortable. He had his own pianist. You know, yeah. It was great. He had like a hundred-year-old. Who, your agent used to be Leo's agent. How old was that guy? Leo, about 68. Really? Yeah. You and love hanging around with older people. Well, that's why when I went to my high school reunion, it never let me talk about it. It was it's so strange. Everybody was young, relatively speaking. You know what it is? Guys who are... Um Let's call it bisexual. For no, let's being. call it bi well, You got another word for it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, guys who are bisexual love that era. Uh -huh. It's like the Myra Breckenridge story. They all love, I don't know why, but they love Judy Garland. Yes. They love uh, everything the, from the 40s. Yeah, yeah. anything from the 40s, the, you know, the Cesar Romero and, and all that. No, he's a good friend of mine. Right, I know, right. I know, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and like, any, like the, the old Gershwin tunes. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is about. The big band music. I don't know what happens to you when, you, when, you, when you're with another man. <laughs> but uh, when you're you with another man. You can't take today. <laughs> I listen. 
listen to that music all alone. <laughs> I mean, maybe after you come off an experience like that, you just can't even handle. You want to go to a pass you never yeah, uh, lived. Yeah. A pass. Do you guys envision yourself? Wait, you as mean, you don't female? like it? You don't like that uh, music? No, no, not at all. I mean, it makes really? me want to. It makes me sick. Really? I mean, does it? I, really? I mean, it has no. It makes me feel nothing. I feel mm. nothing over it. Well, there's like, what uh, are your favorite songs? Like, what are some of the songs you perform in your act? Mr. Paganini. Yeah, what is dedicated that? Dedicated to what, what uh, is Martha. That? And what it's is her it? trade song that she sang in her first movie. And but what, you don't want to hear about And what that. year is that from? That 1936. Movie. Yeah, 1936. What is it about you guys? <laughs> you, you, you know, you, 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 you see another guy's buttocks. No. You, you no, get wild no, no. with it. And then no, no, sudden, no, 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 no. Wrong, you, wrong, wrong. Do those songs just... I mean, what is it? Why do <laughs> Wrong. All, why do a lot of guys, you know, gay guys yeah. or bisexuals, as you say, <laughs> uh, <laughs> why do they go wild for that era? Well, that's the first question I'm going to ask the next bisexual gay person, man or woman, I see. I mean, you kiss, I don't know. You kiss another man and, and you start singing a Stephen Foster song, you know? I mean, it's just like... It's like a, I don't like Stephen Foster. The Shrani and... I don't, know what, I don't know what it is. You start singing old songs. Gee, it sounds like you're hanging around. No, I, I mean, I'm fascinated by this. And you're... you're fascinated. Yeah, and, and the reason you married Martha Ray is because you're, you're in love with that era of show business. Like, to you, that was the greatest well, time to be alive. Yeah, I think Well, because so. it had a lot of style. and uh, I think economically speaking, one could say that, too. 30s, 40s was better than now. Right, and you right. wish you were alive during that, and you were a big Hollywood starlet. You see yourself as Martha Ray? Well, then I'd be getting surgery, of course, if I was alive then. You tell the truth. Wouldn't you like to have been a, no, I wouldn't a, have liked a female to be star no, no. or a female star like, um, let's say, a Betty Davis? No. I'd if rather, you could come back no. as Betty Davis in the 1940s, you no. would, wouldn't you? No, Van Johnson, Eddie Fisher, those people. All oh, those kind of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You would like to come back as a man from that period. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Like I mean, Van Johnson with the red socks. I didn't notice the socks, but right. as long as you were looking, so I would forgo the red socks. Is Mae West inside of you fighting to get out? <laughs> No, no, But you no. would like to be a Van Johnson? I don't Johnson? care much for the Because he even dresses like a guy in the 30s oh, or yeah. 40s. I just came back from Europe. It shows. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a whole thing. <laughs> so you say you got paid to be uh, over in Europe singing. And mm -hmm. let me play a little bit of Mark Harris. I just I, wonder, who was it that comes here and offers him a contract? Yeah, I mean, who was it that offered comes, No, there's a band there in Berlin. Yeah. And they hired you. Yeah. And, and how did they find you? That's a funny story. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, you want to hear the story? Yeah, how, do, how does one find Mark Harris? Well, about and all this, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. An Oompa band found him. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite Oompa. The first song they were... A beer barrel band. Beer. Roll out the reefer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, out of all the singers in this country, right. out of all the people in show business who right. sing... I'm sure there are, some, there are tons of people who need a job. Found, yeah, but it's novel for an American to be singing, you know, in these Well, I'm fests. talking about American singers. Give us the name... Well, let them go over there. Give us the name of the tone-deaf German that hired you. <laughs> Uh, you, wait, let me play a little bit of you on stage oh, okay. in L.A. Sure, All right, sure. so everyone is familiar with Mark Harris's performance. On our phone is... Wait, nope, that's the wrong one. I don't know where... Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. Here is Mark Harris. To now the moment you've been waiting for. You've all waited. You've heard him on the radio. He married an 80-some-odd-year-old woman. <laughs> <named Wrong. Monterey. laughs> Yes, admittedly bisexual. <laughs> They're booing already. I guess they even suck. I don't know. They, 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 you have a, a Just charisma. Just a group in the center there. Right. You know, there were some people cheering all the way in the back. You couldn't hear them. <laughs> he looks every bit of it today. He is so bisexual today, it's unbelievable. Mark? You really were bisexual. Looking. Looking. Looking, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you practice any bisexual. I know, but it's become very chic. <laughs> Harris. Mark Harris dressed in. Here he comes. Right till the crowd gets a load of his outfit. <laughs> Mark, oh, they did. Oh, jeez. Don't kiss me, you pervert. I mean, this is another movie for the fans. Here's a guy. Oh, man. Yeah. You sound very effeminate up there. You do. Yeah? You do. Well, we've got to separate reality from persona, but go ahead. This is for the fans. Oh, oh this is an act. No, I'll oh. tell you a funny story that happened. <laughs> uh, Yo, off the air, he's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> a funny, Great love uh, to Martha Ray on the wedding night. Mark Harris with his own song parody, never heard before on these airwaves. California, Stern is on. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> There's the piano guy. He's great. <laughs> no, he was terrific. He's a great guy. He was terrific. <laughs> California Stern is on. All the stations have morons. LA on radio, such a broadcast. You'll listen and wonder what he'll say next. Listen to the crowd. Listen to them. They're going nuts. 
Yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> but you kept going. You the first time I'm listening to it. I'm not to kidding. Finish right. this song. Yeah, right. that's right, Robin. <laughs> I like the part where he switches into the next song. Yes, yes. He does a medley. Wait, you gotta, you gotta live for this. <laughs> Even he can't believe no, it. I couldn't hear myself when I was singing. It was so right. loud. Maybe that was the problem. Yeah, oh, maybe. I mean, you got to admit, that's kind of, I mean, that's no Van Johnson up there. <laughs> no, not this day anyway. <laughs> well, go ahead, continue. Go ahead. <laughs> and ought to know the morning dial on your radio. <laughs> Winning the crowd over now. Oh, man. <laughs> you know why they were it's cheering? It's a battle and he's losing. But you know why they were. <laughs> but when, you know why they were cheering at that point? So, I think like a giant brick landed yeah. up on the stage. It was just they were cheering over all the different garbage. Whatever, yeah, whatever you know, they funny. threw. I th- <laughs> you know why they were it's cheering? It's a battle and he's losing. But you know why they were. <laughs> but when, you know why they were cheering at that point? So, I think like a giant brick landed yeah. up on the stage. It was just they were cheering over all the different garbage. Whatever, yeah, whatever you know, they funny. threw, I threw back. I know. Yeah, I didn't have time for this. You can hear Mark dodging. Things. Yeah, <laughs> dodging, bending, throwing. It was very athletic. I remember at this point in the song, he was ducking more than he was singing. What is it? You know no, where the, catching. You know where the cheers came from? Yeah, because all that stuff was going up on the stage. At that point, you walked out on the stage. To try to drag him off. Yeah. Oh, oh, totally you made were. up. No, totally you made were up. Trying to get him off. And, and when, I was. You, when you walked on and you started to tug on him, the audience went nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Poor continue, Mark. continue. His bubble is burst. He thought it was no, for that, it is. That wonderful vibrato in his voice. <laughs> Oh, no, they're like, oh, no. Now he's running around. He's getting to the set. big ending, for God's he's, sake. He's almost out of breath. <laughs> you know what this was like? Uh, what happened? It stopped. Oh, I must have hit the button. Uh, <laughs> you know what this was like? You're so carried away, you didn't even realize. No, this button. is like the little rascals when they used to yes. put on shows. <laughs> People wanted me to throw Mark Harris in the guillotine. Take Mark and Brainless out of the guillotine and put him in there. <laughs> He's like, get off the stage Mark quick. Mark Harris, everybody. Mr. Mr. Entertainment, thank you, Mark. Mr. Entertainment, that's his new name. You're All so right. kind. I never saw so much garbage end up on stage. It was a loving up until then. I think he should have stripped. Yeah, Mark, you should have oh. your clothes or something, man. Ladies and gentlemen, now to make oh, the whole, I had to win the whole crowd back. I know. <laughs> oh, but that was easy for you. 25,000 angry people stampeding the stage. <laughs> That's why the cops came out. Yes. <laughs> Riot gear was put on after that. Oh, uh, uh, That was fun, though. So who is, was who really is the fun. German that came over and said, <laughs> wow, I got to have you? It's <laughs> not me. It was four of them. Uh, it's just a band that I met four months ago there. Right. And uh, I was joining in in their music in the cafe. Uh, yes. They were called Hot Amaretto. Yes. And now they're known as the Semi-Professionals. Uh-huh. With Mark Harris. I see. So they and, uh, keep getting these gigs, and I go over there. And, I see. And how many people did you play to over in Germany? Well, it's an open fest, so there's a lot of people that come and go. At the family. open fest, yeah. how many people were there? I guess about three or four hundred. And did uh, three or four hundred, and did, uh, well, that's more than DeBella had at his party. <laughs> and what about uh, Maggie, uh, the, the wonderful Martha Ray? Did she hear Spoke your performance to her last on the night. Did, she, did, you, did she hear your performance on yeah, the radio? Yeah, she heard this uh, yeah. particular number? This particular time, yeah. yeah. And how did she crowds feel? And everything. What was her feeling uh, about how you did? She liked the rehearsals better. She did? Yeah. She felt when you got up there, you were a little nervous. Not nervous. She just, uh, uh, not nervous. Um, I don't know. She just thought, I, well, it was off key for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she liked it better at Spago's. She said it was much I see. more controlled. So she was complimentary at your Spago's performance. You know, very supportive wife. Yeah. Very. Yeah. very. She doesn't she, say bad things. No, we, no. no, it's not. Well, sometimes, yes. I mean, <laughs> she's been coaching me with her old songs. She has some very beautiful oh. So do you have a session daily where she works with you to uh, get you in shape with some of the old material? 
few times a week. A few times a week, you and Martha Ray practice. And Leo comes over. So uh, Martha Ray will sit there. Uh, mm -hmm. She's wheelchair bound at this point, and yes. you wheel her into the room. You come out in your various outfits. No. No. What you, kind of outfit? You practice in what? Uh, casual clothing. Right. Jeans. Jeans, and you walk in the room, and then you begin to perform in front of her. We usually know what song I'm going to do first, you know, whatever. Any chance of you taping that stuff so we can would hear it? Would you really want that? Oh, yes, she had absolutely. some beautiful songs. Yes, I would love to hear your re session with her critiquing you. Okay, and, uh, you got I, it. I would love to hear a tape of us. You that got it. And next time great. you come in. No problem. All right, very no, good. No problem. What was this you found out about Geraldo? Yeah, oh, what was oh, that I heard? So the you. last time Mark Harris was here, he says he's in development, developing a program. Hey, Gary, come in here. You remember this better. Mark Harris comes in. He's developing a program with Geraldo. Right. A theme. A theme program. Right. So, you know, you hear this and you go, there's no way Mark Harris is developing anything with Geraldo. So what do we find out? What is he really I, up I to? I just have to remember, what did Mark say it was? What did you say you were doing? A theme for the military. Right. And, and mainly for President Clinton. Right. They said that um, he was in town to discuss doing a show with um, guys like him who are... Married to wealthy women. No, we had done that. That was replayed. So what Friday. happened was, Geraldo thought he was getting a show. He figured he, he got Mark up there uh -huh. to do another one of those shows. You know, guys who marry wealthy women yeah. who appear to be like gigolo types. Right. He thought that that was going to be... That's so, not true. So he goes over there, and, he, and Mark wants to do a military show. And they didn't, they're not interested in that. They are. They had the written thing before I got there. Why really? I went there with an appointment, of course. I had done that other show that you're really? talking about, and it was replayed in New York, as I found out Friday. I know, according to Gary, he called over there, and he found out... Call Jose Presto. That's who I spoke with. Him. Oh, Jose, and Pre Jose Presto. Jose Presto. Yeah. And, well, Jose Presto. And her, Does he work for Geraldo? He's a producer. Uh, Abracadabra. <laughs> I knew a guy, George Abracadabra, but not Jose Presto. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. All so, right. Maybe yeah. so maybe there was a misunderstanding. A lot of people don't know what one side is doing while the other yeah. one is... Uh, but the show that you just alluded to, I uh, they replayed on uh, Friday. See. All right. Uh, who was on that show? You and who else? So, I don't know. There were a bunch of creeps on the panel. I don't remember. I see. Mind. You didn't like them, but uh, a lot no, of people I don't, don't realize uh, Mark married uh, Maggie because he truly fell in love. And... Uh, Loves Martha Ray. Well, wait a minute. Are, is he still standing yeah, by that story that he <laughs> made love to her on their wedding night? Are you standing by that story? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Yes, he is, Robin. All right. I just wondered. See, did you, when you were in Los Angeles, did you read the uh, Los Angeles magazine that was oh, in your room? Oh, did you find that? Yes, It we was did. the month of November. Right, and it said in that uh, Mark and Martha got married as a business proposition that later that, turned that, into love, blossomed into love. Well, the wedding night was quite a surprise to you, wasn't it? Shock. It was a shock. You, uh, <laughs> shock. But uh, I don't think that You was, were just laying there stroking the her, business. and uh, all of a sudden you noticed no. that you were uh, excited, and you uh, made love. I thought we did the show already. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets tired. This. Nobody gets it's so Only sensational. Mark. <laughs> yeah. That's a sensation. All right. Well, yeah. we'll go through that the next time. No, Bring in a okay. tape of one of your practices. Yeah, I will. Right? The legendary Mark Harris, there Mr. There Entertainment. <laughs> Thank man, you, Howard. Slowly making a name for himself. <laughs> slowly but surely. If only this was TV so you could see his outfit. Wait, you, want, you know what happened uh, at that big session there, you know, in the theater? Mm -hmm. You know who Chick is? Like, oh, my Goomba from Vegas. He was sitting yes. there with uh, Steve. Yes. So he's standing next to me. and uh, This is why we're getting ready to go on stage. On, no, while you're on stage with Robin in the theater yes. broadcasting. So this guy comes over to me, and he says he listens all the time, and uh, he was listening to me and how great he thought. And Jessica Hahn says to me, oh, you give such good radio, you know, and all that. All right, that. right. Very nice. And then from nowhere, this guy says, do you, do you think you would be interested? I never had a, a gay experience. Mm -hmm. And every time I listen to you, and when I think about it, I thought maybe you would be the first. And I looked at him. I was this, so is a, this is a stranger. Stranger. And, you know, you never know what people are going to say. And I look right. at him and I said, oh, no, that's just an act. No, no, no. Really. Why, you were you not interested in the gentleman who came up to you? Would you be about 6.37 in the morning interested in some stranger telling you oh, those things? I don't care what no. time of night it is. I wouldn't be interested in some guy. But no. I don't know. You no. have done that. No. You have been with men. What do you mean no? Somebody no. I knew. Well, eventually you got to know them, but you didn't know them. Well, I wasn't right. going to eventually get to know this guy, so I just oh no, that's an act. I'm just oh kidding. he wouldn't he <laughs> wouldn't dare sleep with somebody he didn't know. Well, hey, you Who know Mark's to? got his scruples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly uh, it wasn't Melrose Larry Green, was it? Who was uh, a? <laughs> I didn't even I didn't no, even get okay, the guy's good. name. I'm glad it wasn't him. All right. Because <laughs> oh, I wasn't willing. I, I won't sleep with Melrose Larry Green. I don't care if he asks or not. But uh, as far as I know, Melrose is a heterosexual. Yeah, from what I understand. Yes. All right. So let me thank uh, Mark Harris for stopping by. Is there anything you want to plug? Is that why you're here? Anything no. else coming up? Any projects you're working on? Yeah, what yes. are you working on? Agony and Fame. What is that? The life story of Martha Ray. 
You are working on Agony and Fame, the, mm-hmm. ma- the life story of Martha Rapp. Right, now, you can do the voice of for film or theater? Uh, theater would be very <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I, I did speak... You know you'll never see any of these projects. <laughs> well, I wouldn't bet on that. Really? really? You think you will? Yeah, are you dating definitely. Arlene Francis? Is there any uh, <laughs> truth to that rumor? <laughs> I or can't even it, answer. Or is it Kitty friends. Carlisle? <laughs> Why, Why do you forget Ginger Rogers? <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Mark Harris, of course, married to Martha Ray, who had uh, who has come on the air and told us about not only bisexuality, but the fact that he made love to uh, how old is Martha Ray at this point? Seventy six. At 70, this point, at this point, seventy six year old woman. Well, she was what seventy four. She was a she was a spring, she was a spring chicken when they made love. <laughs> and uh, there you are. Now, in this uh, play you're developing, uh, what does it mean? No, it's uh, at HBO right now. It's oh. not a play. I you have a project a at HBO? Yeah, I do. It's called Agony and Fame. Mm-hmm. Now, if we call them, they'll know you. Yeah. <laughs> My name's on it, yeah. And they are developing a play about Martha Ray? I'm sitting down with the L.A. office Friday. Uh, yes. It went from New York to L.A. They sent it there with approval. <laughs> he always has a well, deal. it's the truth. What can I tell you? You're saying you have a development deal? I'll write you deal? in. You have a development deal? That's what we're sitting uh, down with Who are you with dealing Friday? with over at HBO? <clears throat> Who's the gentleman that you deal with? Well, right here, there was a lady in New York that I dealt with. I sent see. it over. And you sent the script to her? The treatment, yeah. The treatment, and she yeah. got so excited about it, she yes. called you and requested a meeting. Yes. She sent yeah. it over to L.A. and with her endorsement. Really? Yeah. All right. In this uh, featurette about uh, the legendary Martha Hopefully Ray. Hopefully it should be a miniseries. That's what, everyone's miniseries. Looking, that's what everyone's looking for in lieu of Sinatra and the Jacksons. Will you so. play Martha in the uh, actual... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm going to play Anthony Perkins. I see. No, but you could play Howard Stern. We've got to write you in. Well, it sounds very exciting. Gary, how much... All right, let's take a vote. Gary, do you believe that, um, that Mark actually has a meeting with HBO? Yes, he takes connection next week. No, I don't believe you it. You don't believe that? I, you don't I'm believe sorry, it. Robin, you believe lying. It? No. no, no, I think that I don't think you're lying. I think that you sent him a script and I don't know what and I And you think. don't think that New York approved it so that sent I'm unsure, pro- Jackie. Oh, gee. I don't think he gets HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, do you think that he has a meeting? I don't think so, no. Fred, do you? No. What sorry, what? No. Neither do I. It's a clean sweep. Oh, would I love to surprise you guys with an endorsement. Surprise us. All right. Surprise I'd like us. to see one of these projects come to fruition. <laughs> right. I'm waiting to see your president show on uh, on Geraldo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting to see. If they develop it. I see. Develop it. He's got to meet Geraldo had... about this. Yeah. No, his producers. Geraldo only gets into it when it's ready to go. I see. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Let me just thank Mark yes. Harris because my head's going to explode for really? him. Really? I want to thank you for appearing at the big L.A. funeral. And we'll see you uh, in a few weeks when you put together that tape. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, yeah. I'll do that. And your rehearsal session with Martha Ray. Okay. All right. Very good. Mark Harris, everyone. There We're going to take go. a short break, and then we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Today is the last day that you can order Butt Bongo Fiesta. For- oh, thank you, Fidelity. We were in here just talking about uh, Mark Harris. Yeah, after Mark leaves, we spend another five minutes discussing him. He's our best guest. He replaced Richard Simmons' as best guest. I say he's worth his weight. We want that tape of him and Martha Ray <laughs> practicing, you know. Her she, song. She's sitting in the chair. Mark. Mark. <laughs> DJ. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Don't do it. Do it. California, here I come. Clang, clang, clang goes the trolley. <laughs> clang, clang, clang goes the me. <laughs> California, here I come. Play that note again, Leo, so he can get it. <laughs> Leo, he's not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got deals going. It's unbelievable. Whew. Many series. <laughs> Many. Do your impression of Mark telling us about his HBO special that he's writing about Martha Ray. Agony and fame. We, t- we went. We took it to HBO in New York. They sent it to Los Angeles with approval. We don't believe you. And uh, you don't believe me? You don't believe that the miniseries was in New York? And then no, take no, it no, 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 no. You say the theater would be nice. It would be, uh, be fantastic. But we're looking for, <laughs> it's at HBO, and we're looking for a miniseries in light of Sinatra and the Jacksons. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I love him. He's perfect for L.A. He's completely in his element. That is why I hate Los Angeles when we go there. I, you know, I cannot 
I could not live there. I don't think. <laughs> no, there's ten million people like that. Yeah, because yeah, there's like you know. Well, um, by the, you know, you're, you're getting a ride in a taxi cab, and the guy's going. <laughs> well, um, we um, we have a development deal at HBO. I sent the script over this morning, and then they're uh, faxing it to New York. And then once they get approval from Jose Presto, Jose gets it over. It's back to Los <laughs> Angeles, and then we have a go. And uh, it, no, you know, I talk to Jose Presto. You know why there's all this interest, quite frankly, because of the Michael Jackson story, and of course, um, uh, in light of. Sinatra, which was the highest rated program. Maggie has that same legendary quality. <laughs> you know? She has some beautiful songs. Beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> songs. What songs? Who even knows anything about any of this? Yeah, I mean, uh, beautiful songs. He's the only one living that fantasy. I love that guy. Get him back here. Get him, book him, book him for nine more shows. I want to do a Mark Harris special. I love him. I love him. What can I tell you? No 90-year-old person should be without a, a Mark Harris. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should all have it. Guys, let me uh, introduce you now rather quickly because uh, we're running out of time, and I, I don't mean to keep him waiting, but Mark Harris. You know Mark. You called him. You got heated uh, with him because uh, well, he... Mark Harris? Yeah, Who is he? He married um, Martha Ray, the 75-year-old uh, comedian. Oh, uh, all right. Where is he? Here he, Here he is. My all right, we'll shake hands. We'll try to be yeah. nice. All right. There Surely you, you can't suspect How'd you get him here? Did you uh, at that face. Believe it or not, Did I you take money train. out of a wallet? No, I used <laughs> the Rent token. A I used the token. Remember, we're both from Brooklyn. <laughs> That's what you say. Yeah, some of us changed our underwear, cleaned our nails. Unfortunately, maybe you didn't have the so benefit of that. what are you saying? What are you saying? Don't give me the There's class many act. Your class Don't act. give me the class Then act. let me try and talk like you. <laughs> no, let me try to talk like you. You would be better off. You'd even get more ratings. All those Fords that you were talking about, why didn't you mention Fairlane? Well, that was that's a, a movie. Oh. Yeah, that's one of their leading Fords. I didn't buy the car. Why? It wouldn't have broken well, down. It just like wouldn't it's really stop. happening like a lot of these idiots. Oh, did that really happen? Were you really no. in the car when it blew up? No, I stand online like a lot of good idiots for good shows. Now, listen, you two. Oh, you're on my show. I don't see you doing nothing. No, except, if, if I was... Except marrying old if, prune juice over there. You know, she... Steal her money. I have to... Yeah, steal her money. I want to tell you, she well, listened wait, to the I playback. Mean, you you got to change her class. She listened to, to the bag, playback. Right? She, that should be worth you a want, few bucks. She listened to the playback of that tape between you and Let I. Where you you, I didn't even know who this freaking chick was. But she knew who you were. Well, I'm a famous person. Right. She says, when you know, did he get you? out? You That's want what she said. When famous? did they take the straight Living jacket off, off him? big, fat, old prune She is not a big, old, fat. How do you sleep with that? Tell me. With better publicity than you're getting, you're getting none. <laughs> All right. Let me... <laughs> I don't need publicity. I sell arenas. What do you do? Well, I'm going to go on the Arsenio yeah, you... Hall show. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that big, butt Uncle Tom, uh, Paramount Tower Boy, hurting, suffering, sorry, uh... Turkey ass, tank ass. <laughs> and you don't need a good paycheck anymore. either, then. Good right. publicity. Throw I'll him out of here. No, no, no. No, stay. No, let him stay. Let him stay. Come on, you didn't come on. Okay, you made anyway. right. You right. made a mistake. It now, let me ask you, right, what happened for you? I guess Dice. Well, let me let me just get this straight. Let me just clear the air between. You're going right to off. mediate. Dice feels yeah that uh, and and you know something, Mark. I don't think you're surprised by this. A lot of people feel that you married Martha for her money or something. You've had to deal with this for a long time. We have right? no hidden agendas. You've got to put our legs in stirrups to bang her. What do you you think you can pick them up? <laughs> now, uh, right, go, go mean, ahead. No, no of course it. you didn't mean it. You're in the back of the failing. Go ahead. All right. Now, <laughs> you guys, you guys make a good team, I think. Yeah, well, you know, we have friends that uh, called me already in L.A. They said we should do an act. <laughs> now, let me get this straight. Lakaja Fo, he's wearing the dress. Go ahead. All right. Now, you know, I could see Lakaja Fo. It's going to be a Dice? big movie. With Dice and Mark Harris. <laughs> I'm serious. Howard. What? It's his interview. All right. Go ahead. I've been all, right, well, all morning already. All right. Wait a second. I think Dice is saying, hey, wait a second. Did this guy have talent of his own? Did he have a life of his own? Or is he making money off of Martha Ray's name? That's what happens. You know what, what I mean? What is your career? Right. Well, I'm not making money off uh, Martha Ray's name. That's and not what suddenly, you told me. I told you that? You told me that when she kicks off... Oh, he's being yeah. stupid. You Come told on, me give him his Thorazine. Don't cheat him. <laughs> give it to him. Listen to this okay. headline. Your <laughs> yeah. boy boy hubby's dumping dying Martha. That's terrible. It really is. First of all... Well, the only way you get an interview in a magazine no. like this is if you call it in. No. But I don't want to say anything. Oh, wait, have you done that? Do you think yeah, Mark I Harris, haven't seen you in print. Do you think Mark Harris called in uh, that in story? It's the only way you get these things. Oh. No, no, no. I don't okay. believe that. I know. No. They pay you. How do you uh, think you make some bucks? All right, listen, I tell you what. Let me, let, me, let me take a break. Let me take a break. More like a fracture. 
I'm, yes. I'm glad that the two of you are I here. I mean, I hope she lives for 200 years. God right. bless you. You know? Right. Because the longer she lives, the longer he's still got to take a cab here. Well, the longer, <laughs> the longer I work. No, what are you talking about, cab? I took a train. Exactly. You took a cab years you, ago, you want but I don't mean riding. You All want right. the Rolls Royce. I, I got own admit. one long before Martha Ray. It may surprise you. Robin, I got to admit, I'm very upset this Why morning. Why did you grow up with a rich Why family? Are you upset? No. I am upset because uh, Mark wasn't here at 8 o'clock to fight with Dice. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, you know, the that only was thing, a bad call. The yeah. only thing I like about this guy Go ahead. is that when he did your TV show, he wanted to kick that guy from the Ku Klux Klan's ass. Right, right. And but he didn't. didn't. Yeah. And that made me mad at him again. <laughs> well, that, no, you don't understand who needs lawsuits. I'm the one suing everybody else. He'd sue me. That would justify their needs. calling you a monkey kite to your face and Not you don't exactly. bang his head through his shoes. No, no. Would have you? Yeah. You real on you camera? You call me that to your face? On camera? You call me something like that to my face, I, I rip out your teeth and hang you on a rack, and that's the but end of it. you still have to leave way for people that don't have any benefit of understanding. The guy is crazy. He's not normal. You're right. Go ahead. I'll save the all right, all right. One for Mark. Well, wait a second. I see common ground <laughs> yeah. here. All right, very good. Oh, he's, he's, he's got no stress. Me that. He's oh, got no stress. No. I mean, he's... what has he got to do his whole life? Shake down old ladies? <laughs> no, you put, you put up with her daughter. You t tell me you don't have... But you're banging the daughter. Oh, yeah. With a hammer. Shakes down old ladies. <laughs> it's like running for uh, the prime minister of convalescent homes over here. <laughs> well, you're upset because you think Mark Harris has ulterior motives. Can't he be in love with Martha Ray? Can't you? Be, are you in love with Martha Ray? You know what I his name is? Very much. Yeah, you hear what he said, Martha? No, wait a second. Hey, Martha. And Martha hears all these tapes, and she and, critiques them. She and, says, forget you for elocution. Do you turn on lesson. the hearing aid for her? She now her hearing sharper than mine. <laughs> Guys, what are you saying? I, you know, let me let Mark Harris make his point. Okay, go ahead. His I'm point. Sorry, I'm just all revved up over, uh, you know, Oreo Man. So you come in and it's... what's Oreo Man? Arsenio Hall. Oh, he Oreo. Doesn't, he doesn't like Arsenio Hall. Well, that came off loud and clear. Right. Now let me... we're going to take him down. Really? Yeah, we're taking him down. You're going to retire him with Johnny Carson? It's over. Martha Ray had. You'll a... see him at the car wash soon with a rag in his hand. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Should I do the window now? <laughs> Martha oh. Ray had a stroke. A few of them. A few strokes. But most recently in Las Vegas. And you know a lot of guys. Though. And he takes around and tries to mumble with her after that. <laughs> <laughs> I realize where he's coming from, so he doesn't take Thorazine daily. He should. So, I mean, what about the daughter? Well, I mean, how old is the daughter? What the stories imply... The stories imply... Oh, hello! Yes, yes, what the stories imply, Mark, is that you have her, you know, gallivanting around, and after you dragged her to Vegas and had her going to all these shows, then she got sick. He was trying to kill her! <laughs> oh, <laughs> if we can ever take this realistically... He was trying to kill her! You could try! Come on, Martha, just another 100000 I know I'm going to get him at the tables. <laughs> Come on, Martha! No, you don't defend I heard somebody. Like so you're kicking a wheelchair towards the elevator. <laughs> you see, so does her daughter hear those stupid things. You know, what's the daughter? There is a 47 not looking too slow. No, but Martha's looking great. Really? True. Martha does look great. Let me see a picture. Look at the picture. picture. How many birthday punches did you give Martha? You got a picture of Martha. Yeah, uh, a bigger idiot. Did she no, do a bigger? That's a mental award. She did I'm like visiting another comedy, mental right? award. She did my kind of comedy. Where's Jack did? Nicholson in this one? Let me like a, like a century ahead. ago, she was doing like my act, right? Who? Mother. Oh, no, no, no. Stop right there. She never did your act. Well, she did like a chick's version. No, wait a minute. She I heard she was like the anti of the 1800s. She was funny. Let me talk. Let me talk. Oh, I'm not funny? No. <laughs> oh, no. Her. No. What, your little sissy not boyfriends funny. don't like me? No, no, I don't have any sissy boyfriends. Oh, they're macho. Okay, they're yeah, they're macho. All right, and they hate you. Right, he, let me see a picture of her. That's first of all, I Mark is not a homosexual. I didn't say he was. No, you said he has a sissy boyfriend. So what does that mean? I don't know. You no, I'm making comedians. He doesn't know what he's saying. Leave him alone. Go ahead. All right, all right. Let's, get, let's, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Uh, there I'll are bend those... him over and paint boobs on his back in a minute. <laughs> I think that's where he's really coming from. Could you somebody else? Yeah, can, I, can I see? <laughs> there, can I see are those, the there are those. Give... One sec. Let me just say something. And, and wait a minute. It is not the Inquirer. All right. What is it? It's the Globe. Oh, look at him Globe. kneeling down next to the wheelchair. The chick looks like a cops. Oh, oh, she doesn't look like a cops. She's cop. alive. Well, listen. He's me... keeping her alive. Guys, give me that picture back. Martha Ray with a young hubby, Mark Harris. I a way to, it's a whole new way to earn, I'm telling you. Now you feel, you see, that's your opinion. That's his opinion. Now, Mark feels the other way. He well, fell in love with for... Martha Ray. Wait a minute, I'm taking more abuse. I only married her. Look at the people that are mugging old women. Listen, I mean, they don't even... At least they're being honest. I don't want to live that's with her. Some I just honesty. want her purse. Some honesty. All right, here's the thing. Yeah. What I think Dice is expressing 
is that some of the you know with this controversy around your marriage to Martha. Absolutely. Right? Somehow, when an older man marries a younger woman, there seems to be no controversy. And, yeah, like well, famous, sometimes. Yeah. But you know, it's very I know, uh, famous. I know out how there. I'll get in the papers since I couldn't sing, dance, tell jokes, or act. I'll marry some old broad that don't even have a brains to get it no more. She's famous and I'll play off me. There you go. Now you're talking. You'll get publicity for her for a change. Now there are hey, those... I think Martha Ray, and if Jackie can't do Vegas, maybe she will. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll open your act. You'll, You'll roll her right out there. Yeah, I'll open up your act. We'll put a tape recorder behind the head and we'll hit the button. I'll open it up. There go are ahead. those that think she came out of a coma and Mark was all moved in. She, all right? Go, now, she, now, now, she was never in a coma. All right, now, and there are those that think that you hide behind screen doors and then you jump out and go, boo, Martha, every minute. Yeah, right. There are those right. that think you were waiting to uh, scare her and hurt her or kill her. Do, Horrible story. I right. heard he hit under her car. Yeah. Right? And when they lifted her up yeah. to put her in the car, his hand came out and grabbed her ankle. Try like reality the, without like the this so-called humor. No, no, none of that. Go ahead. The right. following that question happen. is... No. There, are my those, there are those that think the house is wall-to-wall -wall banana peels <laughs> and oh, waiting for boy. Martha to, to fall down. Now, We've got to get through this with humor. Go ahead. Listen. That's right. And Mark is here to say... Look, I heard he put a horse's head in a bed. <laughs> is that right? Why would he do that? To scare us. I see. Now, let she me happens to be a lover of animals. Let me say something. There are those that have these thoughts. All right? And Go ahead. And Dice is one of them. Fine. And you're not afraid to confront him. Oh, he's people. not one of the average thinkers. All right? I'm sure Dice thinks you do all kinds of horrible things like put crazy glue in her toothpaste. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure he has all of these horrible thoughts. Right. But what you're here to say is that, hey, wait a second. I am not leaving my wife. That's for sure. I, You're uh, not in a fight over the money? You no. Are, I am uh, not. You look at him like he's I am on, not like in any on. fight over the money. Okay. The money was, was that never dice? mine. What are you uh, saying? Mark Harris. Yes. Uh -oh, dice you, wait, he's going to get real sensible, I dare say. All right, before you uh, married, you know, Martha prune Ray. juice Sally over there. <laughs> You're so well, bad. What did you do for a living? First of all, I worked in the garment industry 18 years. Do you know what that is? Yeah. I okay. used to sell rolling racks. Can, you make, you, can you make a few bucks? And rip you off. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, yeah. I tried at show business. All right. Uh, all right. Just to answer the questions. Did you ever uh, star in your own series? Yes or no, Mark? No, I produced. Produced what? And wait a minute, no, I did. No, you're the one on the stand. Okay. Hey, attorney. Oh, attorney. Listen what did you to this. produce? What did you, you produce? First of all, do you know? What did you produce? Dress up America with a Never man. heard of it. Went you. down the What would you, you Did you ever no hear money. of Nick Vanoff? Who's um, Nick Vanoff? See that? I rest my case. The last thing exactly. he did. Exactly. The last thing exactly. he did was City Nobody of Angels. knows who Nick Vanoff is. Oh. Nobody knows who you show. Nobody you in your money. league. You didn't know. You, you didn't make understand. any money in show Nobody business. in your league because Nick Vanoff. There is nobody in my league. No, yeah, that's for sure. But All they're right. in. They're in Coney Island lockup. If you want to visit a few. All right. All right. Now, now, now wait a second. Now, uh, Dice, you done with the questioning? All right. You could talk. It's All your right. show. All Go right. ahead. Now, you know, some people just hate. No, dice. And some people forgive. Some people. This is oh, not the I first older woman. No, no, I mean me. Forgive you. She ain't my Why mother. You? She ain't my mother. She's not my mother either. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, if she was, you wouldn't be in that house. No, where would I be? Well, you wouldn't be nowhere. No, she'd have a second child not allowing well, her daughter to do Well, Dice, didn't you used to date doing. Eleanor Roosevelt? What's so that? you dated older women. I thought you said sedated. No, didn't you date Eleanor <laughs> Roosevelt? Yeah, I, I like to pick them off now and then. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Just for the goof. Okay, what's the real question? I don't question? marry them. All right. The real question. The real Alan. question here is, now that uh, you are, you, well, there really is no real question. There's a statement that needs to be made, and let's address some of the accusations here. Oh, okay, do that article. All right. right. Now, it says he never spoke with anybody. It says after 40 strokes... 40? Oh. After 40 strokes... Ooh, she ain't giving you the money that is easy. Is that a record? <laughs> you know, that's going to be in the Guinness Book of Records. Real, realize what you're reading. You're reading the, the Globe. Heart attack queen. <laughs> Toy boy hubby is dumping dying Martha Ray. Is Martha Ray dying? No. She is not dying. Call her on the phone. I want validation that she's alive right are you now. On, are you on a fight with um, the daughter over the estate? No. All the lawyers are fighting. No, I am not fighting. Has Martha made a will? Well, why all. would the lawyers fight? Well, you if wouldn't. If you weren't going for the would, estate. No, I'm were, not going for the estate. Never was. You're but just a, pickpocketing. But an only child. You're saving child. a in a little can. And, uh, well, let the man. Why? Get out! Hole in the backyard. <laughs> and he puts the can in with the cigarettes. 
Light, right. but a little higher, please. Now, the wind-up is... No, wait, let's get back to this. So, in other words, what you are saying today is that you, uh, along with Martha Ray, right. are fighting to keep her estate... She wants to control her own no, estate. No, we are not fighting for Martha Ray to keep her estate. We are just wanting to put it in trust so that Martha could live out of her years as she sees fit. Yes, there are conservatives in place. They are not the next-door neighbors, as that article uh, says. Not so. But... Uh, I guess, to college? I guess her daughter, no, but I uh, graduated Brooklyn. Now, her daughter does want to make it as difficult as possible. So while she put her mother uh, into this state of being, and we're more than surviving it, she goes ahead and now... So the daughter was and able... Now the wait, daughter, wait, you got to hear this. The daughter gonna... is further suing her mother now to uh, take 25% of all the Paladin earnings besides in another court. Now, what about this accusation that you store Martha Ray in a broom closet? Oh, no, be serious. All right, okay, okay. Now, uh... I heard no, let... another of the accusations... I heard accusations... he some 80s yes, off the bench when she's Robin, Another yes. of the accusations was that Martha has developed Alzheimer's disease and that's, that's not an why... accusation. She has Alzheimer's dementia from the oh, last really? stroke. It hit oh. a certain portion of oh. her brain. Well, then so she in can't other words, run her own affair. If the daughter gets She's control... She's not asking to. That's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. The daughter just wants to do whatever she could do to deplete the mother's estate. I see. So in other words, you're saying that uh, Martha and her daughter don't get along. For 20 some odd years. All right. And the daughter feels that you might be moving in on Martha's money. So she's trying to somehow say that she's going to gain control of the estate so that you can't she get her money. She never gain control of Martha. In Martha's estate. will, does it uh, make allowances for uh, the in, daughter? In Martha's past four wills, never left the daughter more than one dollar. That's see. many years. I see. So what is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think Where's the well, cash going to go, okay, Mark? We, well, <laughs> the household gets an allowance, of course. Right. Uh, the nurses are paid and insurance covers a good portion. The conservators will take the money salaries for themselves inclusive, but they will also go ahead and invest dollars to bring the estate up. The findings that I have on Bette Midler and 20th Century Fox will most appreciate the estate and the kinescopes that I've transferred. Those two. Well, the conservators will work with me on both those things. All right, Dice. Now, what's your problem? Well, I got no problem. Yeah, I see. You, I see you getting all burnt up here. No, no. I'm just listening. To all he's mm. talking about is money. Well, that's, that's what, what he's what, talking about. Well, that's what not his mean. love. Not his caring. Well, that was about the us. question. But every time I say caring, uh, you bring out. You the, just talk you about bring cash. You're so cold. You're just humor. thinking about how well, you could the get question. the cash. Well, certainly the daughter cannot take us to court because we claim to be in love. Does she ever take her gums out and do like the thing on you? No, no but I'd she... like to take them after you and give you a kiss on the cheek with them. They're so sharp. <laughs> Mark, what you're saying is... <laughs> Go ahead. He, 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 he can't even be when normal you're, about when it. When you're, you're in love with somebody, don't you want to hop on top and give it a... Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. And I don't what? see him jumping so... on top, so if he ain't banging her, nope. and he ain't banging the daughter, and he took vows to love, cherish, and all that crap, what? then who's he banging? Dice. That's what I want to know. What Dice is trying to say, Mark, is has Martha ever turned to you and said, I love you, Mark? Very many times, and thank God you're I'm here. Don't you think Martha wants some kind of sexual relations with you? Definitely. She's got to. <laughs> well, Dice. The no. chick is a chick. That's right. I don't care if she's 110 years old. <laughs> the chick is a chick. Um, she's in a certain disabled uh, condition. That is correct. Yeah, but she uh, like two things to you. She's very happy. <laughs> if you watched entertainment the other night with a big military affair that I orchestrated. Yes. And she's very happy and satisfied for that. Uh, she's very dissatisfied with who calls themselves comics these days. This is a great act you put on. Uh, I see really? right through you, right yeah. you through don't buy you. It Tell me, what minute? do you see? No, because that's him? the Brooklyn in you. You're a scam artist. Oh, now, wait a second. <laughs> Brooklyn. Now, wait a second. Mark, you're saying when Martha goes, you're not looking for any kind of money. Is that right? Hey, I'm no. taking a plane back. He'll just Maybe pack I'm his go bag first. and leave. Well... You see, the dice... Let's just move on to the next door. I let him talk because, you know, you cannot stop a lot of people. This is what you do. Oh, not that. We'll be going... Shelly First Winters. of all, where's Shelly Winters? If, if I... Did. I him every day. What will be doing? Hey, I, I hear Shelly Winters hangs out if at If I dealt with him every day, I do a lot of Martha's thing. friends try to go up against you because you were young. No, no, no. I noticed on all. that tape you did for my TV show. Uh, she's Romero's very kind to you. Very uh, a lot kind. Of different people, very nice. Nola's buddies are going. Kind. Come on, Mark. Let's move this thing along. Rose Throw Marie. the blow dryer in the bathtub already. Um, <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> was it Rose Marie in that tape? Yes, Rose Marie. Yes, Rose yeah. Marie. Yeah. Frank Stallone <laughs> came after the camera stopped. All right, all right. He's all choked up when you mention a real artist. Are you smuggling anything, what you are you about smuggling you anything yo -yo. out of the house? Do you put any art? No. no, exactly. Now, now here's the point. 
Here's the point. Dice, and there are those in, who I think like Dice. I know this point. They I are going, you don't want to hear it, it because it hurts. I could, no, no, I could There are those who are I've never be done anything to be ashamed of. The only way that you're going to be able to prove your, I don't have to your prove. love for Martha I is, don't have to. is that when she does go Dice, you will see that Mark will not uh, benefit from her. Uh, he will not be one I'll of the Paul Bears. I'll driving down Sunset in the Rolls Royce going, I got you all beat now. Seven years I own my own Rolls Royce. I paid my child for it long before. Where is it now? Right now, it's at Martha's house. What, the Rolls Royce? The Rolls Royce. Paid in full? Paid in full. That's right. Well, how do you make your money now, Mark? Right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, well, no. He's, just a minute. You see, he is... Yes, it, it, uh, see, these are the guys talk. I talk about. The guys, see, I look like the thief. Yeah. You no. know what I mean? No. You I don't look, look like, like I would thief. do something like that. No. This is the guy. Wait a minute. He groomed himself he since he's seven year old to be this con man. No, don't no, listen, say that. Andrew, you cannot say that. Andrew, you do not look like well, a thief. Well, it's not an accusation. A lunatic, maybe, but a thief, never. You don't have to worry about that. See, Dice right? has the impression that as it's they lower... Like a young chick. Dice, Dice is, has the impression that as they lower her into the ground... Your lips will be counting. You'll start yeah, one, sure. two, three. See, on, a lot he, of people, he won't even be there. He'll throw a double right now, in there. Right he'll now be, he'll there. be at the bank. Right now, I'm negotiating for my own talk show. Okay. Yeah, can I do it? No. <laughs> I was thinking about you doing the pilot. Oh, sure. But if we had any characters that need a straight jacket, you'd be my first choice. All right. Now, Why let me you think I'm a lunatic? What did I ever say to you? No, the, uh, no, uh, not to me. I heard your tapes. Yeah, and what's I, wrong with And him? I said to my stepson, mean when I shut do... that off. What well, well, why would you say that? Well, I don't go for your act. You don't go well, for you my never, wife. You never I... banged a chick? What is that? That's your act? Did you ever bang a chick? Not a cluck cluck one. No, I'm talking a woman. Did you ever sleep with a woman? Some very beautiful woman. Right? And I guess it was just all smooth. You didn't talk to her. You didn't get like a little uh, crazy. No, we got emotionally You didn't involved. get behind her. You never did that. <laughs> well, this is what I talk about. That's what you talk about. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm sure well, he's what are you done talking that? I'm okay. sure he's done what, that. Yet the group. All right, guys, listen, i got to break this up now. I feel oh, like you're saying I sleep with animals? Right. right. Yeah. I'd rather sleep with a pedigree than what you got to get in bed with. Well, you would only get a pedigree dog. I know. You're very Mark, conceited. you're not claiming to have any kind of sexual relationship with Martha. You're friends in the sense that you uh, now work together, you uh, have a business relationship, on, and you take care. You're very close up off the floor, But Martha. you know what Dyson's Come on. problem is? Yeah. Maybe it's why take a marriage vow. If you just want to befriend her and take care of her, why do you have to marry in her? In sickness and in health. Oh, uh, you're so full of crap it's coming out your ears. <laughs> really? Well, but, you know, you know, I almost got to give you credit because uh, you stick to your guns. Almost. <laughs> you know, you got this scam you going and you're sticking to it. You bedpans like I do and well, then guys, you'll you got to say something about... You, you, Who you, the you, hell wants to change bedpans? Well, you're not doing too great in your career. You may as well try Come the bedpans. Have you cleaned um, up, have that. you cleaned up back uh, Martha Ray's bedpans? Have you, what? have you cleaned up Martha Ray's Yes, that's you what have. I'm saying, sure. Wow. <laughs> I mean, oh, I do you a deserve lot. a buck. I you should pay you for that. I was going to say, money. that's a lot more intimate than sex. Huh? All right, listen, okay. let me tell you something. Well, what kind of comedy did she do? No, no, let's... Real let's, humor. You in the 1800s. You didn't, you didn't need a four-letter word in the 1950s. She was really funny. Well, that's why great. I'm wealthy. Why? Because I do the four-letter words. You're wealthy? Ah, oh, come on. So I you can just buy and sell guys you like you. You just don't know how to shop, then. Take him for clothing, please. All I right. got nothing to prove. I don't got to come in here with your full Cosby sweater. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, That's what I you're wearing know. over here. I got nothing to prove. No? Good, then. Be quiet. Okay. Go ahead. All right, All right you two... Uh from There's something I like about him. You see that? You know what Even you like about I him? I despise him. No. Yeah. I like him at the same time. Why? You, you know, know why, why you like him? I like him at the same time. You know why you like him? Like because he has the guts to come in here and uh, sit and talk about, and confront the world for his, about his love for Martha Ray. I mean, I, I cannot... love his game. You love the whole thing. I mean, I like the game. What are they going to do when I visit Leona in jail? I'm only going to bring her some chicken soup in Kentucky. Yeah. Right. She wrote me two letters. Is yeah. that right? Yes, and I am going to visit. 100,000 a visit. You're going to visit Leona yeah. Helmsley? Really? Yes, would you marry Leona Helmsley? Sure he would. <laughs> <laughs> Harry can't laugh. He'd like marry that. anything that, that can't feel their legs no more. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, I had enough. All right, so Mark is saying basically that this article in the, in the globe, globe is hogwash. Them. That's right. You're, You're suing, suing them? Yeah. You will sue the globe. Not a way to earn. How much money will you sue them for? I don't know the money figure because we're suing them from the October issue and they were on warning and now they did this. How much money would you guess? I don't know. God forbid I, I he gets I, a job. I really don't know. How about my own talk show? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, right. Where's this talk show going to be? Out hear? of Vegas. All right, great show. Breakfast Terrific. in Vegas. It will be. Breakfast in Vegas with Mark Harris? Yeah.
And who's ever headlining that week would be my co-host or hostess. Thank you. Oh, I'd be like I just the Mike fill Douglas a room show. up. I actually like right. the Mike Douglas yeah. show. Right. Right. It's, it's really tailored after the Arthur Godfrey. Episode. All right, I'll do the show. Don't beg. Oh, don't Come beg. <laughs> don't beg. I'll I, do it. I can't imagine. I want to. I want to be there for that taping. <laughs> I want yeah. to. I will. Well, keep the those first shows part of the show, we're going to put the radio on to connect New York and Vegas. Mm -hmm. Good. And how it's done. I would love to uh, be a part of that. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to the man who made dial a mattress what it is today, Howard Stern. It's the best of Stern on 97. And we're back with the best of Stern and the conclusion of the slugfest, we could call it, between comedian Dice Clay and Mark Harris, the husband of Martha Ray on the best of Stern. Now, um, here we've learned a lot today. Let's, let's review what, what we've we learned. learned? We've learned that Dice doesn't like Arsenio. It turns out a lot of our own staff here at the radio station doesn't like uh, Arsenio. Is that right? The people that work on his show don't like him. There's a lot of people who want to make a statement about Arsenio. Do you want to make a statement, Club Soda Kenny? Yes, I would like to. All right, Kenny, talk into yeah, the microphone. Ahead. He wants to say mic. something about Arsenio. Okay. If you use one of my jokes. No, I just wanted to say that Arsenio, that light palm, flat nose, air headed, side of a barn gums, watermelon pit. Bitten, Eddie Murphy's underwear chewing, Bonzo Ignoranus, Squeegee Weldon, Pyramid Head, Flea Genitalia, Cousin of a Chimpanzee, Sitting on a school show, Banjo on Your Knee, Jill Bait, Beach Ball Ass Benedict Arnold Nerd. All right, very good, Kenny. Sit down. All right, Mark Harris is here. Let me say something. Club Soda Kenny's a Hey. Club Soda, sit down. What's the matter with you? I don't like what Mark was saying about you. Though. I suppose wanna... what? No, everything that your career is in the toilet. Oh, everything. Come on, we we know that's not true. I mean, you're, you're the undisputed comedy king, and he's hoping for his own talk show. Well, uh, you know, you got to pity guys like you. You have a problem with that? Okay. Yeah, I got. Mark I got knows I'm doing great. Come on, he knows it. All right. Go ahead. All right, sit down, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> we have to work nearly Give three a weeks a year to make ten million. Come on. Mark, you must uh, a lot of crap all day over this Martha Ray thing. Am I correct? Well, he's probably very busy during the day I am. taking I mean, care I, of Martha. I he doesn't right. hear a thing. Go ahead. Right. I don't really hear as much. You know what he was getting into. Yeah. Gary says there's a guy on the phone. And it wasn't young. Who claims he had sex with you? Should I put him through so you can yell at him? Oh please! Can I? Can you know I, something? The globe. I know he was here the for globe, sissy. The globe uh, oh, recently. Said. What did he curse? No, no, I said said the oh. the I don't think Howard that's Howard Globe necessary. recently said what do you mean, that there's somebody in jail. Second. I don't know anybody right, in jail. Put this guy He's on the air. Would you want to confront him? Confront this guy. Come on! Mark Harris, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hello? You're on the air. Hello? Now, what are you claiming? Why are you making accusations? I'm not making accusations. I used to work with Mark. You and used I was to work... Young... Where did you work with me? In the garment center in yeah. East Goods House. And what's your name? Yeah. I'm not telling you my name. Well, well, don't give you're, me name. You're not I telling want... me your name, and you're saying that you had sex with me. I never said I had sex. You tried to seduce me. You said. I tried to seduce him. You took me to a gay bath house. Oh, please. You got me, tried to get me drunk. You took me to lunch. You gave me sake. You gave me pot. You tried to get me high. You took me to a gay bath house, and I made you give me money for a cab back to work. Well, don't deny it. No, I will deny it, because and recently the... the Globe just told me that I'm, I, I have a lover in jail. I, I mean, don't care about stupid. the Globe. You worked at 469 7th Avenue in a Peace Goods house. You were a stylist. You will try to seduce me. You were a flaming faggot, and you still are. And well, you're not to swell yourself. And that, you're also I'll a tell you, that, liar. That, that kind of language won't be tolerated you know, here. I, I had to hang up on him. I'll tell you something, though. That I had doesn't to... sound wrong to me. It does to you. <laughs> to you. You probably told him to call. Believe Dude, me. I, I'm sitting here. My hands are tied. I mean, it's, well, that could be cute. Let me say you something. You see what I mean? Let me That's say something. This is what, now, now, I feel bad for Mark in this instance. Here's a guy who won't go on the air and give you his name. Here's a guy who will not... This is what happens to you in the Inquirer and the Globe when someone doesn't Howard, come forward. They told me the other day, the Globe, that there's somebody in jail that says he Wait was a lover. How would the Globe I don't know tell anybody you? in jail. Can I, I, mean, can I so just say stupid. something? Yes. Else. How could the Globe tell him anything if you don't talk to the Globe? Oh. I rest my case, Your Don't Honor. rest your case so quickly. They called me to tell me that they want to do a favor for me and stop a story. I said, what story? They said, uh, some guy from jail called and that he's your lover. I said, sure, and I broke the dog's leg like you know, you're saying. You know, you couldn't even be loyal to one guy. Cut it out. Filing for divorce for Martha, and now you're calling me with this <laughs> So I don't no, know who no. all these lunatics Whoa. are. Easy on that word. See, vulgarity. Vulgarity. Against everybody. <laughs> 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 well, there it is, Mark Harris. No, I, I don't, I don't think he's like that. I, I mean, looking at the guy, I don't here, know this person. You know, he don't smell different or nothing. You know, right. I think he's true. 
Uh, I got to give him right. that. All right, very good. Now, listen. I got to give him that. There were some people who wanted to make comments about our Arsenio, Mark. stuck up for you. Now, Mark, you remember probably... that when you do your talk show. Go ahead. Go All ahead. right. <laughs> Although there was love in that caller's voice, I will say that. Oh, jeez. He felt jilted, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. But he could have the wrong Mark Harris. You know, Harris you know, is seriously a common speaking, name. How many Mark Harrisons? But no, I think he was put up to that by somebody. By you the know? glove, probably. Or the daughter. Common sense. I don't know. Right. Or my ex-wife. Was that the address you worked at? That was one of them, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, because I was very well known in the garment industry. Really? You see, before Calvin. Under garments. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> what, that guy need a mouth. change? Okay, go ahead. All right. Now, there were some other people who wanted to make statements about Arsenio Robin yeah. on the show. Uh, stuttering John wanted to make a... Uh, Where is Stuttering John? Come on in and make your statement. Where is he? It'll take him... I love that guy. Here. Was he trip over his feet, too? Get him in here. <laughs> you know, I've we're, talked to Dyson Private. He has said to me, you know, geez, there's so many people in Hollywood who make money off of these older stars. And he thinks you're one of them. Well, I'm not. Well, let's I don't see. Time will tell. Time well, I don't know. I'm going to have to hang with this guy. Stupid. All right. All right. You no, know, Mark, sit down. You're still on. Yeah, use Freddie's microphone. Use Freddie's mic. Me, man. John, well, what is your out. statement? Well, Make your statement about Arsenio if you want to, and uh, okay. that's it. <laughs> you lick, lick, lick. Lick triangle headed Kring and brown nose and spaniel. Make sure you polish Eddie's Italian leather shoes real good so you can get a good part in his next movie. Polish. 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 Why just stop it? Mr. Gums that you can park a Buick on. You hear me now? How do you smell out of that flat rat sucking nose of yours with the smell of Eddie Murphy's BBDs still fresh on your hula hoop sized nostrils? You big nose based it. All right, very good. I don't think anybody here is going to go on the Arsenio Hall show. That would have taken another guy maybe six seconds to reach. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. No, it was cool, though. I hate him, too. I, I dig the stutter. I think he's the... Did you ever interview him? Did he ever let you? No, I tried. He had like ten bodyguards. You see, for what? What are the bodyguards for? Is he the president? Is he a governor? Who is he? You know what I mean? Who is this guy? Yeah, what do you think of him? For real. I think he sucks. I really do. I, I've always hated him. I think he's a kiss-ass and he's, uh, and he's uh, a phony. How's that? You said he's funny? And he's a phony. Oh, phony. <laughs> well, when Mark Harris starts a show, we all go on his show, and we completely bury this guy. <laughs> wow, listen to that. Dice uh, committing to coming on there the Mark Harris go. show. That's oh, got to help yeah. him in his syndication <laughs> effort. When Dice does his show, the ratings go up. I'll say it, Will. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what is it, Gary? Do It'll you want do to make nothing but go up. Gary wants to make a statement about Arsenio. <laughs> go ahead. How do I hate you, Arsenio? Let me count the ways. You white chick smacking son of a welfare recipient, Paramount's water boy, house flunky janitor with a punchline. You hear me now? I hear you. Hey, Arsenio. Hey, Oreo. Hey, Aborigineo. You hear me now? Wow. Hear you now. Wow. Kiss wow. my ass, wow. I Sorio. I saw it. Oh. I saw it. You see, Arsenio, <laughs> see, Gary practice. You might not realize that millions of people listen to this show every day, and you might be able to ignore it for a little while. But we're going to keep coming at you. We're going to keep coming till you're disciplined, till you apologize to all of us. Wow. Wow. This is no game. You will be disciplined. Wow. If you had any guts, you'd just apologize. Much of a pussy for it. What did he do? <laughs> 31 and 97 won. The Eagle had a little bit of a satellite problem there with the feed from the Howard Stern show, but we'll pick it up in progress as the satellite kicks back in. It's 831 at 97 won. The Eagle. Basically, he might win. You want no, to dice? You, 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 dice likes you better. Yeah, I like Frank too. All right, I'll, I'll go 10 bucks on Frank. Okay. 10 bucks? What do I get a better house? <laughs> You're going to bet $10? Okay. real money well, from you guys. No, Monopoly would be better. <laughs> He's got plenty, Mark's got plenty of money. No, so I, I, no, I don't. Ten bucks because this way, if I don't see Mark, mm -hmm. he figures, well, it was only 10 bucks. I don't wow. got to chase the guy down. $10. Hi, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is this Howard Stern show? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm calling, uh, like, in connection with that other caller earlier, who the person said I knew Mark Harris. Yes. Well, I really did know Mark Harris. Another one. Yes. It was in the 1978, 
And uh, I, I don't think he probably wants this mention on the air, but I just So have he to won't say have it. it. Yeah, it's yeah. You're on the air. That was Fred calling yeah, you guys. Why'd you hang up? Room. It was Fred in the other room. We're going to uh, talk Oh, about. you were going to surprise me. I'm I sitting here. Oh. I, I protected the guy. All right, thank very you. Good. But still, in all, I don't Wait, know. Somebody else people. is on the air, though. Hello, you're on the That's air. That's pretty, our writer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. How you doing? All right. Oh my God! Can I do like that? Hi, you're on the air. <laughs> Hello, you're on the air. Go ahead quickly. I have to get out of here. I have a life. <laughs> all right, Washington, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard. Yes. I'm uh, calling from Baltimore. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you for the call. That's all he wanted to say. Just all right. Thank you. That's I right. thought I was going to have another one in Baltimore. I hey, swear let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. In Baltimore, it's pretty boring radio, huh? Uh, I don't know. I got Howard. I'm saying. In, all right. Other than Howard? Yes. There's nothing to listen to. All right. That's our one Baltimore listener, Robin. Thank you. Ah, uh, you're on the air. Yes. Mark, that's Fred right there. He was. And on the you phone. were going to do that? No, Fred. No, you don't understand. I don't care. But tell me it was you, or otherwise I have some more schmucks out there. Go ahead, Fred. Do your voice. Hello, Mark. Listen, I didn't want to say this, but in 1978, I saw you on West 57th Street in a French maid outfit. Oh. Or in a call in with something like that, but you had great legs. That sounds more believable. And I ruined it. And you ruined it. Because I got a heart. I know. You're yeah, he's going to go, be on my show. You're on the air. Hey, first of all, I'd just like to say, uh, Dice, you're the best no matter what anybody says, because you don't care about rules or nothing else. You do whatever you want to do. And God bless you. God else. bless you, yes. And second of all... How would you get boring, man? Well, if I'm getting boring, then what? Are you, then why are you listening? I'm gonna have to stop pretty soon. I don't know. You're selling out. I'm selling out. How do you mean? How is that? You become more and more Hollywood every day. You, it used to be a time where you didn't care, but now it seems like every day you become more and more Hollywood. Yeah, that's uh, luckily. Let's let's hope that I get more and more Hollywood. I get away from morons like you and entertaining you for four and a half hours a day, you little ingrate punk. <laughs> I'd like to kick your ass. I'd like to be the undercard between me and you. I bet you I'd wreck you, you, you stupid box, jerk. I'll yeah, I'd like to house. box you, box I'll you, you, you big. My house. What do you weigh? A buck oh five and you're six ten? Yeah, no, I weigh about two hundred <laughs> pounds and I'll I beat the crap out of you, you little I'll pussy. You and You're a pussy you ass. Over lost. Entertaining a moron like that for four and a half hours a day. <laughs> trying to bring him top talent. Trying to bring him some kind of uh. some kind of radio. Go watch Arsenio, you loser. <laughs> try to try to have a party. <laughs> only try to try to create a festive atmosphere, and I got to deal with jerks like that telling me I'm losing it. It's rough everywhere you turn. Hey, Howard, you're going to Hollywood. Good. <laughs> I hope I go so Hollywood. I get the hell off this radio station. <laughs> oh, that was Fred that called in? <laughs> you uh, son uh, of a bitch. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you're, on the, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Is that sir? Yes. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you about, um, what's his name, Wally George. Wally George? Yeah. Wally oh, George, how, Wally George, let me tell you is. something. I don't want any more calls about Wally how George. he is. What? How phony he is. Of course he's a phony. No, let me tell you Oh, please. Is. He's, on a, he's on a TV station that, right. that has I'm, three I'm, viewers. This is L.A. I'm, I'm going to tell you how phony he is. I know for a fact. I don't he, even care. Rebecca his... Domarne is his daughter, uh, and uh, he, he has no... He, and, and, and she well, doesn't listen, care about him. Listen, <laughs> he has people... He, they, people call his show, and they tell him... They tell the people what the... All right, one last call, and we got to get out of here. You're on the air. Yeah, hey. Yes. Listen, just dice. Yeah. Just, just chill a little bit. I like your stuff, but chill out just a little bit, man. Well, I've been crazy lately. Yeah, you've been a little hard on this Mark guy, though. What are you talking I just stuck up from when some guy called and said he was giving any, yeah. uh, the Stocky. roast beef sandwich Stocky. over there. So, look, overall, overall, I, I mean, I like all you guys. You're great. I just called to say, Dice, chill out just a little bit. All right. Well, it is Friday. All right. All right. Thank Have you a good day. Yeah, wait, wait. Kenny, hey, what a great to... guy. Uh, wait, Kenny wants to say something. What? Yeah. Who are you to tell him what to do? <laughs> I think it's a disconnect. Right. Well, you know what it is? People will try to bum you out. Here we had a fun show, yeah. a nice show. Had a great week of radio. It I want to. We had a very good time, and you get guys who call up, and right away they're critics. They want to uh, critique the program. They want to tell you what you're doing wrong, this, that, and the other thing. And uh, look, who needs that aggravation? <sighs> Life's too short. Uh, I want to thank my guest, uh, Dice Clay. Andrew Dice Clay, 42 a long time, new album. We had a good time this week. Mark another, Harris, uh, of course. Um, some people call him Mr. Martha Ray. It'll be another gold album. I'm getting bored with it already. <laughs> <laughs> another NARM award. That's right. Another NARM award. <laughs> some some people will say Mr. Martha another Ray. Another Grammy uh, nomination. But he's uh, trying Would to... Would you ever win, Arsenio? 
trying to carve his own identity. Is that correct, <laughs> that's uh, Mark? Right. That's, that's right. right. All right. So we can look forward to uh, breakfast in Vegas. Breakfast in Vegas. Breakfast right. in Vegas. I'll be back Robin. next week, Arsenio. <laughs> next week I go all over the country, Arsenio. You're gonna feel the heat, Arsenio. Dice You're gonna, gonna break, oh, Arsenio. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Want to give me the plugs, Jackie? I'm, my, the cigarette smoke, my head's ready to fall off. <laughs> oh, again with that. I had two cigarettes. No, boy. Two packs. <laughs> if you don't get lung cancer by the time you're 45, I'll be shocked. I'm telling no, you. I won't. Uh, you that's will. That's not my style. You will get lung cancer. I'm a cancer. funny guy like that. I don't know about that. Right, Kenny? Even you got to say something. No, it's the uh, power of positive thinking. He won't get it. Right. Well, I don't believe in it. Never did. Know what I mean? Jack, do you believe it's like a... It's like a I do believe this. You can't smoke on uh, Martha Ray. I guess you don't smoke you? cigarettes either, huh? No. Martha still smokes. No, she does. The doctors boy. don't want to uh, discontinue it. You drink? Point. You do dope? What do you do? Martinis. Martinis. Well, maybe sake. The guy says I do sake. I don't know. Right. Martinis. martinis uh, listen to this or scrap. <laughs> well, we'll have one together. It won't be such a scrap. Oh, I, I think drink. I think Arsenio wears like those big diapers they put on horses now. All right, listen, Jackie Penn. You'll never ever see him come on a show like with just a tight T-shirt tucked in his pants. Why is that? Why? Because of his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Too big. It's ridiculous. Okay, Robin, I'll see you on Monday. No, I'll see you about ten minutes from now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, try to pretend like we're going to see each other on Monday. And uh, what am Next I doing, week, Fred? Arsenio? I'm coming down on you. I'm coming down on you. You hear me now? Some music? I'm coming down on you. All right. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I got a stomach made out of steel. You're coming down, Arsenio. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Wow. Very, very frightening. Well, I can see, I hear the clocks ticking in the background. <laughs> very beautiful, isn't it? Black Mr. the red idiot. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> You know, those clocks can only mean one thing. Oh, my God. They can only mean one thing. That's the Pink Floyd, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Don't blow my brains out. You like Pink Floyd? Yeah. <laughs> Mark, what about you? You like Pink Floyd? Who is Pink Floyd? <laughs> well, you're really out of it. Well, you don't know who Pink Floyd no. is? <laughs> Freaking idiot. I don't, I don't know. know. Brooklyn. I don't know who is Pink Floyd. <laughs> Watch the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Why? You watch Second it. Second and third of May. <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> Why is it such a terrific Yeah, we're on it. Second I and guess, third. I guess you're going to be on it. Second and third of May. Yeah, for what? What do you mean for what? Lifestyle of the rich and famous. <laughs> yeah, but what are you going to be gold. doing on it? Exactly. Lifestyles of gold diggers, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> lifestyles are guys that live off of old women. And decorate houses accordingly. But you're going to be on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, right, huh? Right, yeah, the second and third of May. Oh, this guy's just going for it. What a oh, game. Oh, wow, what, what a game. game. You know, Dice was beginning to like him, and now he doesn't like yeah. him. Yeah. What, a, what a racket this guy's You don't know running. his level of Thorazine. you got to check that. You know, what we had a racket this mellow guy's out. got going. <laughs> what Here, a he goes. Here he goes. Well, listen. Shelly Winters, i got a guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is music from Pink Floyd. Yes. 92.3. Del Getty, i got the guy for oh, you. I love her. She's great. Of course. I really do. I you love, love anything that I was love born her. in the yeah, 1700s. Great. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> At least go with B. Arthur. She could still move. Oh, don't start on B. Arthur. We sound alike. <laughs> do you like B. Arthur? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Look alike. Mm -hmm. What the hell's the vocal on this song? Here he comes. It could have been a perfect talk off, couldn't have been. Next week, Arsenio, I ain't going to forget you. You're all I'm thinking about. You're all I'm dreaming about. But you're also thinking about Mark Harris with uh, no, no, oh, please. Please. Arthur. Let Life styles with the rich and yeah. famous. Mark's a sideline. A sideline. <laughs> Wake up, Arsenio. Wake up to the insults. <laughs> Wake up. Open your eyes. Those same pat two eyes. What is that? Put on those phony prescription glasses. What that is? What is when you see all to? three sides of the whites. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that buckwheat thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Oh, I see. Yeah, you never saw him have like Spike Lee on his show. Nope. Or Come Public on. Enemy. Nope. He's afraid of those guys. All right. Well, listen. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> You're listening to a man who could cure cancer. He just doesn't feel like it. Howie Stern. Let me get Mark Harrison here. This is a guy who married... For anyone who doesn't know who this guy is, and believe it or not, most people don't. Yeah, I, I don't think the world is... Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Sit down. I know you're late. I'm totally aware. 
Mark Harris is the guy who figured out he'd marry that old uh, woman, Martha Ray. <laughs> that fossil. <laughs> the movie he figured star. Out, he figured out to marry Martha Ray, who was the well... The movie star? What movie? <laughs> what movie? A hundred years ago. The World War II movies? No. What, Jumbo in the 1950s? No, no neither, neither do you. Do you. How about, right. yeah, well, uh, yeah, I only look young. But what about the uh, Martha Ray shows, the NBC I shows? don't remember those either. All I You'll remember get a chance to see them again with me narrating them. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You're going to be narrating yeah, them? Is that what you're working on? No, that's only another thing I'm working on. But I have to thank you very much. By the way, you have, a great, you have a great announcer's voice. I'm sure Martha Ray would be honored to have my no, my day. My show is going to be playing now. Howard, my on the gay channel. How uh, now? Okay, let's yeah. take let's take all the gay stuff, the feminine stuff, and all that. Let's no, you're very it. feminine. No, you, let me no, wait you would let's take the great all... Martha Ray. You yeah. would take the great Martha Ray. Right. The kinescopes of her movies mm -hmm. and, and of her shows. Mm -hmm. You would take those and and defile them by using that's, your voice and your feminine announcers. That's... Hello, my name is Mark Harris. But I'm here to present my wife. And Martha Ray. Howard. Wouldn't you hire a Howard. professional? No. My wife, First Martha of all, my, my date this afternoon, she just told me, and I want to tell you, she says, you're going to do great this morning. Your voice sounds that? so great. Susie Chaffee. Who's that? Don't Susie you know? Chapstick? That's the one. Yeah, she yeah. used to be a skier, and she was uh, right. and involved she has a beautiful with line Kennedy. Of, she has a beautiful line Hold of Hold on a second. You wear. saw Susie Chapstick no, where? No, we're, go we're going out uh, today. I thought you were a married man. I am. But you're married what to Martha Ray. What are you dating Ray. for? I started dating just a few weeks ago. Really? Such what? an announcement. What is that all about? Such an Are announcement. you and Martha on the uh, split? Not, no, no, not at all. She's very, very ill. The last time I was here in November. Seriously. You, so you're claiming you, you are her. dating Susie you Jaffe? Cannot, let her claim that. You can't. No, are you claiming that? As of today, we're just going out. Oh, you're having a date. Is this right. our first date? This is our first date. And she's oh. listening to the show. She didn't even know what dial it was on. But she said, do you really think Howard's going to make uh, governor? I said, well, you're a New Yorker. You have the vote. Right. She says, i got to listen to him now. Now she'll have to yeah, 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 yeah. her political advice. Yeah, uh, but no, seriously. I need to talk to her. I want to know if she's really going out on a date with you. I don't believe it. How about tomorrow morning we'll get her on the phone after the date? All right, fine. Uh, no problem. Okay, good. Okay. So you are now officially dating. You're looking for what? And why yeah, I'm looking for what? <laughs> hey, I go both ways. I could have a lot. So you're <laughs> dating anything that walks? No, I ha no I've, been going, no, I've been going out with Grace Robbins. And because of Grace Robbins... Who is Grace Robbins? Harold Robbins' ex-wife. Oh, so you... So she's the one that... <laughs> no, you got to understand. She's the one that... You're not dating her. Okay, if you, you is she a friend of yours, or you had very, a very, sex? No, 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 no sex. sex. All right, but that's she's what I the one that is now responsible for my act. Let me ask you something. Why have you not just put a pillow over Martha Ray's face oh. in the middle of the you night? See, let me tell you, and no one would know. Let me tell you something. Because or roll her into the pool. I could, Maggie, know no, you're dating. Wait a minute. I want to respond to that. You see, yes. now that Martha is really out of pain, but you got to get the money. I could handle your crap. Okay, in go November ahead. I couldn't. Go ahead. And since November they took her other leg off and it was, <gasps> it was very bad. All right, that we is went not through funny. a horrible time. That yeah, but you made funny. a lot of fun of the legs. Okay, she is now. She's getting rid of her a little bit at a time. Now without <laughs> any pain, and that is the bottom line. All right, so she has Thank no pain. God, no is she pain. awake? Rarely. Oh. And yeah, okay. Did you want to wait for the body you, wait, to be wait, wait, buried wait, before you, you start dating no, again? No, seriously. Just a minute. You'll read the book. I heard you trash. Although I got to admit, if my wife had both her legs off, <laughs> oh please. But let me say something. <laughs> and she was in a that coma. That is an invitation to date. I am starting to date. I am not going to wait around. I thought you were going to say Mark Harris linger. would date her. No, That's I would. Thing. No, you could date her. Oh, I can. <laughs> if she has money, you'll With date her. With both her legs. You like celebrities. You want to date celebrities. Yeah, look at it. It's somebody's mm. ex. Somebody's. You know that. Got a name. Well, you know Ted Kennedy, Susie Jaffe, <laughs> Ted Chaffee, whatever. Ted Kennedy, I'm sure I shall never date. Right. He's a Democrat. So, so the only pain yeah, that yeah. Martha Ray's in is when she you're had, around. No, no, not but at she all. Hears that not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did my I did my rehearsal for her. Right. And uh yes. in the uh in the act <laughs> Was she conscious? When I sang uh, the salute to her, yes. I salute a few people in the act, and thank you very much for doing the Clinton song, because that is... What is the Martha Ray song? Let me hear a little of it's that. It's her theme song. Give me I a little can't. It's too early in the morning. The red eye, and it was late and too crazy, but I'll send you a word. Right, so Mark now that. fancies himself okay. in show business. Now, yes. Three weeks ago, he was going to be a nurse. A I thought you were going to be a nurse. Now can I discuss that nursing bit? Here's what happened. It's yeah. a true story. I was going into the St. John's thing. To, uh, it would have been February. Right. I was in Berlin on uh, January, I think it was 13th, whatever the day <laughs> Where of the Where are you getting the money for? Why is he well, always in Europe? I wonder, Nobody knows who he is I wonder there. why. So I was leaving from Berlin to Paris that morning, and when I got to Paris... Do you have a boyfriend get... in Paris or no, in Berlin? No. Do you swear to Not God? Not yet. Why Not are you yet. always in Berlin? Not yet. 
Why are you always... I have a valet, and he's from Germany. But how do you afford a valet? Why don't you call him and ask him? I'm asking you. Call him. Why, Why wouldn't I ask you? Up. You're the one who pays him. How would he know how you afford Well, something. The money is not all that interesting. I gave up blackjack for lawsuits. I'm now suing up. the Globe. I th oh, yeah. You're suing, suing the Globe? Yes. Yeah. What for what? Didn't you read? You oh, is that the that article crap? where they said you were you were um, trading crap. Martha Ray's limbs for money? No, no, no. They, said, they, said some, they said some really unfounded things. What did they say? I mean, really, what did they I mean, say? all that journalism. For one thing, they say in the February 8th article that I claim in the manuscript uh, that uh, I say she became Maggie of the Boondocks who went to Vietnam to uh, go to bed or screw whatever word they use they don't know right now. All the soldiers. I never even said anything like that. It's not in there. I said a whole lot of things. My lawyer is uh, the late Sam Kinison's lawyer on that. Oh, really? Yeah. He's so funny. He says of uh, the Globe, you call that journalism. No, nobody calls it journalism. No, there are people out there that do. I mean, <laughs> you have to understand there is. I read one article he called you masculine and I heard you were suing for $50 million. Hey, is, you're not exactly John Wayne. Let me tell you, you're right, not exactly John easy. Wayne. We're just doing I, jokes. No, that's okay. Everything's I a know. joke. How's it's Aunt a goof. Sally? Because I hope My she aunt comes. is fine. I, I, she's great. No, really. You Her hair hasn't been the same since I know. you did it. <laughs> And he used to be a hairdresser. I'm aunt still like oh, him. My aunt claims he never did her hair. You oh, you're lying. Beauty shop. Uh, no, there you're lying. He was the shampoo girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, you know, for those of you who want you to know. You know, Robin, I have to tell you, I was reading all this stuff about this uh, chic, this new lesbian chic. Well, how, how much money are you? How much money will you inherit when Martha Ray dies? Not much. Most of it is gone. All right. Uh, but what, uh, what, what is your estimate? The house. We're when not even living there. Disco. You're not living in your house? The earthquake hit the damn house. The house After you fixed it up and made a disco out of the living room? That's the part that went. Oh, really? you it knew really it. It really is. Okay, from where that I'm at, it's not a disco, the nightclub. She, uh, in, when she bought the house... Where are you living now? With Martha in a hotel. In a hotel? Yeah. And yeah. why Why would you build a dance floor for a woman with no legs? Honestly, why would you do that? Isn't that cruel? So that all her celebrity people could come as they did. And dance. And dance and uh, rejoice and have parties for Isn't her. Isn't that like wonderful. making fun of her condition? Which is she worse? Wasn't as ill as... Now. Which is worse for Martha Ray, the day she married Mark or the earthquake? <laughs> Let's, I'm the only husband. <laughs> Which I, is the worst Do you know that I'm, her, I'm the seventh husband, the only one that made a two-year marriage? Really? If she'll be alive, September will be three years. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Imagine if she was awake. I think the marriage would have ended in a day. <laughs> now, I'm going to perform here here in New York City. All right, in All right. Okay. let me you play coming? a little of your you performance. Going? Hold it. And hey, then we'll we must talk the about the death of Cesar Romero. We haven't seen it. It was a shock. That was a shock. It was a shock that I, he, he no, did not live Martha. So it, was, it was a shock. And I spoke to him the day he was to come home. Really? In St. John's. You and um, Cesar Romero were on the phone the day before no, he died. No, the day he died. The day he died. The day he died. And he sounded okay to you? Yeah, he was coming home. He was fine. And then he spoke to you and he dropped dead? No, it was, <laughs> I think about 6 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, and you were close to Cesar Romero? This is your wet dream. You married Martha Ray, now you're close to all those old-time Hollywood yeah, stars. The way you do it, I mean, you could really report for the club. No, a lot of people who are effeminate do enjoy that period in history when Martha Ray was a star. They feel that was show business. Judy Garland. The glamour. The glamour. <laughs> the, the scene. Oh, the really? stars. Stars was... St the stardust. They well, don't make faces like that absolutely. anymore. You'll have to come to my show just to see the 12 costume Able changes. Lombard. Boyer. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yes. And even the songs that you sing in your act are of that era, true? Yeah, you're not singing yes. any Pearl Jam or yeah. no, 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 no. That not stuff, yet, that stuff is horrible to you. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm you would lift. You wish that you could have been one of these actors in the 30s or 40s. Like Tyrone Power. Right, right. Sure. Carol right. Lombard. Because here is a done. piece of. Mark Harris's act. His, yeah, his he new did okay, it, it's mocked up, so let's see what you mock do. Mocked up? No, I didn't mock up anything. No, no? No, oh, okay. didn't touch it. Yeah. Is, mocked up. Is it the Cl Clinton song? <laughs> Clinton song. Oh, great. I didn't mock up anything. Okay, go. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I tell you, I start sounding more effeminate the more I'm with yeah, him. Yeah, when you're with him, yeah. you start to Only in a Cincinnati. Little... Only in Cincinnati. Little... Right. Here is Mark Harris <laughs> with Dear President Clinton. <laughs> little piece of uh, some of the magic of Mark Harris. <laughs> Dear President Clinton, I did write oh, I, I love those little things. to you to thank you on behalf of Martha Ray. I know we had our problems. I really don't know why. 
The medal wasn't sooner. You didn't try. Who wrote this? I did. Mark. And you asked who was playing <laughs> piano. I, I still laugh no, at the piano player. Uh, Leo DeLion, you met him. Your Leo agent used to handle Your manager used to handle him. <laughs> Leo, Leo the, the Lion? Tony the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> The other lion and Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Go, go, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me more. Go ahead, abuse. I don't go for therapy. This is it. So what Mark is singing about, his wife, soon to be... Uh, <laughs> what Mark is singing about very badly. His, oh, I don't think so. His, it his, goes over in the act. <laughs> of course, that's a work tape, but no excuses. Go. He's like the, the sissy Marie Chevalier. <laughs> a sissy... Yeah, Mar- listen. Boy, you were you, born in the 50s. You... Are singing about the fact that Martha Ray, your wife, did receive the medal. She was, uh, was supposed to get, according to Mark, the Medal of Honor from President Clinton as soon as he got into office. It took a moment, while. Yeah. It actually occurred to President Clinton that he had bigger responsibilities than giving Martha Ray a like medal. Like giving it to Senator Fulbright to, first, right? He was supposed right. to put How much do you really his hand know? down after taking the oath right. and then say, I have to uh, interrupt this ceremony to give an award to Martha Ray. So there Mark, of course, Mark, it. of course, instead of graciously getting an award, he. He hounded yes. the president from his first day in office, took out full-page ads in the newspaper saying, you better give Martha Ray this award, you better give Martha Ray this award. Turn now, up. what the song is about, if you let it play, the lyrics are 100% true and accurate. Of president. But I enjoy D.C. And that's a very special memory. <laughs> I love that. Now listen to every word. Tell me this is all not we true. We can't take our ears off. Okay, go. Right. You are a leader. Sure. Is. And yes, you have some powers. But no more Jennifer Flowers. Gone. Your private <laughs> life has tones. And now we'll listen to Miss Jones. More and more. All the <laughs> gossip. Wait a second. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. What go are ahead, you go. carrying on about? Go when ahead, you go, hear go, this, go. Yeah. when you hear this, yes. Do you think that this is unbelievably good? How do you re- evaluate yes, this? Yes, I really do. You do. Especially in the act when it goes like that. Of course, I do mugging shtick and all and that And you do stuff. kicks. And co- costume changes. Honestly. No dresses. I heard no you dresses. did four costume changes in a half hour. Ah. I did 12. Now, uh, Matty Danza has his place. Matty's on Melrose, Tony Danza's brother. And yes. I did it twice. It was really it, it, fantastic. Even young people come. Really? Yeah. Because they love your style of singing and your... I think they're in shock. <laughs> you know, actually. Is it mostly a gay audience? No, it's a straight place. Oh. You're saying it's mostly a straight audience. It's a hundred percent straight. Yeah. Really? Sure. <laughs> Maddie's on Melrose. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Maddie's on Melrose. <laughs> Maddie. Yes, darling. Lesbian Maddie's. Chic. Lesbian chic. Maddie's Tony Danza's brother. <laughs> Everyone is related to someone. Yes, he doesn't know anybody who's not in show business in some Why way. don't you just play the song and do the lyrics? Come on, let's go. All the mail, I know the truth. You did inhale call. To go with what you were so Simple, you Go ahead, laugh. You know you're laughing. Look at you. Look at you. That's some... What, and let me... I'm, yeah, I'm go, just curious. Go, yeah. When you recorded this... You were in your home by a piano, like just with a no, tape recorder? No, Leo DeLion's house, roaring. Okay. And I was not stoned. And when, when you're singing this, is Leo DeLion taking it he seriously? He was so hysterical. He, he loved it. He loved it. He How really old did. is he? Leo, and I know he's listening to his program, so I don't know, between 67 and 70. Oh. If I'm wrong, he'll never play Do for Do you know again. anybody below 60? Why hang out with <laughs> anyone Chaffee. below 60? Susie Chaffee. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and like, did you record this on a home tape recorder? This is just the work tape. Now in the app. Oh, I see. Like the work really tape. Yeah. I see. The work tape. The work tape. <laughs> <laughs> work tape. Work tape. You love my voice. <laughs> what a life this guy has. Now, so then, tell me, me about Martha Ray. You're saying she has no legs now. She's in a coma. Now, who is She's attending to her? She's in a coma. Who is tending to her? The same nurses. She's not we in a coma. nurses? No. Okay. <laughs> and where are you living? <laughs> what is the that in the background? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, Where are you living now? In a hotel. So do you have nearby. to share the same bedroom now, now that you all, you have limited um, accommodations? Quite a, quite a large uh, room we took. We took a suite. And do you share the bed with Martha Ray? She can't be in a regular bed. She cannot. What type of bed is she in? Hospital bed. So you can't share a hospital bed with her? You sleep <laughs> in the same room? Really, really so stupid, Howard. <laughs> Why is that stupid? Howard. Can't you give her some last moments of pleasure? She's getting pleasure by being out of pain. Is that she right? Be happy for is her. she on a heavy medication? No, no. That's how... If you were a real husband, you would, you would give her something to uh, 
No, some fantasy. She knows, she knows I'm out there. She knows I'm saluting her. She knows her name will continue. Oh, I see. You that was the most on. important thing to her. Yes. So where's the song? Go with the lyrics. Go, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Maybe Aunt Sally is out there listening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the newcomer over there? It's like know. Dracula's in the room. Yeah. yeah. Only, um... Boom. Yeah. Jay Dracula. Yeah. Marco she Rose. knows him out there. She knows I'm saluting her. Oh, I wonder, what? Who is that? <laughs> Who really do you care? <laughs> You're right. I'm not going to date you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You sound like Dracula sometimes. Only because that layover. I mean, tell I uh, really killed it. Was you. Terrible, yeah. But I always but, like. But, Lamar, but, but wait, wait, no wait, gift wait. from the plane this time. I did bring you something in the story <laughs> about that, your name in Paris, it, and so I brought you the gift. What happened? I right? hate That's Paris. after the song. I love Paris. Well, of course you do. In the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like wacky. I didn't do that. Oh, whoever did it. Listen. And now the truth, Bill. Really? really? What the, the hay? hay? Did you did have, you a, have moment? a moment, gay? But what is that about? I'm asking him a question. Did you, what, you think the president might have had gay sex? That's what you think? Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> he just threw that into a song. Anything's Did you possible. have a moment, Kay? Yeah, like Bill's going to write a, a song to gay. answer this. Yeah. Well, why would somebody respond. so stupid running for office say he didn't inhale? I mean, that is stupid. Did you bend over and go, ole? <laughs> oh, you could write lyrics, too. Continue. Oh. Go who are you going to marry next after Martha goes? Who, I mean, who do you got to set? Uh, 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 now Martha's on her last um, legs. Maybe put in a call to uh, Vivian Vance. Oh. Ah. She's dead. Oh, that's right. Well, that shouldn't stop you. Oh. <laughs> you missed Allison. that one. No, I'm going June to London. Allison. I am going to London from here and meeting somebody. Go. Hello, this is Mark Harris from Miss June Allison. Uh -huh. I would like to speak to the lady, please. Lady of the house. Hello. Why don't you just say it Hello? all the time? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I'm a big fan of yours. I used to be married to Martha Ray. And I would like to marry you. Well, I, I don't even know you. Please, Miss Allison. I'd make an excellent husband. You won't and regret I, it. You won't regret it. And I would make sure that your name will live on. This should be your acceptance speech. Right? Well, I am not going to marry you. Well, then what about your sister? She'll do. <laughs> who is or Van Johnson. Who is the executor of your estate? <laughs> and how many body pots do you have left? <laughs> okay, the lyrics. Go ahead. Lyric. You give us pride and joy from every Jew to every goy. I love how precise Yeah, oh, well, you don't want to miss Sorry, one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's, let's hear the finish because Barbara Streisand should sing that she's on his side. The ending is. <laughs> you are so. Go, 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 go. How did Martha Ray get. She had I mean, the, how did she, she had, marry you? As she told me, the best years of her life. Really? Yes. You have yes. proof that she said that you have that on tape? Where the is that? Proof yeah. Yeah. No, no, the nurse's record. They had a, you know, since the conservative are you preparing, should have to write every Are you preparing word. a... The conservative should have to write down every the word? The nurses have to keep journals every day of everything that happens at every hour. And that's a testament to whatever went on. So, in other words, when the will is contested, the will won't be contested. You don't think the daughter I will contest? I highly doubt it. Really? Why? I don't think I should discuss that publicly. But after she dies, her. it will be. <laughs> You'll do away with her. No, on away the contrary, it's my phone that I have. That. Life. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what is she talking about? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do the nurses like you? Are there any male nurses? No. All females. Interesting. Unless they're in drag. Mm hmm. Continue. Yeah. So she said that you were the best years of her life? Yeah. Really? And she lived how many years before she met you? Oh, she suffered every one of those years. <laughs> I got busy. Look, she had some pretty uh, big husbands there from one to six. Right. Yeah, go ahead. But you were the best. You don't think the will will be contested based no. on the fact that... Um, no, I don't. No one's even sure if the marriage was consummated, even though you claim it was. First of all, do you realize that that is not an right. issue, whether it was or was not, has right. nothing to do? Because Jackie the Jugman says he's going to contest the will. Can't. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> well, let's do that last lyric there. Now, what were you doing in Europe? Like more of the singing? Wait, no, no, just finish that, and then we're going to get right into Europe. No, no, I'll get to it when I want to. Oh, it's, it's, thank What were you doing you. in Europe? You don't visit any people over there? I visit a lot of people. But you were there to My sing. My former life was the garment industry. Mm-hmm. Now I just sing in some cafes. All right. Not on the subways yet. 
Is it me, Robin, or is he five times more effeminate today than usual? You know, when he first came in here, he was just a little bit effeminate. Now and now I'm blown. working into my full act here. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I just wonder when Martha Ray married you, did she say, hey, my husband is awfully effeminate? I think he's after her clothes. <laughs> you can see why people would think. You didn't see her wardrobe of fatigue. You can see why people would think. But do you really think people care? So was there insurance you on your house? Care? Was insurance on Martha Ray's house taken care of? Earthquake yes, insurance? Of course. So there was quite a bit of money. Uh... Yeah, that's why we can't even live there. So that money will go to you as soon as she dies. Right. No, the house is being rebuilt. Why don't you just put a pillow, put put a a nightclub. Put a pillow over her face. No one will know. Oh, to have you just do it. You are really do it. Do it, then we can be together. You know, those nurses <laughs> must always be around. You know, you sounded like Richard Simmons. I wish those nurses would leave. I could put a pillow over her. Can I have a moment alone with my wife? Go, Robin, go! You're no one to blame you. You're putting her out of her misery. It's a mercy thing. Oh, no, I'll roll her into the pool. <laughs> oh, is this you? I know, I'll sing to her to death. <laughs> you know, give she... us, go give ahead, us, go. give us, give us, really more. The worst can happen, we will have President Gore. Oh, that would be terrible. He's commenting on his own song. <laughs> he loves this song. Yeah, right. I really do, but now, up. of course, I do. Be it. very proud it's of yourself. It's just the work they do. Okay, now I'm, I'm doing it myself, the ad lib. <laughs> do you ever, um. Never. Do you ever talk to the audience during the uh, show? That's what I do. I talk oh, to them. Do you do raps? I open up with I'm Just a Gigolo. Right. Oh, and, yes, matter of fact, heard I do, do a rap. That. I yes. do a rap. Yeah. That's, that's appropriate. It is? I think so. Oh, yeah? I think in a way yeah. you're a gigolo, uh -huh. in a sense. Well, I don't know. Did you ever... I don't mean... I, don't mean I introduced who I was before Martha Ray. Yeah, what were you? Dan. Phantom of the Kitchen. I do cook. Mm -hmm. So we put that in the act. When I opened in Phantom Vegas... Phantom of the Kitchen? The 4th of July. So this is second and third. I was at your friend Steve Ross. Where do you do this act? I, I mean, that no one has I'm ever seen I'm waiting it. for you. Now that I'm doing things in America. Right. Okay. Where, where are we going to see this? Okay. Oh, man. In New York, Elmo. will you? Okay, uh, Jean Claude, the owner of Shea Josephine on Forty Second Street. Shea Joseph. Say, Shea no, Shea Josephine. Josephine. Of course, <laughs> yes, of course. Would you believe that? Phantom of the no, Kitchen. I, can go. I know. I see. It's now, just wait. Photo let's. When it was Phantom of the Kitchen. Fine. July second and third, and you're gonna uh, all. You're just gonna. July second and third. You're really gonna be here. No, we should that's go, in Las Vegas. Oh. Will you come to Shea Josephine, please? He's listening. Would Shea Josephine. And he wants yes. to come on your show to promote his book, which is now. A uh, guy's really... name is Josephine. No, no that, uh, that was his Josephine mother. Josephine Baker, Jean Claude. Oh. Oh, you do read, Robin, don't you? I, I yes. do. Yes. Mark. So he's listening to. <laughs> broadcast and he would love to come on the like Mark knows like all the like little cafes and <laughs> oh, the beef yeah. shows. Yeah, he's come to Paris with me to have a ball. No, Ooh, I don't think I think I'd probably have Ooh two la balls. La la, <laughs> 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 Mark Harris says, Come what? to Paris with me, you'll have a ball. Well, it's a little more than a croissant. You know what I mean? Yeah. But look, he had July I don't know what you mean. July, I know you don't, but you really do. You're babbling like, like Martha Ray. I think you've been hanging around with her too much. <laughs> Let me say something about your lovely wife, Martha Ray. Yes. I feel bad for her. So do I. I do. I feel bad that she's... But you're already dating. I think it's disgraceful you, that you're dating. She didn't think so. Well, I don't Martha care what she did thinks. Not think she's so. embarrassed to tell you that no. she's against it. No. You're very wrong. I think you ought to wait out of respect to Martha Ray. So I should just go out to functions alone. Right. Oh, Wrong. that's all you're doing is having escorts? Right. Oh, all right. Without paying for it. All right, so you're just having female escorts? Right, and I never slept and with anybody. And you swear, I, I want, want you to, to raise your right hand right now. Yeah. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. Say, I swear I to God. I swear to God. <laughs> that I, I that I, Mark Harris. Right. Nope. Say it. <laughs> say Repeat it to me. That I, I, Mark Stephen Harris. Have not had gay sex during my entire marriage with uh, Martha Ray. I've had bi sex during my marriage with Martha Ray. Oh, you have? Oh, you but have. That's in the book. But that's in the book. It is. Martha shared had? her secrets, and I shared mine, and we had a lot of happiness and fun and company. Oh, so you have had sex during the marriage? By sex. By sex. By, by sex. What like, does that mean? You wouldn't know because you're into that lesbian chic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, What is he not to worry. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. making accusations. accusations. I don't care. Just answer my question. What? What is bisex? He has sex with men and women. Okay. That's all I was asking, Mark. Oh, is that all? Mark's an open hey, book. I have no problem with I, the it. Reason I like you Mark, ask a question, I'll I like give you Mark, an answer. I like Mark because he's an open book. 
<laughs> oh, boy. Am I, I don't want to tell you the title book. of that book. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, you know, it's Take It now From what, a Bigger Mouth. Now, what infirmity does um, Susie Chaffee have? None. Really? None. She's got both her legs. Should I bring her here tomorrow morning? Yes. After our date? Please. Okay, now, Susie, I know you're listening. And I know Jean-Claude is listening, and he's my evening date tonight. Right, Jean-Claude? So I should bring them both here, right? Oh, yes. Right. It's not exactly menage a trois because they don't even know one another. Menage a trois. <laughs> I know. It's something in your family. So, in other words, what? Mark is saying he's had sex with women during this marriage. Oh, my. Mark. I'm not saying that you are. You just said you had bi sex. Bi sex. Bi oh, sex. You'll really have to read the book, won't you? What book? You, you were the one out? trashing it. You picked what up is the something book? from the. Thing. Well, what no. you don't have a book out. No, because right now we're suing the uh, Globe for what oh. they did, and when we find the publisher that gave out the manuscript, it'll be even a bigger lawsuit. I see. But it's right, registered in right. Santa Monica Court. He's involved in twenty. Oh, I know. I'm so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you registered? Santa Monica Court. Yes. <laughs> now, don't you want to know about the July second and third at the Celebrity Deli? Right. Why don't Las you Vegas? announce everything you're the doing? The Celebrity Deli. So you, oh, so you can really? get back to your day. You're, like your board. Celebrity I'm not bored. No, no, no. Now you got to hear this. Steve Rossi opened the. Uh, it was there Friday night. I knew you with two his, would link up somehow. Girlfriend. <laughs> yes. Steve she, working with his girlfriend? I don't know. His own, not mine. And she just sings beautiful. Right. Um, just tell me where you're going to be appearing. So, so for the dates. second and third in uh, Vegas, I am going to do the deli. I'm also going to. What do deli? A celebrity yeah. deli. You're going to play Where's a celebrity that? deli. Play and bake. Okay, okay, all right. As long as I do, I can cook too. They have no rugloch on the menu, and I make it. Okay. okay, and then where will you be appearing after that? In the whole month of August, we're going. Uh, it's an ensemble: Barbara McNair, Herb Jeffries, myself. Barbara McNair is playing with you. With you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> poor Barbara McNair. What do you mean, poor Barbara McNair? She's a beautiful person. Great. That's person. what I mean. I feel bad yeah, for her. Yeah, she's a good singer. I used to read her in Playboy really, and, she is and have sex to her singer. image. I gotta tell you, great, great singer. And uh, when we're here in New tell York, tell me where you're gonna be. In here New in New York, Shea Josephine, on oh, Forty Second Street. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of days per week. We're just laying out the days because I'm doing another club that I'm going to this All afternoon. Right. And you'll be there as an entertainer or as a waiter. Oh. <laughs> At Shea Josephine, will you it's be it's waiting it's tables it's or will you? You, be... know, you want to know the truth? If you tell me you will be there one evening, I shall put on a waiter's uniform and I shall serve you. All right, very good. Mark Harris, married <laughs> to Martha Ray. We always look forward to his exploits. Oh, he's incredible. He will check in with well, us tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to bring them. You're going to bring yeah, Susie yeah. Chaffee with you. I Chaffey. want to thank Chaffee. Right. Susie Chaffee. And we will take a break. Then we'll come back and do the news. Take a few phone calls, and we'll be back right after these. All words. right. Thank you, thank Mark you. Harris. Howard Stern. All right. We're back with the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> well, uh, we just had Mark Harrison here. Doesn't he just make you laugh being yeah. in the room? He holds you captive. He's not captivating. He holds you captive. <laughs> Robin came in here to say hello to Mark during the commercials, and Mark just starts speaking French, telling you a story about France and speaking French. Robin, I'm like, oh, poor Robin. <laughs> she can't escape. And he talks so fast. And you don't know what he's saying. He doesn't. He doesn't. See, I don't even know if he's really saying French Robin, words. I walked up behind the girl at the counter and I said, Gaston, je ne peux pas manger ce passage. <laughs> then what happened, Mark? Oh, she just died. It was awful. It was unbelievable. And they know me from your show. They don't know me as Mr. Martha Ray. <laughs> they say, is that Mark Harris from the Howard Stern Show? So I said to her, I was on the Champs-Élysées. Even the throng. And I screamed. And they took me away and interrogated me. There is nothing remote about any place on the Champs-Élysées, but he says a remote part. <laughs> we should have brought him to Cleveland. Because it's one time when we did the uh, funeral in Los Angeles for Mark O'Brien. Oh, we, he was a highlight. We brought Mark Harris, and the fans were throwing so much stuff at him. But he was dodging and c continuing to sing. He never stopped for a minute. He won't stop. <laughs> it would have been great to see with your action in Cleveland. <laughs> People don't call me Mr. Martha Ray. They just yell, hey, homo. <laughs> <laughs> and then he started screaming about, I said, did you have sex with a man during your marriage to Martha Ray? And he said, buy sex, buy sex. I thought he said he had to buy sex. <laughs> buy sex. Actually, someone just faxed that. Divine man. Someone said, I think Mar Mark Harris is trying to tell you he was trying to buy sex. <laughs> Not enough money. <laughs> Man. Dear Mr. Clinton, I'm writing you this song. 
Gone. <laughs> you made me love you. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. President Clinton, I did write this song for you to thank you on behalf of Martha Ray. Whoopie do. Whoopie do. That guy's out of the time tunnel. And then he tells us he does rap. <laughs> and then he started rapping to Robin doing rap. It was like gay rap. rap. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He's weird, but I love him. I love that guy. I can't imagine what a quiet moment would be like with him. I just know he's having a lot of fun. You think? Yeah. Absolutely. More fun than I am. He's certainly high on life. You made me love you. The legs fell off of Martha. <laughs> the legs fell off of Martha. Uh. I'm only going to indulge him for three seconds now, Robin. That's all you can say. Yeah, Mark Harris, who was married to Martha Ray. Martha Ray is... Uh, Old time movie actress, comedian who, at the, you know, she's been through many husbands. Even before our time. Right. She married a lot of guys, and then when she got very sick, she married Mark Harris. I figured I'd wear the conservative one first. Are you a gay bolero? Uh... This is my um, costume, and I can't hear. Wait a minute, I'm going to take this off. He just had a facelift, and he married Martha Ray. I saw more people fax me saying after they saw Mark Harris. On TV, yeah. they have never laughed harder in their life. <laughs> I don't know. I Would you have a facelift and yeah, liposuction? Yeah. yeah. And you, and you're well, wearing a no, no. Okay, watch. A this tunic is, around your head. This is my uh, post-op garment. I figured if you could afford plastic surgery. And what are you now in the fashion business? What the, what, what heterosexual man is going to marry? Who is going to wear me? that? <laughs> no. What heterosexual man? No, this is a costume. I'm going to show you why it goes both ways. If you let me explain that. Yeah. You see this vest? Yeah. Watch. Watch. Oh. First, what, the name of your company is Both Ways Clothing? Right. Which implies men or women can wear it? Unisex, yeah. Well, I'm a man. I ain't wearing wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. No. Same vest. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a fashion show. <laughs> Why don't you just call your stuff like fag garb? Yeah. Uh, what is that? Same vest. What do you mean same vest? Same vest. Same body. No sequin. Okay. Oh, so that's a guy. Wait. Is that what you're saying? I don't women understand what it is. So which is, does a woman wear that or a man wear that? Either way. Both oh, ways. I see. You and your wife. Yeah. And here it is again. Huh? All black. See, he... All right, go ahead. I don't want to insult the game with Nah, well, don't insult <laughs> Did you give that tape to Sally Needleman? Would you stop coming in here and doing inside information on people oh, in my family? Great lady. Such a whack job. Okay, there. Yeah, here's the same vest again. Jetson. All different... Yeah, that's what George Jetson wore to work. <laughs> he he looks like jor <laughs> Yeah, you look like jor from <laughs> Superman, the guy who sent his, his only son, Kal-El, to uh, the planet Earth. Now, here comes a clown outfit, I believe. Right. Uh, this is something designed for a modern-day clown? What? You're gonna look, this this one's guy's really crazy. Gonna this is what Bozo wears when he wants to go out for an evening. No, this is what Bozo wears when he goes to Fire Island for the weekend. What, Gary? Wait, wait. Oh, Robert, wait. So that, hey. No, I understand. Some hey, look, Robert, it's Homo the Clown. <laughs> look. What? Are you crazy? You're is this put, the wait, jacket what? he wanted to design for you? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's much more stupid. You, you don't like this? <laughs> what? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, the lapels come off? Change them. You, oh, I see. You can constantly change your jackets. Oh, very creative. Right? Very nice. <laughs> you didn't expect that? No, didn't expect it. Bring in the girl. Now, what is this we're going to say? Well, wait. <laughs> The <laughs> who's financing you in the garment business? Is this Martha Ray who's financing no, you? she's not allowed to. She's what do you allowed. mean she's not allowed to? She's in a conservatorship. What's left of it. Do you mean, oh, the step I mean you built your own private disco? Or are you taking that off? Oh, there he is. There with he is. Right it's here. very... Your very face stiff. is all scarred. It's all scarred, of course. It's Hi, really old. Hi, girls. Hello, Howard. Hello. Uh, Good morning, Governor Mr. Stark. Thank you. Where's planet... I mean, what kind of... Are you <laughs> Now, um... These are models, Howard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who finances this garbage, Ray Charles? All right, anyway, so, uh, this is... Mark, you designed these dresses? Well, she designed these. No, I she does uh, the dresses. I uh, do the vest, the jackets, the slacks. Mark, if you were a woman, is this what you would like to wear? No. No? No. You would wear something what? Without fringes. Oh, I see. Why not? Do you like fringes? With braids, with fringes. And these are your partners in your... Just this lady. Just this lady. Not yet. And where are you from, Columbia? 
No, I'm Italian, Howard. Excuse me, Italian? Yes. Oh. I'm in from Zurich, Switzerland. I didn't realize you were Italian yeah. from Switzerland. Usually most Italians are from Italy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would they have Italy if they're coming from Zurich? Right. I know, but I'm Italian. Really. Okay. So oh, you are Italian. And guess what, Howard? What? I already made a dress for your sister. Oh, did you really? Yeah, black suede with rhinestones. Oh, good. She needs that because, she needs uh, that. yeah, she's going somewhere. <laughs> that was a while ago. That's right. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah. And, um... Oh, I see. You designed the dress for her in the right. past. Okay. And girls, these are very nice dresses. Unfortunately, I'm on the radio. Well, I mean, maybe yeah, some people see this on TV tonight. But uh, And Mark and, and you have formed a company? Well, we started the factory. You remember Hollywood Squares when I wore that green jacket? Yeah. She sewed that up for me. I and see. And that company was started uh, a year before I got divorced from the first wife. I see. And did you... Um, now, this... Um, did you dig up Annie Oakley out of her grave and uh, design it up? Because Annie Oakley used to wear uh, dresses that like outfit. that. This yeah. is actually my design. I do this at my own company. It's Josephine Originals. I'm in Oceanside. Talking to any one of the microphones. I'm in Oceanside. Josephine Originals. Oh. I'm in Oceanside. Oceanside. Well, that's different. I didn't realize. Okay. You yes. do custom work and I specialize in leather suede. Well, very nice. And I teach at the Fashion Institute of New York. And has Mark uh, told... What do you think of the fact that Mark married a 75-year-old woman? This is none of my business. He claims he has made love to a 75 year old well this is victim. a woman obviously in the fashion industry and you see some talent in mark oh this is my not my decision mark is individual his own person right to do whatever he so wants so you don't I see any talent okay. 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 you see talent Mark is a financer, correct? What? That she understood the question, Mark. <laughs> you want to reword it? She said it's not her business. She says I don't answer those questions. No. Have you ever slept with a 75 year old man? No. No. Will I ever? No. No. We're going to be 75. No. But, can't, but can you believe Mark with his uh, wife? I mean, aren't you a little shocked by that? I don't care. You don't care? No. It doesn't bother you in the least? It's none of my business. None of your business? No. Do you think he really loved Martha Ray, or do you think that he was after her money? I have no idea. You don't even think about it? No. No. It doesn't concern, no. concern you? It doesn't concern you? I it? don't think my things that doesn't concern me. I waste my time on my own thinking. You do. You're wasting right. your own time with your own thinking. <laughs> my own thinking. Yeah, exactly. That's what Gary does, too. He wastes his time with his own thinking. So, in other words, uh, you are uh, in business with Mark, but you don't really see well, any talent there. Well, this is there. actually my company. Uh, my own business is designing. I see. Mark can sing, I guess. I heard him singing. It's fine. You guess he can him. sing. That's yeah, what he does, too. I yes. wish him a lot of luck. Does he have any talent as a designer, though? I mean, uh, these clothes uh, that he designed. He's okay to put color together in coordination. He comes up Who with did the wacko jackets? ideas, yeah. and uh -huh. I profession from there. Oh, you, he comes up with the wacko ideas, right. and you make them normal. No, you see, this, this But is the normal. purple one is his design. It's his design. Yeah. You don't want to take any credit for that. No. You but have nothing to do with that. Right. But I take credit for the rest. Okay. Right. How did it look? Uh, this, I can't this see looks it. fine. Gary's standing in front of it. She's wearing a bathing suit underneath. <laughs> it looks beautiful. It really does. Too bad we couldn't change again and show the rest of the clothes. So in other words, let me understand this, Mark. You're really not in a new business. Uh, no, it's my former business. I started this her woman, factory years ago. This woman you started the, her factory. Her factory, and she I, took it up. I, and is he for real? Line. Did he really start your factory? No, really, as you he's lying, right? Right. right? I just used the name because he, he was took over my the name, and I took up the so name. So Mark really does all these businesses he claims to be in, he's really not in, right? This is mine. The right. other, I don't know. is hers. These mm -hmm. are mine. She doesn't do this. The cloth. I only do the leather and suede. I see. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't see it when we open up. Nobody knows to everyone. And what is the name of your clothes, Mark? Both ways. Both ways. Both ways. And she's going to cut the suede and leather for me that I designed, uh, not uh, her stuff. Well, here he is again in another new business, well, Mark Harris. That is very confusing. I, I, I like see this gift for Michael Jackson. Bring it in. A gift for Michael yeah, Jackson? Well, yeah, for his, his wedding gift. Nine-year-old boy. Anyway. <laughs> nine-year-old Anyway, I, can I tell you something? What? I'm going to be in my family back. They all should vote for you. Because I think you're going to fix all the potholes. Oh, oh vote yours. for me. Oh, you're yeah, going to vote for me. Yeah. I thought she said Shavut. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. And who is this? This is a gift, a wedding gift to Michael Jackson. That's and the what boy? Is Josephine's son, Rick. <laughs> oh, hi. How you doing, Rick? Oh, good. Good morning. <laughs> okay, hi. Speak up. That's a sick joke, uh, Mark, to say that you're going to give a boy to Michael Jackson. Not well, no, that's, that's Phil Moronic's line. He said, go in with it. <laughs> not sick. my son. Take the coat off. Show the best. You would never be with Michael Jackson, am I right, son? Never. Uh, of course not. Obviously, you're talking about the outfit for Michael Jackson. Yeah, definitely. Right. right. I see. Very nice. Look at that. Who designed that? Definitely. A blind man or Mark? No, she's going to take her credit on that. <laughs> no, no, that actually is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you. See, this is ice. Very nice. So, in other words, you did all the nice ones and Mark does right, all the kooky ones. I did the kooky ones. All right. Very good. All right. Now, everyone get out of here. Okay. I mean, it was a pleasure meeting everyone. All right. Take care, everyone. Good luck with these many businesses.
Thank God we're in radio, he's not in the garden. Singing, he's, he's singing, he's singing. Do you have a song? Where's one of Mark's songs? Where's that Clinton song? Where's one of the new ones that we haven't heard yet? No, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, now that he's going to sing. Didn't see the, I didn't see the E channel, but there were so many calls on that thing. Yeah, well, you were a real hit. What, was it crazy or what? Well, yeah, you looked retarded in that stupid Yeah, you had a big white lift. thing wrapped yeah, around I your can't head. I didn't feel my neck, but I was myself. Yes, you were yourself. That. That's why people liked it. So you're happy with your new face? And uh, yeah, definitely the neck, the face is you know it's just firmer. Uh -huh. it looks exactly the same. Absolutely. <laughs> you think that you don't see a change? Now what is this song called? I'm not your queen. Oh, that was funny. I did that in London. Uh, it's just. Are you yeah. referring to your own sexuality? No, I'm referring to the royalty, the yeah. family. Oh, well, listen to the, the words. They're a little crazy. It's just a little crazy. And did you design that Zorro outfit you're wearing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did. Yeah. This is all cloth, not the linen. No. See, I'm a 31 waist now. Good for you. Because of the surgery? Yeah. Not through any willpower or self-determination. Uh, no, I had it right. sucked out of him. <laughs> like many things. He had the willpower <laughs> sucked out of him. Right. The willpower. <laughs> all right, here's a quick Mark Harris song. Three. I feel gay just listening to this. <laughs> oh. Don't you? You know, there's always this little first section that yeah. Mark does. Slow. Right. Yeah. That's where he vamps out and he's like, you know, yeah. slinky, and then all of a sudden he rips his clothes off. You can could, you could actually see the disco ball being turned on. Yeah, something big is about to happen. Yeah, the two leaders of the. My NATO. country tears away. Sweet land of liberty. I'm not your queen. I'm not your queen. You have a good voice there, Robin. While visiting in old London town, I saw Prime Minister Major. He's such a joke, there's nothing under his cloak That my heart goes out to England And my... Oh, what? Sphincters in 16 cities are quivering right now. <laughs> well, I had, a, I had a play to the British humor. You know, their humor is different than ours. Oh, oh, it must be. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't get it myself. And you understand humor in all countries. Uh, yeah. I think so. I Mark's Every, amazing. Everything around the world. Is People well. are laughing at him in every country. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. You're out of your mind. I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, here's a guy who married Martha Ray. I mean, it's, it's, he's wild. It's, and I thought uh, that was know, perfectly it's, normal. He's odd, know. yes. What is it, Bob? Do you want to play Mark the song that someone wrote for him? Oh, yeah, that's a right good one. Oh, you got it? Is this it? Somebody wrote a song for Mark? I yeah. I'm impressed. I'm this is a, um, this guy was so inspired by Mark, he's sort of a Mark Harris impersonator. Hmm. That is a compliment. This next number goes out to the Dice Man. I don't know why he says that. But... Dear President Clinton, I drop my drawers for you. <laughs> hey, hey, good You're writing, so... good writing. But you're really kind of cute. We could have a fine romance. I'll let any celebrity in my pants. <laughs> I'm sure Martha wouldn't mind. She's comatose. <laughs> I'm just a fairy who married in the power. Oh, for goodness uh, sake. No, 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 no. Where's your President Clinton song? I gotta hear that now. Uh, yeah, that's getting around. That Clinton song. Yeah, everyone Wait, loves that. Is that the old one or the new one? The new one. Oh, the new one is funny. Yeah. Oh, he fixed it. Yeah. Why was Clinton born? <laughs> Do you call that living? What will we get from what he's giving? Now Martha's locked in a disco tower. <laughs> well, I'm looking for a name, a little fame, a spouse who isn't senile and maimed. <laughs> who cares about his wife and all of his scandals, his foreign affairs? Hey. He can't handle a woman. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It'll take the 
Martha's gone to marry Jimmy Stewart and write ten more songs. I'll be big in Europe. Who knows? Maybe I'll run into David Hasselhoff. I'll be big in Europe. If Jerry Lewis can do it, I certainly can. I'll be big in Europe. All right, very good. Oh, thank you, Howard. All right, Mark Harris, uh, good luck with your facelift, your new business, of course, um, yes. with uh, the clothes clothing line and uh, your big uh, opening show. Where is that going to be again? Shea Josephine? Shea Josephine. Nothing to do with the de designer. Josephine Baker's Club. 42nd and... Uh, so she was dead, Josephine Baker. She is. Well, I didn't yeah, know she had a club. Her spirit lives on. Yeah. Her son. Her son, Jean-Claude. So you'll be at uh, Faye jo uh, Club Josephine. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> right, Very good. Uh, Mark yeah. Harris, who is, goes both ways, by the both way. Men and women uh, will want to go see Whoever is available. I should have the stamina. <laughs> there he goes. Mark Harris. Collecting all of his different clothes, his wares. He's just had his face sucked out, his hips sucked out, and now he's going to have his brain sucked out. <laughs> It'll be the minor operation. minor operation. It'll be in and out. They don't even have to take him to the hospital for it. They're going to do it right in the doctor's office. No blackening of anything. Yeah, it's called outpatient. Don't even have to put him to sleep. No. <laughs> you <laughs> think like that's a, it? They suck it right out of your ear. <laughs> that's fantastic. I look thinner already. <laughs> The top of my head is so much thinner. Oh, it's flatter. <laughs> How gay do you feel right now? It's odd. It's an odd feeling. <laughs> After seeing him. Like, I could say Shay Josephine and not sound gay. He goes, I'll be a Shay Josephine. Of course, you don't know what that is. And you gotta wrap a towel, ahead, a towel around your head when you do it. <laughs> Where's that towel? Yeah, he comes in here with a, a blue scarf wrapped around his head today. Because, yeah. of course, he couldn't wear the same bandage every day. It's no. got to be a different color. Right. <laughs> Wrap a towel around your head. What are you thinking? <laughs> How's that? Yeah, there it is. Does that look a little better? Yeah. yeah. Where will you be appearing? I'll be appearing at Che Josephine. Of course, you don't know what that is. The way, he, the way he says shed, Josephine. Shed. You want to rope the place off. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break, Robin. Let's do the news when we get back, right okay. after these words. All right, let me take a break and then bring Mark Harris in here. Well, maybe I'll bring him in right now. Then we'll take a break in a few minutes. This is like an unveiling. Yeah. Mark Harris is the guy who married that the, the Martha Ray. She's a real old woman who's had, like, strokes and her legs removed and stuff. And he married her. And seems to constantly be jetting around the country. I don't know when he ever sees his wife. I don't know either, but he sent us a tape the other day of himself getting a facelift. The actual operation, the doctor allowed a camera in there. It's amazing. Oh, and now with no shame, he walks around no. with bandages on his face. Look at that. Why are they calling me Jose Iber? Robin, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you could say hello. Look, when it comes off, this is what I'm going to look like. A Let's picture see. of me ten years ago. Well. First of all, he didn't need a facelift, and yes, now he I looks. I did the before pictures, Howard. Please, yeah, please, nothing. You look what? fine. You were fine. You were just fat. You got a double chin. Yeah, well, they sucked that out too. Really? Got the fat sucked out of me. Diet would have worked. Yeah, couldn't you stop eating for you know, a second? I, no. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> you look really good. Oh, good. And that hat has a ponytail now, on it. Yeah. You know, I want to tell you that's a scoop. It's Martha Ray's hat. So here, yeah, they, they now say that I'm wearing her clothing. Okay. All right. Anyway, here's the point. Mark Harris is a guy who married a woman who was like seventy something years old when he married her. And did comedy when it was funny. And she was like three quarters dead because she was really in bad shape. Yeah. She uh, had stroked out. Yeah, but she wasn't three quarters dead, truthfully. Well, I mean, come no. on, her body was pretty well shot. On one side, she was okay. She spoke yeah, that's three quarters of her, her mind, body. Everything was fine. No, no, no. Now it's a sad story. So but why I, are you with her? Why are you busy getting facelifts? Yeah, why, why does because, she care what you look like? Have, yeah, does she really care if you look I good? I have to go to work. You're missing the point. She's lost more than half of her estate. Right. Oh, so and, now you're and, admitting you were getting money from her. No, but uh, she's going to live. What am I going to do, leave her? I told you I wouldn't. Okay. And so I'm going on a tour. Right. Uh, okay, I'm opening here <laughs> August 4th, 5th and 6th. It's Shea Josephine's. And then the Omni Hotel in Washington, D.C. How much money can you... Do you get the money from the door? Is from that the door in uh, Do you Washington? get paid in advance? No. 
No, so you'll be a Shay Josephine. Shay Joseph. Does Joseph, that sound? You wouldn't know who Josephine Baker was. Only a gay guy would play Shay Josephine. It's a Josephine. straight play. No, I don't oh. say. I don't oh, say. Oh, okay. I know it's uh, straight, but oh, yeah. only a gay guy would play something called Shay Josephine. Gay guy, right. Well, that's gay guy's well, that's where he went. He just was drawn there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a great play. I'm playing Shay Josephine. You too, huh? <laughs> So anyway, he's touring and he's got bandages on from he his face. Like lift. a war victim. Yeah. Well, I'm married to Martha Ray. You know, she nursed the wounded. But I did my rehearsal for her the other day and it brought a smile to her face, and that's worth it all. Okay. So you, so he went out and got a facelift, which he didn't need. He's. He, Will the bandages be off by the time you perform? Well, let's put it this way: I'm opening my own clothing company here, and Friday I'm exposing some of the the wares. You know, it's called Both Ways Clothing Company, and uh -oh. so on Herald Square. <laughs> because you go both ways. Consider that fact, but not lately. Look at me. Right. Do you know what trauma was done when they sucked out that fat? Yeah, Seriously. well, he sends us a video of the doctor yeah. sucking the fat out of his face and cutting off his whole Ooh, face. Cutting around his ear. And we're sitting there, why did he say, he goes, this tape is available to air on E. <laughs> yeah, sell yeah. it, sell it. All right, maybe we'll show it on the E show tonight, <laughs> his operation. They've, but they've already taken it. Yeah, good. Here's... Howard, here's uh, Mark's song that uh, was commissioned by the Republican Party. Yeah, now, what is this? Now, first of all, so let me just, just for those of you who are tuning in for the first time on Mark Harris. Yes, inform so them. He marries Martha Ray, who, like, a long time ago was a movie star. And a and, television and comedian. And a television yeah. comedian. And radio. She did that. And radio and Broadway. And Mark, like, Dolly. a lot of, lot of gay men. Gay men, okay. It, well, bisexual. Well, that's the I could care. All right. I don't, I don't. Calm down. Mark, like, a lot of gay guys. I lost my guys. pianist. He's at another terminal someplace. You lost your pianist? Pianist. He's oh. at another terminal. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what he's talking about. Doesn't matter. I brought, talking about? I brought the tracks. I brought the tracks. Okay. 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 Hey, smell them out. <laughs> so, like a lot of gay guys, he's really into a certain era. Yeah, they're into the 30s and 40s when Hollywood was really glamorous. He just said Martha Ray did comedy when it was funny. Right. Yeah. Oh, you're sharp, brother. <laughs> yeah, gay guys all think life was better in the 30s and yes. 40s. Meanwhile, every one of them was in the closet and they couldn't come out. Right. Well, I'm claustrophobic, so we got a problem with that. If you had said you were bisexual in the 30s or 40s, you would have been finished. Right. But so, I wasn't here. You know, I, I'm looking at yeah, Mark Harris. Right. He's too funny for I that. Want to put no, no, you, no, I'm not. I want to put you in a movie called The Gay Mummy. <laughs> He's got no. bandages wrapped I'll all over his I'll give you a better one. You yeah. know, the, the video, I didn't look at the video. The one you screamed, the, where they cut me up. And yes. All, I didn't, but that's a good one for a new one on, like, a horror film where they're cutting in and instead of sucking the blood that way from the neck, you could take it all out, you know. So he went and had, a, why he had to have a facelift, I'm not sure, because he's married and devoted to Martha Ray. Guy, but, I mean, he is vain, I suppose. Have you made love to any men since your marriage to Martha Ray? When you say made love, that kind of takes romance. Sex, have you had sex with any men? You could kind of call it me. Mutual masturbation. All right, you've said that five times already. Don't please, please, yeah, please. Really, it's terrible. But a little order in the whole order. In the court. Order in the court. The conversation's becoming. You a You look terrible. ridiculous with that. What? <laughs> he looks like a nun. Yeah. <laughs> none of this and none of that. He would have been better off getting hit by a bus driven by a plastic surgeon than what, what he did to his face. Not to be. No. You, I'll bet you you go for surgery when you're my age. I bet you I don't. When you're my age, you would. He's about ten minutes from that. Yeah. How old are you? Mm -hmm. I know, I just look better. I'm 45. You are? Yes. Yeah, I don't think you look that much different. And also, I plan to keep myself in shape and not let myself get double chins and stuff. What about the handlebars? I don't have that. I'm working on getting rid of it. Oh, okay. Well, that's... that's you good. had that sucked out, too? Oh, I had it all sucked out. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. The doctor wants a plug. <laughs> yeah, the, doctor, <laughs> the doctor wants a plug. Yeah? I said, just do the operation. All right. Dr. Glick. So you have had... Uh, some sort of homosexual relations. Some sort. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, you don't have to keep saying that again. I took this matters is a into show. my hands, and he right. took matters into his hands. All right, so, so here's the happened. point. Here's what? the point. Okay. So you are not faithful to Do Martha Ray. She and I never had different. He claims to have had sex with a 75-year-old stroke victim. Oh, he does. Yes, I do. But yeah, what were you carrying on? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it sounds so like. I mean, as I if I'm wrong. Today, I just I know. can't take I it. Can't. It's crazy. I know he's too gay to You look so beautiful. You really do. I'm you not look, I can't believe. Up. Aren't you? Don't most people who get a oh, facelift? Okay, well. Don't most people who get a facelift? Get rid stay of away. Stay away till the bandages are off. <laughs> right. Oh, la I was here last week, you know, uh, doing my uh, rehearsal. Do people look at you like you're in an accident? No, they look at me like I'm Jose Bear. Okay. Although, I'll tell you this truth. Friday when I was Jose going home to L.A. Bear. The so guy you, called himself oh, not, Jose. Yeah. Whatever. Did you, Jose? Did you ever 
please. Wait, just, the just girl who's listening to this uh, this morning, very, very beautiful girl, but girl, 35 years old. It had no effect on you whatsoever. Not at all. And I was um, leaving the apartment uh, on the Upper East Side of Jean-Claude, who owns Shea Josephine Baker, and nothing happens other than conversation. <laughs> so let's get that up front. And it stops on the seventh floor, and she comes... And, you know, with more bandage in this. I said, uh, not Mr. Martha Ray? She says, oh, no, I listen to you on Howard Stern every time you're there. Okay, very good story. Very it's funny. Story. Very funny story. I was, it was funny I'm because I couldn't that. believe she knew me. You know, I feel so bad for this Martha Ray. The, the deader she gets, the gayer he gets. <laughs> I mean, it's just he, unbelievable. He came in here straight when he first got he, here. I think, <laughs> I think they, they gave him gay enhancing drugs. Yes. Well, let's let's put it this way. My act works. Liberace and Peter Allen. Now, when you were with this, dead. when you I'm were here. with this other man, oh. did you uh, stain the movie theater? Oh. I don't. Uh, no, 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 this was not done in a movie theater. No, this no, was no done he was at a rest stop. Was this at your? <laughs> were you in a rest stop? No, and I'm. Weren't not, you I'm afraid not. that you'd end up in the Inquirer, being with another man, and being married to Martha? Well, if no. Nobody didn't notice I love publicity. I see. So you yeah. wouldn't even care. Who and the man, cares? and the man, I'm not asking was for his name. Was it somebody famous? Yeah, was it someone famous? No, but I doubt that you should pronounce it. Oh, it's some one of those German guys. Are you with a German guy? Or those no, French guys. Were you with a German or a French guy? No, let's just say a Vita Zan. <laughs> <laughs> So you satisfied your gay tooth. You know how some people have a sweet no. tooth? It's a gay tooth. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's a cap. And no, when you no, made love to Martha no, Ray, you, you still stand by your statement that you made love to Martha Ray? The statement and the fact that it happened, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you're saying you went all the way? Yes. Yes. And yeah. I did all the surgery. Was that the last sex that she had with you? Well, uh, you know, I'm going to have to ask the nurse. They chart everything. Really? Yeah. So the last man that Martha Ray will have on this planet. Oh. I don't know. I'm the one you. flying all over the world. I could get killed. And you were she fully, and me. you were, and you were fully, uh, you satisfied her completely. Yes. And you were aroused. Yes. Oh. Oh, you know he was. I didn't have by a seventy-five-year-old stroke. Uh, uh, I Martha didn't have Ray. No, not a seventy-five-year-old stroke. I had face surgery. surgery. I'm sorry, Robin. I can't hear it you was over not his. Not a seventy-five-year-old stroke victim to Mark. Right. That you got was that Martha right. Ray. He was having sex with That's Hollywood right. history. That's right. She is smart. Look at her. <laughs> All right. You are. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you claim. Let me take a break because now you, you are here to claim. Yes. You are claiming that the Republican Party contacted you. I am endorsing you. I am. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. Listen you don't want to hear that. Okay, whatever. You are claiming the Republican they, Party called you Republican on the phone. Party. A representative of the Long Island chapter. When he heard this song, the way I did it for Stern, he said, "Do me a favor. Would you send me a tape, which I did Monday Saturday?" You are against President Clinton. You know that. Why are you against him? He gave Martha Ray the medal. He gave her a medal oh, of honor. let's not even go into that. What, 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 he gave her... the leg to get it? Come on, what did he give? He gave uh, Senator Fulbright the Medal of Freedom before her, months before her, and he promised that she would get so it. So that is why you're against the president. Out of all no, the important issues the in the world. No, the country is going down the dumps. Yeah. Why do you say that? Give me evidence that the country well, is going down the dumps. Mark looks at his Just life. And... No, not my life. You know who kills no. me? i got to say something serious for a second. You know who kills me? Who? This Jerry Falwell. Yes. Oh, disgusting, yeah. Uh, this Jerry Fulwell. Well, I see you him, agree with him, Mark. I see him on TV every you minute knocking President Clinton, right? Uh, every minute. This guy's supposed to be a religious guy, a preacher. There's nothing about Jesus. No. The second Clinton got in office, this guy takes to the airwaves immediately. There's no respect for the presidency, regardless of whether the guy's a Republican or Democrat. Right away, he's calling him Slick Willie. They're both of him and that limbo. They're no calling respect him. for the office. No nothing. respect for the office. Now, listen to this. you gotta, you got to hear this one. And within two seconds... This Jerry Falwell is selling tapes. I got uh, the inside scoop on Whitewater. I got the inside scoop on uh, uh, President Clinton having sex with a girl. You know, the, 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 the supposed, uh, what do we, the Paula Jones. Sexual harassment. Yeah. What sexual harassment? He didn't, have, he didn't even have sex with this woman, mind you. She's and she claiming, didn't work for him. Yeah, she came up to a room after he said, you're a knockout. And uh, he asked her if she wanted to have sex. And she said no, and she left. That's, what her, that's her lawsuit. I got to see this lawsuit. So this Falwell, who's supposed to be a religious guy, is now running around with tapes. This is what his big problem is. When George Bush was in office and his son was involved with an SNL scandal, I didn't see Jerry Falwell with one friggin' tape. That would have made a good tape. Where was Jerry Falwell's tape then? I never saw anything well, like Jerry it. Jerry could care less about old people spending their last dime and losing it. Right. Sit and get tapes from Jerry Falwell. Why didn't he talk about God, that freak? 
Speaking of freaks, Mark, <laughs> let me ask you something. I don't like Jerry. All right, all right. Let me, let me ask you something. About? The Republican Party contacted you to write a song about President Clinton? They heard the song I wrote for you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this one. Not this one. No. Another one. But go with this one. Okay. Oh, no. This is the president. Yeah, he got president the wrong one. Clinton. He has the wrong one. I did write this song for you. You're going to write Thank that's you. the wrong one. On behalf of right the Martha Ray. I know we had our problems. I really don't know why. The medal wasn't sooner. You didn't try. <laughs> But I enjoy D.C. And that's a very special memory. Stop for a second. Let me ask you something. E -E. You, you, you cut off the E.E. Oh, e -E. Give him the E.E. -E. Memory. Go ahead. Plug it. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Just, let's jump. You are our leader. <laughs> and yes, you have some power. But no more Jennifer Flowers. All right, all right, turn this over a second. Yeah. Wait a second. You listen to this and you feel that this is good. Yes, I feel it good. You do. Do, do, yeah. do. Where would you rate yourself as a singer and Are a you uh, a Whitney Houston? No, I'm the beautiful Mark Russell. No, really, no, where are you? No, no where are you on a scale of one to ten? Are you Are you a five? Are you an eight? Are you a nine? What are you? Sir, be honest. I don't take my singing seriously, and you, you shouldn't either. Oh, you don't? No. No, he's no. saying he's a comedian. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. Well, you said Mark Russell. Yeah, okay, you call him a comedian? What he's do just, you call him? He's just telling the truth, too. Let me ask you, is it possible to get throat surgery next? Uh, <laughs> all right, listen, let's I take a break. I love the way he grinds out a song. You are Lee. Yeah, well, you have to see it visually as you're coming to my show, right, Robin? Yes, I, I am. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I will be there. I am writing this song to say. That's not me. You see, it's the wrong word, too. So. <laughs> Look at that guy. Yeah. Did you have a moment? Yeah. Well, he, he's the one that really needed the plastic surgery. But, I was going to say, if, if that Mark bulbous had nose, Billy's she, face. No, oh, forget about it. I do the W.C. Fields Life All right, story. let me take a break, and we'll hear quickly the song, because I have things to move along to. Yes. <laughs> we'll take a break. Go for it. And now we'll listen to Miss Jones. <laughs> all the gossip. Gossip. All the man. Hey, high kicks on this I one. know the Hey, you did inhale <laughs> Still going All right, I'll take a break and we'll hear this song. <laughs> a new song for the Republican Party? I contend that the Republican Party never contacted Mark Harris. Well, I'll, 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 have I just, the, I'll have the guy quote. What is the guy's name Bill that contacted you? Steve Rosner. And Steve Rosner's position with the Republican Party is what? I'll let him call you. Let him no, what is his it. What is his I position? I don't know. New York chapter. All right, I'll, you get him on the phone for me during the commercial. I can't get him on the commercial. Uh, I'm what? meeting him at the Friars Club at 12 o'clock for lunch. You are. Yes, and I am. Steve Rosner is who? Yeah, let him tell you. What I'm, does he do? I will let him tell you everything. He'll take lunch with him. Better to come from there. I don't know. I don't ask for people's resume. I'm not Louis D. Uh, let me let me take a break and I'll get to the the bottom of this right after these words with Mark Harris. You should be proud the song was yours. Wow. What? What's going on? I know, there's a lot of goofing going on in here. <laughs> on Mark. Of course it will. Not this guy. Mark makes Tom Arnold look honorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I almost said who is Tom Arnold. I know. Yeah. But I you mean, he, he married Roseanne, and I, I knew. I just said another movie star. Uh, I don't think you were in love with, with Martha Ray when you married her. Oh, you think they learned to love each other? We learned. Oh, I don't think they've learned to love each other. I think that <laughs> she, hasn't learned, his name yet. she <laughs> hasn't learned his name yet. We 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 most definitely are spiritually connected. Is that right? No question, no question about it. Because mm. well, she's as old as a ghost, so you're spiritually connected. No, it's and not I'm right when a man this young who has obvious feelings for men marries Martha. Obvious. Ray. I think obvious. he was, he was her nurse and she obvious. married him. I don't know what happened there, but okay, listen, obvious. you're on to a new career. You're damn right. Yeah. Hey, before I talk to Mark Harris. <laughs> Let me tell you about a movie. What movie am I telling everyone about? Pelican. Pelican, Pelican Brief. Brief. Oh. Yeah, I got that movie, Pelican Brief. That's Julia with Roberts? Julia Roberts. The only bad thing is she don't take her clothes off. Oh, you. <laughs> she's, she's above that. Shame. Why like, should she... What part of the movie called for her to take off her clothes? The part where the pelican comes in? <laughs> <laughs> The Pelican Brief. Do you ever read The Pelican Brief? No. It's a really good book. You read it? Yeah. 
then you've read more than three books. Well, you know what happened? After I wrote my book, uh-huh. I got really interested in book writing. So I started reading books, <laughs> and I read two books, and then I gave up on book reading. <laughs> so I read Pelican Brief, yeah. and I read uh, Anne Rice's Dracula. Oh, it's no. Interview with a Vampire. Interview with a Vampire. Yeah, interview with a Vampire. Yeah. So I you read didn't those. read the Vampire Lestat? Yeah, that was the guy's name, Lestat. No, but there's another, there's a sequel to Interview mm-hmm. with a Vampire. Uh, please. Oh, yeah. I, I want to read the sequel, but I don't like to read that much. And then I read a book about Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Well, Superman's about a guy, at least. And he flies. <laughs> and he wears tights. And he wears underpants. <laughs> Outside his tights. That he had surgery. Yeah, and don't tell me you call him weird. No, but I thought he had liposuction. Anyway, uh, Pelican Brief, the reason I rented it at first, the movie, I thought it was she'd be in her briefs. <laughs> That's what they meant. Oh, there was some brand of brief called Pelican. Pelican brief. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying the Pelican's beak. No, Pelican brief. brief. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't. Okay, go ahead. He's not in this century. No, I, I, I can't hear all that much, you know, because it's over my ears. I, I'm thinking of uh, casting Mark Harris in a movie called The Vampire, where he sucks the bank account out of Martha Ray. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be a vampire that sucks both ways. No. No. Mm. Well, you do that, too. <laughs> anyway, the Pelican brief is on pay-per-view all week long. It's a great movie. Yep. See, With the black guy in it. Yeah, there's a black guy in it that's real Denzel good. Denzel Washington. Yeah. Well, you call him the black guy. Everyone knows it. <laughs> See it tonight at 8 p.m. or at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Check your local cable listing or the West Coast. See it Thursday night at 9 p.m. Pacific Time. Call your cable system or check your cable guide for ordering details. I thought it was odd in that movie that she didn't kiss Denzel Washington. You know, if they had been a white guy, they'd have had a love affair. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's very racist. That's true. <laughs> very racist. <laughs> Why are we laughing? You're laughing. You're laughing at you. Happened. You're sitting there with bandages oh, on your oh, face oh, okay. from a facelift. Yeah, you should see what we're looking at. <laughs> you, make, you made love to a 75-year-old stroke victim. That's not Come on. It's That's fun. not All right, I've got another question. You asked him about the guys. Have you made love to any women since you've been married? I could answer that. Ray. No. <laughs> I should take the Fifth Amendment, but I want to tell you something. In the uh, should, OR room, in the OR room, did no, you make love? In the to OR any... room, this black nurse comes over to me just before, you know, the uh, what do you call it? The, the IV. Anesthesia? No, the IV. The IV. And she comes over to me and she looks at me. She says, "I know who you are. I do." And let me tell you, did Martha Ray get her money's worth? I said, "Is that what you think of me?" She says, "Well, it's not a question what I think of you, but my hat's off to that woman." And that's what she said. And if I get to be that age and I have money and I can afford somebody, I hope he performs. <laughs> that's just what she said. She's not kidding. And then she was so kind and, and the thing blew out in my arm and I thought I got a blood clot and I was going to die from it. And then she had to go in another vein and oh, it was a mess. So you got this facelift <laughs> because what? you want to look better for your singing Part career. Part of my act and pu- uh, plugging my clothing that I And now he's sitting with. here. Right. Uh, you'll see him on E tonight. He's got a big yeah. white Tonight, Army bandage. Archard wants to know when. We what? were on the phone last night. Army Archard wants to know. He was so excited. Oh, Army said, Archard is your friend? Yeah, he always was. Oh, he oh, says, oh. "What could you find out?" How when? did you become friends with Army Archer, the famous uh, columnist? columnist? Well, I didn't meet variety. him on a long red carpet. And you hang out at his house? No, I don't hang out. Because you know him through Martha Ray. I see him around, whether it's the Friars Club or wherever. Yeah, you're at the Friars. Uh, you know, Army, I did. Are you supposed great. to be walking around after a facelift? The doctor's very angry. Matter of fact, the doctor is up listening to this show where it must be five o'clock in the morning. But uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, he's up. He is. And he, I said, "How did he tell you, you? Did he tell you not to speak?" Yes. And you're talking anyway. I'm Non-stop. in rehearsal. I have to. I mean, I'm doing another recording. I'm coming out with an album. <laughs> for who? Music for Republican ears. And where where will this be, be released? Who is releasing it? Well, we're going to ask Joe Michaels when he gets here. I lost him. He's at another turn. So you have no recording company. That's we have six songs finished. Yeah, but you have no. But you have no studio. That is. Well, uh, I asked Neil Sedaka. He didn't get back to me yet. You know, uh, I know Neil right, many right. years. You know what? He looks like a gay spaceman. <laughs> gay, gay, gay. <laughs> with the. Uh, you're gay, yes. Yep. Gay. You Let's have a gay president gay, now. Mark, what? You do look gay. You look <laughs> so I gay. I am beautiful. You mean that's what this did? Huh? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let me just do this quickly because people can't take too much of uh, Mark Harris. You'd be surprised. Yeah, gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he constipated? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, gay. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a seizure. Yeah. As we speak, every recording studio in New York is locking its doors. That's right. They're trying to keep Mark, keep Mark Harris out. Oh, no, not when they hear this one. All right, quickly, Mark Harris. Uh, you were contacted, you say, by the Republican Put Party. Put this on and you'll understand The Long Island Republican. But I'm going to sing it with a stern version. Let me, well, hold on a second. Let's see first what you recorded for the Republicans. This is a song against President Clinton. Why was Clinton now, born? What you? No, 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 no. You have three songs here. I have a few, but the one... This, Are all your songs new. about President Clinton? No, no, not at all. I have Rostenkowski, you know, and all those. But here, look. Yes. This here... <laughs> 
Yes. You put the orchestra. Uh, those are orchestrations. All right. But and did you'll you hear? Live? Yes. Did you hear your campaign song? No. Oh, right. that's good. That's really. Uh, you want to sing a song about me right now? I'll let you know. No, do that. you have it on the tape. He someplace. can't sing. He'll bust the No, pitch. I won't. <sighs> Look, He's driving me crazy. No. I have three so, tapes let here me from you. Have, please. Where's the Howard Stern campaign song? Shh. Wait a second. Wait. Okay. Let me just calm everyone down, okay? <laughs> Why are they nervous? No, just calm down. Stop blurting things quiet out. quiet for a moment. Everyone just quiet. You're all excited and you're not making sense. Oh, okay. What was he telling you during the commercial? <laughs> about my genitals. He was talking about laying in bed next to Martha Ray. No, what was he telling you? And having ice packs all around his head. Oh, was, I did, oh, no, there was another part that he was telling you about. Which part? The clothing line? Yeah, the clothing line. What was he yapping about? <laughs> oh, I, I thought you meant the genitals. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, about your oh, genitals, genitals being genitals black and blue? Up. The doctor what, were you not, trying to have sex with Martha Ray again? Doctor, no, well, I was in one bed, and of course she's in another bed. And, you know, at that time I had the ski mask on over the whole face. You know, I just graduated to the strap. Right. So, you know, Martha... You know, was concerned. I, I don't say, but I, I was. She was frightened, probably. Man, okay, but this keeps so asking her. Martha was concerned. Her, her I don't. Nurse, I don't say. Her nurse was uh, icing me down and everything, and and I went to the bathroom. You know, her that. nurse is not taking care of Mark. Yeah. After, after anesthesia, you know, you have a problem to go urinate sometimes. So you have to put ice chips down there. So finally, oh, after geez. three days, oh, I why go would there. you go through this? Well, anyway, the wind up is I look down and I see my penis is really three now from this blood clot. Until we got the doctor who went away. Serves you right. He went on vacation. He called. He says, oh, I should have told you. Whenever there's liposuction, even nearby, that the trauma, you know, to the genitals will cause the blackness and the hanging and all that. Oh, God. God. I should have told you. And Disgusting. nothing works. Nothing works. No. I thought your wiener got caught in the spokes of Martha Ray's wheelchair. <laughs> well, it didn't look that she bad. She rolled over it. <laughs> yeah. But back to the clothing company. All right. Yeah, what were you oh, yapping were about? I was telling you about a coat he has that would be perfect for you. I want to do you your campaign. Mark, Mark is so manic that when we get in commercial, he starts screaming about, you've got to do a ticker tape parade. What are you screaming about? You should do a ticker tape parade. Do you have any common sense? What common? do you mean a ticker tape common parade? No. What yes, is a yes. ticker tape parade? For Howard Stern. Get but everybody excited. what is it? Excited. A ticker tape parade we'll happens on Betty. Wall Street. No, let's do it here on 7th Avenue in the Garment Center and they'll support you. They should you. throw thread or something. And how do you know what yeah, the Garment good, Center man. will support? I spoke to a lot of people. They're all I waiting for you, Howard. Oh, who, I'm opening a show. How many room. people did you speak to? Many. Uh, I like, know Like ten? No, I didn't go fifty. Counting, but I, no, but and you I, just I you and your friends shop in thirteen fifty nine Broadway, one yes. of the buildings where they all hang out, and they're all for you. Yes, and you, they, you, all your friends decide I should have a ticker tape parade. A lot of people I didn't even know. And he's in here seriously going, "How would you must have a ticker you tape should. parade?" And it's like, and who am I talking to? I, I think I'm talking to a wall. <laughs> no, you don't. Do you want to be governor? What are you going? Yeah, yes, about I do it. want to be governor. I believe you. So let's <laughs> thank go you. It. Go for it. I'm going and then he for has it. a okay. jacket that coat. would be perfect a for you. A, a coat. A coat, yes. And what is I'm the coat? I'm going to do it in red, white, and blue for you. It's great. It's a $3,000 coat that I'm copying. I got it from Paris. It's great. Very unusual. <laughs> okay. No joke. All right, listen. No listen. All right. He's, he's just all over the place. All right, okay. you have three songs here. Howard Stern campaign song. That's it. Right. That's the one just for you. That's not the Republican Party. The one I'll sing live will be that. Oh, the one you're going to sing live? Sing live? Yes. All right, we'd, we'd like to hear you sing live first. Would you mind? No, okay, put the tracks on. All right. Put it on right I now. don't get to hear now, what he based this, this on. Would well, you like some echo? Wait, no, no, no. This song was written. No, you guys, don't try anything to make him sound better. You guys throw balls of paper at Mark while he sings. Uh, <laughs> no, no, serious. I mean, if right. you're going to listen to the you words, you should get used laugh. to it, though. If you're going to perform live, people might oh, be Oh, I don't care about Don't throw a tomato at NATO if he stays in the office. But I want to tell you the first part of this song, I'll like. Yankee Doodle Dandy was written by a great comedy writer. <laughs> so dumb. But then it got to work it. Stop yeah, throwing yeah, papers. Yeah, Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, Alan dumb. Byrne. Yes. Very good okay. comedy writer. He wrote the Cuomo part and then I go into my Albany part. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm oh, singing with a strap. All right, here we go. Now, put it up loud. Cuomo is a Namby Pamby. He's an uptight kind of guy. <laughs> it's good New York and it's economy. Now he is coming after me. And you too. Let us yank it for him, sweetheart. That could what be... What is he singing about? I don't know. Oh, you see, you should have went for it. It's very funny. What is he What is he singing about? I'm trying You're to figure out You're never going to get to the Albany bone. I have Cuomo? no... Is, well, he said Bomo or something when he started. Well, I'm wearing a chin strap. Do you want to finish this? <laughs> all right, all right, we'll continue. 
<laughs> I tell you, you put the hoe in homo. <laughs> I tell you, okay, man. Go ahead. Go all ahead. Right, here we go. But the old mini pot, leave alone. <laughs> Namby Pamby went to Albany just to ruin the city. Como that Namby Pamby guy. Now quiet. <laughs> Albany. <laughs> Give us back Albany. <laughs> Can't you see? Better off. Jackie, Jackie's throwing papers <laughs> at Mark, and Mark is shooting him daggers. You want to hear these lyrics or not? Of course we do. <laughs> Jackie takes a ball of paper and hits Mark in the face. With the ball. Is that, this is just gonna, go ahead. This is board, Bill. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Go ahead. Without Cuomo. <laughs> Give us our stay. And New York <laughs> City. <laughs> Give us Albany. Albany. It's a <laughs> up city. <laughs> Walmart's goodbye leaves us no teary eyes. <laughs> And all you guys in the Democratic Party. Well, there were things flying at Mark like you never saw. God Almighty! Oh. Wow, that's some. Uh... That's some song. <laughs> Who'd you write that for? Well, Jackie just blew an airplane into Mark. Oh, and it wasn't a paper airplane. Thank God it wasn't a DC tape. You didn't see he threw a whole news. (laughs) (laughs) Well, whatever keeps him laughing. Democratic party. 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 (laughs) You're gonna listen to Stern. Cause you're gonna learn. What were those styrofoam cups? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was rained on with styrofoam. Such a parade. That's what we got to do for Howard. Such a parade. Well, that is some song. Mm-hmm. And, and, you're gonna, and you want to put that on an, uh, on an album? All Albany. Albany. Hey, thank God Get I don't take it seriously. Albany. Namby, Pamby, Namby, Pamby. Namby, Pamby, Albany. Is this really going to show on television? i got to put my hat on. <laughs> well, you put a bag over your head. This is a mark. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, that Go is ahead. cute. Look at that. Go ahead. That is Do funny. your impression of Mark. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wait. Albany. That is funny. <laughs> why not go to Albany? No, why not? <laughs> give us, give us. Give Albany. us, give us, give us Albany. Namby, pamby, namby, pamby, namby, pamby. Well, this is far Stop easier it, Jackie, than the time the Liberace must have had. Jackie, you, you hit me, you shall be punished. <laughs> All right, very good. Mark Harris, congratulations to you on yeah. your marriage to Martha Ray, oh, your exciting you. new yes, music thank career, you. your face yes, lift, thank you. your liposuction yeah. on your handlebars right. and groin. If ratings go down, I'll have my behind picked up. That's right. right. All right, there he is, the great Mark Harris, and uh, we'll be back right after these words. And we can see you performing where? Shay Josephine. August. 4th, 5th. Six. All right. What time? And then Giando's on the 20th of August, and then the Omni Hotel in Washington, D.C. I think it's 13, 14, 15 September. The All Omni right. Hotel. Yeah. All right, well, there the you go. The clothing that's going to get you. And you're coming out with your own clothing line. Mm-hmm. And what will that be called again? Both Ways Clothing Company. Because of your bisexuality? Well, it's because it's uh, just, you know, unisex, they called it an hour. Right, uh, right. Both. Youth years. I oh, know. I see. All right, both ways. How about oh. queer duds? <laughs> queer duds. I like that now that Calvin gave up jeans. All right. Queer duds. 
You know, gays always like to point out that they think Calvin Klein is gay. I, I didn't say that. No, that's not how I meant it. I'm sorry about that. That is not what I meant. I just meant there's an yeah, open market. Than, than both ways. How about BV Deviants? Uh, both ways. Both ways. He means his clothing uh, fits men and women. All right, and you will have... Um, when will the clothing well, I'm going to come in here Friday with one of my stage costumes. So you'll appreciate that. All right. Very good. Mark Harris, thank you so much. Good luck with your marriage. And when will your, when will your uh, cast there come off of your face? Um, probably I'm going home Friday so after this. So okay. Friday. Well, I'm doing a rehearsal. What's Vegas. under there? Stitches? The stitches are behind the ears, and they're very swollen. All right. Well, you look very handsome. What can I say? <laughs> All right. We'll be back, Robin, right after these words. I got to take a break. Mark Harris is, believe it or not, I'll explain all this, but Mark Harris is sitting there with his date. Of oh. yesteryear? Yes. Yesterday. Susie, Susie Chafee. Who is in incredible physical condition. She's on rollerblades. She's wearing a black leotard, you know, one Beautiful. like a cat suit. She well, like, rollerbladed hey. over here? Yeah. Well, that bisexual couldn't possibly satisfy her. She's going to need me. He said he had two days yesterday. Let me let me come back and get to the bottom of this <laughs> right after these words. <laughs> Jackie counts those uh, counts those pamphlets as book reading, so he's read like twelve books this year. I'm surprised he hasn't started his own brewery. Yeah, guy would love to hear that. Much. I don't know that he hasn't. Okay, so anyway, let me just uh, set this up a little bit. I, I got to set this up. Mark Harris married Martha Ray a couple of years ago. Martha Ray is like a hundred years old. Or whatever. I don't know what her age is, but she's stroked out. She's missing her legs. Eighty something. Yeah. He married an old woman. Now, I always thought that Mark was very, very effeminate. He says he's bisexual. Personally, I, I think he's more leaning toward guys. Well, you know what? The longer we know him, the more his uh, sexuality evolves. Right. So, he but, came in here. He was straight. <laughs> but look, I'm not here to challenge anyone. If he says he likes girls and boys, that's his. That's, that's his, his thing. thing. So he says to me, I'm dating now. I said, you're a married man. You're married to Martha Ray uh, with Martha's blessing. With Martha's blessing. I'm dating. But then, I, you know, I was thinking about this yesterday. He then tells us that he's really not having sex with anybody. Right. But then you ask him if he's had sex during the marriage. He says yes. Yeah. Buy sex. I bought sex. I think is what he said. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Because he's not apparently having sex with these dates. I don't know. Anyway, so now he says to me, he shows up here today with Susie Chafee. Why? Because he says to me yesterday on the show, I'm dating Susie Chafee. Now, I know the name Susie Chafee. She's an Olympic skier or something. Isn't she? Yeah. Like a professional skier, like a, someone of note. Mm -hmm. I said, you're not seeing Susie Chafee. She's a piece of ass. She used to do those chapstick commercials. It's Susie Chapstick. He goes, I certainly am. I'll bring her here as proof. Well, the guy has proof. He's delivered. I guarantee you didn't get anywhere with her. Let's so, see. if you would, um, Fafa Phony, bring in Mark Harris, husband oh, of Bowie. Martha Ray, oh, and Bowie. Susie Chafee. You see Susie. Well, look at Susie. What are you doing on rollerblades, my dear? I thought she was awfully tall. Yeah, Susie is like statuesque. <laughs> hey, Susie, how tall are you? Five nine. Wow, now that's a woman. Woo God. I'm six foot right now. <laughs> you're awesome. Wow. But you can eat more, you know, when you're six foot. Yes, you can. Actually, I brought these for Mark. What roses? For this lovely lunch we had yesterday. Oh really? I guess you want to honor him for not laying a finger on you. <laughs> for acting He's like the a perfect only guy gentleman. Who never tried to get anything off you. A bit of a flower child here. Yes, and that's this right. Is for you. Thank you so much, Susie. Now with that is for you. What not, is this? Not douche stuff. It's that masculine soap from Germany. What's the name of this? I don't know. Let me see it. Irishke Frühling. Irische Frühling. Yeah. Irish, why do you, Irish feeling. Why do you bring me soaps from Germany? Oh, don't take it personal. No, it's really yeah. nice. The soaps there. Wash your mouth. Is, this, is that a thing? <laughs> is that a thing, Mark? That you uh, take a seat, Susie. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Susie, take off your uh, take off your rollerblades and relax. <laughs> okay. What are you like an exercise freak? So you always have to be doing some kind of exercise. I, no, I just get high. Yeah. <laughs> you know that that reminds me of. Remember in L.A. story, the Steve Martin movie. Yeah. And. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker was an aerobics instructor type, and she oh, had to be exercising every second. Yeah. Like even when she was talking, she had to be like ju doing jumping she jacks. Even just walk down the street. Yeah. Did you, did you see that movie? No, but but. But then you remind me of an athletic woman oh. who has to always constantly stay in shape. No, but it's it's kind of my main form of transportation in New York, and it makes New York wonderful. And I go through the park all the time. I visit my mother nature. Right. Oh, you're like a real woman. Oh, what my are you? Mother Nature. What is Mother Nature? Who's your Mother Nature? Are you like a hippie or something? I didn't know this about you. Well, 
Well, I'm always related to guys with long hair, so mm. that's part of the I'm reason. I'm going to grow my hair. hair. <laughs> grow, grow my hair. He cut it. Mark, yes. why don't you be honest? This is a friend of yours. Somehow you befriended her. I don't even know wait, how. Wait a minute. Wait I'm just, shocked that he has a celebrity friend. Wait a minute. Friend. We just yeah. met yesterday. You're, you're shocked that I have celebrity You friend. just mm -hmm. met. When August comes, when you see what's You're not attracted to him physically, are you? Well, I, I, can I explain? Yes. All right. Yeah, obviously, I, I, well, I want an I mean, explanation. Mark, why don't you just say yeah. you're, uh, I think you'd rather be with, with you. Susie's no. brother than no, with you. Susie. I don't know if you have her brother, no, but... Howard, with you. <laughs> I mean, you're not really interested in Susie. You want her as a friend. Right now, I just want to relax and calm yeah, down. You don't want to do relax. Show. No, I he's very say, feminine, isn't he? I have to say, oh, this guy is a hunk. No, but he's very—he's a good-looking guy. Don't get me wrong. Check I always that, say Mark. That Look, Robin, isn't that guy? I'm gonna date you, Robin. No, Mark is a handsome guy. I have to tell but, you, I had one of the most delightful lunches. Oh, I'm sure had. Mark is the delight. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he's a lot of fun. He said to me in four different languages, and I speak about three of them. Yes. So I. Now, hold on a second. He took you to lunch where? Where did he take you to lunch? Giando's. What? Giando's under the bridge. It's gorgeous, really gorgeous. Mark knows like all the places. Now this is gorgeous. You don't understand. Gorgeous. All right, now I understand. All right. I don't understand. It's I can't straight, understand gorgeous. It's a straight place. No guy. Let me just say something Go about men. Like no man says gorgeous. Says gorgeous. Uh, really? This restaurant is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Now, you got to understand something. Guys the don't next, talk that the way. Next time. Guy goes, hey, <laughs> it was a good lunch. No. They this, don't notice. No. It is this gorgeous. was gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> no guy says gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I'm not giving up gorgeous. All right. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Right, you took Susie. Obviously, you have a hard on for celebrities. There's no question about that. No, he does. He's very caught uh, up in the world. I, 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 I have sure. to explain. I mean, what is a what is a bad girl like me doing on a nice show like this? Uh, 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 Susie, Susie. My best friend is Sonny Griffin, who's the best friend you could ever want in the world. Can you look the expression that is gorgeous? Who is Sonny Griffin? She Remember is. from Good Morning America, from Avon. Yeah, okay. Billing yeah. Yeah. An actress and model. Yeah, exactly. Except you haven't seen her in anything. Well, she's not working lately. Right. Oh, she is. Harley yeah. Davidson. Harley yeah. Davidson. Oh, I didn't know about that. What do you mean, Harley Davidson? What do you mean? the spread, the layout, yeah. on the bike. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a model. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And she's actually building a home. She right. she and her husband build gorgeous homes. Mm -hmm. She's doing it. Oh, they built a nightclub in our house. Okay, oh, yeah. right. Go ahead. No, yeah. no but yeah. no, they're building a, a bed construction. The one that, that fell apart in the airplane. That's the one. You got it. In Telluride, they're building. Yeah, I know. So place. she's a carpenter. Bed yeah. breakers. You got to see the body. She's, on she's the a floor. general contractor. But anyway, when she says, "Do lunch with this guy," he is a sweetheart. He's 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 hung. He's talented. Was it set up as a date, like a man woman date, or was it a, a, just to say hi? Well, if the bottom line was, she says. He's crazy, you know, this and that, his, her, her, his whole story. Because, you know, I like right. to know Martha what I have lunch with. I don't have lunch with. Yeah. No, no, she didn't go out and get him off. Didn't it scare but you that he's married line, to Martha Ray? Well, bottom line, she says this guy is a mensch. But really? She's, she's not even Jewish. She's not Jewish. <laughs> yeah, but she's married to a, a, yeah, one of yeah. the nicest yeah. guys in the world. And and that's the reason I had lunch with her. All right, so you had lunch with him, but there was nothing romantic going on. Let's make that clear. No, I took a hotel. You oh, took her to a hotel? No, yeah, I no. took a hotel to sleep in myself. Yeah, but yeah, yeah right. well, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, we... And you weren't fantasizing about Susie after you got done. After that flight came Susie's in. Susie's a late, knockout. I couldn't wait to... yes, Susie, what, uh, Susie, what's that jacket you're wearing? Oh, well... I can't get a sense of your body. Okay. Well, I'll take it off. It is right, a little cool you. in here, but yeah. this is one of my new Egyptian ski ba uh, belly dancing jackets. Hey, you're wacky. For my... <laughs> like wow, it. look at the bottom on you. Shaking Robin, down. I'm bringing all my dates. Okay. okay. Susie, are you single? <laughs> yes, I am. Are you really? Yeah. You got a boyfriend? Well, yeah, kind of. can't imagine that you don't. Actually, he's part Cherokee Indian. Oh, I didn't ask, but... Who loves nature. Oh, oh you're I into this nature, nature thing? I am. There's a bonding with I remember nature. when you were dating... Uh, appreciate you were dating Ted Kennedy for a while. That was kind of cool. Well... What That's an really, Indian of another He's color. not a nature guy. Well, actually, he is a wonderful skier. Is he's he really? He's a jock. And Big deal. Actually, the excitement... <laughs> I thought you were going to marry him. Jealous. The excitement between us, <laughs> us is actually about caring about your viewers. In that, do you feel that... Are, are you a jock at all? Of course. Okay. Well, you can't see but from my build. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I'm very athletic. I, well, he's, he's surprised you had to a billowy, A billowy thing. You know, he's not really showing himself. Yeah, punch me <laughs> punch me in the chest. Just say I'm very, very muscular. <laughs> but do jockey. you believe that, that... I'm a bit of a jock. Actually, I have an empty jock. <laughs> uh, if you must know the truth. Yes, go ahead. Yes, okay, go ahead. And I'm still here. Uh, <laughs> I believe that um, 
the right to sport is the right to health. And the two of us shared this excitement about bringing fitness to or equal to, opportunity to women in sports. In the he school. wanted to get in your pants. So the whole family could get fit as a result. Guys of know how to play you. Guys know how to play you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to be fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like an open book. Take him and he was like, hey, uh, Susie, uh, I love to uh, do sport. It is people's inalienable right you know to what uh, do says? sport. Good. Well, Dad, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, well, well, you know what that he is says? a fitness crazy. I know. Yeah. He said all this stuff, and he said, yeah, every I yes, agree. I every, agree. Every yes, please now, can we sleep together? <laughs> I every, agree. Me too. Every, I love fresh air, please. <laughs> and we spread them already, please. Uh, I'll bet you says gorgeous. Uh, what? Uh, I bet you says gorgeous. No, he doesn't. You sure? Yeah, he's a man's man. <laughs> well, then you date him. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not looking for a guy. Okay. But you know he's How long did you the, date him? he's the head of the Senate Health Committee, and I said I know that's hey, unbelievable. Health, There's a guy who's so unhealthy. Yeah, look at him. I mean, you come didn't on. look at him and say sport. <laughs> come on, he's no jock. <laughs> you he, know what? His sport is drinking. <laughs> he he raced. I saw him go through a slalom course. Really? I'm telling you, he's good. I do the Kennedy race every year with his family right. in Aspen. And these guys well, having some life. would have been on the Olympic team if they weren't going into politics. Really? I tell you, they are that talented. Even even as large I mean, his, as he is now? His his uh, you know Max Kennedy beat me. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. And you were in the Olympics. Were I know. I and know. you won. Well, I was using a little shorter. Well, you know, I wasn't giving it my full on in July. What did you do? You got a gold medal in the Olympics? Actually, uh, this is the perfect station to say um, I'm the only one in the history of the Olympics that. Um, Avery Brundage tried to take my medals away and never had any. What do you mean they tried to take your medals away? Well, I was the number one highest ranked um, Olympic skier. Right. And um, I might have, I tied with a girl who won the medal in the nonstop the day before. And then it was a big, if you ski at all, wax is really important. America, we were so poor back then. Wait, so did you to, get the gold medal? No. Oh, well, that's all I want to know. But I led the reform. Of the Olympics, so it wasn't an under table thing. And Avery Brundage says, you know, when I when I, I who's Avery athlete, Brundage, Rob? One of those guys. Head of the IOC. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I organized all the athletes from the winter and the summer of the Olympics to take on Brundage and to make it, to bring back integrity to the modern Olympics that they had in the ancient st Hold time. On. It was over the table, and he says. He says, I saw in the paper you perjured yourself. I said, you forced all the athletes in the world to perjure themselves uh, up until 72. And he says, even so, if you perjured yourself, you must return your medals. I said, but Avery, I have no medals. I have only principles. Sounds like you're a sore loser. Out. <laughs> well, I don't understand, Robin. Now explain what Susie said. All right, said. basically, she didn't have any medals, and the guy got so angry at her for something she said in the newspaper that he wanted to take her medals away, not realizing she didn't have any. Oh. Because I got so much publicity, partly because fashion saved my butt. I wore the silver suit in the Olympics, and I was the number I got to admit, you're I was really, a great hope you're really cute. Olympics. You've got a nice body. So that's when you I got into out, designing. What do you do? You work out how many hours a day? Well, I just, uh... Your, uh may I see your ass is as tight as a drum? <laughs> show, show me stretching exercises. Yeah, let me see some stretching exercises. Oh, can I stretch on oh, rollerblades? I, yeah. I always work out before I do a, a show, particularly someone who requires great, uh, great flexibility of mind. Because right. flexible right. body is a flexible mind. Oh, but I developed this yeah. after I... Yeah. Mm. After I... Mm. Blew out my knee when a, a freak act. More stretching, please. Oh, okay. More <laughs> stretching. You're you enjoying stretch. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> stretch harder. There anyway, this is latex tubing. That's all I do. I it recognize. I use latex tubing in my sex acts. <laughs> is that right? Yes, I do. Oh, you. See, that's good. Yeah, I do. Sex. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, this is this is the best consistent way is not there an to exercise? have to go to the gym and work out. Is there and a stretching exercise, of, of one that you do, it's like standing where you can like bend over and stretch? Uh, I, that's what I'm looking for, to uh, relax my back muscles. Do uh, you have anything like that that you know uh, of? I can't find a good exercise where I just have to do this. Well, well we, after the show, I'm All right, sure thank we you. Can, All right. right. Oh, God. But, um... I did tap. You got tap. powerful legs, don't you? Thank you. Yes. From from what all that skating and all that stuff? Skate, skiing. Yeah. No, but Tell him better to. I bet you. Good. I bet you could crush a coconut between your, your legs. Oh dear. You're so powerful. <laughs> you got a nice face too. Uh, Pretty attractive. Hey. Why are you not looking at me? Stop looking at Mark. He's not a real man. I'm not a real man. I'm here for fake. Let's go no, back. Come on. My friends asked me if I was a Republican or Democrat, and I said, well, I'm 
I'm by. Yeah, like it matters. <laughs> Mark's the only guy that takes a woman like this out and asks, are you a Republican or a Democrat? No, no, that wasn't me. No, you a didn't friend listen. of theirs. Oh, but, friend. But I, uh, I don't know Mark that well, so I can't make it. But he's very effeminate to you, isn't he? What do you think? Well, I like, I like guys who... You are a... Uh, a mi nice mixture uh, of yin yang. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not yin yang. I'm yang yeah, all the way. Yeah, right. 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 No yin here. And that's here. the kind of guy I'm attracted to. <laughs> really? Is ever kiss a woman? The male ever kiss a woman? Guy, no. No, I was talking to Mark. Mark, ever kiss a woman? You taught me how it how it caught me. I'm looking at her waiting for the answer. That was a that was a sneak question. That was. <laughs> I was talking to Mark. I didn't really mean to embarrass you. Yeah, and it wasn't a guy in drag. I don't know him that well, right? But I'll tell you. It's what. just amazing to me that Susie. I'm going to take him skiing, and we're going to do a tango. Out. When? When are we going skiing? Oh. When are we going skiing? Harry oh. Grant. Oh. When are we going skiing? When you're a free man. Oh, you're going to wait till then? Are you? <laughs> oh, when I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just put a pillow over Martha's face? You'll oh, be a free hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, yeah, come on already, yeah, don't Mark. Give him you know you need the money. No, I don't. I, you don't. You're wrong, bro. I have to give you guys a compliment. Yes. I don't normally listen to your show, but yesterday, well, after lunch. I mean, a guy came by when we were having lunch and said, you know, I was listening to the show yesterday yes. on the LIE. They're all stuck in traffic. And one looked over at the other one sitting in the car and both laughed at the same time. And they realized they were both listening to Mark singing on oh, the, the Howard Stern. Yes. Yes. He came yes. over the table. <laughs> you're, you're an amazing man. He I said they're stuck in traffic. Happened. So let's just clear this up. This is all I wanted to clear up. That Mark Harris... Is not really dating you. He is a friend. It was You're... just an introduction. I didn't have condoms I in my pocket. With, at I start with lunch. Okay. Lunch, right. and that's as far as it's going to go. I'm not buying condoms. <laughs> Fag <-hag. clears throat> Okay, oh, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm saying. That's There's no way. Nice. That's no way. That's There's no way the two of you oh, are dating. There is no that. way the two of you are dating. Right. I know it. You know what I'm going to. First of all, Martha Ray is a lovely woman. Yes, she, she is. Deserves, Absolutely. She deserves respect. I believe. Amen. And it's not right for you to date while Martha is still Wrong, alive. she Actually, said. Um, um, they, they gotta, Am I right, Susie? they got to go Wrong. to Mark's show and find out the real story behind it. It's too long to do on, on radio. Really? Did yeah. he do it for but you all yesterday? No, no, she knows through her friends. It's a beautiful time. story. Is it? Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. and love, the definition of love, uh -huh. according to Cable, is um, um, perfect kindness. Hitler and Jackie Mason are a more realistic couple than the two oh, of you. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, that's good. That's all I'm saying yeah. because she is a statuesque, that, that beautiful is. blonde. Who I'm sure you would like to be her needs, friend. Let me, let me have her for five minutes. I'll show you how to date. That's all you take is five, five minutes? minutes Susie, that's your it? head would be spinning. Let me tell you something. I don't five know minutes. what kind of men we'll you date. We'll talk. If Ted Kennedy, Ted Kennedy wouldn't know what to do with you, believe me. he doesn't. How he blew it with you, I don't know. <laughs> what happened? You were in love with him? <laughs> were you in love with him, Susie? I care about him. You do? And we, for 15 years, we've had a... An affair? Uh, no. We've had... Um, a friendship. A friendship. He, he has... I just You don't, you like him because he's a candidate. How, no, I love how he cares about his... I mean, I went to a... Uh, uh, in Really? Uh, he's, got you, he's got you, uh, he's got you hypnotized. Boozled. No, I have to tell you, there is a lot of love in that family. Really? There's a lot of childhood hurts. Did you drink with him and stuff, or would he just, like, drink No, I, I don't drink. You don't? You're, no. Because you're a health freak. I can't see right. you having anything in common with him except for the fact that he's a Kennedy. Well, he got a bill through Congress Go ahead. for me that actually I was supposed to be uh, introduced <laughs> by Bobby Kennedy to straighten out sports in America. You know the ping pong players when they got who opened up China? Yeah. When they got back, they got killed by the NCAA fighting with the AAU instead of being heroes. So this bill for What's the first Susan time in history. Now? I don't know. <laughs> about ping pong players. Ping pong players. You, 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 you mean Kennedy ping introduced a anyway, ping pong playing bill? No, Bobby was going to introduce this bill that would solve those kinds of problems and give athletes rights and representation and get rid of sex discrimination. I can't get the death America. penalty, and and they're going to have ping pong players. I, anyway, and and the key of getting that bill through was his brother Ted, and that's how I got to meet him. That's how um, I I've also supported the Special Olympics, which I think. But I can't see you as in love, with, like like as a lover. He's not physically fit like you are. He's not uh, your type. He is not the man you need. You need a tall, sort of Prince Charming, youngish. <laughs> Look how you're describing me, Let Howard. Me. No, you're describing no, me. You really are. No, no. <laughs> yeah, Prince Charming, go ahead. Princess Charming. I, no, I am so flattered that 
you you really have a caring side to you. I go, of course I do. I go, you know what? You know why I'm also <laughs> here is because of after that, he says, do you want to be on the Howard Show with me? I know. It was a bit. Publicity, and uh, I said, thank you, but no. no. Right. Yeah. And but then you got on the phone yesterday. I talked to Susie oh, myself. Did you? And he said. I would be a gentleman. Yes. And I have been, right? No. Oh, it, no. Is that the real Howard? Yes, that is the real Howard. The one you talked to on the phone? Yes. Wow. That is the scheming, yeah. conniving Howard who sits there That's and lies the to everyone. That's the one who like a chameleon <laughs> and, and will be whatever yeah. it takes. That's the one who can <laughs> be whatever you need me to be. <laughs> I hide the sex maniac until you get in here. <laughs> no, but I have never. No, I heard am very caring. Such a sweet. Can I say something to you? Your voice yeah. on the phone. Can, can I, I, I say something to you, Susie? I didn't know that you would be honest to tell people that was what you were really like. Yes, that, that is how I am. That's show. how I really am. And let me say wow. something. I don't know what you're feeling right now. I know what I'm feeling. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but I, I can see you're a person who likes to express their emotions, so I will express my emotions. <laughs> wow. When you walked in the door, I realized. That I was in love with you. Uh, now, now, hold on a second. I just want to say something. You do have a lot of love. I have love for you. I'm not saying I'm in love with you the same way I'm in love with my wife or something like that, who, by the way, is very ill. Mm. And oh, uh, she has both her legs. Let's missing. send her some oh, big energy. Oh, you, oh, if everybody. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not kidding. That, Mark? My wife has both her low. legs. That's were cut off. Very, very, very She's bad. out of pain. Very bad. <laughs> yes. sure Where was the caring part? This. Where was the caring side. part? I don't know. My wife, my All wife right. is probably not going to be not going to live through the month. Give us some Percocet. No, I'm being serious, Susie. Yeah, right. And I'm going to need a mother for my children. You hear this? <laughs> you hear this? <laughs> no. Aunt Sally could take care of the kids. <laughs> Be quiet, Mark. Well, you you're lucky to have Aunt Sally. <laughs> she just mumbles and says things that people don't care. Right. About. Never mind. Play the Clinton song. Susie, out of pure love, I would like to say that I. I am honored that you came in this morning. I find you to be very beautiful. I myself uh, never had a tall woman. I am six foot five. Really? Did you realize that? No. Stand up for stand her. Stand up, darling. Here, come on. Here, stand up for a second, Susie. Out of my love for you, I would you like are to. You're tall. Yes, I'm perfect for you. What the hell are you wearing? Can you like imagine him on rollerblades. I'm gonna be sick. Mm, what a bond on you. Oh, excuse me here. Mm, what I do to you? I'd love a tall woman like you. But only five minutes. Yeah, it's better than the five minutes you could provide. I doubt it. You'd be looking at magazines of guys. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> all with pictures of me. I'd be trying to Susie. I think you're both beautiful. S Susie, I would love to I hug you fun. hello. I would love to hug you hello. Would that be accepted? Yeah, out of love. Because I feel, a, I feel a vibration okay. in the room. Okay. May I? Yes. All right. You're not going to ask her oh. if you could slap her butt? How do we do this? Roll do I come to you or you? Well, you're on rollerblades. Shall I roll to you? I'll come over to you. <laughs> oh, what? All right, roll over to me. Over. Oh, Take okay. off your headphones. Okay. Okay. I'll show her how to hug. <laughs> wow, you are. Give me a hug. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. See, Mark, that's how you hug. Never mind, I'm bringing hey, come my... Come here, look at this. I'm come bringing here. my guy oh, date to you. Oh I want to see Kennedy, if he gets right? into it. Oh, wow. It. Come on, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah you dig me, right? Better than Ted Kennedy, I have to tell you. Uh -oh. Kennedy's a mess. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's no athlete. He is. That's right. Look you. at this. Punch me in the chest. Oh. Mm. In the yes. chest. Yes. How, about right the, there. how about the stomach? No, no, no. <laughs> <one's in that. laughs> no, he didn't ask you to punch him in the You may be hitting the next governor of New York. How about the stomach? Go ahead. Ah, he's I'm going to throw... I don't care who you know. Well, I've got a leotard with uh, tights underneath, but yeah. fan aside. There's no panties in there. Mark, you don't even this know. This is this. adorable. What a waste of time. You know what? Why, not, why don't all you viewers hug someone? These are that listeners. That was listeners. too good. Viewers. <laughs> Susie, go sit down next to them. I'm not usually up at this hour. I'm sorry. Go you sit down next to Martha Ray's husband. Hug someone. That was really nice. All right, go ahead. Oh, give me another nothing. hug. Yeah, give, give me another okay. hug. Because okay. I feel a lot of love for you. I think Howard just got a vote. You know, she's a New Yorker. Yeah, come on. We're real close to me. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so standing up? She's on rollerblades. She might hurt herself. I'll oh. roll her right into me. There you go. Oh, you horny. Yes. It's a good thing Ted Kennedy's not here. You're I'm right. Oh, yeah, you like it, don't you? Thank you. Could barely let like go of me. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes I could get her. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Harris is sitting there romancing. No, I'm just watching this. I can't believe this. Go ahead. Mark, that's how you hug a woman. That's how you really? handle a woman. You what is it, Ted Kennedy? Kennedy John? Was here, you think he was here? We want to talk to a gay guy who was really angry at Mark. Uh -oh. All right. Oh. Say again. Why? 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 
What do you, what in front you, of his date? A gay guy is angry at oh, you. Hello? At Hello, Howard? Yes. Howard, I am so over like Mark. How can he say he's bisexual? The joke goes, the only thing about bi that's bisexual about Mark is uh, or he's bilingual, or you know what I'm I saying. I am bilingual, too. Yeah. yeah. He is. He is. Yeah. is he's quadrilingual. Thing? Mark, how can you say that you're bisexual? Like, the only, I mean, I can't even comprehend. I think three children, two no, children. It's not a question of the children. Oh. But when you say bisexual, I mean, I didn't give anything. Three children mean nothing. Not a bad word. I, Yes. I'm not even listening. I'm looking at Susie. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what, you said a bad I, word. What I would just like to ask you, if I only went with men, yeah. that would please you? No, I really don't care. I believe you, you only do so go with men. So if you don't care, what is this about? I worry about the women that you're messing around with that, like, you know, might think that you actually, they have a chance with you. That's what I worry oh, about. Oh, I see. I don't, you think he's oh. fooling somebody? You think he's fooling oh. Susie? I don't. Oh, I, see. No, I think no, Susie no. knows exactly what's going on. <laughs> All right, well, as long as that's the case. No, no, the case is I'm not getting married again. I had enough. <laughs> you had enough. <laughs> what, you'd already had a marriage? Three. Yeah, well, How long were you married and living in the same house with your wife? The, the first wife? Yeah. 13 years. Wow. You're kidding. The second. And did you act like this, years. or did you like act more masculine? <clears throat> I didn't act anyway. This really? Is it. This is it. Really? Really, yeah. Third? Ask Aunt Sally. There's a book in this guy, I'm telling <laughs> you. Oh, at least no, one. I enjoy life. I have you mean you went up to a woman life. and you... I have a wonderful life. Excuse me, your yeah. first wife, you went up to a woman, you started talking like this, and then she <laughs> married you. Exactly. Right. That's but what does <laughs> talking have to do with lovemaking? Because there's no that. way. There's no way. And no one on your block said, you know, all the neighbors and everything said, there's something with Mark. I mean... No. <laughs> come on. Susie, you, you know never, what I'm talking nobody about? Nobody ever pointed out to you that you were... I think I might. Different. Yeah. You might be a little Different. suspicious, right? <laughs> uh, flamboyant. Yes. yes. Flamboyant, yes. <laughs> I think what this guy is saying is... You do yeah, need to be careful doing? these days. Right. And, I uh, think, well, I think Mark pretty much flags it that he's, you know, uh, a feminist. Mark, you are... Yeah, but I don't have a problem with this. I think what this guy is saying is he thinks Mark's a homosexual and we ought to stop the charade. And you should stop it by charade. Right. Is no, that what you're saying? Exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I will be it's absolutely ridiculous, Mark. Would don't you like to meet Mark? I want, I want to hear this. Would one. you like to meet Mark? No, he's not even a man. He's just, right. He's like Mr. Woman. Mr. I mean, Mr. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I like that. I like that. That's not a problem. But you see, well, any, nothing, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't. No, who cares what he's? I'm thinks, very happy. It, right. It, in my life. Period. I don't care. That's why I found you hanging from a rope yesterday. Right. I had to take you down off the chair. I have no problem. I have a life. He has a great I life. Do. He loves his life. I don't care that he's happy. I just worry about the women that he's playing around with. That's they the are really happy. To, you know, I have to bring some more. Martha Ray is the woman he's playing yeah. around with, and, and I don't think she knows happy. what planet she's on right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's that's there. it. Uh, I think it's nice that he cares about Mark and how he's been, but that's really Mark's life. That's right. right. That's right. Okay, yeah, I don't have a problem. About twice I'm, 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 yeah, really. Susie's like a flower child. She is. Yeah. She's a very loving person. I like. Yeah, I'd like to love her. Very open, very loving. You're not kidding. What a body. You are tight. Would you ever do a new spread in Playboy? I turned it down. You did? Why? Mm -hmm. um, what, do you got a lot of money? <laughs> <laughs> are you independently wealthy? No. From the chapstick I mean, commercials? I've, I've, I've done well. You have? Yeah. Are you worth over a million dollars? Because Mark will marry you tomorrow. No. <laughs> you don't care what no, you no. are. You need a disco in your house? Yeah. Money is... <laughs> <laughs> money That's good. isn't so important. In other words, you don't have to work. Yeah, I do. You do? What do you do? But actually, actually, I money has never been. You know, I wanted to do how I started off, but after. The but Olympics, I mean, like, what do you do now? I'm a designer. Oh, I'm I see. Traffic lunch. I won the World Design That's Award true. for yes. my ski wear. I'm uh, bringing this uh, product out to the market, the stretch cord, so that people can stay fit consistently. No, well, you certainly so are. Only kids in the school only get one hour of PE a week, so they're really not getting enough. Well, fitness. so you're like into some things. Yeah, I'm in, and I'm um, actually prepping a book. I've been writing a poem, which is a couple chapters in this book. That I'm poem in, book? No goddess. Really? Yeah. You ought to give it a mark. I'll After turn it into a bad song. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you could Mark work on about the lyrics with Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, uh, Mark, yeah, now what is it? When you took Susie out on the date, you started singing to her? Yeah, we were singing and speaking a few languages. We, I didn't even know Susie could speak. And, and, and what did you and what did you sing to her? Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. Oh, we got means why don't you march into an oven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you big ugly Joe. March quickly. That's my right. my uh, my valet is <laughs> from Germany. Okay. Your what? My valet. He's from Germany. Your valet is real. How do you afford a valet? valet? Is that important? Yeah. Is this a full-time job? Full-time job. You have a valet, a guy who dresses you? 
Well, he lays all the clothing out. Just the clothing, <laughs> just the clothing. Why don't you give him a call? Wake him up. It's three hours. That is ridiculous. What, the ballet? Uh, <laughs> boarding for you, everything in my life is ridiculous. But I am ridiculously happy. What do you have to pay a guy to lay out your clothes? May I say something to this guy? Whatever you wish. Get a life. Right. Get a life. Right. 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 So, I mean, he is so consumed with my life. Well, we all are. Well, we're trying to figure out, Mark. Now, this guy comes and lays you. out your clothes. And that's his whole job? He, oh. No, no. He does Martha's dirty laundry. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be a treat. Oh, okay. He does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of stuff around the house. Okay. He's one of the household help then. Okay. Yeah. What does Martha wear? It's not what she wears. It's, uh, she has problems. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. She has weird laundry. Oh, laundry. Mark, what soil is laundry? Mark? Wait, well, let me hear this guy. Are you, saying, so, you mean this guy has what? to do Mark's no, no, soil I gotta, laundry? I got to hear the phone call. Can't you, can't you get a disposable? Can't you get disposable clothes or something? I mean, no, do you have to make somebody go through that. That's June Allison. What were you saying? Why are you doing her laundry? <laughs> Your next wife, June Allison. Why are you uh, doing her laundry? Yeah, yeah, yeah why don't you do it? Times I did. Right now, we're doing a lot of work on the house. I see. And somebody has to watch. He's the got a huge career. He doesn't have time. He's such a. Why don't you just put up? Why don't you? just put a hole in Martha's wheelchair no, and then man, you wouldn't have so, to... Yeah. I see how, how happy and sympathy yeah, you got it. You got it. No, everything could just drop out the bottom. Oh, right. promise to be good. Okay, I'm sorry, Susie. I'm sorry, Susie. <laughs> Susie's going to keep him in check. It takes Susie to keep me in oh, line. No. <laughs> You're going to come back with Susie all the time, aren't no, you? No, no, I'm going to bring some others. Hey, Susie, you, you need a massage? I love massages. Come over here, I'll rub you down. I bet you'll get turned on. After the show, but I bet you'll be sexually aroused if I, I do. You or a massage? Yeah, you, she did that yesterday. What to you? Mm -hmm. Wait a second, Susie. I gave was you very massage? tired on that Your late aura? flight. Susie My gave aura you, was Susie massage. gave you <laughs> Susie gave you an oil massage. Aura, 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 aura. Oh, that's, ah. that's screwy. <laughs> let her, let her massage you. your aura. Yeah. Now, come over here and massage my aura, Susie. Start from the back, please. Would you like? <laughs> yeah, okay. I've never had that. I want to hear hear how Actually, you. Uh, let me take my pants off. Massage. Should I take my pants off? No, no, she doesn't no. need to touch you. Actually, an aura is not touching no. you, but it feels. Very safe I have massage. healing hands, actually. Really? Let her touch your aura. See, I have a pain something. somewhere. Can you it's, help me? Yeah, I actually, I, if do you, you have are healing receptive, hands? I do. I am receptive. I have a, I, I, let me show you where my ache is. Oh, you. I injured myself doing some uh, athletic activity. Yeah. No, remember, remember. No, it's on my inner thigh. No. Okay. <laughs> is that, is there something wrong with that? Remember the rules. What? We have rules. What are the rules? Be nice. I'm going to be nice, but I have okay. an injury. Okay, where, where? Come over here, I'll show you. I think I, I, I only want to Susie. fix your brain. Susie, <laughs> it's an old Vietnam. Brain. I served in Vietnam. It's an old Vietnam injury. I was in Vietnam. Yes, yeah, so was I. What do you mean, you served? I was in... I was in the 103rd. Really? Yeah. Da Nang. You know what? What? What, what year were you there? Uh, well, let's see. Well, I was there for three tours of duty. I was uh, there in... I was there in 71. I was there in 71. That was my second tour of duty. Do you remember me? I think I saw your show. You're kidding. I think I might have been one of the uh, guys <laughs> who saw your show that year. As a matter of fact. No, I'm serious. We did. We went in helicopters. Went seventy one through seventy three, right? Radar and seventy one through seventy three. Seventy one. Yeah. I was. I had honoring you. Guys. I had killed. Let me. This is oh, kind of a dear. weird. You know why I remember this? Years before. I know. I remember this. <laughs> I had killed a guy. Listen to this. This is a funny story. Oh. I was in Vietnam, and we're on a tour of duty, and I'm going through, uh, at the time we would call the enemy gooks. I don't know if right. you know this. I do. Right. We're going through a gook village, and we said that only to dehumanize them, so it exactly. was easier to kill them. But we had to kill them. Listen, it was either be killed or kill. I wasn't happy about it. And this was, a, my, the lieutenant said, look, go into the village and wipe out the village. What was your rank? I was, at this point, I was a, uh, a what do you call it, a, a, a field soldier. Uh, that's not right. A private. I was uh, a private. That was nothing at this point. I was what they called a grunt. You couldn't even make sergeant? I was not a you sergeant at this point. I was, uh, Robin, don't put me down for it. Someone had to do the hard work. No, but you were putting your butt on the line. Exactly. I was a grunt. Because you were protecting right. the rest of us, which was beautiful. I'm even not going to go into the gory details. In the, in the politics. I'm not, exactly. It was wrong and everything, but I had to do what I had to do. It's a survival. time when right is wrong and wrong is right. But Susie, you'll be interested in this. And I'm not going to go into the, what happened in the village. Cause it, was pretty, it was pretty intense. I don't know. You'd probably... Mark would throw up. I know that. You can't handle it. <laughs> you I'd, have to cradle Mark. I'd like to see Mark's deferment during the war. I wonder what it was. <laughs> 3A. Excuse me? What's 3A? 3A. K-Y. Hardship. Hardship? What was your hardship? What was your hardship? The sole supporter of my family. Oh. Howard, Mark didn't need deferment. All this he had to do was say he was gay. 
No, the guy is still on the show. He's, he's yeah. oh, part he's, of the what group. Is he now? Day? He's part of the he show. To, oh, is he? Okay. <laughs> but I remember the show because we had taken out this village, <laughs> and I cut off this guy's ears in order to make a necklace, a beautiful necklace, and I wanted to present. I don't it. think Susie wants to hear this. You don't? I don't think that's in the nice category. <laughs> well, listen, Susie, you knew where the war was hell. But, but and one of the things that you get me here. I had three ear necklaces. I had uh, oh. ten ears on this one necklace. I wanted to present it to you. Oh, God. Oh, let me tell you, you had to do it. This was part of the whole thing. You, I was not born a killer. I'm born a lover. Howard, why don't you take the cola? <laughs> Mark, would you mellow out? I'm talking about Vietnam, something that you don't know about. You, Susie and I uh, went through it, okay? Well, weren't you touched by this uh, D-Day thing? I mean... Yes. I mean, you know what brought... What won the war is love between soldiers. Do you know when I... each other... And and all you know what got me through the war? Die because they loved Eisenhower and right. Gavin and would do anything for them. She knows. And our country and our principles. What does she But know? there's a better way to express ourselves. Did you know yes. that? Th do you know how the evil empire of Russia ended? How? In, besides the bankruptcy of that that way of communist the government. Right. Yes. Gorby and the Pope had conversations a couple oh. times a month. Did Ted Kennedy do an FBI check on you before he go to you? I want to know. I mean, you seem to... How come she has so much inside information? She's a skier. I don't know. I don't know how she got all that. That's inside information from Vatican and CIA. You know, when I used to be... A I, used to, I used to smoke marijuana during the war. I did. I admit it. Would you believe? I had to. If you could order to get through, I would smoke opium, all kinds of things. I was watching Susie's show. I'm smoking a big, fat doobie. <laughs> and I had a goop jawbone as a roach ash tray. Oh, now, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, hey, I'll admit it. I ate goop brains and legs. I put garlic and pepper. I did it all. It tastes like chicken. Oh. A little rice. We were in heaven. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember on the D-Day thing? Yes. They talked about how the, the the Germans and the Americans honored each other's wounded and stopped and wouldn't, you know, let Ridiculous, each other. Ridiculous, wasn't it? I mean, that was love between the enemies. Oh, that was an outrage. And that bonded those guys. When they got that was an outrage. Time, it was beautiful. Oh, please. So there's another way to express yourself besides the war. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. Hitler, he had childhood hurt. We should have sent a psychologist. Susie's very uh, airy. Over there. She's very... She's very into a higher mind, Howard. She's not she sure? on this... I'm glad. Plain. I'm glad Susie's wearing rollerblades, or else she'd float me. away. She's really very heavenly. Thank God for yeah. gravity, or Susie would just float away. How much you weigh, why, Susie? Why destroy how much millions you of lives when you could send? I agree with you 100. percent Psychologist over who uh, like to sit down and talk sure. about. Susie, how much did you wear? How, how much, much do I you weigh? About 130. Boy, oh boy, and you're five nine. That's a nice package. Thank you. But I bet you when Ted Kennedy took you to parties and you started with all this hippie talk, he got a little nervous, right? All right, Susie, can you keep your mouth shut, please? <laughs> he's not a perfect human being, not unlike yourself, but he's done a lot of good stuff. I bet you adore Jerry Garcia. True? True or false? Who's Jerry Garcia? Well, I all right, all right, okay, Grateful Dead. All right. Oh! Uh, I thought maybe you were You know where that. the Grateful Dead came from? Where? Pop quiz. Uh, where did they come from? Yeah, this theologian told me. From Egypt. Is that right? The pharaohs were concerned about afterlife. And oh, and boy. and they wanted to. They rode the higher road of life. It really they were very sorry. Spiritual. I asked. Well, no, and really? and those who made it to heaven was very grateful about it, right. as opposed to the alternative. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Ah, you have Please. another question. I would, I, I, no, I would, it can't be for Susie, is it? <laughs> no, yes, it is actually. Don't give oh, up your is, phone number. Excuse me. Okay. Well, all I know is I served in Vietnam, and I'm, I want to thank Susie for coming over and entertaining us guys when we were down on our luck. <laughs> I mean, I had come off a killing spree, and I was completely jazzed. I thought I was going to go out of my mind. I wiped out a whole village once. Did I ever tell you about this? No. My, You've never talked to hey, her before. My sergeant says, show. I that feel like I've talked to you before. Trauma produced this show. I mean, <laughs> my sergeant says to me, go in and teach this village a lesson. They were obviously V.C. They were proposing as, you know. Who said this to you? My sergeant. Your sergeant. So he goes, he he goes go in. VC. Yeah, he says, obviously V.C. He says, and teach them a lesson. He says, take out each man, woman, and child. Bury them alive leave their arms up out of the ground so they can wave goodbye oh. and i did it because i was a good soldier yourself. i All did it yourself. and we had to do it because we were there to win am i right susie am i right or am i wrong you were there you saw the conditions we Thank were you. there of course to, to win. win. Uh, of course, Susie understands what I had to do. Uh, and the call is she forgives me. But, she forgives me. I have nightmares the, every the night. And decisions needed to be worked out a little bit more. I mean, oh. We can't Xerox American philosophy on. I remember when you came to do that show. 
I was in the audience. Where I swear to God, this is a true story. Yeah. <laughs> I went into a village. I wiped out this this family. I took their couch. I brought it over to the show so I have so a comfortable you have a seat. seat. Yeah. Uh, Wait, this will cure air all the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it was the greatest so show too, and, and I slept so like a baby. I slept like a baby on that couch because I had to do it. I had to. No, that was your job. It was circumstances beyond my control, beyond Howard Stern's control. <laughs> they should have given you the script to Rambo. I'll be quiet. He was talk like a man. Let me hear you talk masculine. Try it, try it. Just for five minutes, so no, Susie can maybe pretend you're... I wouldn't you're... be happy. I wouldn't be happy. This is it. I'm just myself. Just say, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? No, that's that's like a girl to that's me. That's better. Girl with a deep voice. What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. come on. There's a problem with that. I have no problem. You have a problem. You, you could talk regular. Right. No, you could talk. He could to Susie. Admit it. You were Howard, over in Vietnam. Can we talk? Can we yes. talk? This what? is so stupid. I mean, this you know, is what I you know what's sad in this society? What? You know, <laughs> this besides show. this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is sad, Susie? You know what's sad that I'm not hugging you right now. Let me kiss your neck and massage you. Side of man has been held hostage. Come over here. Now it's coming out. This they, we we're getting to more of. There a is no feminine side about me, male, Susie. Female. Oh, we you do have a very feminine. You side calling me gay? <laughs> no. 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 Anybody in this room no. calls me gay, they get out of here right now. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent masculine. Come over here and but find the, out. The yin yang. <laughs> yin yang, <thing>. nothing. <laughs> Give me any of that. Yin yang. I don't speak Chinese. You have long hair as a symbol and of, the, of the rebellion of this society that they have been. I have long uh, hair to hide my love. skinny neck and oh, to make my face look a little more attractive. It's that's a mess. Not true. Oh, it is too. You love your long, luxurious hair. Oh, what do you call me, a, a Brett girl? <laughs> what do you do? Tell her how you uh, rough and print. Hey, I'll be I did for Su I wish I, I would have looked better if I knew Susie was coming. <laughs> Susie, come over here. No, let me rub you down. I have a lot of male in me. Let me rub I you down. Female. Come here. I want to do. I want to tell me if I'm a good uh, rub down artist. W wait a minute. Come here. I'll have We're you moaning talking. in a minute. Wait a minute. Robin, you keep the clock on. What I'm going to rub Susie. Okay. What? And in a rule. minute? How horny are you? When's what? the last time you had sex with a guy? Well, Howard. Be honest. Howard, I'm leaving unless you go by the rules. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. You don't want to rub down? Well, the way you put it is... I'm really sorry. All right. Horny was not a good word. I'm just saying, when's the last time you were handled by a real man, not someone like Mark? <laughs> he, he, he wasn't handled by Mark. He wasn't handled by Mark at all. <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm not ever handled. Really? Come over here. I'll show you how to be handled. <laughs> I am waiting for the... I know you but... want it. I am loved, oh, but I'm oh, not... come on. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, hey, I'm a great mistress. In Vietnam, I massaged the dead Kong, and she woke up. Ow! Made her rise from the dead. What? She was laying there dead. I massaged oh, her. Oh, don't repeat it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I got great war stories. That was a miracle. I'd like to whisper. I'd like to whisper my dead stories in your ear while I massage you. Oh, Mark, don't get so jealous. No, <laughs> jealous. No, I'm looking at this. No, amazing. I mean you're afraid that I'm going to leave you for her. Oh, sure. <laughs> Mark is so upset that waiting. we're paying attention to Susie. No, and no, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm waiting for the coldest question. Why is Mark been on the show twenty times? Mark is, you, who, who, Mark is terrific. Mark is terrific. He's a one of a kind. What makes me terrific? You're a character. Any oh, no. guy who would marry an 80-year-old woman... She's not 80. Up to you. What, how old is she? Uh, if she'll be here August, she'll be 78. All right. Really? Uh, all right, that's 80, Mark. Okay, you want to round it down. She's got the body of an 80-year-old. <laughs> Any guy who would marry an 80-year-old and, mm -hmm. you know, and run around the country singing about Bill Clinton is an interesting character, and Mark that's all there is to it. Mark has an incredible personality. That's right. Thank, Thank you, Robin. Very attracted to and, uh, Thank you, Robin. And there's yes. a story behind this that really shows what a beautiful guy he is. And that's what part that I, you know, the basis of, of love is respect, and I respect him. You do? Yeah. The only thing that nice. pisses me off is he didn't go to Vietnam. Uh, that pisses you off. I'm a man. And you I'm voted for Clinton. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I, was Nam, you I was in Nam. I was in Nam, and you won't even go into a bumper car. Why do you? <laughs> 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 How about Martha Ray served in Vietnam? Yeah, well, she's, she's a real she's man. She's more of a man than you are. She says so too. <laughs> Okay, Let me say something. I want to talk to I want to no, talk to Susie for a minute. Susie, I want to thank you for coming in with Mark. This is a joke. I didn't believe that he knew you. I was wrong. I, I apologize. You are a lovely woman. Thank you. You have an incredible body from exercise and everything else. You now, are all, excuse me. Yeah, I'm talking now. Yeah, I know. You are 100% woman. There is no question about it. Thank you. You Thank are you. a real Thank woman. There's no yin and yang about you. <laughs> yes, there There's is. no manly There's side to you. Oh, no, no, no. There's, no, no, no. There's a manly side to you. I can't spot it. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me tell you. You're blushing, Susie, but that's all right. <laughs> I am. I've seen many beautiful women. You're a piece. Can I say a piece of ass? Is that okay? Yeah. No, I cannot. I will take it back. Okay. <laughs> you are yeah. not a piece of ass. <laughs>
And uh, I want to thank you for coming in here. And, uh, oh, this and is also how I make a living. What is that? See this bird, the falcon? Yeah. In Egypt. It, I wore What's it, with you in Egypt? I wore it to... Pro it's, the, it's the god of protection. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You need I got to... Up, I you need, you need a man to straighten you out. <laughs> <laughs> what? She'll stop saying all these wonderful things if she's a man? Uh, she needs me to straighten her out with all these gods and <laughs> eagles in Egypt. I'll have her thinking straight in two what? minutes. Do you want to know what, what is the trend of this straight? year is? What? Do you know what the trend of this year, according to the Trend Institute? What? What? Is there a trend institute? Sleeping yeah. with Howard Stern? No, ancient wisdom. Really? Came, which came to us through the Native Americans. I know all about it. I know, know all what? about that stuff. I'm oh, into that here stuff. We go. And I went to Egypt Ask me last about summer. Something. I'm into Indian philosophy. An Olympic teammate of mine. I want to talk about that, actually. I want to talk to you about it off the air where I can get serious with you. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. I'd like to go where Ted Kennedy has been, and I don't mean Chappaquiddick. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, Susie. You know what I'm talking about. Was that we talking me? Is he a good lover? <laughs> Susie, is he a good lover? I don't picture him being... There, there is a lot of love there. Really? I went to a family, like a kid's birthday party, only family, and it was one of the most loving occasions I have ever been to. Seriously? I'm serious. Each kid but, I mean, was he good went in the around the table and said something... I said a poem. Were you attracted uh, to John John? Or I don't. I he's supposed to be the hunk of the world. I'm not personally attracted. Really? Oh. You're more attracted to me than to John Kennedy? <laughs> Perhaps I've yeah. never met. John You're attracted Kennedy to me, aren't you? There's an attraction between John. us, isn't there? You're attracted to me. Admit it. Well, I hear he skis. Do you ski? Yes. Really I was an I was not an Olympic skier, but I taught ski instruction for many years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is so funny? Why why can't I brag a little? Even that guy yeah. is laughing. What? Yeah, that still on the no, phone. I taught ski I instruction for skier. two or three years. I was a ski instructor, Where putting myself where? through college where? when where I got out of Nam. Where? In Aspen. Oh, please, Howard. <laughs> what? I've never even been to Colorado. I have, too. <laughs> you know to Boulder has great Chinese restaurants? <laughs> Howard, Howard, talk to me about technology. Do you know my father you invented, do you know father man-made snow? That he was one of the inventors of that? Did you, you know that? Yeah, that's what he does. Come my father's a multi-millionaire. Now, come over here and get a massage. <laughs> Tell me some more ski techniques so I believe this. I, well, what's the slalom? I... Ask me that. What's the slalom? What's the slalom, Robin? Go ahead if you know so much. No, 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 no. She asked you how. Listen, I, if you want, if you're going to test me, if this is a test, then would that's you, Would you go straight at a gate, or would you turn early, turn late? How would you? I would go you turn? Uh, personally myself. Yeah. I've always gone straight. <laughs> straight at a gate. Straight at a gate. No one else that's does, good. but only I do. Uh, <laughs> I shush, I glide, I flirtate, and I myrtle. Are you flirtate and myrtle? Okay. Those are secret words, and you don't even know what they mean. I don't All right, listen, see. Susie. Uh, Merle Susie. was a dead giveaway. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susie, may I call you Susie Chapstick? Yeah. Chaffee? By the way, it's Chaffee. Chaffee. Whatever. I like Chaffee better. Well, uh, is that your maiden name? It has been pronounced Chaffee both ways in history. What is it, uh, Baba Hohai? What is this? Think of Chap, Chap, Daffy, Chappy. Chap <laughs> hey, what is this? This guy says you were in Playboy. Is that really true? Uh, well, actually, uh, if truth be known, oh, I was were. in a tennis tournament in Aspen. Yeah. And there was a gentleman who was the sponsor hmm. of Dan Skin. I'm going to get that. Who I had inadvertently stood up. Yeah. When they were, I was doing a benefit on Long Island for the U.S. Olympic team. Oh, and your breast popped out. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> he was sponsor of the Aspen event, and he said, "Hey, would you wear my outfit at the this, this event?" Understood. And I said, "Yeah, please. I, I, I want to make it up to you. I'm so sorry. I, you know, because this guy was you're a nice punk. person. Yeah. Yeah. So I put it on. I had a leotard and then a little skirt over it. And we were in the finals. I mean, I am an erratically good tennis player. I'm right. either really bad or really good. I play a tennis player. I happen to be really good that day. I'm very good. And I thought the fans were cheering because I was really good. Uh -oh. What would happen? <laughs> well, it was see through. It was no. It was a leotard. You know, one of those um, nylon leotard latex or not latex. <laughs> It was a, um, um, yeah, I'm a designer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a kind of a lycra. lycra. A lycra leotard, nylon, so it was a little slippery, and it kept riding, you know, up the crack. Oh. Ooh. In the pre... Uh, Demonstrate. The pre-string <laughs> era. Uh -huh. you know, strings became like their commonplace, right? I so mean, your patch was in like, view? 
No. no. Oh. So I kept riding up Your the ass. back, and I would pull it down, and then and then mm. serve, and then but it would ride. Mm. And someone photographed it. It was light blue, so in black and white, it looked, it looked like nothing. Really. And they had a debate in my state on whether I was wearing something or not. And first, I was can I have that rather embarrassed. So I wrote a rebuttal in in Playboy about it was all done in puns. And instead of so they they published this. So you were in Playboy. But then they ran the picture again. Oh, I see. So you weren't back. really posing in Playboy. No. Okay. Very no. good. Thank you. I'm glad you cleared that up. Well, I, I, I just wanted... The, it was a very long story, Rob. The governor of my... And, and have you noticed that with Susie, every story is long. Very long story. And always involves Egypt and spirit. <laughs> Susie, uh, it's a pleasure meeting you. I don't know how you ended up with this Mark Harris, but you're, you're with this him. This is one of the most fun two days I've Are had. you going to see Mark guys. again? Are you going to see Are you going to go on another date it. with him? I'm sure. I doubt it. Okay. I hope so. you doubt it. Right, Mark, Wait, thank you. Thank you. If he'll, if he'll take what was back. the question the caller had for Susie? He's still on the phone. He doesn't have a question for Susie. Oh, he doesn't. Do you have a question for Susie? Quickly, yes, I have to go. Okay, quickly. Susie, if you're so spiritual and everything like that, what is, what's happening with Mark that he's not calling himself a gay person? What's that doing to his soul? Well, so far, it's a, it's a moot subject because he's still no, married. No, no, wait, no. Besides us. that, I don't have a boyfriend, so how am I going to call myself gay? Thanks, exactly. Do you need no a boyfriend one cares. to be gay? Not this yeah, guy, so. obviously. Obviously, he could be alone and have fun. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take care. That guy was very gay on the phone. <laughs> All right, listen, everybody do whatever you want. But you want to be gay, go be gay. You want to be uh, with Egypt, go be with Egypt. Uh, do whatever you want. You should be who you are. Oh, you that's easy for you to say. Yeah. Try being me. All right. <laughs> I like to be someone else. comes in all kinds of packages, and, and there just should be love between and tolerance between everybody. So you say. All right. Anyway, hey, You Susie, know what I honor about you? Yes. Is your universally bigoted to everything and Thank no you, one Susie. believes it as a result that is the nicest thing anyone's ever said about yeah. me and there's a lot uh, of truth you're so well put yeah <laughs> and there's a, it's a lot of truth on your show I mean Thank you. you were you were right about so many things I'm right about traffic <laughs> <laughs> and well, Susie I don't listen to one show I mean it's a pleasure meeting you but I will you. listen to you again thank you very much and Susie and the cab driver who got me here says I gave him the address he says that's the Howard Stern show. That's right. He knows. And the cops. Oh, oh yeah. That the was biggest funny. supporter. Susie, I'm trying to say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Right. <laughs> Susie, I want to thank you for coming in. Susie's on a roll. Wow. Mark <laughs> Harris. Thank you. thank you. I'll see you the next time you're in town, I hope. Yeah, yeah August 4th at Shea Josephine. Right. Oh, you celebrity, decided on the date. Yeah, Celebrity Deli in Las Vegas, the 2nd and 3rd of July. Celebrity Deli's listening Well, today. certainly you have to be a fan of Mark's music. It's one of a kind. You'll never hear anything like it. Mark yeah. Harris, Hopefully. Susie Chaffee, <laughs> and we have to take a break. How about the sweet side of you and I going to his show? How about the sweet oh, side? Oh, asked you for a date. How about the sweet side of you and I just doing a little rub down thing here? Yeah. Rub, rub each other's auras. Mm. Let's or get physical. Okay, or Let's skip the I'll rest of that. that. Let's, we'll let's skip the date part. That's let's get right to the okay. foreplay. Okay. That's the aura. All right. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Soon show. Jackie New Rave Joke Page Martling to order Jackie's comedy CD or cassette. It's ten dollars plus free shipping and handling. Indian summer special. Buy two get one free. Call one eight hundred three two three K I N G King. Friday night, October twenty first. Jackie at my father's place in Bayside, Queens. For raunchy jokes and information, call five one six nine two two wine. Remember, nine two two wine is not not a pay service. So uh, you're in luck. All right. Jackie, give me something free to the people. <laughs> that's right, pal. You keep laughing. All right. Anyway, yeah, that's right. Okay, so. Uh. <laughs> 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 Jackie's from Jupiter. All right. Him and Burt Reynolds. I saw Burt Reynolds on TV yesterday. He was wearing. You know, the wig and the whole thing. Now he's got a gray wig. Why would you gray your wig? I don't know. But anyway. But still have it be so full. Yeah. A full gray wig. And he's got these big, giant aviator glasses. Don't they seem to sort of gray down? Like they yeah. get lighter as, you know, what, what, dark, whatever way it goes. Yeah, it's changing were, color. I wear glasses. Some guys actually, like, tint half the they, yeah. The tint is dark on top and it gets right. lighter on the bottom. Yeah. And they look like. Miss Kitty from Gunsmoke. I don't know what he looks like, but he's got these big, giant, powerful aviator glasses, and it covers up most of his face. He's giant goggles. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that look went out about ten years ago. I should know. I had it. Bert doesn't know. Whoa. 
Bertie's out of touch. Does Bert look in the mirror? I mean, Bert looks more and more like an astronaut. Read a magazine, Bert. He's got this big helmet, helmet of head, helmet of hair, and then he's got the goggles going over his face. He looks like a big marionette. Hey, here's a picture of Bert. Hey, this is holding his divorce papers. There it is for the e-camera. By the way, on our e-show tonight, um, yes, part three of Pamela Anderson. Don't miss it. This is the final episode where I finally slow dance with oh, Pamela. Oh, you get to touch her. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Robin, and then Robin makes fun of the way I <laughs> dance with Pamela. And then Jackie and I do our famous tiny dance. Ooh. And uh, uh, Jackie runs away from me because I start to get a little physical with him. Uh, I couldn't do it. I, I know. What would happen there? You know what? And it, it wasn't because... Uh, you're a guy. It's just you're so tall. It was so awkward. Like, your private parts, like, right in my chest or something. Well, hey, pal. Some people like that. Well, they like that. In fact, speaking of people who like that. Oh, boy. Uh, we have a visitor. <laughs> what a... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we have Mark Harris here, but I'll get to... from another planet as well. But, but anyway, it's a funny episode tonight because Robin ridicules me for not dancing. I had my chance to dance sexy with Pam Anderson, and I kind of screwed up. And then I said, I can dance sexy. Robin goes, no, you can't. Show me on Jackie. And I start to show her on Jackie, and Jackie, I get so physical physical with him that Jackie can't handle the sexuality. But isn't it interesting that you could only get real sexy with Jackie? I'm comfortable with Jackie. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Jackie's very sexual. Yeah, thanks for running away. Let's, we could have seen what would have happened. All eyes were on us. So that's our tonight on uh, your e-television. And if you don't get e-television, well, you and me both, we don't get it. Uh, I'll tell you something. I think it's a conspiracy at this point. And I'm not sure why. <laughs> All right, listen, um, real quick, it's always funny to goof on Mark Harris, who was here. Mark Harris, if, if you remember, the reason he is now famous is he married a very old woman, Martha Ray. And he's a bit of a character, and he's an admitted bisexual. I believe he's getting more and more gay. I think he's well into the gay area. And I don't know how, you know, he came in here straight. I don't know what happened. When he first started coming in here, he tried to act a little bit straight. But he kept saying, I am straight. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Uh, wait, here's his song play. <laughs> Dear President Clinton, I did write this song for you. To thank you on behalf of Martha Ray. Oh, he should be playing the message for Saddam. I know we had our Where is the message for Saddam? Uh, that is really funny. don't know Yeah, hey, stop this for a second. You, you, know, you told me not to do... You told me it was so off. bad. It was awful. Give it back, I'll get it. Give it back, get it, get it for uh, Now that it... He wrote a new yeah, song, but it's the fun. same song. Right, with different words. My calling card. How are you? And what is this giant picture you're holding? Gary, hold up the picture that Mark Harris has. Why is he carrying it? That's not well advised. Are you carrying a picture of yourself? Oh, you think that's gorgeous? No, actually, my Look photographer at this face. thinks that's gorgeous. <laughs> Why are you holding a big picture of yourself? Well, I have to bring it over to your club. We're doing uh, the musical that I conceived, Dorian Gray. Do you conceived the musical? As the musical, right. Where do you do... Let me ask you something. Let me be honest. Conceiving. First of all, let me be honest with you. you <laughs> every time you hear you're conceiving, remember your TV pilot and all these things? Your game show. Not one of these things has been seen. When, are you gonna, when is it going to dawn on you that you're really not? Your Geraldo hey, show. Wait, wait, let me say something. I don't yeah, know. What happened to your Geraldo show that you were going to produce? No, I, pitched, I didn't produce that. I pitched a few ideas. Then what happened to those ideas? Well, they didn't use them. <laughs> and what happened to the pilot you were shooting? Which pilot? The game show produce? pilot. Oh, yes. Well, we're using that for something, seriously speaking. Yes, uh, if they're yeah. lining a cage. No, we are. With it still, now. wouldn't you be. You're uh, lining a cage with a pilot. No, no. It's, it's, well, I'm not going to plug that. Let's just uh, talk about Dorian Gray. What? Did you get your invitation? To what? Dorian Gray. Is. No, what is it? You can see. The, the, As what was Dorian Gay? Dorian Gay. Dorian Gay. Right, right, right. Dorian Gay. Is it called Dorian Gay? Oh, please. Yeah. Is it called Dorian Gay? No, that was a You know, let me, let me say something to you. I, I'm going to say this real quick. Please. When you first came in here and you were trying to convince everyone that you were really I'm Martha Ray's... You were trying to convince everyone that you were Martha Ray's real husband and the, oh, about you were going through with the daughter. Martha Ray's daughter was challenging the marriage because you were gay. You said, hey, listen, Wait, I am not gay. challenging because of, I'm gay? Really? No. Well, I think that had something to do with it. She was suing her mother before we got married. You were, young man, you, you were a young man who married a wealthy woman. Who could I barely... love that young, young. <laughs> no, you were a young man who married a wealthy older, woman. Yeah, just... Older. A older. very old woman. 33 years. But look at you. see all scars from his surgery. I Where? Know. All over your neck. Really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Seriously? Well, it's not all healed. It's all lumpy, you mean. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey we're going to call Dr. Glick Why after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to call Dr. Glick. Now you are so gay. I mean, you are you are not even trying to act straight. I'm not trying to act anything. The first time you, you came to see me, Firestein look straight. The first time you came to see me, you told me you were straight. It was right. No, I did. I say yes. yes. And wow. then you admitted you were bi. 
And now I believe you're full homo. Well, I'm doing nothing, actually. If you really want oh, to I don't buy that. With... I don't oh, believe okay. that. I don't believe um, you're doing nothing. Let's put it this way. The last time when uh, you asked me, Robin, you said, well, you're always going to Paris. You're always going to Germany. Yes. Well, what's there? So I just looked. I said, well, let's say a Vita Zane. I just came back from Paris. We could now say bonjour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can I'm going to throw up. Was uh, stuff he was, you know yeah. how I said he has this little repartee that he oh, goes that's through? Right. Yes. During, yeah. in the breaks, you know, he'll finish one of these wacky songs and then he'll start talking to the audience. Oh. He'll say something like that. Everybody looks at each other like, do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, do, you know you know that, do you know that yeah. no one knows what you're talking about? <laughs> well, you know something. Do you have any clue? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I mean, really. When you talk, <laughs> no one knows the paper you... going over my head. No. You, you have no, we have no idea what you're talking about. I don't either. I am telling you, I, there are times when Mark talks to me, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even know if the words go but together. New Year's Eve, the Washington Shoreham Hotel, New Year's Eve, uh, I'll be playing there. So uh, Doing what? No, no. Uh, yeah, what do they have, tennis court? Who has the, no, we put a little act there together. It's uh, four guys, four, and a whole lot more. Four, four, you and three other guys. Right. Oh, cool. And uh, four guys. <laughs> four guys. And who are these four guys? I know. Are, these, are they married to Martha Rachel? One's a, no. One's a comedian, the Bullhorn. You must know him, Jackie, right? Glenn Super. The Bullhorn. The bull, <laughs> Mr. Bullhorn. The Bullhorn. We all know. Yeah, Mr. Bullhorn. Then we have a young guy that's uh, the Bullhorn. The Bullhorn. Does all these uh, Marky Mark impressions in underwear, and he's going to be. So, so you're going to be with a guy singing no, in his we underwear come out individually. But okay, so this guy comes out in his underpairs. Right. And parades around. Okay, Same. yeah, go right. ahead. Yeah. And then uh, we have the mostly men in the audience. Well, I don't know who they're making it. When you, when you, when you go... $45. All right, it's a funny show. But it? is it mostly males who come to see these shows? Well, if not, there's a lot of pretty ones. I don't know. There's a lot of women, guys. There are. Yeah. But I would say, I say this is probably appeals to a homosexual audience, having a guy in his underwear singing. <laughs> Marky Mark. I don't know. He never you... played Washington. Marky Mark, Mark appeals to gays, so yeah. I don't see why oh, somebody no, no. imitating him wouldn't. Right. And uh, then the other day, we were looking for this fourth guy. couldn't find him. We found him. Uh, he's working in Bergdorf, but he's... Uh, what do you call that when they... Well, he dresses up after hours, and he's going to do a whole female impersonating... Uh, <laughs> he doesn't know what you call that. Uh, uh, Jim is, that a, is that a drag thing? Jim Gender? His, his, uh, yeah, he said, you know him? I know him, I Jim Gender. Do I, know him? I don't know anyone named know, Gender. Well, anyway, so, so Jim Gender. Come on. So, you, so first is a guy uh, with a bullhorn. Right. Then the second guy <laughs> oh, parades, parades around naked, right. almost yeah. naked, no, and naked, sings. But yeah. Then the next guy dresses up as a woman. Right. And then you're the show well, you star. I come out with three <laughs> chorus girls singing the opening number to Dorian Gray. And what is the what opening is number to Dorian Gray? You wrote well, the music? No, it? Joe Michaels, Jackie's friend. Mm -hmm. Great, great. No, I wrote my death scene. That's the only song I wrote. Mm -hmm. We wish. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Oh, yeah. Ah. That's a fantasy yeah, scene. No, no, no. So you wrote Dory. The, the great uh, Dorian right, Gray story yeah. was written by who? Oscar Wilde. Okay, and you feel qualified to rewrite Oscar Wilde's works <laughs> and uh, turn them into a musical? Hey, this is going to be 1995. I yeah. see, and you went to the Oscar Wilde estate and asked permission for this? No, but while I was in Paris, I never knew this. Uh, oh, someone sure. took me over to the hotel where he uh, lived and died. Uh, that Lotel Hotel, gorgeous place. I see, so you feel, now you feel... You yeah, I did, I did all my... Did you contact him? The part, you know, there's a whole... See, this song, Dorian Gray. No, my throat is too dry this morning. I have a lot oh, of meetings. You're in show business. You have a lot of yeah, meetings. Yeah, what do. meeting do you have? Well, we got the piece goods, but we don't have the cutting for my first shipment for that Both Ways clothing company. We narrowed it down just to jogging suits. I, I, you never get, I, I will predict he you will see none on. of these things. He says, you know what? They don't want to go unisex. Yeah, yeah then, but for, for the jogging suits, that's the only thing that made sense. You know he's right. making all this up. You know there's no right. day. I got the piece good, but not the cutting. Well, we'll what get it. We'll about? get it. It takes time. When he's not writing plays, we're writing Oscar Wilde's works. He's busy with piece goods. <laughs> yeah, you're a busy what? man. Yeah, it's either that. Do any of these things, have any of these things paid off and made some money yet? No. 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 So how are you no, living? Well, for Martha Ray's uh, no. estate? Yeah, no. Can't do that. That money's put away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how do you get money? Put away, all right. What? Okay. Same way I get airline okay. tickets. Same resource. <laughs> it's okay to rewrite it because you saw the hotel where the guy stayed. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never knew. Well, but, you know, I can I'll have to check all. into the legalities of that. You know, that. Public domain, Is like Phantom Shoes. Right. They put it with plastic surgery and all that. Oh, you have plastic surgery. Oh, I see. In the part. In other words, the, the story of Dorian Gray as is a painting story, ages actually. every right. decade, and it gets so ugly and old. That's when I'm just presented with it. Uh, <laughs> you see, you do that. Do that. Put a do draw a dot board on that giant picture. Do me a favor, Jackie. Then we have a Frankenstein moment where you know a nip and tuck.
so you uh, and you will sing the, this song about Dorian Gray. What is the opening number again? Another Night of Beauty. Let me hear a little of it. Give me a little of the tune. No. Oh, you know, you know, you know. If you're an entertainer, you entertain. You Don't you come do here in night? front of millions of people and tell me you're not a singer. Oh, if you're a no, singer, let me hear you I sing. Didn't do that. Let me hear the opening number. Put on the message no. With the let me hear the opening number to Dorian Gray. I have to hear a little. Let's just give me a couple of bars. If he's going to do did. eight shows a week, he's got yeah. to be able to. No, who's doing yeah. eight shows a week? What if you do Broadway. Yeah. If it gets to Broadway. It probably you know, will with your talent. Oh, you do. Now, go ahead. I'm serious. I'm a big Mark Harris fan. Let me hear I a couple. I know you can make fun of this. I won't. Good. I swear I will not. It's another night of beauty. It's a fantasy parade. Every hair, nail, and eyebrow must impress each buying highbrow who have come to see the garments we display. Oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> now play the dom. That's more fun. You know, in between, no, no, the no. war effort at least. Why don't you play the dom? And you will right? sing that and people will pay money. Yeah. Well, All right. Well, very good. Well, maybe, okay. Uh, well, what do I know about show business? <laughs> Well, you're making a movie, aren't you? I certainly am, Mark. It's not as good as that, though. <laughs> With a beard? With a beard? Yeah, that's, I'm growing it out for the film, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So where's Gary with uh, Saddam? Where's the Saddam song, Gary? I want to hear. Oh, let me take a break. <laughs> Gary, I'm sure we'll hustle in with the Saddam song. By the way, Mark, you're, 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 what are you promoting? Quickly, because I, I have so well, much to Well, New get Year's to. Eve, Washington, D.C. You're already Omni. This promoting hotel New is Year's gorgeous. Eve? You're promoting New Year's Eve early. Oh, yeah. Yes, early, so you know, early. it's advanced, uh, advanced ticket sales. Advanced ticket sales, yeah. The book and it will be you and right. the four guys. Three guys. Three guys. And it will be... Four guys, four. And, and a whole lot more. Hey, you remember it. Four guys, four. With Mr. Bullhorn. Hey, he's getting a good plug. The bullhorn seems a little out of the hole. You know, what doesn't fit out of these four things is like an SAT. Uh... Wait till you see where we put the bullhorn. Ah, <laughs> that's where it fits. <laughs> Everything has a theme. Yeah. You have become so much more effeminate since really? I know you. Oh, yeah. please. Not the leopard. In the beginning, he tried. He's almost a transvestite at this oh. point. He has an old wife. She's missing her legs. And, I mean... Why can't they find them? <laughs> well, they had to cut them off, right? Right, Mark? That's blue humor. No, it's oh. that's blue humor. That's blue humor. humor. Sad. If you were married to Mark, you'd have your legs cut off, too. <laughs> are you still married, technically? Technically? Yeah. Legally. You are? Of course. Have you seen her recently? Of course. I just left the other day to come in here. How is she, by the way? She's very ill. She very is. Very bad. How but, could you leave? You, yeah. If she's so ill, why wouldn't you stay? Because, first of all, she knew that I was working on this Dorian thing, and she heard the music when she was able of comprehending it, and she really liked it. But you make a choice in life. He's always again. got her you know, dying, uh, you know, but yet she mean, holds on. I'm glad she holds on. I want her to hold on another 50 years. I did. No, I know you don't. You know, but at this point, uh, there's no quality in life at all. It's very sad, mm -hmm. but you can't get serious. So yet. if there's no quality in life, how did she know your music was good for Dorian Gray? She was okay a few months ago. Oh, she's slipping. She, Ma Martha. Oh, there you go. Martha, blink Let's once. Like blink Martha. once if you if you like my song. Ask when she slipped. Was he singing? <laughs> yeah. She was trying to get away. <laughs> no, but she did see the tape of that. Thank one. God you. In New York. Thank God you took her money though and uh, built that disco dance hall. We're not in the house thing. yet. It's oh. not going to be ready now till April. Good idea building that house. I'm sure Martha will be able to enjoy it with no quality of life. It will be a lot easier for. It her. will. All right. A disco he built her. Wasn't the woman disco, lost her leg a and he's a, for a legless woman. That was long before. <laughs> a nightclub for a legless he woman. He just said it won't be ready till April. There's no hurry. No. <laughs> she's not her last leg. <laughs> no leg. Oh, no, she's not her last leg. She's past that. Let's do something really April. funny instead of these cheap shots. She's she's like cheap shots. Cheap oh, shot. please. Cheap shots. Oh, cheap yeah. shots. Cheap shots. Nothing cheap about this show. the other guy that usually sits over there? We threw him out. Like we're going to do to you in about a minute. Yeah. All right, here we go. Mark. Harris singing a message for Saddam Hussein. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it's in the desert. And then I'm throwing him out of here. <laughs> now listen to the words. <laughs> Dear Saddam Hussein, <laughs> I'm stating publicly, you're just another crackpot enemy. Isn't this the same tune as the other yeah, song? my calling card. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't you get a new soundtrack? Write a new song. Well, this is all new instrumentation. Oh, Look, it is? Leo the Lion did all these musical instruments. Leo the Lion. Oh, <laughs> no. A liberator. Just another 
the mustache dictator. And all around the world. He is so proud of himself. And look at what he's wearing. He's wearing a leopard skin jacket. Leo. Not real leopard. You can't do that. Right. by Leo the leopard. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> We're gonna have to take you out. And Jackie keeps hitting Mark in the head with pieces of paper. Doesn't matter. Keep going. So, and it bounces right off his head. <laughs> right. So right. It's all this right right off his hair. Just disturb that hair. No, that <laughs> hair is like frozen oh, on his head. Oh, talking about wigs. You do look good, though. You look handsome. You it's do. You're a handsome man. Surgery. To preserve for all the world democracy. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, when he has a little uh, bit of power, like, around, uh, I guess he has some garment industry. There must be a couple of lackeys who hang around him yeah. who probably get yelled at all day. Oh, takes out all his anger on them. <laughs> they think I'm nuts. Yeah, everyone thinks I you're nuts. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't. I'm serious. I know I'm old. And all the projects you talk about, and none of them have come to fruition. Doesn't that tell you something? Try, try, try again. What do I know? I'm having a ball. Really? Yeah. I bet you are. Bonjour. Oh, that's oh, that is oh, another on. show. You don't have a boyfriend? Yeah, now I do. But oh, you do? Have the show. That's oh, Paris. really? Yeah, continue the song. You met someone in Paris? Yeah, oh, continue sure. the song. Then we can when did Paris. you meet this guy in Paris? Seriously, when did you meet him? The last trip. Really? He's the one that brought me to the Oscar Wilde. Martha Ray doesn't mind that you're dating a guy? I don't think so. No? no. Have you discussed it with her when no, she was, I'll, of I'll course, discuss, lucid? I'll discuss it with the nurse first. Really? Yeah. He'll discuss it with yeah, the nurse getting married. First? He's getting married to a 30... Oh, well, he's a little younger. I see. That's another thing. And you got some young boy in Paris? Probably. Oh, look at him biting the bottom lip. Terrible. Oh, boy. Your boyfriend is 30? No, his girlfriend is 30. No. Your boyfriend? His girlfriend is 30. He's oh, he has, younger. He's getting, in, he's getting married. The guy, you're, the guy you're, your lover is okay. engaged to be married? Is yeah. that what you're saying? And how does that make you feel? Why would he marry Who a woman? Who the hell cares? Are you being serious? Yeah, he's I am being married. serious. Honestly. No, yeah, right. But Can no. we call him? You want to call him in Paris? Yeah. And you've, you've had sex with this guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Did, did you go all the way? Why did you interview him February? Did you go? Me in all right, good. You're going to bring your boyfriend in? Yeah. And his wife doesn't mind that he's having gay sex with you? He didn't tell her yet. I see. <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet this guy? Are you going to the wedding? Huh? At the hotel. You met him at the hotel? Mm -hmm. He's going to be made of honor. I'm going to be made of honor. What do I know? The whole thing's so confusing. You met him at the hotel, the and he was a really handsome guy. Yeah, very handsome. The whole thing's confusing to me. And did you make it the first no, night? No, no, no. You, I went to London the next day. How did, you, how did romance start? How did it blossom? He called me for dinner. I mean, he works for the hotel. He does publicity for them. So uh, You had an inkling. You had the gay radar on. You knew that there was radar, something. Radar, nothing. They come to me. What do I know? I was... Oh, they come well, to you. He's the whole always very confusing being hunted. I'm serious. It was confusing. Well, you're a handsome guy. I imagine a lot of guys yeah, dig you. Too young. Oh, but that you couldn't help problem. yourself. No, I helped myself. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Much later. And who introduced the two of you? Leo the Lion or Leo the Leopard? <laughs> All right. All right, you know what? Are we going to finish this with song? No. No. Yeah. Oh. You Let me tell you, that leopard coat is a bone smuggler magnet. Yeah. I mean, if you're, he doesn't know why I they come the, to him. Yeah, he doesn't, why do they come to me? I don't send out any vibe. Uh, after all. Attention all gays. Check out the coat. Check out the coat. <laughs> warning. Warning. He swore to me the last time we talked that he wasn't even interested in any. That's why it was so confusing. He oh, was looking. please. So the guy takes you out to dinner. The guy takes you out to dinner, and you're thinking, wow, he's a really handsome man. Let me put on my coat. No, that's not what I was thinking. What were you thinking? Oh, how, oh, my poor Martha. No, I was thinking of all the projects that I'm working on, and I was telling him he's in publicity. He had a lot of good ideas. <laughs> Can you imagine these two yeah, guys? Good ideas, all. No, I'll call you up to that room. The only thing that these guys accomplished was <laughs> pleasing each other's buttocks. Ah. No, none of that. No, you didn't go into that? No, 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 no. Forget that. Really? Mm -mm -mm. He doesn't do that. Are you Thor? Are you what? Thor? Are you Thor? Are you Thor? No. <laughs> you are not? No, but... We're not doing any of this song. You didn't get a good workout? No. So you're having dinner, and he's discussing all your delusions with you and, and uh, figuring out ways to promote you. Delusions. Because none of these yeah. things have come to fruition. Even your Dorian Gray play, I haven't seen this you anywhere. You started. All right. Yeah. Uh, you got your invitation. Are you all right. coming there? Uh, coming I where? I didn't see any invitation. It was sent here. We didn't get it. Your, pu Gary. your publicity man ask didn't get Gary, it. Ask Gary. An invitation. Yes. Where's he getting money for invitations? Where am I getting all this? Is this from the Monterey Estate? No. You swear to God? I swear. Right. Absolutely no.
Right. So you get... So you well, get... when I found out the guy had money, I said, well, gee, he's nice. No, you meet the guy in Paris, and you start talking, and then you're having dinner, and then... All no, of us... we didn't just go to dinner. I said, I'm going to London tomorrow, and that was it. Goodbye. And I said, I'm checking back into this same hotel next week when I came back. Tomorrow. So you go back next week, and then what happens? We I go out to dinner. And then when do you start kissing and stuff? Start kissing. Not that... Not that... I don't know. Like, you went out to dinner like again. And... We went out to dinner four times. And then sex begins. I'm four la- I'm four la- dinner dates. It was very interesting. It's so interesting. You should know from it. It's still confusing. Were flowers waiting for you in your room each time? No. Nothing romantic? No. And you go out to dinner each time, and does he say to you, I'm very attracted to you? We're and, really talking about a lot of business. And you never bring up gay sex or gayness or, or I'm attracted no, he, to you? No, he, he said... Because uh, it's obvious you're gay. He, he said in English, uh, in French, yeah. uh, he said that uh, all the Americans have so many problems with sex and all that. You're so Puritan. Uh, oh, oh, there's the tip-off right yeah. there. So you start touching each other under the table between courses? <laughs> To no, that you're not the hotel him. lobby. Yeah, like, like, like Mark Harris. In. Mark, the French, putting us down. Like, we're so pure. Mark Harris, there's no Puritan there. That's yeah, what I tried it. to tell him. open to everything. That's what I tried to tell him. Yeah. Was the guy big? There was an Eiffel Tower no. in the <laughs> No. He wasn't? No. Oh, no. We had to get over the age problem. All right, you got over that. And what happened? You brought him up to your room? Yeah, it was my room, all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you bring him up to your room? Yeah. And And did you strip him? No. Did you peel him like a tomato? No. We had a lot of conversations. Did you, did you, did you took off your own clothes? You had a lot of conversations? No, I called And then what happened? He leaned over and started a kissing you? He leaned over and started kissing you? Something like that. And did it taste good, his mouth? Uh, no. What are you trying no? to do? No. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself vomit. I'm an anorexic. <laughs> did he kiss you everywhere? I mean, was he like kissing you up and down your body? Just about. Really? Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, really interesting. And how did your clothes come off? Did you peel your clothes off for him and, and delight him? Did you delight his eyes with the sight of you undressing yourself? I did a strip tease. I don't know. I was glad I had surgery. But don't be mind. honest. Did you did you take off your own clothing? Of course. And you didn't remove his clothing. He removed yeah. his own. Yeah. And the two of you were totally nude in front of each other. Yeah. It was that smoking I couldn't stand. He oh, he smoked, smoked. cigarettes. Yeah. And then you um. To but you got over. He's trying to kill himself with cancer. <laughs> But you got over it. And during sex, do you play this rotten song of yours? This, uh... this, this song. This song. You know, the words are really cool. You are a moron. A jackass would be better. Read the U and letter. You are a liar. All right. To an Arafat, the fact is that you know it's true. You never... And you memorize all these songs, right? You could actually sing this... Five. No, this one I can't. But you've memorized the Dorian Gray the, the whole Dorian, yeah, and the dialogue and all that. Wow. Yeah, that, wow, isn't that that's important? That's a lot of work. Imagine memorizing something that no one is ever going to say. That's you know, a lot but of that's work. what cracks me up. He actually gets people to do this stuff with him. I know. Around, playing around isn't like that. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. How many people are involved in the Dorian Gray play that you're putting together? Fourteen. And they've all memorized the script, and you guys have had rehearsals and everything. Mm-hmm. We're <laughs> rehearsing more Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday night showtime. In two yeah. seconds, you know how long it takes me to write a movie? This guy, in two gave, seconds, he rewrites gave, Dorian Gray. Well, look how he fast doesn't I have any experience, out. but he knows this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look how fast. Never acted nothing. Look how fast they turned that song out for the war effort. Right. Fantastic. Listen, Mark. Yes. So, every, so here, listen, yes, let's, no. let's say why you're here. Number one, you are, of course, the husband of uh, Martha That's Ray. That's why I'm here. And we wish Martha Ray a continued uh, whatever. We wish her well. You... On the other hand, we do not wish well. Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought that was true, Howard. No, no, no. You're only kidding, right? No, go out and uh, pick you a... You do wish me well, Of right? course I do. Of course. of course. Pick a reckless cr- cab driver on your way out of here. <laughs> All right, so, so here. Go ahead and do Dorian Gray. We wish you luck with that. But more importantly, New Year's Eve, if people yes. want to see the Mark Harris four... Experience. Four guys, four, four, and a whole lot more. Four guys, four, and a whole lot more. They can buy their tickets in advance. Yes, right. How many now, tickets? How many? Now, how big a seat theater is this? Two hundred. Two hundred. All two hundred people will get to party with Mark Harris. Right. New Year's Eve. Right. right. Well, you know, you what? can laugh at New Year's Eve. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd rather drive around drunk New Year's Eve. Ah. <laughs> no, and, yes, and also, right, just, I would imagine a lot of people will need a party to go to, and you will provide the entertainment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. It's a frightening thought. How lonely would you have to be? You'd have to be real lonely. <laughs> yeah. Although a lot of guys can pick up other guys at the show, right? 
I don't think so. I mean, they can do what they want. It's not my business. But it's a good place to pick up other guys. Beautiful hotel, really. Yeah. What really is the hotel beautiful. again? The Omni Shoreham. All right, so spend New Year's Eve with Mark Harris on stage, Omni Shoreham. Oh, they're coming on stage? Yeah, you're going to no, be on I stage. am. <laughs> oh, but you're inviting God everybody sakes. to rush the stage. And will you be available that night if anyone wants to take you home to their apartment? No, I think the Parisian's coming in for New Year's Eve. I see. The Parisian will be there. So maybe you'll even bring your, bo your new boyfriend out on stage. People could see him. Well, no, I'm going to let him debut here. Oh, good. You're going to bring him in when? Absolutely. He's coming in. I don't know. I, th I know he said he's coming in February. All right. You bring him here February. I'm looking forward to that. Do you speak French? I certainly do. Oh, good. Yes. Mm. Stay away from me. No, yes, uh, <laughs> uh, <so long. laughs> the same French you speak. Yeah. <laughs> well, Robin, you could interpret. All right. Very good. Mark, the great Mark Harris. Wow, the great. Who is Thank sitting you. there on top of the mother load, which is a Martha Ray's fortune. All right. Very Best good. Best of luck with your movie. Thank you very much, Mark. I'll be calling you for the movie. I see cameo. You see cameo? Yes, it's, I need. I got to throw a guy out a window. <laughs> gotta, come on, it's a good part. Francois, you won't believe what they have me do. I, I no, actually, uh, there might be a part for you in the movie. Oh, I want to discuss with you. Your acting ability has pulled me over. <laughs> yes. Maybe we'll put in the you, Frenchman. You know what won me over? The Dorian Gray uh, song. Uh -huh. I need that in my film. Not the Saddam Hussein. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we will be back right after these words. A uh, sans Mark Harris. <laughs> And uh, we'll uh, be back right after this. You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. All right, anyway, what else is in the news? Well, funny lady, Martha Ray. Martha Ray, dear President Clinton, you took my wife from me. <laughs> well, she died, Howard. Ah! So Mark she Harris... She started in show business when she was three. She was one of those uh, yeah, me too. child actresses. On, in vaudeville, right. and then of course went into movies, and finally she had her own TV show in the 50s, the Martha Ray Show. I had no idea that she had had her own TV show. Oh, yes. Here is a little bit of it. Jackie taped this, taped this for us off his TV, actually, <laughs> when it originally aired. So we're the only ones who have yeah, it. Yeah, he was like, of course. Of course, she had a show. <laughs> I was 15 when that was on. Uh -oh. What? Just... This, as we, as you were starting the story, I just took a personal message from Mark Harris. I was uh -oh. wondering if that, we were but he won't come on the air. He yeah. said, "You know, I said, come on, Mark. You know, in morning. He said, let her, go, morning. let her go with let her go with dignity. Oh, let her what? Let her go with dignity. Oh. But um, well, what did he say? Okay, well, he said that tonight, starting tonight, there's going to be services at the Westwood Mortuary in Westwood, and the, all the public is invited. There'll be emissaries from the White House and dancing at midnight. <laughs> And what about the disco room he built for Martha? Will yeah, he be holding a party there? Yeah, that's going to be laid out. This is going to be laid out in the disco room. <laughs> that big wall. He built a disco room in the house. He, Martha loved it. I, Martha, Martha loved, loved the loved disco it. room. The woman had no legs. You know what? It, Remember, they even had that big disco ball <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the room. Her, her leg was hanging that. from it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a national burial at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And now, with what Martha. goes on with the money? What's, what about that conservatorship? I didn't feel it was the right time. His voice was very low. Yeah. It didn't feel it was the right time to ask him. Well, this is his Are moment. You sure? Where was he calling from? From, home. from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> from the bank. <laughs> this is his moment. I'll take it in Krugerrand, please. I have a plane That's to catch right. at midnight. I'll be buying a quart of douche dash. Ah. He's <laughs> a grieving widow. I bet you he'll be wearing a veil. <laughs> oh, i got to get pictures. Someone's got to get video of I'm, him at the funeral. I'm trying to know who these emissaries from the White House are that are going to be there. Yeah. But anyway... The I'm George Valentine dancers. <laughs> he will, he will, he will be in heaven. This is his moment. That you know, listen, this is sure. a big moment. That's He's going to be the star there. This is Martha Way's last one. Grieving husband. Yeah, this is the big one. This is number seven husband. <laughs> I'll be wearing a pillbox hat. <laughs> they were quoting uh, With real pills. things that Martha said at the time she took Mark as a husband, and she said, um, this is it. This is the big one. This is real love this time. Yeah. Who and, said that? She said, yeah, yeah. who's he? <laughs> <laughs> real love. And uh, he Ma made her feel young and very uh, womanly. When did she say this? I don't know. Oh, he but, said that she said this. No, this was quote oh, yeah. from Martha Ray at the time of their marriage. So... Anyway, I don't know who heard her say this, but maybe Mark this is Mark's Jackie big Mom. moment. It really is because now he gets to be the grieving oh, yeah. widow. Well, all of these people who would have had something to do with Martha Ray will now have to pay their condolences to Mark or respect to Mark. Yeah. Oh, and he, you know he outlasted all of her. You know all of her friends because didn't um. What What's he going to do? Didn't he just rewrite? Uh, what was that story he rewrote? Uh, oh, Picture of Joy and Gray. Oscar Wilde. I just rewrote the play to a musical about a garment center worker. <laughs> Updated it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine Mark? 
felt he could take poetic license with Oscar Wilde's work? Yeah, because he was in the same hotel. So what's he going to do? Does that mean New Year's Eve is canceled? He didn't say that. I, mean, right. I don't know what the period of mourning is. Everyone has different, you know, different times. You know, Mark's period of morning could, could be a day. 20 minutes. <laughs> it was over a couple of months ago. <laughs> yeah, didn't well, he take a know, new lover on? I was thinking about him today. I said, you know what? What he had was, um, you know, continental U.S. monogamy. Yeah. He was married inside the United States. But in Europe, he was single. In Europe, he could have a guy's buttocks. <laughs> what, 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 what about Alaska and Hawaii, Robin? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not part of the connected Commonwealth. <laughs> He was faithful on one side. <laughs> he was faithful on one side. Actually, he, he said he didn't go any, for any uh, buttocks. He went uh, another way. Uh, well, that's what he was faithful. Yeah, I, <laughs> not weird. Martha, that's yours. Here's a clip of the Martha Ray show. Okay. Well, I, I only try to help you, you know. I just try to give you a bedroom and a room and... and... Oh, no, no. We've a wonderful night together. At last, I'm going to be face-to-face -face with an old Greek masterpiece. All right, now get face-to-face -face with a young Italian masterpiece. Who are you? I'm Eddie. I need a Ray sounds like Jackie. <laughs> Bedroom, why, why are you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, you don't understand. He's a very sick man. This is Edward G. Robinson. You're a kid. No, I'm not oh, a city right, I am. Yeah. Oh, boy. But she's funny. Mm. <laughs> I think her marriage with Mark is funnier than the show. <laughs> I think her life was funnier than anything she ever did on Yeah. Mark, Mark swears that all the money that he might have been entitled to has gone to legal fees and there's none left. Really? I want to check into that. we got to get him on the show as soon as he's over his grieving. Yeah. And I'd love to see Martha's will. Oh, I'm sure we'll be seeing that very quickly. <laughs> yeah. When does the Inquirer come out? <laughs> we got to get pictures of him at the funeral and what he's wearing yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Because it'll be one of his own creations, I'm sure. I know. <laughs> An excellent opportunity to show off one of his own creations. Well, it better be good. He's had like five years to work on it. Yeah. Hot pants and a pea coat. <laughs> Surely this didn't catch him by surprise. He is prepared. Is that right, Mark? Is he wearing hot pants and hot a pea coat? Hot pants and a pea coat, <laughs> yes. And some lace up. Hey, we should send flowers. Of course. Yeah, we, we should. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> How much would you like to spend? I'll order them. Oh, something uh -huh. big. We want, And yeah. put your name on it. So you're well represented. Two fifty, too much. Two hundred fifty dollars. Two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> two fifty. We can go for more than that. Five. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Jackie ain't gonna chip in. And what should it say? I'm trying to think what kind of flowers. What should the card say? Um. <laughs> Dear President Clinton. Yeah, what about some pansies? <laughs> Just some pansies. Five hundred dollars worth of pansies. <laughs> I don't think I can keep, keep a straight face ordering them. That All time. We want $500 worth of pansies. <laughs> All for me. That'll be the entire crop. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> oh, what beautiful flower. What should the card say? Our condolences, you homo. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta write that with five hundred dollars worth of pants. <laughs> I, I gotta pay to my chest. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm writing. A... <laughs> I can dance with you, homo. Oh. <laughs> well, it should. You'll be in there with Martha. We'll have to send a funny card to you. <laughs> How nice. The oh, stereo sent the card. I love those guys. That's it. I can hold this you. Oh. <laughs> How could they? In my period of mourning. Where's my disco room? I'll You're retreat. not going to be here? Disco and douche dust for everyone. <laughs> Can we can we do that? No. Is that wrong? Well, uh, I don't know. Sure What's wrong? It's wrong. <laughs> sure, it's wrong, but it's damn Are funny. Are doing it? That's the question. Well, right, let's send them. Let's just send them the pansies with something nice. <laughs> You're right. Keep the pansies. <laughs> yeah. Change the card. Well, we don't have to spend five hundred dollars on pansy, do? We? Okay, I'm marking that. I'm marking that down to two. Two hundred dollars worth of pansies to go. How many? I, I mean, how do you? What is a pansy? Exactly. No. I mean, little flowers. Goofy little. 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 Are they expensive? No. I mean, I want to get a lot of them. I don't know what I'm saying. They couldn't be that expensive. I don't even know. You know if we go for 500, we'd probably have the biggest display there. It's we should cover, get. Let's get the. What is the cross. thing they call? No. Let's get the big cross. The, the big cross of roses on the uh, coffin. Uh, uh, is it Martha Ray Jewish though? 
Oh yeah, let's get. Can we get a Jewish star in blue roses? Do they do a Jewish no, star? Sure. No, they let's do anything. Send, let's send the cross. Yeah. A cross? Because sure. cross is so much more tasteful. Mm. Well, maybe she's not Jewish. Is American she? flag. You know what it's like to deliver five hundred dollars worth of Jewish stars? No. Why don't we have an American flag sent in flowers? Right? Oh, Jackie got it. An American yeah, flag. That's good. Oh, Mark will love that. And you get that thing. You can get one of those things that gets draped across it that says, you know, uh, plants, love, are, plants love, are deep. Loving. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> loving oh. friends. <laughs> Remember her legs. <laughs> Are they going to bury her with her legs? Like, what are they going to do? Who has her legs? <laughs> Who has her legs? I've been saving them. I need to have a casket. Oh. Get the leg out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> right next to her ear. <laughs> <laughs> what is he going to bury her in? One of those uniforms? <laughs> yeah. How he used to dress her up? Big mouth. He won't put her in a salute, will he? <laughs> yeah. He'll put her in her Vietnam outfit, I think. <laughs> you know, she's going with Bob Hope. Yeah. He'll put her in that, I bet. I bet you they dress her in, her, in full Remember military. Remember that party? Yeah. She yeah. wore full military yeah. regalia and beret. Yeah. Uh, the green beret. That's right. Probably bury her in a green beret and, and full military gear. And I'll be buried in a soldier. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, uh. it's our way of sending her off. <laughs> Poor Martha Reyes would be sent off in a, in a circus atmosphere. Oh, Why don't we send, seriously, because Mark is a friend of the show. I think the flag uh, idea is Flag good. is the way to go. Yeah. Big giant flag, $500. Red, white, and blue. If, and money, which, if and more be needed, we do it. And what should the card say? It's got to be big, though. we got to just say... Um, I'll ask them how big they can make it. Yeah, and then I'll we, we get it there before the cameras get there. Because we want to get, um, get yeah, my name right on it. Right away. Get Howard Stern Show on it, on the flag. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Howard Stern How about, like, from, your, uh, your, uh, from Howard Stern or your... Friend? No, no, no. Howard Stern Show. Because <clears throat> there's bound to be cameras there. Make it big. Tell me we want it real big. You don't want to put private parts on it. Oh, private parts to the movie. Coming soon? Coming soon, 1995, private parts to the movie. Put it on there. I'm serious. You I'm may, serious. You may be. I am, I am dead serious. <laughs> and address it to the Twinkie and send it off. <laughs> I like Mark. I'm sure he's grieving. This is one of those things that if we do this, you, you'll read an article about you in like five years. It'll Who say, cares? he's so crazy, he sent <laughs> an ad to Martha Ray's funeral. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's going to be cameras there, and I'm always one. F I'm a glutton for uh, uh, any publicity. kind of publicity. Okay, I'm getting to work on this. All right. That's how I promote my, my film. I'm totally committed to it. And Martha was in show business. She, she understands. Nobody knows a plug better than and Martha Ray. Who sure. loved to laugh more? Right. Bring a camera, too, and have Mark interview the guests on E. Give him a microphone. Give him a microphone. Believe me, he loves a mic. It'll cheer him right up. He'll forget why he's there. <laughs> 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 oh, he sees that many people. You know it's a party. And you know he's going to... for me? <laughs> and you know he's going to work this into a whole thing. Like, oh. he's, like, like talking about Martha Raven. Oh, yeah, Martha. he'll be doing a tour. Yeah. Retrospect. Yeah. You know, because he's always been talking about how he's got this biography plan, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I dig him. So, uh, but he's, you know, I'm he's, sure he's upset today. He is. He is. In, in all seriousness, let us uh, say goodbye. Farewell, funny lady, Martha <laughs> Ray. America's treasure. America's best treasure. Yeah. Now let's bury her. When a national figure passes away, they always have, us, you know, footage. They always have these things prepared in advance. You think yes. there'll be any footage with him in it? Oh, absolutely. Everybody has mentioned him in the... They haven't mentioned him by name. Right. But they've all mentioned him in his age. What did I say? That Yeah, much. that leads to age <laughs> that 43. They're leech. all jealous. <laughs> that barnacle. He's all right. I dig him, though. Oh. Let's say a fond adieu to Martha Ray, America's greatest treasure. Look <laughs> that Basil do it. <laughs> Basil's a big Martha Ray fan. One of our interns. I, I never knew that. Why? How could he be a Martha Ray fan? Does he want to say a word about Martha? And a serious, a serious yeah, note? We don't really know her That's except for yeah. Polly Grip commercials. How old are you? You're like twenty, right? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And, and to be a Martha, I mean, I really never got to even see Martha Ray except yeah. some Bob Hope specials. But you're way younger than I am. I don't think she stood up in his lifetime. Yeah. Well, no, I mean. You never even saw her with her legs, I did you? To, I had to watch what was on the TV. You know, I, I wasn't allowed to have. Mm. 
watch free wheel and TV in my household. Get close to that microphone. What do you mean free wheel and TV? You know, like I couldn't choose what to watch. I had to go you in and you watch had what one set? to watch in and right. my grandmother. And what would you watch of Martha Ray? Old movies? Yeah. And like her, like her, she had did like Alice. The show Alice, she was on there some. Yeah, and I don't played, remember what she did on there. She played Mel. Well, your parents are really uh, grabbing some great shows for you to watch. Well, Alice and... I couldn't watch TV until my homework was done. Right. Well, so. And that never got done. Your parents were ogres. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't think that homework ever got... I don't think it's still done <laughs> to this day. So he never hey, saw come on. I mean... <laughs> yeah. You must have been glad to go to jail when you finally went. Uh, <laughs> free TV. <laughs> free TV. All right, Basil. Do you have anything to say about Martha Ray? No. No? Okay. Oh. Thank you. Oh, great eulogy. Nice guy. For a woman who well, gave I, you a lot I, of laughs. I've commented and on And you hate Mark Harris, right? I don't. I, I just Come on, admit it. <laughs> you want to punch me, don't right, you? You, know, you want to yeah. punch me. You see, you're, you're, you're oh, a homophobe. Get out of here. Yeah, All right, goodbye, Bob. You don't bash gays, do you? I hope not. In your spare time. I'm going to put it past him. <laughs> All right, very good. So long, Martha Ray. We're going to take a break, Rob, and we'll finish up news when we get yeah, back. Very sad. Working on Oh, is that? It looks like president of the gay army. Or I know. You designed that coat? <laughs> yeah. I'm cutting it in denim. And who's going to wear that, that gays? I don't know. Gary already placed an order. I don't know. We'll see. Well, Gary told me you you, you told him you would make one. And <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you. Let me tell you. What is it? The, a Wait, gay no, Zorro let me, jacket? Let me just tell you. I'm gay Captain Blood. <laughs> blood. So now that Martha's that gone. That beautiful a flag that you sent thank from you. your show. No, very seriously. All right, thank you. It was all, you know, red, white, and blue with the flowers. And yes. Every, I mean, you couldn't help but notice. It was gorgeous. It was next to the casket. We sent $500 worth of um, flowers yeah. to uh, Mark Harris. Most and, beautiful arrangement. And uh, I must tell we were going to send $500 worth of panties, <laughs> which would have been uh, wild. We thought better of yeah, yeah, And then we thought well, about know it. better. <laughs> that, that would have been great, though. Can you imagine fun. you got $500 worth of panties? And then, um, so we sent you the $500 worth of flowers. It was in red, white, and blue, and yeah, the flag. flag. And it said, uh, Howard Stern Show. <laughs> and we, of course... Um, it didn't it, say Howard Stern. It said I know, Howard the movie. Stern, the, the movie. The right, movie. Right. And um, it ended up on all the TV shows and stuff. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> Mark put it right behind the casket. <laughs> yeah, alongside. But no, everybody liked it, really. It was really nice. So meanwhile, in the Who paper... Who was at the funeral? We don't even know. Yeah, who showed up? Well, Cesar Any Romero's names? gone. He was there spiritually. Yeah, who who was, was there? First Rose of all, Marie there? Yeah, by Rose the way, Marie was there. She loved that flag. As soon did she really? Absolutely, really. As soon as um, Martha Ray died, Mark went into the grieving widow routine. I was, you are. If, if I ever die, I want you to be my husband. He's a professional mourner. <laughs> you are no, a perfect. No this I is the moment you were waiting for. No. Oh, Oh, Don't come tell on. Us you didn't look, have you your played it. Already you played it beautifully. Play anything, but oh, what my this God. woman suffered the last year of her life is what With I am. You. It's, it's hurtful. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I know you can't years. do a serious show, so do all the crap first. And you were we'll like an seriously. Italian widow. No, we'll talk seriously when you want to. It was sad what she suffered this last Yeah, okay, year. we all know that. But yeah. meanwhile, your big moment, after all, you had now spent years with Martha Ray. Waiting for the moment when all the cameras and all the attention yeah. would be given because be all you. the celebrities had to You're come wrong. up. You were the they were, they were the per, you were the person they had to pay their respects. You're to. wrong. There were a lot of shows I did not do because I I didn't. Have we're the not time. talking about shows. I'm not what talking about talking shows. About? I'm talking about the role of the, the widow. widow at the funeral, and then widower. With, and then he went on. <laughs> You're the widow, the right. widow Harris. I'm and sure then they went on the gay the widower. Yeah, and okay. then they went on. He went on Geraldo. Yeah. Oh. And did he cry? Of course he cried. I what are you talking about? Cry. He was punching not. himself in the eye before I, Geraldo. I, I did not. Cry. This was the, the Gay I Academy was, Awards. No, I did not cry. I was just spilling down his cheeks. <laughs> remembering something that had happened. But go ahead. What else? What do you mean you were? Rem but you cried. Yeah. I didn't you cry. You did. I didn't cry. I saw it, I Mark. Wept. There I... were tears <laughs> coming out of you your eyes. You had crocodile eye. tears well, on Geraldo. Well, and you... then he got the, you know, the whole choke well, up thing ask, where he Robin, couldn't let get me the ask, words out. Robin, let me ask you something. Do you think I do not have feelings for Martha Ray? Oh, of yes. course you have feelings. I, so I, you I think you don't. Have... Oh, please. You but could I mean... have gotten through that. <laughs> what do you Geraldo mean? Geraldo hadn't Hold said anything. You think he has feelings for Martha Ray? I didn't say Martha Ray. I said he has feelings. Oh, okay. I had gas. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> Go ahead. He, had, he had pulled a few nose hairs before Geraldo got to him. All I know is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, we're not, so, we're all right, here so for an Martha, interview. Oh, oh, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, we have to ask questions. Martha Ray dies. You, of course, as it says in the Inquirer, were nowhere to be found. That's yeah. not true. You were out of town. I read the Inquirer. Wait a minute. I she gave... died alone. True? 
True? Yes, with okay. a nurse, with the RN. Okay. Thank goodness you, the paid now, help what, was there. They put a spin on it, yes. But yes. if you uh, read down, I was on the plane while, uh, you know, she was she, ill. Yeah, it, they put her in the hospital. Uh, in other words, when I was here doing Dorian Gray. I think she we were, found out that he had a gay boyfriend and she died. She, she knew must have been everything, to this please. Show. She did, not that show, but she heard your shows before. <laughs> <laughs> at least she went out with a smile. Yeah, well, as I said at the, at the wake, you know, I was saying, you know, yesterday's humor was Martha Ray, and today it is. It's Howard Stern. But Did you look, say that at the wake? I, not at the podium, to the Rosemary's and everybody else. Oh. So don't judge Howard. That's today's society. Why, were look, they giving you some grief? Look at those flowers. I see. No, what do you mean? Oh, thank you. No, they oh, weren't giving me grief. So who is, okay, so, so you get word that Martha Ray died. Did they call you on the plane? Now, were you in Europe with your boyfriend? At the time? Which question first? Wait a minute. No, let's get straight. Go Where ahead. were you at the time when you heard the news? At the time, I was leaving my hotel. Okay. Now. The nurse called me. Uh, Martha took a turn for the worst. I was already going to. Now, Jay anyone Jay. who's just tuning in realizes Mark was married to a woman 40 years older than him. 33 years. Excuse me. Go ahead. This is a young guy, a, Next. a gay man, who married a woman named Martha Ray, but she was like. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't a physical attraction. Well, he put, he's now got a whole spin on that, too. What was no, that? I don't because have the any whole spin. thing was that at the time they got together. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That Martha was being attacked by her daughter. Right. And, he, and she needed an ally. <laughs> you had to marry the ally. Her daughter was suing her for two years before. So okay. I was but Canada what, to her. Is America. America. This is a 1991 <laughs> interview. Let's do today. All right. So you get, you get word Let, that she yes. dies. Now, no, how soon I didn't you... have word that she died. That, that she was dying. That yes. And how soon did you get the money? I didn't get any money. Yes, you did. I did. You got the house. Really? True. It will probate to me. Yes. <laughs> you it's got the house. Word. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's your house. Yes. It will probate to me. It what are you will. drinking this morning, Robin? It will probate it to me. Will <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> the inquiry describes Mark as her flamboyant bisexual. Husband. Yes. You are flamboyant. I, I told, well, I don't know if I'm flamboyant. I'm just oh, myself. Yes, you I am. Are. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're about as flamboyant yeah. as a human oh, being yeah. can get. <laughs> what was that? The only reason he wouldn't be flamboyant is because we don't have a stronger word. Right. That's it. <laughs> why don't Why don't I Why don't I square? Why don't I tell you the brief I sent from North Carolina, from Fort Bragg, on stationery to the president? Oh, you wrote the you president. Yeah, he the president it. again. Yeah. Now, so Martha Ray dies, and now you're writing. guy in the White House, isn't it? So you're writing letters to the president because I did call the White House for some recognition, and they would call back. They would call back. They never called back. So oh, finally, please, Mark, leave the president alone. There's bigger problems than your what? Your tell me with, what are his problems? Okay, there are people in Haiti who have a disrupted government. All over the world, there is hunger and starvation. They this got country peace treaties in Israel. is always on the verge of depression. There is a great unemployment. And what is what is it you wrote the president about? Now, Very in light simple. of all of that, dear President Clinton and First Lady Hillary. Martha Ray has served our country with love, honor, and devotion. She was a comedian. What do you do? Genuinely, Mark Harris. Oh, man, <laughs> listen to that. <laughs> He's so I mean, proud I'll never get an answer. Look how proud he is. I will never get an answer. Of course not. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. What is it you want him to do? He gave her the Medal of Freedom. Yes, he gave it to her reluctantly. Oh, but he gave it to her. You know, Stop you're giving that. her him a hard time. None of the other presidents gave it to her either. Right. Except this is the president that put it in writing oh, and then resolved it. The last thing he did right was talk to so you. So wait a second. Next. You're telling me what do you, what would you want President Clinton to do? Send an official letter of of sorrow or something. She served this country so greatly. Why she was a comedian. What about the three wars where she picked up body that was, parts? That was publicity. No, that wasn't. Oh, she, didn't, absolutely. she went to the boondocks. She did absolutely. Not publicity. You're wrong. Listen. Not where Martha Ray is concerned. You're wrong. It, listen, when you're a celebrity, you do charitable events so you can get in the newspaper. But you don't go where they're shelling. Sure you do. No. Martha was probably she between series. She went to series. the boondocks. There, was, there were no stages. She just gave live performances. Oh, please. She All figured right. she had so, to be where the action was. Yeah. Get we, could, we could now put Martha to rest and leave that behind. And I have broad shoulders. I'm from Brooklyn. So Let's you went. Ahead. Okay, Let's so you do, went. Left, so you were yeah. in Europe mm -hmm. at the time of Martha. No, I was not. You were not. How was could I be in Europe? I was here. I okay, all right. Show. Take it easy. Right. All right. Now you're getting upset. No, because it's Now, what were you doing in New York? Dorian Gray? Dorian Gray. All right. Now, you have. Let's recap that. You have rewritten. Right. Uh, who wrote Dorian you Gray? You yourself. Alan Burns. Yes. Who used to write No, who wrote the original Oscar Dorian Wilde. Gray? Oscar Wilde. Yeah. You felt, it, to take it upon yourself, to rewrite the, the works of Oscar Wilde. 
and to turning, adapt them. Is, and, there, is there a problem with that? Yeah, of course. Why? Who are you to take Oscar who, Wilde's work and, and adapt yeah. it? Who am I? Yes. A creative person. All right. So you who was Andrew it? Lloyd Webber to take the Phantom of the Opera, All also right. public domain? So you took this play. And made it a musical. And you made it into a musical. I'm going to leave you and, a pilot episode. And you changed a pilot episode? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Is you video test? Screen show test, yes. Yes? Yeah, the music is You're turning it into a movie? Uh, the people that have it in Australia is Image Productions, the right. one that did this Priscilla of the Australia. Desert. <laughs> How about... Always there's a story. Why not on you know you will never see it. What are you going to see? We a movie? don't know. The worst and they can say what? is no, right? right? And, you, and what happened? You filmed it? We filmed the backers audition. Yes. I just figured it out. He sent it to them. Right. They don't have it. Right. They didn't ask for it. He just he sent, sent it off. Someone to Who asked? <laughs> Who asked for anything? <laughs> That's creation, Robin. Who uh, asked for anything? So what happened? Look, you rewrote the story of Dorian Gray, which was about a guy who never ages. His picture ages. And he made a deal with the devil and the portrait. Right. That he and you rewrote it to be a man in the garment industry. Right. Was he a gay man? Bisexual. A bisexual right. man. <laughs> who sleeps with How models, many kids does he have? the expression both ways, has no children. Right. And he makes he a makes pact. A, he makes a pact with the devil who happens to be his plastic surgeon. So as the portrait ages every ten years, there's a nip and tuck moment. I see. All right. So, okay. Huh. So while you were working on that nonsense, Martha Ray's <laughs> laying and dying. You know what? No, what she kills wasn't me, dying Howard. Yes. Is he says uh, he got a call that Martha had taken a turn. On Wednesday. Martha had been turning for quite a while. Exactly. You can't blame Mark. Stop dishing on Martha. Well, you, you know, can't blame Mark. Suffered, I mean, she was turning and she turning. She suffered so the last year. But it is kind of funny fun that of. you were married to her. I mean, you're a young In gay your man. Eyes. I didn't take it in as a matter of being eyes. Let's right. just But it is it funny. Seriously. It is funny. You've got to admit well, the humor in it. Fine, but she right. got a lot out of it. Okay. And she what was a comedian. She, she was well, happy. Okay. Listen to me. She had recognition. She had publicity. She had parties. She had people. Okay. All right. Listen to me. All right. Now, you get back, and now you have to plan the funeral. You are in your glory. No, two years ago I planned it with Colonel Ed Smith and Martha herself. Colonel Ed Smith. Colonel Ed Smith you were with? That's I right. had no idea. Colonel you had no idea. I take idea. back everything I ever said that oh. you and Colonel Ed Smith were together. Oh. That's his uniform. Who is Colonel Ed Smith? Is it like the Merry Mailman? Someone that served uh, with Martha in the I helicopters see. there. Okay. Hunting down bodies. Hey, hey, no so go ahead. Okay. Let's All right. Is that a bad word, really? Yeah. I'll yeah. say it in French. Well, don't. You know don't, 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 don't. Just no. say it. Listen, I'll throw you right out here. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you go back, and that night, do all of your male friends come over and start trying on Martha Ray's clothes? <laughs> was and, there a raid on her closet? I mean, was there a raid on her closet? Clothing is in storage. Next. It is? Yes. Have you ever worn her clothes? Never. Oh, Wouldn't... come on, Mark. You wore her what? coats in Oh, just here. her hat. No, I wore her hat. The one you that, did? The Jose Bear number that you like? Right. And her sanitary Ma belt. She wore my clothing. <laughs> After all, look at it, wouldn't you? No, you're right. telling me that you have never tried on Martha Ray's Why clothing. would I wear dresses? Because I don't need you dresses. you love that era, that But glamour. I don't want to wear dresses. And you pretend you're Martha Ray when you get into those clothes. And you don't have any friends you know, who want to pretend yeah. they're Martha Ray? No, if you keep talking about this, you yourselves believe this. No. <laughs> no. I bet all of Mark's friends smell like mothballs right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants to be the big mouth now? I am. <laughs> All right. As Martha christened me the bigger mouth. I could take care of myself. And, of course, who is in possession of Martha Ray's Oscar? I am. And... Where are you hiding it? None of your friends? Well, let me in the garden. <laughs> well, I know where it is. I think he's sitting on it right now. <laughs> Not true. Go ahead. No, but will you sell Martha Ray's it. Oscar? Never. Do you know that the last Oscar that was just put up for sale will go between hundred and hundred fifty thousand dollars $150,000? I will never sell her Oscar. I say you'll sell it within six months. Would you bet on it? No. Okay. I would never sell it. Do you know which Oscar she won? Do you remember? Where is her wheelchair? That's uh, gone back to the... Uh, None of your friends rolled around, around in it or anything or pretended they were Martha Ray, you know, d during this whole period. Nothing like that went on in the house. I'm not even living in the house. You're not? There's just a security guy living in the house. Remember all the damage from the uh, earthquake. earthquake. Too yeah. busy party. My partner said to me... <laughs> too busy party. My partner... And you didn't get any money? No. Wait a second. You she got the house. had an estate worth what? Two million dollars. As the papers say, 2.4 million, it is not 2.4 million. What a is lot it? of her finances went to her legal fees. I don't know yet. But you'll get the cash? With five charities. Oh, you should have seen him on Geraldo. This is the part where he's, yes, uh, I am the sole heir. I did not say that. They're off. I did not charities. say that. 
And I had no idea what Martha was worth until I saw the papers. <laughs> Did you see the papers? <laughs> you, you should be a better performer than that. What's wrong you with should, Martha? You saw morning? the papers and Which ones? The, the, the will. No, I didn't. Oh, you haven't seen the one? No, I have access if I want. I just Why don't you want to see it? Right now, I'm very busy doing this clothing line, period. That's more important. I will make more money in the clothing business than I will with what Martha left me. Well, we, that's yet to you be seen. You want to reduce everything to money. We haven't seen that yet. You will. You haven't Trust seen any me, money. You Has any money come will. in from that yet? We didn't ship anything yet. We're laying all the garments up. Okay, take it easy. No one <laughs> said this is not a uh, After court all, of you law. think the garment center is only Donna and Calvin? Right. No. It's going to be Mark Harris. It's Mark. All yeah. made in the USA. All right, so you have the house, and that's yeah. under construction because you're rebuilding the discotheque that you built for Martha Ray? I just want to tell you, I went to lunch with my partners yesterday, and they asked me, what about this discotheque? What are you doing? And I look at them. I said, you must watch Howard Stern. He said, yeah. I said, it's a nightclub. There's, there's you no built a nightclub in right. Martha Ray's house. Which will now be uh, the And garden. this was a woman who was in a wheelchair, you know. Yeah. And had beautiful shows entertained for her. In the house. In the house. Oh, you remember that one we saw where they were singing around the piano? Yes, I do. Well, whatever. It was very beautiful. So anyway, the... Um, Nightclub will now be made into a living room. All right, now let, let me get this. Now let me get this uh, straight. The funeral, straight. The funeral occurs. Yes. <laughs> Who's on the guest list to come to the house? Who are the celebrities? Nobody. That show up? We didn't go to the what house. What celebrities show up at the funeral? At the Margaret O'Brien, Virginia O'Brien, uh, Rose Marie. Rose Marie, a big uh, deal when she walks in. And Jeffries. And Jeffries. Mm -hmm. And they all have to come over and speak with you. They don't have to. But they do. Happens. They are very kind and very nice. And a lot of military fanfare. Really? Yeah. You know, what did you wear? Soap operas, what did but you I don't wear? know their name. What did you wear? Did you wear a veil? Scarlet red. No, what really. do you what think did you I wear? wear? What did you wear? Black. Black. Tasteful suit. Black suede. Oh, Black suede. You must have been a vision. <laughs> you must have been gorgeous. Holier than thou, let me tell you. You wore a black suede right. ensemble. Uh -huh. <laughs> With magic hey, part of LCM, I'll say. <laughs> Is this Wait. a funeral or Halloween we're talking about? I don't know. <laughs> that, that's an interesting comment, and you don't know why. <laughs> Zachy somebody, never knows why. No one knows why. Somebody, it's, it's almost anything you say, though, can no. be close to the mark. Right. Don't forget about it. Let it go. Never Was there mind. a 21 penis salute? <laughs> Lots of cross swords. Huh? Yeah, a lot of cross swords. <laughs> I don't need a sword. I rise to every occasion. As far as the salute, I shoot. And you are in mourning now? Guns. Are what? you in mourning now? Are you having an official mourning How period? How many months will you mourn? Yeah, how long will you wait to date? <laughs> you know, would you tell me what is the purpose of mourning when she lingered a whole year suffering? Exactly. I I'm serious. More. I could not agree more. What would be the purpose? No, it's time to get right back into action. Now, would you tell, discuss here, which you wouldn't <laughs> discuss on Geraldo, would you tell us what I was cannot. said between you and the daughter? What is going oh. on between you and Martha Ray's daughter? There is nothing going on between Was us. there any confrontation at the funeral? Absolutely not. You sure? I promise. All right. Did you get into a cat fight? No. Ah! Oh, go. Yeah. No. I, I I, well, there it is. I mean, Mark Harris now on his own. The widow. The widow. The widow. Of, Mark. The widow. Widow worse. The widow yes, Harris. Whatever. <laughs> and there you have it. You've got an exclusive. He wore a beautiful black suede, suede ensemble. Tom <laughs> with a clutch. Now tell us about the Martha Ray clothing line. Okay, we are going to use Martha Ray's. Do uh, <laughs> you want? Let me take a break <laughs> and compose myself. All right, okay. I'm sorry. Right. I don't mean to laugh at the Martha Ray. You want to take the break? End. No, it, it just doesn't end. Martha Ray clothing is only synonymous with patriotism, made right. in the USA. You're not going to buy it because One -legged it's Martha uniform. Ray. Yes. If you were going to use a name, you'd use Susan Lucci. Right. Of course. But uh, <laughs> this is strictly made in the USA. All right, Mark. Let's take a break. <laughs> Obviously, everyone uh, curious to hear about the funeral. The I'm shocked the that tribute, we weren't the invited. Tribute. Yeah, I was shocked too. Like you shocked. really would have come, but the, that beautiful uh, what a chance flag to be. that you sent with the flowers. Thank you. It really incredible. Well, thank you. I uh, wanted to they acknowledge the great Martha Ray. Unlike President Clinton, I acknowledge Martha Ray. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's take a break, Robin. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. Sunday afternoon. Have a million dollars from Martha Ray that you will, no. you will no. flounder in the garment district and it will disappear? What will the charities no. No. get, Mark? Yeah, what will the charities get know. and what will you get? I didn't read the book. Oh, come on. But there's not a million dollars, if that's what you're saying. There's you will not have a million dollars. No. 
But you do have the house at least. Yes. That's got to be yeah. worth two mil. Do you After control? I finish, it will be. Do right. you control the Martha Ray name? <laughs> All that for one quick stup. <laughs> you only did it to her once, right? I didn't add it up. I'll go back no, to my diary. No, you only made love to Martha Ray once. Twice. Really? Oh. It was the second time? Up and down. Uh, we, we're not going back to this. Now we're, no, yes, we are. Not a million dollars. What, when was the second time? <sighs> Who remembers? There's so many things in my mind. That's you remember. When you make love to a, an 80, 90-year-old woman. Would you let her rest? No, what do you mean, let her rest? How can I let this Why rest? You just you? revealed to me You're that you should have let her rest. Her. You're up there messing with a, a woman who can barely move. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you make love to her after her legs were removed? No. You did not. <laughs> oh, that would be go. The question said. <laughs> no, what, I don't what mean to that? be sick about it. Okay, so forget it. Drop I'm it. I'm just no, curious. No, I did not. But you made love to her shortly after the first time you made love to her? Or Very was... shortly. Really? Oh, so like the next morning? Gee, I really have to keep a journal with you guys. <laughs> it's all penetration? This is real. No, half. <laughs> I rise to all occasions. There's nothing wrong with You know me. what? He might not be that gay if he can do that. He says he's bi. And and he's by. <laughs> yeah, and right. A good reason for that. <laughs> well, yeah. Something terribly wrong with him. I just don't know if he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something? It's not contagious. It's not contagious. I don't promote what it. What is that scarf you're wearing over your genitals? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Isn't that nice? It goes both ways. <laughs> what, your genitals or the Solid scarf? or print. Both oh, ways. you have a Very reversible nice. scarf. Right. All right. So you see the underwear. Just tell me real quick. <laughs> yeah. You had a desire for a second lovemaking session or she insisted? I did love her. You did. I know yes, you did. I did. Physically and every other way. Physically, I don't think you did. Oh. I'm asking. I'm when asking. When you start making love, you elementary people, and you do get involved, things happen. You know you did it just for the hell of doing it. You're, you're so not, wrong. There's not a straight you're bone in your so body. You're so wrong. There is not a straight bone in your body. I stand at attention and that's straight enough. Okay. So you get into the sack with her. The second bed. time. Yes. The bed. Sorry. And <laughs> it's very interesting. what happens the second time? Is it nighttime? Well, if you don't get it right the first time, you try a second. Was it a nighttime? Oh, it was the second I guess, uh, I don't know. It was Morning, nighttime. noon, and night. Who knows? I don't remember. You have to clock it in when you have uh, romance. Right. Who knows? Yeah, they were in the nightclub, you know, Howard? Do they no. You never know the difference between day or night in there. He propped her up on the sink, <laughs> had her there, did some uh, weird position. Had her under the disco ball. Right. So what are we discussing for the uh, Was she awake when you did it? She was well awake. What are we doing for 1994? <laughs> did she, did she part I mean, was she a mover? Yeah, was she an active participant? <laughs> oh, but, you know, well, that's I a good question. Was she an active participant in your lovemaking, or would she just lay there? I'm the seventh husband. Mom had a very good sexual appetite. So All she was her moving life. Around. And when you get to be her age, and I hope nothing ill befalls you, you should have the same sexual appetite. Really? And somebody to be there for you. And you're saying she can move around and everything. Well, what do you mean by no, I'm saying she like she really, like she was really. Her arm and her leg. But the other leg, the, uh, the right side was really moving. Yes. She's fine with her right. And did you need grease or did you... Uh, are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. Right, now, yeah. I'm, now I'm done with you this sound interview. like my ex-wife. No, yeah. come on. Really? No grease? No. Sans lube. That is the single biggest lie he's ever told. Oh, I come on. I believe him. You know, the thing <laughs> is... Yeah. I Crisco. The thing is, I don't <laughs> lie. The truth is so phenomenal. If you tell the truth... Is that truth, really true? For once in your life, just right. strip down all the pretense and everything else. I have just, no pretense. Let's, this let's, is me. Let's, let me ask you something. Yeah. You made love to a 90-year-old woman. No, I never be, made love to a 90-year-old woman. An 80-year-old woman. No. <laughs> she was 75. Oh, all right. Jesus. And you didn't use grease. I can't believe this question. No. She was Why ready. are you being... She was ready. She was, I, was no, all I, ready. I want to try and... With my second wife, I didn't use grease. No, no, no. no your second wife, wife was how old? What's all this grease? No, no. Wait a second. It's a 75-year-old woman. You need grease. How do you know? Because it's just... Wait I know. A Did you, I, have a, you I, have a, I have a 40-year-old wife I need grease. No. no. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't, I, mean, I don't know what I'm missing. I don't understand. Well, that. believe me, you need grease for the sex you're up to these I days. I wouldn't need grease for a bagel. You no, don't, don't need don't grease on your boyfriend? This. I don't do that. Oh. There's limitations on the menu. At 75, I mean, honest. <laughs> Be honest. Oh, please. <laughs> like the desert. Please. You need motor oil is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. You know, what are we just, talking I'll about? Just have to, what are we I talking will, about? I will just have to date another 75-year-old. So, so are you being serious? About Martha. I, I'm, I really want to. I am I really serious. Whatever, there was no... Whatever you're asking, I'm telling you the truth. No You grace. think I'm a liar. All right. <laughs> do you think I, uh, I lie? I, mean, I think you lie about this. You really yes. do? Yes. We think oh, you have an nothing. overactive imagination. Let us know. Yeah, I don't think you... Would you be willing to take a lie detector test? Of 
course. That I didn't say any lies. You would be willing to say that you use no grease. If in you the bring the machine here, yes. All right, all right. I'm going to tell you this right yeah, now. Absolutely. The next time you're here, oh, you you got it. I will have a lie detector, and it. I will ask you the following question. Did uh, it yeah. take lots of foreplay to prepare her? No. She really? Loved, she loved me. Well, well, it's not a question of love. Sometimes it's a physical impossibility. Physical impossibility? And did the big mouth go into action at all? No. Physical no, impossibility? No, none of that. I haven't met anybody that was a physical impossibility. Hmm. I mean, she, man, woman, or beast. My first wife. If you were to make, oh. if you were to make love to Martha Ray right now, you would, you would probably. Oh, need, that is so no, sick. I'm saying, come on, she probably. And I'm saying, when I'm 75, I'll need grease. That's all. There's nothing wrong Just with saying that. Just bend over, you'll need grease. <laughs> well, we'll uh, see. Well, Whatever. I don't yeah, want to get no, into that's this. Forever. I'll wait till you're hooked up to the lie so detector. So the next time I'm here. All right. Next wait, time you're so, here, we'll have a lie detector. Wait, uh, yes, okay. All right. But let I'm, me review. Okay. So now you are going to be a businessman. So with, what happened to Dorian Gray? He's making clothes. Wait, we'll go there, and then we'll go over there. We go both ways. All right. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, so yeah, now love, you're going to move love, to New York, and you're going to be bi-coastal as well as bi I've gone transatlantic. Okay. And you will be here in New York working on... On uh, your clothing line, I am. You know, will any of Martha Ray's money go into this? No, no, not a penny. Ask him how much money is invested in this clothing business. How much money is invested? Ten in this million dollar facility. You <laughs> think That's I'm not lying? What you ask. Are you I'm lying? lying? No, and it's not my money. Do they know you work there? <laughs> Let's put it this way. Let, wait, wait, the wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold up. Does anyone know you're planning a clothing line? Oh, I one? think they all know. Already. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll all, we'll all be at lunch at the Friars today. Because he was in here. He's talking about He's furs. Going yeah. Oh, you're going to the Friars. Yeah. yeah. Who are you have lunch with? with? Well, with the backers from the uh, garment center. I see. All right. But uh, I the fur you. line is something else. It has nothing to do with this. Now you're doing a fur Manus line. Manus Furs of Beverly Hills, who's in business many, many years, made me a deal. To do a both ways fur line. Life Unisex. has been going too good yes. for them. Right. <laughs> up yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Made from the life of has not Coyote. been all that bad. I do get gifts. You know. Right. Who gave you that diamond ring? Wouldn't you the, like? Who to know. is that? The gay guy from is Europe. Is that a present? Wow. It is a present. Oh, what letters! What when, letters! When is the last time you made love to a man? That same Sa the French fry. Hmm. The French. Fry. How old is she again? Pom Fritz. I didn't reveal his age last time. I believe it was 27. You believe wrong. He's 20, right? You got one. Go ahead. Guess. 23. I told you that. That's <laughs> why. 23-year-old boy. Boy? Yeah. <laughs> He's quite adult. <laughs> adult? In matter he's of quite fact, adult. He's, he's in quite ma adult. In matter, <laughs> quite adult. In matter of fact, he's coming in for the New Year's Eve thing. So oh, yeah. Now, I will when will be, be performing? You'll be performing in Washington, The Omni Shoreham Hotel. Right. Four guys, four, and a whole lot more. Right. And, and you'll be friends. over your grief by then? <laughs> that is such <laughs> a, a, a... All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. guys, four, and a whole... Wait, can I just tell you something? Four, Martha toured ten years, four girls, four. Right. Margaret Whiting, Helen O'Connell, Rosemary Clooney... And Martha Ray. And over wow. a year ago, when Helen O'Connell passed away on the news, we were in Martha's bedroom, and the nurse was uh, smoking. Martha was smoking, which I couldn't stand. And, she was smoking. and all of a sudden, the news comes on <laughs> and says, "Big band leader <laughs> Helen O'Connell passed away." Da 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 da. And Martha takes a drag on the cigarette, puts it down. She says, "Well, at least we won't have to hear Tangerine anymore." That's all right. Martha's listen, all right. Well, I'm done with all this. Hey, let me bring in Mark Harris, who is uh, his panties are in a snet because he's, we're running late with him. Mark, come on in. Mark was married to Martha Ray. Mark was like 30 at the time, and Martha Ray was 115. <laughs> you keep making the age gap bigger. Let me put my shades on. Because it's hard to look at him any other way. Dear President. Ah, there he is. Oh, there he wow. Is. It's more looking more gay than ever. At least when you were married. When you were married. Do I think that outfit looks gay? Got it from the French Riviera. Let me tell you something. That outfit is so gay. And you could be in the gay army. You Look at your what? eyes. Maybe the Howard. outfit isn't gay. It's just when you wear it. Right. All... I think you're right. You know, I really do. Check out the shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're very well, gay. Coordinated. You know what it was before? Yeah. At least when Martha Ray was alive, you didn't act flame. You know, you weren't that flamboyant well, gay. Was... You tried to act like you were into women somewhat. No, I didn't have to act, but I you was went very and got... with what was going on. You went and got a facelift, and I got to say, you, you look so bizarre. 
Really? Hey, I mean, your eyes don't even attach to the eyeball anymore. That's well, how tightly pulled they it are. It takes a year. It's only six months. Six but maybe that's... You, look, so you, you look, can't even form words. You look odd. Odd? You look odd. Okay. Your eyeball is oh. not uh, even... The left, the left eye has to be restitched. Oh, why did you do that to yourself? What you looked fine. What is wrong with you? You looked fine. Well, I wanted to do it, you know, really. Wow. The, you don't like the brow lift? It looks painful. Your face is still swollen. It's on it's still fire. swollen. But I want to tell you, uh, my attorney and... Do you think you look better? I got to tell you something. Do you think you look better? Honestly, yes. Your attorney? What does an Wait, attorney got to do with it? He it? always listens to Howard Stern. Oh. So he... Uh, you have an attorney? A few. Right. Well, you're sure. suing everybody, aren't you? Everybody at this point. What? And Dr. On? Glick may be next. But wait a minute. I want to tell you what happened. <laughs> no, you're happy with Dr. Glick. story. Glenn. I think you're just a bad no. patient. <laughs> right, right. You, you go in for a patient and yeah. you get this. What do you have? Well, look at why you have unnecessary surgery. I no, I didn't have surgery on my legs. I wound up with that. They left a piece of metal in my leg while they were operating. Well, why would they be on down by your face? leg? My leg? While they were operating on my face. I didn't need anything done with my leg. So I don't know. Two cents special. But I'll talk to Dr. Glick. All right. Uh, so my lawyer, Ricardo, loves your show. <laughs> yeah. Think, yeah. He looks Not... like a different guy. I know, doesn't he? It's scary. I know. Except for the dark hair. I and that's not even know. real. I, I let it grow out. It I looked big. at it. I said, oh, oh no. Isn't what is it? His mouth completely different. His mouth, no, his mouth eyes. wasn't touched. All this area was touched. It, it, looks, it looks scary. You look more like a woman now than ever before. Is like that why just... Troma wants me for a movie? Oh, Troma wants you for right. a movie. Great. I, like I won't need makeup. Up. It's a low budget. Listen to this guy. All right. So anyway, Wait, he so... was married to Martha Ray, who was an international star. She became a very old, infirmed woman. Yeah. Mark, of course, jumped on jumped on her. Uh, actually made love to her, he claims, one or two times. Uh, uh, let's be more current. All right. Wait, just still? let me finish with that. <laughs> How much more current can we be? She's dead. No, Ricardo thinks you're the best. So, so listen to this. So he says uh, to me, I didn't know what to expect when I came down to Los Angeles, the way Howard went on about your face. He says, you look fine. No, you don't. No. They're lying to you. You Ricardo don't look fine. Ricardo didn't know you before. You look bizarre. Right. That's, that's right. Mark. Right. No offense. No. You offense. look bizarre. You look bizarre. Are you starting that stuff? Okay. Well, anyway. You look like Tyrone Power after a car wreck. <laughs> but I look better than he does dead, no? You look... All right, look. Oh, whatever. You are so gay. Whatever. And who, gay, are, these, who are the two guys Who are the two guys that are traveling with you? Oh, you'll meet them. Yeah, I have a lot of people traveling with me lately. <laughs> one I met in Cannes, who used to work for See, He's one of these... He, is, he met him in the can. <laughs> no. It was on the interstate. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Let me say something. Yeah. Mark is one of those guys who we were talking about earlier this morning who appear not to work or really do anything. Yeah. And yet are rolling in dough. They're at Cannes. They're all over the place. Always. Three weeks on the Riviera was great. And, really. and how do you have the finances? What does it cost to, to live for three weeks on the, in the Riviera? Well, I, w I lucked out with taking an apartment rather than 800 a day for a hotel. Right. And I got, you know, an apartment, believe it or not, for $800 for two weeks. I and see. Then we went to Italy from there. And the hotel was not pricey. Well, let me see. You I and your my boyfriend? No, my PR lady. Mm -hmm. My masseur. You were, really? Yeah. My you have a public masseur. relation? Boy, you catch fast. You, yes. took, you took your masseur? Took masseur. Masseur. Right. Oh. And, uh... Monsieur. <laughs> monsieur. What's he massage? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my, monsieur? My face. Is monsieur here? No, the monsieur is not here. And you took, you paid for all this? Of course. And where are you getting this money? This is still the Martha Ray money? How long do you think Martha no, Ray's money the can No, the Martha last? Ray money will be released in October. Oh, then we're really going to have a party. Well, didn't you say last time, which was the, the funniest, that you're going to put up a thermometer every time I spend a dollar for Martha Ray? Okay, what is it? Why don't we do this? Is rising. Your eyes are really disturbing to look at, so I really want to get this over with. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's get an update on your life. You now claim to be, you have millions of businesses going on. You're in the fur business. Yes, I am. And claim to be baseball, in the fur business. Wait, mink baseball jackets opening at Edwards Lowell in September. Okay. Beverly Hills. Also, Gary tells me in his pre-interview, you stated the following, that you are opening a Martha Ray hotel. Named Mr. Paganini. Wait a minute. Where is that going to be? Sullivan County. You're going up to, to the Catskills? Yeah, I just... And did you purchase already this yes. hotel? Yes. You I... already own it? No. I put the binder on it. Yes. And they just got to clear the price with a bank. Now, this is several million dollars, I would imagine, uh, to build the resort. No, well, to build it, yes. I have to build 200 rooms to oh. get a casino license. And my friend uh, Jack Gambino is going to do the uh, casino, and I'm going to do the hotel. I wait see. a minute. We don't have gambling in New York. New York State. Yeah, New York State's uh, going to get On it. the first legislation. Uh, Looks like it's going to happen. So it's a gamble. But uh, the Indians next year have five acres on Monticello Raceway 
uh, permitted for gambling. Yeah, well, the Indians do, but uh, it does right. look like upstate New York is going to get, supposedly, you know, they've well, been saying Mark that. Well, Mark become an Indian. Yeah. Well, well, what Mark, do you think I want to... That's why Mark had me his eyes You got that right. You got that right. That's why he's all red. It's not <laughs> a chance. It's just another facelift. All right. But, uh, so you're gambling that this will happen, and I understand the Martha Ray Hotels will even have... Um, uh, ashtrays made out of her teeth? In the smoking room. Is that right? Yeah, just as a gimmick. The false teeth. There's so, many. so you still have Martha Ray's teeth? Oh, there's a lot of memorabilia. You know, I... Uh, so you, you saved her teeth and you're going to use them as ashtrays? Oh. I, uh... Did Mike come out? <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'll go smoke Wait it. a minute. Did, what did Martha get buried I with? I can't hear you. I don't know. I think she she got buried just with her gums. Oh. I think Mark took the teeth out as they were lowering the grave. <laughs> no, no, no. Many, uh, many uh, sets. But, you know... She we had have, many sets of teeth? Yeah. How many sets of teeth did she have, seriously? In the house, there were about eight. Eight sets of teeth, so right. that'll be eight ashtrays? No, more than eight ashtrays. Plus, they have the mold. Oh, well, I she's see. She's going to make a, the ashtrays out of the mold. Uh, well, she loved being the big mouth. What a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> what is it? Somebody just pointed out, Mark said that the guy that was helping him get the license was named Jack Gambino. Yeah. Isn't that the name of like a really famous crime family? Yeah, but that's not the same. I mean, just because the guy's name is Jack Gambino doesn't mean he's a criminal. I know. Oh, he's no criminal. He's no criminal. He's no. just a guy who's... You know, you know, that's your problem, Gary. Everyone who's Italian right away, you sub... I don't know. You're a disgrace to everybody. <laughs> not you, Mark. Gary. No, thank you. You're no, a disgrace you to, to just about everybody. Just about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, Jack is a very good friend of mine for right. many years. Well, that, yeah, that was a totally uncalled for. Everybody's a very good friend of Mark for many years. Of course. Of no, course. You're, I think you and I now have two and a half years, uh, Robin. <laughs> And one on show TV. between us. No, actually, people are accusing me of buying this hotel just to have a place. Do you think to it's play. a little tacky to take your ex-wife's uh, teeth and make them into ashtrays? If you take it seriously, yes. If you take it in the spirit of Martha Ray's Yuma, it's funny. And all the Hollywood memorabilia will be part of the uh, hotel. Uh, September, we christen the museum. Oh, I see. So it'll be a whole Martha Ray hotel. Yeah, the Hollywood part. I see. Uh, the uh, military part of Martha Ray is already at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. <laughs> Mil uh, you know, Martha is she spread had, all over the Well, place. she had a military side. I guess she really was a big deal. And, I don't know. And her wishes were to have the museum in the Kennedy uh, wing. I see. And uh, from the Riviera, what a segue. I went right to... Will you take her friend. leg and make it into a lamp? For the uh, lobby of the hotel? That's a great idea. No, that's... Wasn't she known for her legs, too? Yeah, yeah she, she was known she for her did. legs. And didn't she you have her legs amputated at the end? Yeah. No, I did oh. not. Well, not you, but no, the doctor. She, unfortunately, she had gangrene. But she did. Martha so did why not take the leg and make the... it into a lamp? Because that's sick. You no, know. that's sick. No, the teeth is not. Teeth is it's not a sick. joke. Why do you think in the Gulf War parade she took her teeth and was waving it like V for victory? Well, what I'm saying, she used to you show her legs. You ready to throw that paper yet? No, why wouldn't you show her legs in a lamp? I mean, I don't in see the, the difference. In the still photos of Martha Ray, she had the most beautiful legs yes. of all the So we'll have the photos on the wall. Not more beautiful than your legs, Mark. <laughs> Especially with that damage on it from Dr. Right. Mark. So, the hotel is Why don't you take her stomach and turn it into a purse? <laughs> yeah, how much of the Martha can we use? Yeah, I mean, is there... How much Martha is left that we can make into stuff? Recycle. Yeah. See, he thinks that's sick. I don't. I, well, whatever, whatever. You know, Take her no. leg and make it into Let's a lamp. Let's put it this way. Uh, <laughs> people do accuse me of having good taste. I the see. hotel will be first class. I It'll see. Be very nice. All right, so now he claims, you know you'll never see this hotel. Of course not. You really? You can guarantee. Of his other project? Guarantee. We, we, I'll bet you money right now. How what much? Thousand dollars. You got it. Thousand dollars, there will never be a Martha Ray You're hotel wrong. in the uh, name category. Name Mr. Paganini. That's right. What's right. Mr. You got Paganini? It. Martha Ray's theme song. So the hotel is going to be called Mr. Paganini? Well, I didn't want to call it Martha Ray's or Mark Harris or whatever. Mr. Paganini. Right. Mark Harris. $1,000. And when well, am I going wrong. to see this hotel? When will it? I mean, a full functional hotel. If we if we finish contract uh, September. Yeah. Okay. You know, there's a big if in oh, there. Well, Anybody else want to bet on? I'm, I'm going, going, they I'm going for 1000 bucks. Fred? There is. I'm uh, in. Go. How much? I'm in. How much 1, you want? 1000 You know what? You I guys, bet? You, you do? I bet that not only bet will the house. hotel not open up, but yeah. you won't get your money either. Yeah. He'll be out of the country. Uh, never well start a bet. How much do we have? One thousand. One thousand me. One thousand. Thousand over there. Thousand. Jackie. Oh, thousand. Thousand. Now we got four. There's got to be a cutoff date, though, no, right? Yeah. What, yeah. We give uh, how about we'll give you? How about if we how give you? Nineteen ninety-six. What? Go ahead. Uh, I'll give you two years. Gary but then we'll never see the money. Yeah. You yeah. want any action? I'd like to put up my house. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, if, you, if you guys are serious. Yeah. Serious, here we go. And let's take the thousand and put it in escrow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I promise. In other words, my thousand, I promise. Fred's thousand. Like $4, right. $4,000. Right. $4,000 bet for you. Okay, so the realtor that's... All right, how many years do you need? Wait a minute, How many years do you need? What do you want to give me? T you tell me. What, t give me a reasonable time frame. I'll give you a reasonable time frame. January. January, the hotel will be okay, up and running. 96. 
up and running. No, clo uh, closed contracts I own. No, no, no. You own a piece of land. When is the no, hotel going to be there? Wait a minute. There is a hotel there. Yeah, there's a hotel there. When it's open to the public and running. First the Martha yeah, wait, okay, Ray. Wait, the wait, Martha yeah. Ray, Mr. Paganini the, Hotel. Okay, wait. Let, let's yeah. go for September 96. September of 96. Yeah. Okay. Is that fair? That's that is fair. We get and we're gonna we're gonna put the money in escrow. I'm right. gonna match everybody's thousand. Right. That's right. This is all factual. I'll bet you another yes. thousand. He doesn't have the four thousand. Okay, there you go. <laughs> are you are you on? Wait, are you on? I you have my that. checkbook outside. You on? <laughs> okay. Therefore, the real. He's gonna get Martha's money in those. Therefore, the realtor Bonnie. No that teeth. Is, wait a minute. The the realtor that's listening. We can now up the offer by four thousand. Was uh, he in two? Five thousand? No, no. no. There's Baba one, Bowie. two, three, four. Baba Bowie doesn't have a pot uh, to piss. Pot to piss. Okay. All right. He in the Martha Ray Hotel. Okay, so that's up. Four thousand dollars. Escrow does not mean right. that money's available. Very good, Robin. Well, no, what are you going to do that. with your money? I know that. Jeez, I don't know. On Martha Ray, I'm going to have a field day. I'm buying a new IBM ThinkPad. And I'm what going, you'll I'm get? Going to can. Can. And you know That's what? Right. You, with the masseuse. And you, masseuse. <laughs> and you know what you're going to get for the money? What? A free stay. At Mr. Paganini's hotel. Well, I can't wait. Mr. Paganini. No, no, no. You no, want to get in? I want in for the grand. In, uh, you want in for a grand? I want in for a grand. Gary's up for a grand. Okay, it's 5000 5000 No sweat. It's the best bet in the you country. Know what? This is how Mark raises money. Yeah. I, I didn't know there was another way. This is great. I'll tell you one thing. The day we're at Mr. Paganini's hotel, whatever that is, I am telling you. Let, me, let me ask you something yeah, right. more important than the money. Right. You promise on the air on this broadcast that you'll appear? Appear where? At Mr. Paganini's? No, I, I don't promise anything. Yeah, I'm gonna you, no, because you going. think it's not going to open. Uh -huh. It's not going to happen. I don't, I know. Oh, I see what he's Okay, so if it does happen, no, besides I'm not the money, going to Mr. Paganini's Mr. hotel. Paganini. And who is Mr. Paganini, by the way? Theme song of Martha Ray. I see. Mm. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> and there is a picture of you and the late Martha Ray. No. Who is that? Her sister-in-law. I see. Well, <laughs> everybody look the same. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want you to think that I'm not Very dating. Good. All right, quickly because I have a lot to get to this right. morning. Um, Catskills is fine. Julie Budd performs Saturday night, and she'll perform. Uh, who are these? Indiv I don't know what you're talking. Oh, about. Oh, you want me to bring? What about the Catskills? It's doing great. What is, what is doing great? What is he talking about? What is doing great? Yeah, I dropped my eight-year-old daughter off there for the summer for camp. Yes. Never witnessed it. So for children, it's the best. The camp, it's great. I mean, the cat. What is Were you ever in the cat? You know what? what I don't know. Somebody okay, gave him no, something for a plug, and he's plugging. Yeah, no, the no, skills no, no, are no. doing great. If what I, are you doing in the cat skills? I left my daughter there oh, in camp. You're plugging daughter the camp? Is camping there. No, or you're just plugging the cat skills itself, with, even oh. without the gambling. Oh, I thought really you were plugging great. a show that you were doing no, in the cat skills. No, 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 no. Are talking about Julie Bud? Oh, she's great. She is great. All right, all right. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So, uh, quickly, who do you have in your entourage today? Do we have to meet them, or can we just uh, skip that? I'll meet them. They're nice guys. And what do they They're do? They're fans of who yours. Who is it? Who is it? One is on construction. You know, I'm building an 8,000-square-foot home in Bel Air. I threw down 80% of the house. Don't tell me that. You're not building a happen. house in Bel Air. The one Martha left me. I threw down 80%. You threw what down 80% of what? down 80%. What? He constructed. All right. Yeah. Now, who so are he's in on construction. Now, who's the guy you just hit it off with? Is some guy hanging around with you that you hit it off with? What is that where, about? Where, where, where? Which is the guy? I would up? remember that. No, none of them. No, when 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 I was talking to you, I said, "How did you guys meet?" He said, "You met, I met him in Cannes, and you guys just hit it off." Oh, right. He was formerly with Troma. A Troma. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> That's all right. So, how? What are you doing with Mark? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I don't know. We're just uh, going to see what we can do, right? I'm going out to the coast, and I'm going to be producing. Uh, Adult entertainment. Oh, you are? Yeah. Some porn? Yeah. All right. Like Mark and... No, no, no. Forget it. Not I may have had a stomach lift, but I'm not doing porn. No, I don't understand. <laughs> uh, now, now, you, now, what is your relationship, you two? He Anything thinks... going on between you two? He's yeah. going to get involved in some of the projects that are happening. Uh, what projects? Like, for what? Do you have that Pat Buchanan song? Yeah. Well, okay. Don't... Well, you want to know some of the no, projects? I'm asking you a question. I'm answering you. You're... Who is this guy to you? In other words, are you two? Are you two are not? Are you two lovers? Why are you looking for a piece? Yeah, maybe I am. Are you two a boyfriend? No, and no, boyfriend? No, 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 no. You don't go that way, or you do? Don't go that. You don't go that way. Have you tried to? He's a good-looking man. Have you Where tried? did they run no, into I didn't... each other in con? Yeah. Where everything else was happening in the Carlton Hotel. I see. And Mark hasn't put the moves on you yet. No. And we had dinner last night, a whole bottle of wine, never touched him. Really? Yeah. Are you only, attracted to him? The only thing I touched was my mask. Are you attracted to him? As a friend, yeah. Oh, you're trying to him as a man. No. You're not. He's no. not your type. Oh, thanks. No. <laughs> you don't find him attractive. <laughs> yes, he's attractive. Why, are you interested? I'm not interested. No, no, I'm asking you. Is no. that an attractive man to you? He is Are you trying attractive. to get in his pants? Is that why he's hanging around with you? Are well, you you're leading him on, aren't you? If he's really what hanging. I would like to if know. If he's really hanging, no, I'm not interested. Forget, Mark. Yeah. 
What does this guy look at Mark and see happening? Yeah, what uh, do you think Mark's going to do? For you? Mark, Mark has never pulled off anything. Listen, I'm 25. I got nothing else. To You're hanging on. out. I'm hanging out. All right. Yeah. And he's paying for everything? Yeah. Oh, well, then oh, that's fine. Yeah. All right, that's way, now, well, let's clarify that. You're coming out to the coast. Did I yeah. buy you a ticket? No. So, what am I paying for? So, you're just hanging around with him? Like I said. Is it fun? Hmm? It's so, fun. So far. What have you done so far with him? We had we had, had a nice dinner. Right. And then you're going to go out to his place, and then you get to hang out and do what? Like what? Make movies and junk? Well, and he's you think Mark can introduce you to somebody? Mark doesn't know anybody. He knows more people than I do. Mark just yeah, talks exactly. a good game. I know more people than Mark. Oh, really? Yeah, and then exactly. what did Mark say? Like he's going to involve you in some projects? If it happens, it happens. Like what projects has he talked about? <laughs> That's the, the hotel? Department. The hotel? <laughs> the Grand Hotel. Oh, he, so you're going to be involved? What did he promise you that you're going to be doing in the hotel? <laughs> Are you going to be booking it? I get to introduce Julie Budd. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what did That's he tell you that you'll be doing? What did he tell you you'll be doing? Because I've seen, like, he always has different guys coming and, and going. And there's always business. And there's always it's business. Not, and, and you're going to be in this business and that business. I Meanwhile, there's no business. Not that I didn't play Washington New Year's Eve. I did. <laughs> you're going to you're going to be at uh, Busboy at uh, Baganino's or whatever that is. What is it? Maganino? Baganini. Baganini. All right, yeah. No, really. No, what did he... in the hotel business. No, but I'm saying, what has he said that you would be involved in? I'm curious. Yeah, well, why did you call Mark back and have dinner with him? Right. Hey, who can turn under who can turn on a free dinner these days? Right. You know. And what, but Mark must have made a business proposal to you, no? Not not as of yet, no. He's got some projects going on, if they materialize. And what are the projects that are going on? May I? I just yes, go ahead. Go, go, ahead, ahead, go ahead. ahead. The Martha Ray story, for example. The movie? Yeah, the movie, miniseries. And what would you be doing on that? Producing or yeah, directing? producing. Producing? Yeah. I see. I can't do everything. Right. Right. Now, now. Yes. I did finish well, my first movie. We're not even. So you'll go from that. porno to producing the uh, Martha Ray story. From what I've heard, it's pretty much the same thing. I say not exactly. Mark, can you uh, also talk, talk about that concept you told me about for Trauma in the Green Room? Can you talk about that? What the movie would be about? You, you told me about another mean, movie you're working the on. The Mummy Speaks. Yeah. Oh, you're That's on the, the working. Is title. that about your eye operation? Right, but I'm going to be all wrapped <laughs> up for the occasion. No, uh, now, has I Mark did... promised you a, a part in that as well? Hey, I just got rid of trauma. I don't. Uh, I see. So you will not be working on that one. I, I see. So but the I, mummy speaks. You will not be a part of it. You'll be a part of the Martha Ray movie. Yeah. I did finish my nothing first. But, movie. Nothing but the best. Yeah. And when do you think that Martha Ray movie will be made? Uh, you know, you, you, you got the same time the hotel opens. Right. <laughs> you want to okay. bet on that? Yeah. He has yet to pull off one project. That's what I'm telling you. you the last time he was in, he had a Broadway show that was going to be back. Mm -hmm. That's gone Which now. No, it's not gone. Troma's getting the video of Dorian, Dorian Gray. Gray. Oh, go okay. ahead. Go okay. ahead. Next. Then he had a game show that has never been seen on television anywhere. Didn't put it to pilot. Go ahead. Wait, Why? Because it's too expensive to launch. But go I ahead. see. Okay. Cooking show? Remember oh, yeah. Cooking then the show? Cooking, cooking show is submitted now to the Food Channel. Next. Oh, it is submitted. Yes. I see. That's the same as you sending a tape to the right. Food he Channel. Go ahead. It uh, right. No, my agent tape. did. Go All right. Your right. agent did. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so far, none of these have seen the light of day. Do you follow what I'm saying? Zero for three. Remember right. when he was working on that project with Geraldo? Right. Now, yeah. Then the other project, when you came in and you and Geraldo were putting together a special show. Yeah. And then Geraldo never That's aired it? A long time ago. All right. But it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't That's happen. That's what we're saying. None no. of this stuff happened. Did Farkman happen? No. Did you try? But I at least have a radio show. I have a television yes, show. Do. I have and a movie very that well. is in production. But do you think I'm dissatisfied without uh, plugging? I'm having a ball. I'm having a wonderful time. No, I'm and not saying you're not having a wonderful time. But this happens. guy thinks something's going to come of it. He really believes in you. He's gainfully employed without me. Well, but yes, he does believe in me. That's true. You, right. That is so. That's amazing. Now, I finished my first movie. <laughs> Look, he's, he's checking his notes to see what else he has to bring yeah, out. Because I, I, All right, who is this other gentleman? Ahead. Hello, how are you? Great. All right, and what, do you, what is your association with uh, Mark Harris traveling uh, circus? Um, I do construction <laughs> with him. And, um, Excuse me? I do construction on his house. Oh, you're building the house, and you've been yes. paid? Yes. Oh, you have. But yes. why is he traveling with Mark? Yeah, because how come you get to travel? Because lift. He, he cannot lift anything right now. So he's paying you to lift things? Yes. Huh? Good you Lord. think it was easy, all that luggage for my uh, for my daughter and her right. grandmother? Is this the best-looking contractor you've ever seen? Yeah, this and is a really good-looking guy. I have oh. never heard of a contractor leaving contracting to go lift a thing. Yeah. This is a contractor that looks like Robert Redford. He's yeah. yeah. He's going to be modeling the baseball jacket, Actually, the mink. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go, the mink baseball jacket uh -huh. that nobody's so seen. So he's a model. Oh, no, people contractor. saw it. Oh, people saw it? I, I was flaunting it on the beach in Cannes while the girls were taking it off. I put it on. I see. With now, my trunk. Now, did you travel to Cannes with no, that, Mark? No, the Masseur did. The Masseur did. 
No, now, I haven't. Now, it's unusual to bring your contractor with you. Now, can I tell you the, On trips. Because I didn't it? want to go into that. Why? Usually, you would be building the house. Actually, right. we're cutting the trip early because they're right. having a lot of problems right. over there. Now, what about you? I, let me. Uh, you don't have to answer your sexuality, but are you entangled in his web at all? Uh, not at all. You're into girls? Yes. Oh, you and are. I'm trying to find one in New York, and I haven't. This oh, here I am. Oh, wait a second. There's one over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll make a date. Yeah. yeah. There you and go, Rob. which it's not. It's, it's not. Hello. Actually, I'm looking for all the lesbians to give him babies. Is that right? Yeah. He was listening to your show yesterday. He loved it. Yes. But that's not the conditions of his employment. No. He doesn't have to service me, just the house. I, I mean, see. where do you get off asking the contractor to come live thing? Where? Yeah, you I know, could... I can't get my contractor to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why. I can't get him to fix my sprinkler system oh, for five my years. Goodness. Look, if he can't listen to everything I say, he's out. Simple as that. I see. Well, so, yeah, so I, what, I, why I are you traveling? Well, but you must have a thriving business. You are in the contracting business. You're building homes. Yes. How is it you have the time to sit there and hang out with Mark Harris? Well, it's the traveling. I love to travel. You love to travel. So you're taking I, this is like a vacation. For it's you. my first time in New York. I see. And, really? Um, yes, I love the architecture here and everything. I see. Else. Um, L.A. is just kind of like. And do you see that Mark Harris had an eye lift and that he looks ch practically Chinese? Do you, I do you, hope this is going to show on television I, so everybody realizes. Actually, when I, I first met him in the Admirals. All, right. All right. Well, this is this is really wild. This, this is, is a wild life. This is that show business we know uh, nothing about. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the part of show business we don't know anything about. Yeah. Guys who are really not in it and yet right. they seem to be <laughs> in it. This is a Kato Kalen kind of show. Business. That's cute. Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 you put down Kato Kalen. I didn't put him down. You are. No. Yeah, no. You are a house guest of Martha Ray. He is. No, you are. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do <laughs> yeah. you notice how Kato Kalens never know they're Kato Kalen? Right. Absolutely. Oh, so I'm a Kato. Now, what is this new song you put together? Quickly, because well, I'm, I did I'm way the, behind. I really did it for your benefit. I finally changed the medley, and his friend Joe Michaels is responsible. Right, it's only one it minute quickly. long if you leave it. The words are cute. All right, this is a song you wrote about Pat Buchanan. Pat Buchanan, now you don't like. No, I'm doing songs about everybody running for president. Right. Well, I don't like Pat Buchanan. Oh, then we... I, then you're the guy, I don't think the guy's a serious candidate. I don't think what he says is serious. I think that uh, the guy is uh, is right of Hitler. Then you're going to love this song. All right. One Let minute running. All right, so running. this is your take on Pat Buchanan. Thank you, Howard. All right, who did wants to bet... Did you like this? Oh, yes, no I one else can I did, I did, but you're going to like it. One minute running. Pat Buchanan, get out. I'm going to sing it. I'm not going Show. What makes you think you are so presidential? You're simply mental. A dip. All right, get out. Get out. Mean you're not get out. Play all no, the words? It's over. It's over. All right, Mark Harris, thank you for coming in. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you and Pat Buchanan. All right, good for you, Mark Harris. Thank you for coming by. I want to thank your friend, the contractor, and your movie producer friend over there. Right. And uh, God is, luck. Is Mark Godspeed. the first house he's ever worked in? Yeah, how many houses have you built? Um, actually, I'm um, remodel hospitals for eight years. <laughs> so you, and this is the first and, house? No, not the first house. Yeah. Not at all. I see. Well, that sounds very good. And he but paid I'm a very good builder. And he paid you in cash. Yes, he has. Right. Actually, and I want to cleared. know more about the, the check. Has cleared. Wow, good for you. <laughs> We're ready for the escrow. Where do we Can't wait to see up? the house look like a hospital. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Are you building the disco room? Uh, yes. Oh, Made yeah. an 1100 foot uh, Martha Ray Theater above with surround sound and everything. <laughs> a Martha Ray Theater. We'll put your picture Martha in the theater. theater. I see. Well, isn't that nice? What is going to be going on in that theater? Hijink. <laughs> you can bet. <laughs> the old Martha Ray shows that I'm selling in England. Oh, you're going to run them in the house? Yeah. And a, as a permanent tribute? As a permanent tribute. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> That's bizarre, right? He's building a Martha Ray except, theater. Except no in ashtrays house. in the house. All right, very good, Mark. Okay. Uh, you know what? It's all too complicated. <laughs> too complicated. And your next trip in... Please. August 10th. No, you know what? I have to take one of these trips with Mark. I oh, have to go Robin, see his life. Robin. I really do. Robin, where do you want to go? I'm going back to Budapest, September. You want Budapest. to join me? You're paid. Budapest. All right. I got to get and out Martin, of here. Martin, the photographer, is coming. You, I, want, you want to go? I feel gay. You don't have to talk. All right. We're going to take a break and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> All right, I thought we'd uh, have a visit from the always gay Mark Harris. Oh, I dig this. What song is this? Come on. Yeah, now, now you're talking my language. Now I'm rocking. What the hell is this? Is there words to this? I could listen to this all day. This is music for mental patients. Who, who does this? God lives underwater. Who? God lives underwater. That's the name of the band. God lives underwater. The name of the band. <laughs> cool. Where did these names come from? From Mark Harris. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mark Harris, of course, became famous when he started. Uh, here's his song, a famous song. Oh, he looks like a gay sailor. Dear <laughs> President Clinton, I did write this song right, to you uh. <laughs> to thank you on behalf of Martha Ray. All right, very good. Thank I know you. We had our All right. Uh, hey, Robin, how are you? And for Toledo, you new listeners, this guy is gay squared. <laughs> gay squared? He's the most gay no, guy on the planet. You are the most gay yeah. guy on the planet. Let, let me just oh. introduce who you are. Yeah, okay, go ahead. him. He's gotten gayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah when we first met him, he wasn't that, that gay. <laughs> He's gotten increasingly gayer. But you're not, Robin. Now, listen to, what, listen, to the, listen to the deal this guy pulled off, Mark Harris. <laughs> this <laughs> was no deal. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a pretty good deal. He marries, I don't know if you know who Martha Ray is. The Mark? Big Mouth? Yeah, The Big Mouth. Remember the, those commercials, The Big Mouth? The Paladin Lady. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So she's like 100 years old. She's already had 87 strokes. She's barely on the planet. Mark meets her, starts washing her hair or something, figures out a way to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your take. Actually has sex with her one oh. time. According or two to times. Him. Two times. I mean, there's no Read video your book. Tape. Yeah. Read your book. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's read right. Your book, it's in my please. book. Read because book. even I didn't believe it. <laughs> he has sex with her, and it's like, can you imagine having sex with a stroke victim? Of and he's a young, an good eighty-year-old stroke victim. Yeah, and Mark's like a good-looking gay guy. Wait a minute, to defend uh, yeah. anybody that had a stroke, you mm. think their life is over or they should go on? <laughs> okay. What's the story yeah, there? Martha yeah. Ray was really in this planet when you. She uh, sure was. Oh, please. Of course she uh, was. Please. Well, she's gone now. All right. Police. Anyway. Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> so <laughs> he marries her, <laughs> and uh, gets himself uh, into the house. Starts fixing up the Where's house. His way in there? He's, he's controlling uh, the assets. Now there's no house. No, I never controlled the assets. Oh, that's right. They, not they, remember they went to court. Yeah. Right, right. right. The exec Why are you right. wearing those glasses? Did your facelift uh, not take stuff? No, I just had all this other surgery on my scalp here. So. Really? I thought yeah. there was something going on yeah. with your head. Did you lift? Well, the hair is natural. What is it? To lift your skin? Dr. Rasman, no, he had to remove all the uh, scar tissue and everything that was in my scalp because oh. they left holes there and I have thick hair. So then they took hair from the back, cut a piece of you my You had a hair scalp. transplant? Yeah. But you had a full head of hair. I what are know. you doing to yourself? The doctor did it. He thinned out <laughs> my he? hair, he put scars. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 back up. Brow you had a full head of hair when I met you. Yeah. All right. You always had always a full, had thick, thick head hair. of hair. Always. Now you appear to have less hair. Yeah, I sure do. But now. it's going to grow back now. They're just in remission. These little suckers, you know, they put it. What are you doing to yourself? You were a good-looking guy. I'm trying to get back to where I was. You, yeah, you're trying to make yourself now? uglier. No, no, what about now? You think it's ugly? You're, you've gained weight, obviously. No, I lost weight. And your you eyes look bizarre. Wait a minute. I just lost 22 pounds. He is thinner. 22 what? pounds. Did you, do, did you make up your eyes so that they would look more feminine? No. You know, when he had his face pulled back, his it whole... It stretches. Everything, did you, you didn't everything have... stretches. You didn't right. have permanent liner or anything put on her. No, no. Yeah. Oh. So I got a that's letter. That's, that's I get a letter about Mark Harris from one of his neighbors out oh, yeah. in California. Uh -huh. says, uh, oh, really? I have neighbors? I don't even Dear see Howard, what that Mark Harris has done with Martha Ray's one-time rambling ranch-style home should be a crime. What did he do? Our family has lived on Roscomare Road. Longer than Martha Ray. Is that the road? Is this a tr uh, true yeah, letter? Yeah, this is a real letter. Yeah, I, I swear, I got this yeah, letter. Yeah, how would we know where you live? Yeah, we don't know where you live. No, I'm not um, living there, but go ahead. All right. Uh, my grandparents built our home. Martha's home, along with a few others, were the first in the canyon. Martha's was the largest and most costly back then. Before Martha bought the home, actor Errol Flynn did not own the home, but used it as a hideaway. Is that true? I never heard that before. Right. I've heard Mark on your show tell you that the earthquakes, rain, etc., have destroyed that home. Not so. It's the Mark Harris demolition crews that have... Uh, he saw that he supposedly has remodeled. Okay, it's who, the wrote Mark this? who wrote this letter? Uh, earthquake. He kept changing plans and moving walls that he should not have. It was an old home with a lot of Hollywood history. Mark did not know, and or Martha forgot. I would tell Mark to finish what he's doing, so we don't have to look at this sad mess every time we drive up to our home. Now, who wrote so that? So evidently, letter? since now, Mark took over the house, he, I'll, I don't want to say. It says from an old neighbor of Martha's. Oh, but no name. No name. Okay. I don't even believe the letter, but maybe they sent it to you. I don't say no, because I had all the L.A. permits to build the house, and then there's some kind of association that tried to stop me. We just settled that <laughs> from building the house because I was building it so large. Martha made about 30 films, had her own show, and was very wealthy even at the time of her death. She so, didn't make 30 films. The mountain you can see behind her house was hers. Bel Air is one of the most costly neighborhoods in the world, and Mark knows he's a millionaire in land alone, with or without an old movie star's home on it or uh, not. A homeless. Millionaire. When Mark said there was not much money left, I could not understand what he meant. He flies to Europe every week, keeps a no, Bel Air estate month. in limbo, and must have a place in New York. No, not New York. I say there's a hell of a lot of money left. Really? Yes. Well, sock it to me. Uh, 
Where is this money? I don't know. But this person says that you have left a... You <laughs> got a Martha, big mess out there this in You've taken Martha Ray's house, yeah. you totally left no. it in shambles, and they have to stare at it over. No, 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 no. Are you no. destroying the structure of this home? No, the only thing that stands is Martha's bedroom and my bedroom. That's it. Now, oh, there's a new foundation. A Wait a minute. There's a new foundation. <laughs> those are monuments. You don't want to lose those bedrooms. And the association uh, stopped me from building, even though I had L.A. Uh, permit. Well, let's make it clear. You always kept separate bedrooms from yes. Martha Ray. Even though you did yes. have sex with her twice, you would go into her bedroom to have the sex with is that correct? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was usually... Poor woman. What? Oh, it must have been bad sex. Because, I mean, let's face it, Mark, isn't, Mark can't be great in bed with women. <laughs> no, you would know that. But contrary to that uh, stupid call, I don't know who he was. I am not having an affair with Allison. Who uh, was that guy? Is that right? Yeah. They nuts? You're not having an affair People. with my wife, are you? Yeah, the same man that wrote... Probably the affair. same man that called wishes. in wrote that letter. All right. Yeah. So, Mark, uh, let me explain to people of Toledo who are listening for the first time. So, Mark marries Martha Ray and all this Toledo? Time. Hi, yeah. Toledo. Yes. Now, we have to say that Mark is a young man. Yeah. Mark's a young oh, guy. Oh, thank you. He's he's the facelift is working, right? <laughs> and he's and he's gay. Oh. And so you <laughs> say. Yeah. He's a homo, and he married this woman, and yeah. everyone this, gets Wait a minute. This gay, gay. Does that only mean one way? Yeah, that's yes. it. That's yeah. That, you, let's put it this you, way. You. Yeah. I believe you could, for you, yeah. you are gay squared. And where did my children come from? They're not my biological I believe children? you could have sex with a woman, but I don't think you enjoy it. It depends on the woman. All right. Now, if the woman has a penis. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Right, I don't think so. All right, think so. now where was I? <laughs> what is this? From the Riviera. I just came back from the Cannes Film Festival. Oh. And they have a new douche stuff, so I figured I'd... Yeah, you smell from it. This is for your wife. Thank you. And this one's for Robin. Now, where are you getting all this money for gifts? Well, it's only soap this time. It's so gay to have a soap called douche dust. It's so gay for a guy to use. No, no, this is great. This is the new stuff. I mean, just the fact that you have soap in a liquid bottle... Is, is so gay. Really? That is never the gayest? That. No. More than enough. I'm room. a man. I yeah. take a, I take a bar, a of, bar of lye soap and put it on your body and yeah. burn your skin. To put douche yeah. dust. Yeah, acid. To Ooh. wash yourself in a shower with douche dust. No, I, I, I do. I so gay. But did German you try the douche And how do you use liquid soap? You don't just put it on your body. You have a, a loofah sponge, right? Or that little mm. plastic thing. That you have sounds a ton, good, what do you use No, put, i got to get a loofah sponge. Now, how do you apply douche dust to your body? Just like you would soap. You pour it on, you shampoo it in. All That's a lie. You, no? you, say, you use, use some, some sort of, of some body appliance. Tell no, the truth. Maybe it's my man in waiting. Maybe he shampoos my body. What do I know? I a mean, 70, you seem to know so a much. A 75 about pound this. boy applies it. <laughs> <No>. 75 <laughs> pounds. Right. With a rough hand. Do you still have a lover? Do you still have your lover in Paris? He died. He what? died. Not the one in Paris. Who'd no. guess? Your, your lover no. died? It's, it's a sad <laughs> story. <laughs> what? Well, what? It's not funny. It's really not funny. You're like a. The Grim Reaper. This is not funny. This Everybody very, loves very, guys. You know, I, everyone, everyone around you. Know, how old was this guy? Fifty-four. He just fifty-four. Rock never sick a day in his life. He died. Of and a did heart he have attack. any? Oh, heart attack. Yeah. Oh. And he was your lover. Was, were you in bed at the time? Oh. No, I was on the Riviera. <laughs> they found him on top now, of Mark. Minute, wait a minute. No, no. <laughs> What's that on top? Watch out. All right, you were no, on the Riviera. I, re I was on the Riviera with my entourage. Yeah. And we had a wonderful time. <laughs> right. Well, I'll give you some pictures. Entourage. I don't want to see pictures. Go ahead. Let Is that a big scar on your face from your facelift? I might, no. No? Okay. Go ahead. I don't want to see pictures. I'm you on the what? radio. Mark, stay with the program. Okay. Right. Stay with the program here. Now, where were we? You oh, yeah. Were so I was on the Riviera. And we were, you know, going all over the Monte Carlo thing, every place. All his lovers die. Yeah. Martha Ray, this guy. Well, yeah. it's it's really... And this is a guy you, like, experienced his can and his... I know him since 1985, and uh, he's married. And three children. Oh, really? Nice guy. And you were... In Germany. Like, and he never told his wife that you were... Yes, she knew. As a matter of fact, they stayed with Martha and I. Really? Six weeks. Yeah. While you guys had sex in the other no, bedroom? No, no. Oh, that, liar. That, no. You're telling me that your lover came... for quite a while. You know, that. he keeps that doing that. Really that. Getting these gay guys... He was a gay guy. <laughs> I mean, just because he wasn't a gay guy. A gay guy. I mean, I mean, I mean, he had sex with you, so he's not a gay guy. A gay. Oh. What is the definition of gay then? I just don't know. one all the time homosexual relations. Gay. That's gay. Yeah. So but what do you say? Go gay? both ways, or just you know, it's broader on the menu. A better orgasm here or there. What's the big deal? <laughs> is it really? It's such gay. A big deal. All right. Okay. It's a it's a gay man lying to a woman right. and saying you know. No, his wife knew. Okay. So anyway, he's putting up fronts. Anyway, uh, no, he didn't put up. So here's the funny thing: the last time Mark Harris was in, he of course was on the verge of becoming a very big star. Right. Yeah. Now I may be. I okay. am in England. All right. Can I, I say am. something? Can I just say yeah, something? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So Mark Harris was here. He was going off to the Nat Geek Nat Geek convention. Right. 
which is where all the television producers and everybody goes. I think that he he goes there to watch. Okay. No, no, well, no. Let me no. tell you something. Adam he Booth. had shows. Wait, so, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. So we sent the e camera down to go to Mark Harris's booth where he was promoting his new show. Yeah. There was no booth. They couldn't find oh, Mark Harris below. anywhere. Yeah, I happen to have the booth right. Yeah. Let me yeah. see. He it. takes well, a picture of a Scott booth. Scott Einziger, come in here. Wait a minute, come here, and uh, even the girl from me. The production company Wait had no booth. Well, yeah. Okay, Nor was well, it listed yeah. in the directory. Wait, 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 wait. And there was no, there was no presence of Mark Harris huh. at this convention. Mark, Just so happens you? he is the E Channel at their booth. Okay. Okay, that's the girl their who booth. Does the gossip show? Wait, okay. I have a picture someplace. And what do you dress as a woman? <laughs> that was where I was doing my own hostess thing. Oh, that's right. Mark Remember was going to do a, right. a Kathy Lee and Regis yeah. show, but he was going to play both parts. Yeah, but my mink baseball jackets are not made in sweatshops. <laughs> oh. Uh. Nobody's ever seen Did, your movie. Scott. Oh, yes. They, Scott the Einziger, booth. tell me. There's the booth. That's your booth. Yes. Sinistar Production. That's the booth. All right. Sinistar. Uh, yeah. It, 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 what uh, happened I, when you went down? You know what that is, Say really? something, Scott. We sent, uh, we had a news crew down there, and Greg Agner, who's like our big news reporter. Yeah. They said they searched all over for you high and low because mm -hmm. they wanted them to interview right. you. Right. So that would be cool for the E show. Right. They, they searched the directory of Nati and... As Mark could, Harris, probably. No. Nope, as I, what? I'm not sure. As Mark I'm Harris. Well, what else no, they uh, well, what no, were they listed as? You asked me in that interview who's producing it. I said Sinistar. And okay. then you made fun of them, you know, as usual. Et yes. Well, that was the name of the booth. Yeah, but, the but, minute but, I walked in, this guy from Variety, I don't remember his name, he says, oh, I heard you And you, you walk around Alex dressed Trento. as a woman? Uh, one day. Yes. You know, my was agent was down there. He goes, he goes, I think I might have seen Mark Harris down there. And I go, what do you mean? He goes... There was this big, ugly girl <laughs> running around. I felt she like says, a fat I, Jewish woman. <laughs> well, that's what you oh, look like. It was that's unreal. <laughs> so, so in other words, when we went over to Sinistar, they never heard of you either. You didn't go over to Sinistar. You just said it. All right. Now, <laughs> what happened to your oh, TV shows? What happened okay. to yeah, all Yeah, did you get picked I'm, up? Tonight, are you willing to now admit that you are not going to be famous? You are not going to be I a TV not, show? Wait a minute. Gonna... Do, wait a minute. All right, go you ahead. can't kill a guy for trying. If okay. I do not become famous, as Rudy says, it will not be for lack of trying. Is right. that correct? That's true. Okay. You are trying. So right. no nibbles so, on the TV show? Yes. I'm going this evening to London. I'm trying oh, to tell you. Oh, you all right, all right go ahead. All right. I really don't No, I believe you're going to London. I am. All right, go ahead. And, uh, that we believe. I did, <laughs> I did this documentary movie with a lot of celebrities. It's called Hollywood Men. All I gave the clips to... Gary. Good. Anyway, so ITV about? is the second station there in England. Yes. yes. I did not know that it showed, and while I was going to Cannes, <laughs> part of my entourage... <laughs> Whose Cannes were you going to? Minute, just a minute. You want to hear the story yeah. now? Cannes. So we, know what, we know what Cannes he was busy with. Yeah. Yes. That's why that guy dropped dead. That's why nobody ever sees it. Wrong, wrong. Stop. Did you ever have that guy's can sure. before he died? Never. 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 You never get into that? No. You're not, no. Into, you're not no, into the can? No, no. You're just into... Oral meat, stuff. Meat. <laughs> meat. Oral. Meat. Meat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, as a matter of fact, uh, this 22 pounds I lost, no more beef, the European diet. So what happened? Did you behave at the wake? You didn't have sex with the body, did you? Oh, no. It was very sad. Was it? Not did you go to the it's funeral? Really not Were you funny. there? I got a call while I was Everyone's at the like, Riviera. Hey, this is gay lover. Yeah, did he wear a veil? <laughs> think your entourage to the funeral? No. I went, went to the funeral? Three days. You sure, know, the wife was really Rudalee late. didn't even know what happened to me. She says, no, you Rudalee. Rudalee. What's she in the store? How'd she get in the story? She's great. <laughs> Rudalee. <laughs> She's beautiful. Is this guy a character or what? Look at this. Look at Is this the gayest guy on the planet? Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. In Toledo, they're now saying, we didn't know gay could be this oh, guy. I have never please. heard a gay person. Is Ruta beautiful? <laughs> yes, she is. She is she beautiful. Is, she is beautiful. She is. She looks like Jackie Martin now, in a wig. Was Ruta oh. with Hey, wait a minute. No, Let's she see looks some more good. Pictures. She looks good. All right. And Elizabeth Taylor looks really good. Oh, I mean, Mark. she looks beautiful. You weren't with she Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor. Right, okay. Okay, okay, Taylor. okay, you're right. right. Robin, you're right. If you say that, you're right. All right, tell us what's going on now. How? So you, anyway, yeah. I get off at the airport at Heathrow with the entourage, and I even took my ex-mother-in-law. Okay. And this limo driver, you know, we were just connecting to go to... Just tell me what shows you're working on. So tell me how... So you... I didn't know I was famous. They wrote about me in three papers from this Hollywood man. when you I stepped did. off the plane in England, this everyone was mobbing you. me, aren't you Mark Harris? And I said, right. yes, oh. you know. <laughs> and uh, one thing would lead to the other. And then we went to Piccadilly for the day because we had to change in... Uh, Gary, call, call England. And if you can call Piccadilly. them, absolutely. Find one person in England who's ever heard of Mark Harris. <laughs> I have the papers right here. All right. I'm in three newspapers there. So anyway, <laughs> I pitched to them my On the Mark. And on I'm the going, Mark. Now, yeah. what is that? On the Mark is a, a visit show where you go all over America, like I showed at Nashville. Like Robin Leach or something? A yes, show. except for the uh, poor and unknown. And no, no, wait, was it a Robin Leach people. kind of show? Yes, without the rich and famous. A gay it's, travel show? It's the lifestyles of rich and famous uh, without the, poor the, and the unknown. No, so average people. Lifestyles of average people. In the house. Yeah, you think people want to see that? 
I filmed it. It came off great. Yeah, I see. And no one's picked it up yet. Uh, that's why I'm going to England. All right. Where so you, did you I have a better this? chance. Oh, in Vegas, all over L.A., and some pieces in Long Island. Uh huh. I see. No, 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 no. Well, anyway, it was really great, and I'm going uh, to England tonight. And oh, so that is the show that you're pitching. Yeah. All right. And, and I may even sell Rue de show on the town. So it's on the town and on the mark. We'll have two half hours back. Rude, back. Uh, now, when you say you may sell her, yeah, she has a gossip show. Rue Lee has a, a gossip yes, show. How she, old is she? She and Tony Holt. Is she, is she like 80 years old? Oh, are you crazy? She Who's Ruta Lee? Up up, she wants to meet you. She Who, gotta, is Ruta Lee? Who is Ruta Lee? She's an actress. You know, she's like movie blonde who'd show up in, you know, Seven Brides for Seven part. Brothers. Right. But she's a and beauty. she has she's a show. A beauty. And yeah. she's entrusted you with the show to sell the show. Her backers, Kennedy Cabot, brokers, you could call the 800 number. I'm making money. Oh, here we go. <laughs> making money in the stock market. And uh, and how about Martha's Ray's money? Have you gotten your hands on it yet? You know something? It's closing next month, like the beginning of July. And that's and when you'll officially yeah, do it. And the money I get is really going to... The house, to build it, it's going to take all that money. Well, what happened to the hotel? <laughs> what happened? Don't you owe us five grand? Yes, yes, and I, I believe in paying my debt. Really, here it is. Here's a check from Wait, Mark Harris. How much? For five thousand dollars. To who? And the check to Howard down. Stern. Yeah, you'll break. You well, he's going to break it up, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, we well, then you trust your boss, don't you? No. You don't. No. You don't we trust Howard. Five thousand. We each <laughs> take you five thousand. I don't know everybody's last name. It was just easier to make a cashier 5, check that way. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, this is a check for five thousand. Did you bet each person one five thousand dollars? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. We can pull the, pull the tape. tape. It was one thousand no. no. each. It was five thousand each. When you pull the tape. Now, what happened out. to your hotel complex that you were building? And I, and I did buy the hotel. <laughs> yes. And uh, it, it's a going place, and the partners broke up. <laughs> And the other partner then wanted more money, and I refused. We bet you on the air, right? Whether you know it or not, five thousand a piece. Mm -hmm. One thousand that, each. Okay. No, five thousand a piece. Uh, we'll prove it to you. Five thousand a piece. That there is no way in hell your hotel would ever open up. You gave me the option. I said September '96. Right. It was an existing hotel, and then the partner who was getting out wanted more money. I see. It was so five people. Why didn't Why didn't you believe it, knowing your track record that you've never once gotten anything? I would have never believed, but. People are that way, and he right. knew that I, you know, was buying in there, and then he wanted more money. So, Look at this. Yeah, and then line, he writes out a check for five thousand dollars to yeah. Howard Stern. Right, right. That's a, first of all, yeah. not only are you a welcher on a bet, no way, but you are the gayest where person. Am I, where am I a welcher? Because you owe five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars, including Gary. No Gary way. Was My lawyer was here. You are a Charles welcher. Was here. You're very wrong. Here. Here. Take Marat. your check. Keep your money. No, no, no. Just, I don't welcher on a bet. You are a welcher. I do not. And don't even try to say I welcher on a bet. Take that. You can have the money. No. You're, you're not you need paying it. us. You need That's it. That's a down payment. So while, That's nothing. So now I'm trying to get back to my real name. Did you get my cards from the uh, festival? <laughs> All right, listen. What festival? All right, listen to me. Mark yeah. Harris, he is it's great one. to see you. Oh, the same here. It's always great to see me. Uh, love seeing you. Uh, congratulations on your new hit show that soon will be on in England. Oh, yeah. I I'm hope sorry so. to hear if about I get your that hotel. order, oh, yeah. Here, here's your check for $5,000. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. We don't want your money. <laughs> you but know you can't. You, you know that would bounce anyway. Well, now I'll have to put it back in the stock market. Take the five thousand yeah. dollars and buy more and invest, and invest it for me. No, invest it for me. Okay. All right. And then when you make tons of money, where well, they hand me that money, okay? You hand us and that twenty. Who's going to be responsible for the taxes? You. <laughs> all right. No. Mark yeah. Harris, congratulations on all of your TV projects. And also on being the gayest man in America. Well, and that's the way you see it. What did you put on a dress for, the beautiful Miss America? <laughs> I see. Oh, wait. Wait, we got Here's a guy. Calls. Here's one phone call for you, and then I'm going to get you the hell out of here. Probably the one that wrote the letter. Yeah. Hi, is Bill there? Yeah. Yeah, Bill, what is it? Uh, I saw Mark Harris dining out with Jim J. Bullock two nights ago. Oh. Is that true? Were you having dinner with Jim J. Bullock, the uh, guy who used to be on Hollywood Squares? Where? Uh, Did you, were you, in fact? No. You no, were not? No. But uh, I had a phone call from Jonathan Don't lie, Silverman. man. Don't lie. Yeah, Mary. Oh, oh really? Where? Yeah. Where? Uh, a Tex Mex restaurant in West Hollywood. Really? What's the name of it? Merrick's. Were you at Merrick's? No. No. Yeah, he's no, lying. but he's lying. Right. But that's not the point. You say you had a phone call. No, you had a anyone. right. Yeah. You had a phone call with. Why would he lie though? Why? I, I mean, know. why would I lie if I was right. there with him? So I would have had yeah. dinner with him. But it's not true. Do you know him? Who? Jim J. Bowling. I met him at Nasty with Tammy yeah. Faye. We were talking. <laughs> you did about it. Was there any chemistry there between you two? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. He's, he's a nice guy. Not interested. I didn't ask. No. You attracted to him? No. You're no. Not. Who is your type? Who is the best looking Married guy? He men. just died. No, but who is the famous guy that we'd all relate to? Who is your type? Well. Who do you think is a handsome man who do that I you think? would like to have sex with? You. 
No, come on, be no, honest. No, you're handsome. Come on, be honest. I don't know. You know I'm not handsome. Come on. No, you are. Talk to me. I want to know but your type. My type in men. Bent over. <laughs> we know your type in women. We need to know Bend her. Type we, know you're into, we know you're into like 90-year-old no, women. No, I, I really... <laughs> right now, I'm thinking of other things. No, but who is it? Who, like, Cesar Romero, your type? I'll let him rest in peace. Clark Gable. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lee Marvin. <laughs> Gary <Cooper>. Charles Bronson. <laughs> no, not Clint really. Clint Eastwood. Maybe Kevin Klein. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Klein. Klein. Kevin, Kevin Klein. Klein. Yeah, that's your type? Kevin Maybe, Klein? Maybe, yeah. I see. Maybe. Maybe. Not Lee Marvin. Jonathan Silverman loves your show. Now, Jonathan Silverman is the guy from The Single Guy? Yeah. And how did you see him? He called me the other day. Why would he call you? Well, he, he loves when I do a Howard Stern show. He does. Yes. And he listens to you all the time. And he has a Bob Bob Bowie soft, softball uh, team. Mm. So uh, he invited me to go there because part of my entourage is a girl who plays on the team. And he was very surprised uh, when she said she's going to Canada. I don't know. I don't know. This is a new a thing. A lot of nice people. Why? You, you've seen so you, so you, uh, so, so Jonathan Silverman called you at your house? Yeah. yeah. And how does, I don't understand why. To play softball? Why do you have your number? No. I just told you. Renee, who was with me in Cannes, plays own. on his softball team. That's why he would have your phone number. Right. Right. Okay. Anyway, he loves you. Do show. they want to win? I he mean, how, show. I don't know. I didn't. Who'd ask who yeah, for Mark yeah, Harris? I'm trying to keep score of my own life. What? <laughs> yeah, he can be the back girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, you can play first base. <laughs> Better than being first base. All right, Mark Harris, congratulations. Thank on, you. Uh, all of your uh, affairs. All, <laughs> of, all of my and affairs. All of your facelifts. I don't know what. And all your face oh, I still need correction work. In fact, you uh, felt your genitals were ugly? I was out to eat in this restaurant in Mateo's, and then Neil Sedaka and uh, Leba, who I know very well, uh, they came over, and Al Martino, and the whole discussion became about my balls being lifted. Mm. I said, what about my face? He says, yeah, you look about... But what else? And so Neil says, how old are you now? Or, only a gay guy would worry about how his genitals look. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so when no. other guys are on their knees, everything no, looks good. No, literally having big balls. Literally. Oh, come you on. Know, putting come it on. into action. Come on. Right. Come on. Yeah, well... It's, come on. Yes. <laughs> Have a little class with you, but now you don't know. Now he had a ball lift, and uh, now his balls are under his arms. <gasps> no, they're Wonderful. dead center. Good. All Absolutely. Right. Mark Harris, congratulations. Thank you. On not only marrying Martha Ray, but ending up with the entire estate. I applaud you for that. Uh, you applaud me for that. I and applaud you on, uh, well, at least you made money. Well, what my, I can say about your TV shows. Well, my lover in Germany left me quite a bit of money. Oh, is that oh, right? Yeah. Did. That's why I'm trying to get my legal name back before I changed it. Why? Why? He left it to the other guy? Would you, no, he left it to my German name. <laughs> your German, German name? German when German did you have a German name? When I was born. What is your German name? My last name. Where I is was it? born Mark Harris Bleefeld. Bleefeld. <laughs> Bleefeld. <laughs> and in order to collect the money from your dead... You put it, yeah, so I love her. I was there already at the Deutsche <laughs> Bank. And uh, I presented my passport and everything, but it's only Mark Harris. <laughs> yeah. So now my attorney in New York is trying to get me my name, and he will be able to. I see. How much did he leave you? Yeah. Uh, nice sum. Million? But in Deutschmark. No, not a million. In Deutschmark. 700,000. Right now the dollar's up and the Deutschmark's down. So, so how many Deutschmarks did he leave you? 250. How many, how much is that in American? I don't know. About I don't 200. know that. $200,000? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Nice little stipend. Oof. And his wife called me to tell me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty liberal. Well, congratulations on, you. On, on getting money from the dead again. <laughs> and uh, congratulations. Well, that is terrible. Why is no that terrible? lovers on the horizon? <laughs> no. Not Nobody's right sick. Uh -huh. How's the horizon doing? doing? Nobody's sick. I don't know. How's how, the, do you, how do you, how do you, how do you find like these sick guys? Yeah, right. That was since 1985. It was a very long time. <laughs> really? You never mentioned him before. I didn't want to. Really? Was really? that serious? Well, and was he, the, was he the catcher or the pitcher? Neither. Neither. It was a safe home run play. I see. All right. Okay. Let's hear it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Come on, Gary. You have a question? Come on, Gary. It's, just, it's funny. I hear Mark drop all these names. Yeah. You know, just like all different which? celebrities. Yeah. And I just think to myself, hmm. Is he gay? Is everybody, is Ooh, he, is everybody. He drops his millions of names. And no, I think, no, this he drops it into gay. gay. I know. I just think that everybody hates yeah, that what it is. No. Not at all. That doesn't mean they're gay. Sorry, we'll make it clear. Jonathan Silverman is not gay. No, yeah. no, I know that. Yeah, Definitely I know not. That. Right. Yeah. Baba Booey is as weird as Mark Harris. He's, he's not weird. He's Mark normal. Paul. All right. Bowie. Well, yes. congratulations Thank on your you. $800,000 in surgery that you've had. Oh. And you still have bad teeth. I have to go for more. Go. And he yeah, still has bad teeth. Let me see. I like this. 
What's wrong with my teeth? Mm, you can get them worked on. Okay. So what? What should I do with them? Over here is a little messed up. Howard, if we don't no, wrap up, fine. we're going to lose Okay, them. all right. Oh, okay. okay. I got to take a commercial break. On our phone is the guy who blew out his navel with a high colonic but and his doctor. doctor and oh. his doctor as well. <laughs> and we will be he back. He didn't get a high colonic. He put a garden hose. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. There. Discomfort. <laughs> Discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> Marks of love. Oh, uh, uh, pain. pain. He knows. Pain. Uh. Not interested in that, huh? No, no. You no, tried no. it. No. You've never tried it in the backside. A high colonic, yeah. No, not a high no, colonic. No, no, I didn't. Sex. No, no, no. I don't buy that. Well, I don't Come care on. what you buy. I, would you take a lie detector test the next course. time you're in? Of course. Why not? Hook him up to a lie detector the next time he comes in about whether or not he's had... Uh, this a gentleman, place right. <laughs> your bets. Place your bets. I come here for a reality <laughs> check. All right. We're going to take a break. And and, uh, and we'll see you next time you come next in. Next time. Right. Mark Harris, everybody. Soon to be a big television star in England. In London? Right. right. With Ruta Lee. With Ruta Lee. To the Howard Stern Show. Hey, hey um... Mark Harris is here. This is the guy who used well, to be... Well, somebody who doesn't need a real doll. Right. He's got a partner. <laughs> Mark Harris uh, used to be married to Martha Ray, who was like 900 years old when he married her. Look at him. There he is. Oh, more gay than ever. Yeah, President I think he's had a sex change. I think, <laughs> I think he's a woman now. <laughs> Look at him, back from Europe, triumphant. Mark Harris. Oh, what a happy man. Look at that face. So happy. I know. You know, he's out. the reason they call gay people gay. Because <laughs> he's happy. He's having a good time. Right? Right, absolutely. All right. Oh, we're doing Clinton here? Yeah. yeah, one of your old songs. This In fact, where's the paparazzi? One of the new, don't do you have things written down on a piece of yeah, paper? No, no. Yeah. For you, for you. No, it's, don't yeah, no, try to be funny. It's for you. I'm not trying. You don't to understand funny. why you're funny. Let me handle it. I'm not it. funny, but this, no, these are from you. What do you got? I went out uh, the other night in a restaurant in Venice, and this lady was sitting there, an Amish lady. She's telling me, and she wants you to have this, and she says, "Well, yeah, what is it?" Well, some letter to you. I see. Telling her about her private parts, and then she says, uh, "The Amish people are very hot people. One of their sayings is putting the pork in up." Okay. All right, listen, listen, listen. Nobody cares. Right. I know what that means. All right, anyway, so oh, okay. Mark used to be married to Martha Ray, who was like 90 years old when he married her. 78. Everybody said that he was a money-grubbing gigolo. Isn't that terrible? Uh, isn't that terrible? terrible? But he does have all of Martha Ray's money now. How much money was the estate again? It, well, it was 2.4, whatever I was left, went into this humongous house that I just built. Right. So I'm broke. Uh, yeah, we believe that. $2.4 million dollars. It was worth it. He married her. She she had already had a couple of strokes I and everything. I think all of the money went into plastic surgery. <laughs> he oh. Said, oh, oh, no, not that much. But, uh, you know, Scar And, and uh, according to Martha, Mark Harris, and he swears this is true, oh. he did have sex with Martha Ray twice to consummate the marriage. At least twice. Which oh, is oh, unbelievable. Boy. But he admits it's he's gay. <laughs> On those moments when I'm with the same sex, I'm gay. When I'm with the opposite sex, I'm what you would call straight. And then, of course, those bisexual menage a trois moments. So you have different. never been straight. You are so never. gay. Never. Although he convinced, he convinced two so women good. to marry him. T uh, two women before Mark. Right. Right? Right. right. I, mean, right. I, have, a, I have a beautiful straight. granddaughter and beautiful children. And, right. And what's it all about? Who cares what they are? Can gay? you imagine? Wait, 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 wait. I would love to meet the woman wait, who met this guy, the way he talks and everything, and said, you know what? I want to start a life with him. They're probably... Uh... I'm a lot of fun. Listen, I want to marry you. Oh. Not exactly, but I'm... I'm a lot of fun. Let's go so you're talking about it. gay and yeah. bisexual and straight. The only thing that matters is a good orgasm. Well, absolutely. Hello, you are a genius. Right, so anyway, we, we, we're shocked to learn. <laughs> so anyway, he did. Oh, for those of you uh, tuning in yeah. in Canada for the first time, Louisville, all these new markets. Hey, bonjour in Canada. Mark has almost. <laughs> Mark has actually made love to like a 78-year-old woman, and it's frightening. The whole story. We've gone into it many times on the air. You think that's for the Guinness Book of Martha Records? was less lifelike than the real doll. <laughs> no, she was wonderful. It's just a uh, third up. When you made love to her, though, you must have been sick to your stomach. No, not at all. Martha not at all. That I don't Martha believe. Martha would always say, though, about her 8 by 10s and how she looked and the body she had and all that. She says, look what you missed. I said, but that's what I'm thinking of now. I see. You would yeah. imagine her back in her heyday. Easy to imagine. She was still Martha Ray. Don't you think you thought about, like, uh, Cesar Romero when you were in bed with her? Ah. That's a great guy. No, no, no. Did you ever... Did, uh, there were rumors all of Cesar Romero's life that he was homosexual. Was he or wasn't he? He told me yes. He did. Yeah. And did you give him oral sex? 
No, I gave him soup. He had the flu. Did you ever give or Cesar Romero sex? Never. No, he's not Never. telling us Cesar Romero was gay. Uh, no, you asked. What do you mean I'm sitting here? Uh, yes, he did. He told me the love of his life was Tyrone Power. He told me that. And he made love to him. He didn't give me the explicit, you know, uh, movements, but he was a wonderful man. Hold on one second. Dominic. Hello? Hi. You on the web? Yeah. Who's this? Howard. Uh, here's what we're going to do. A law student is going to be leaving my office at 9 or 10, fly to Chicago, buy the doll, and fly it back. He'll sit next to it in the plane. Let me ask you something. Do you, can they make the doll that quick? That's, I did not open until 9.30. I will be calling them. If possible, you will have it tomorrow. Then that will be your next year's birthday present. And I'm Fantastic. Well, I thank you for that. Uh, either Natasha or Stacy. Well, we'll find out what's available. I want it made up like a whore. Okay, and what so we'll do is we'll have it actually on the plane flying back with the law student. It so has to have a... pick it up. I'll buy the ticket both ways. Okay. It has to have a ticket. I told you Dominic well, could get this done. the ticket, of course. <laughs> both First ways. Class. But the only thing is, I just got to make sure... Gangie, go available. with him. Go with him so we have it on E. No, I can't. And you'll take whatever they have available if they have one right there. I'm trying a case. The guy wants to, you know, get out of jail today. But I will take care of this. Bike. All right. Get the doll here. Get it here for tomorrow. It'll be a big show. Well, let me see what I can do. I will send someone to Chicago. Bye. Between that and our Lady Di Broadway show, it's going to be unbelievable. Mm. Mark would be fabulous for that. As Lady Di. Yes, you I'm would. I'm not going to be blonde. Originally, no originally, Robin was going to be Lady Di, but I'm thinking of replacing now, Mark, her with you. Mark is getting my part. <laughs> yeah, he's a winner. Part, yeah. He's a winner, I'm, I'm telling sure you. I hit the high note. <laughs> okay, so anyway. You got my flowers. For those of you, thank you. For those of you, that's such a gay thing of you to do. They're the flowers? Yes. It's my gay Friday. That's for those of you just tuning in, Mark Harris is here. He made love to a 78-year-old woman named Martha Ray, who was a big famous star back in the 50s. Yeah, back in World War II. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s were a little bad, 70s. And then, he's with Vietnam. Right. And um, Mark did her and then got like two and a half million dollars. Her That's own daughter. Twice. That's a million dollars per. Her own daughter didn't <laughs> Wait, get that this money. This really sounds good to me. Well, it's true. You must be You funny. did it. Yeah, well. And all he did was wash her hair a few times. Oh. Really? A lot could be said for well, that. Well, we had a great he time. He did we had a great make life. a disco room for her. Yeah. Which is now a ballroom. Which she really needed <laughs> in those waning years. Which is now a ballroom. Aren't you shocked that you made a disco room? Convince Martha Ray to make you a disco room? You called the disco. It was a nightclub. You made a nightclub mm -hmm. in Martha Ray's house when the woman was hardly she, able to even walk. She was fine to receive all her guests and she enjoyed it. All right, Great party. All right, so Mark now, in his grief after losing Martha Ray and getting the two and a half million dollars. Three years. Yeah. After that, let me put my sunglasses on, okay? Because you're too funny. And, uh, no, I'm not funny at all. Yeah, I just tell on. the truth. And that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I can't find him now. You look wonderful, Robin, while he's looking for his glasses. Let's beat up this dead state. Yeah. Come on, I'm getting uh, messages from the e-room to put on my sunglasses. Anyway, because right? yeah, they know how crummy I look in my regular glasses. Or is it my beauty that blinds you? Homo look uh, at these new glasses of his. I mean, these aren't new. Not you, oh. him. What? I'm not looking uh, at you. Oh, yeah, those? I have two pairs. Elvis laughs at those glasses. <laughs> the cab driver, I didn't think I'd get here. He says, do you imitate Elvis? I said, no. He says, you look just like me. No, you got TCB glasses. I said, dead or alive. All right, anyway. That's crazy. Anyway, so. <laughs> sex. Are you saying you never had oral sex with a man during your marriage to Martha Ray? At the end of the marriage. Okay, you did. All right, so you do admit that. At the end of the marriage. Yeah. Went back to an ex. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, go ahead. All right, so when we last spoke to you, I thought you were going to bring your German boyfriend. Mark and his grief. Over... I'm on my way to Berlin this evening after this show. Boy, that kid must be good. Oh. Well, no, he, he does was, not you know... live in Berlin. He does not? No, 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 no. You never met him when you were in? in... Berlin, no. no. All right, Mark. Because Mark goes back to the days of the old, glorious queens. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You don't find too many like Mark Harris. Anymore. Why? Yeah, Queen, yeah, Queen Elizabeth is still yeah. here. I don't find her glorious. No, I mean, just your whole attitude. You're, you're Hollywood personified, even though you're not famous. You know what I mean? You're right. Hollywood. You're, he's like yeah. old Hollywood. Why, he's you, Liberace. He's Liberace. Uh, you know, I've been called that, too. Yeah. yeah. But I play more than a piano. Yeah, I know. You play the organ. Oh, no, just the string. <laughs> well, there's a big difference. You know, some people do find me funny. And there's not such a big difference between Jack Benny and myself. Of course, I'm alive. Okay, so Mark goes he to Europe. He plays the violin. Mark goes to I Europe. I play the violinist. Don't make me struggle through this interview. Oh, please, no. You Mark goes to struggle. You're a professional. Mark goes to Europe. Yeah. He meets up with, like, lots of guys. I guess he can't meet anybody here. No. In, who some, wants to? Because what in Although Europe? Although I've met somebody in America finally. In Europe, you know, the, he can convince these guys that he's really happening in yes. the United States. Okay. And the guy didn't even know who I was. He right. He claims to have some act that people actually come to see. Right. 
So anyway... Well, you, you called me in my rehearsal two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Mark Harris went to Europe in his grief after Martha Ray. After the earthquake. And he meets this guy who's, what, 19? Oh, please. How old? Next week he'll be 23. Okay. That's not my fault. How old are you? I'll be 49 February. 49? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, Mark I meets this... I thank God for plastic surgeons and God himself. Mark, meanwhile, you're suing your plastic surgeon. We did that already. He settled out of court. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Because, what, he made your testicles too tight? That was in the complaint. I looked it up. Right. But, I mean, there were other things. Like? Like two different eyes. So I redid my eyes a few times. I took vocal lessons in Berlin. I had really good Let me time. see your eyes. Take off yeah. your glasses. They're normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You told everybody I was Chinese and people would stop me. You don't look Chinese. He looks like Elizabeth Taylor. Let me see. Turn around. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Robin, you oh always said God. I had such beautiful like eyes. You ruined yourself. No, they're perfect now. He can't even open his eyes. I know. Oh, please. The you know, people believe move. what you say. The face moves the and so do other parts. <laughs> Everything's working. Come on. Oh, he pulled, everything he pulled right. himself again and be comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, yes. okay, so what? so he goes to Europe. Check this out, and he meets this guy, twenty-three-year-old guy who plays the violin, and Mark convinces him that he's a big star back in the United States. Yes. But that's not true. And now the violinist and Mark have an act together. Right. That's true. And uh, they have, I guess he's plowing this, this uh, oh, violinist. Like a new field. Like a Are new field. Kidding? We're going to have an open call. We could always hire What does your new man look like? Describe him to everyone. He's a very handsome young man. Right. Yeah, I thought he was in his 30s. Right. And um, he's, I guess you'd call model type and everything, but I don't need a trophy. Right. I've always been the trophy. Right. So I don't want to pursue this for too much. Have you ever met Andrew Cannon, the guy who killed Versace? I'm going to tell you a story if you let me yes. about Andrew Cannon. You did him, didn't you? No. Tell the truth. Uh, that's no. the truth. You've never had sex with Andrew Cannon? Never. Uh, he's not even my friend. <laughs> he's not. What happened when I was uh, in this spa in Germany uh, to lose weight, because I had gone very fat, down 20 pounds. <laughs> what is <laughs> Everything is a spa or facelift. So I was, I was at the pool, and this guy was all the way at the end. And, you know, in Germany, women are completely nude at these spas. Because everyone's gay, I guess. No, no, no. Well, right. In Europe, they do what they want, when they want, with whom they want. Right. So I was saying, and he was looking in my Is direction. he the worst storyteller or what? Who is he talking about? I don't even know what story. Who he called going to go to Andrew Cannon. Yeah, David. So anyway, he David. Comes, David. That's the violinist. Oh, is he gay? Oh, okay, go ahead. Well, says what? Uh, what? All right, no. go ahead. So you're no. at your... You know, these gays, everyone's coming out of the closet. So you're, the you're at the pool. You're at the pool. All these gay people coming out of the closets. I listen to everything Ellen DeGeneres says. She's quite eloquent. And uh, they're all, all right, so you're amateurs. At, I've been around you're, a long time. You're at the pool. Go ahead. And, he and comes, what are you wearing at the pool? Just a, a little bikini? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I was wearing, you know... Trunks? Yeah. You wear oh, trunks. there's the pool. Yeah. And he was looking... But I didn't believe he was looking at me, and I left, and I had this idea that a young hustler, and I don't need that at this point in my life. Because you're a young hustler. Right. Uh. So he came over to me while I was ordering a beer, and he sits down next to me, and he orders a beer and tells the waiter to Zaman Bittishan, and I look at him, I said, Varumish means why me mm -hmm. and he's telling me all kinds of things and everything and then he gets to the part where he wants to take me to dinner i said what do you do for a living that you could afford to take me to dinner even though i'm dieting and he said <laughs> listen to this and, gay pickup and he said i wish we had him on this film reminds Almost me of one of those who on old film? elizabeth taylor movies. you mean you're right. not which one all right so this young boy this <laughs> young suddenly last summer so you say why me suddenly last summer you say why me and what was the answer he said, your eyes are so beautiful, you look so sad, you're all alone and nervous. I said, of course I am. If you had nothing to eat for three days, you'd be nervous, too. Anyway, we went out to dinner. He told me he's a violinist, and that made me, you know, take notice. You know, he was really nice. So this guy. is not Andrew Cunanan. No, no. Andrew no. no, I figured this guy is after, you know, fat old men. I was all gray. I had let all my I, know, I told you this would be a bad story. So this is your boy. It's not a bad All right, go ahead, yeah. So anyway, we got rather close. Would you like to say something else? Well, no, so, so what do you say? You went out to dinner with him. We went to dinner. And this is your boyfriend? Yes. Okay, the violinist. And he played violin and I sang. Uh, right. And, and, he, then, and he thought you sang good? No, he thought I sang wonderfully. He did? Yes. Well, and so did you. And then what did you do? Did, that, night, that night, did you take him back to your hotel room? We wound up there. Yes. And I what happened? I was uncomfortable with well, How did you make the first kiss? I didn't. He was massaging my neck. 
He was. Oh. You were in the room. Oh, Did you ever have a violinist massage? Anybody want to puke? Listen to those I'm sorry. Sorry. It really was nice. So wait a second. You go out on well, the day. shut the lights on. What were you wearing on the day? Did you dress I up? I don't recall. Did you wear a tux? No. French maid. No. French maid. I, I don't even know. French maid. I don't even know. All right. And he, and were you hungry after dinner and he gave you something all to eat? I had, all I had was wine. Wine. And he paid off. Can't you diet like normal people or do you have to like starve yourself for three uh, days? Somewhat it's normal. But that time wasn't. It was extreme. Okay. And so I was pretty relaxed talking through this whole... Uh, Did he play police yeah. officer with you and use a plunger? Boy. <laughs> Did he? Uh, that's sensational, isn't it? That no. is sensational. No, no, no. He did not. It was very romantic. It was very nice. And then the calls and the letters and the postcards. He was on tour in Monaco and Saint Tropez. So wait a second. So you're in the hotel room and he and you said to him, "Oh, my shoulders hurt." I said nothing. He said to you, "Let hey, me massage you." I let me massage neck. you. My neck. Right. And you were sitting where? In a chair? Couch. On a couch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you did you take his shirt off? He did. He took his shirt off. No, he took my shirt off. He undressed you. Yeah, because he wanted to do the spinal cord. Yeah. Oh, I see. He had great hands. Yeah, and he started to rub your back. And then did soft kisses land on your neck? How did you know? Were you there? I could just imagine. Well, it, it really did go down like that. <laughs> he started and to so kiss you. So finally, when we made it to the bed uh, and he knew I was uncomfortable with different things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He starts massaging you, then he kisses your neck. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, did, he, did you tell me you used to be married to Martha Wright? No. no. Why, no. He, would, he wouldn't know who she was. Right. And then he took, then how did he get your pants he, off? He basically told me, didn't you have enough wine already? Can't you? <laughs> Can't and you shut up? Yeah, really. You were talking too much. Talking and talking and In talking. In German? In German. Yes. Ich spreche Deutsch auch. But he was finally saying, okay, I'll shut the lights. He shuts it on my side. <laughs> I said, shut it on your side. Are your clothes? Yeah. <laughs> and I had scar revision. So, as a matter of fact, he looked at You had my what? Scar revision? You know, I had a stomach what is, and all that. You had a stomach. Is there a scar in your stomach? There was. Yeah. But you could tell a hairline now. That's It's revision. You know, they took away the ugliness of it, the thick rope, that's all gone. That's all gone. But I have this scar under the chin and in bed. And Why do you have a scar under your chin? For a chin well, implant? That's, no, not a chin. They uh, took out the double chin. They, uh, you know, I sucked see. it out. They sucked the fat out. Right, and the stitches behind the ear. So he looks at me, he says, what is that? And I said, uh, what's yours? Because he had a pronounced one under his chin. He says, rugby. And I looked at him, I said, rugby? He says, in yours? It's a football. In America, we play football. Right. I mean, you know, it's a really All cool. right, so, so, so wait a second. So you, so you get into the bedroom, and this guy takes you, and he removes your pants, or you take your pants off? He convinced me that sex was just as good with a 23-year-old. So you started making out with this guy? and you acrobatic. And when he undressed for you, you were completely aroused? I was aroused before that. Right. And you were t totally turned on. And, and he so would you if he massaged you. And there was no ass play? No. None whatsoever? No. Wow. No, no. Did, you, you did he touch your buttocks? Just, no. no he so, didn't. He didn't touch your buttocks. Mm -hmm. My thighs and around. Okay. Mm -hmm. But why are you so fixated on this anal stuff? Mm -hmm. I just want to know what you're up to. That's all. No so the, mm -hmm. I, I don't believe it. No way. The guy massaged his shoulders and his back and yeah. his, his Spinal neck cord. and avoided his buttocks. No right. You, you really must know mm -hmm. that. You've been there. You're a gay right. man and you don't mm -hmm. touch the guy's buttocks? Come on. No. First no. What, what? Only gay. Do I have to wear that label? I do it all. <laughs> like going to the ocean and not jumping in. Except now in this last... Look, right. Wait, wait a minute. Like i got to say yeah. something. Go ahead, do. Rob, what is it? Martha Ray was the last woman no, for Mark uh, Harris? No, no, because no, Because we haven't no. seen or heard of you being with a woman. My ex-wife would like to stay out of this. He says he claims he had sex with his ex-wife. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't have to claim it. Hey, hold on. i got to get to the phones because there's some people who have been ordering the doll. I want to know what's going on the over doll. there. The doll. Yeah. It's wild. The doll you... gets more dates. Uh, Mike. Howard. Did you order the doll? <laughs> I don't have a computer. Right. Did, well, Al Allison consider this thing cheating or what? Making love to a doll? No. Sure. Have I don't think so. Her no, I haven't. Uh, I've decided for her it's not cheating. You're great, but this guy is so, so gay. Yeah, Mark is so gay. I can't stand it. Not only is Mark gay, but he... So I said to Mark, cut some almost, IDs for the show. Almost. Mark will not cut uh, IDs that I wrote for him. Really? He's such a little baby. Oh. It's not a question of baby. Why would I say anything derogatory about Mark? You don't say anything bad about Mark, no, at least. No, you wrote is disgusting. What That's wrong. Yeah, yeah. I say hello. I'm Mark Harris, the former husband of Martha Ray, the greatest comedian and best piece of ass of all time. Well, I wouldn't say that. Why not? Is that true? Was, That's so nice. She was way above being a piece of ass. 
Hi, I'm Mark Harris. I was married to an 80-year-old broad named Martha Ray, but don't let that fool you. I'm a Tuchus Tarzan from Jump Street. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm, I guess you, you won't know, say that? No, true. but for you, I guess it's funny. I'm getting married soon, and I know you're all thrilled for me. For my wedding gift, please feel free to chip in for my next plastic surgery, which is so extensive <laughs> that I can hardly blink. He wouldn't do that one. No. Gee, there's so much I wouldn't do. Surprise. Hi, I'm Mark show. Harris. I was married to Martha Ray, and I love the Howard Stern Show because I know he respects me for what I am. Of course, aside from being a gold digger, it's pretty much up in the air what I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well, I must oh, go... Oh, will you do that one? Oh. Oh, well, I must go powder my butt for my man. And now from high atop the Howard Stern building on the Stolen Vehicle Police Recovery Network, it's the one man who can make me laugh at my stupid existence, Howard Stern. Homo. So you should have heard him. Listen to the fight he puts up over in the oh, other room. No fight. Listen to this. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's okay. So why, why can't you do the first couple? Okay. Because it's not true. And it's not funny. Oh, please. They are funny. funny. Wait, what's, what's I that? wouldn't say those things. Anything about Martha. And I'm certainly not going to say I like uh, hairy men. <laughs> I don't. No, it doesn't matter. No. False advertising. <laughs> yeah. False advertising. Now listen to this. Christian. She wasn't 80. So change well, it. Well, tell okay. Me, tell me what's wrong with the first one. I wouldn't say those things about Martha Ray. I wouldn't say anything wrong about her. And that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, well, that's the first and, one. It's ridiculous. What about the second one? Oh, please. Hi, I'm Mark Harris, former husband of Martha Ray, world-class entertainer, entrepreneur, chanteuse, and the gayest man on the planet. <laughs> I am frightened by Howard Stern sometimes. Oh, really? In fact, he's scarier than my plastic surgery, <laughs> if that's possible. <laughs> I think that's funny. Take it from a flamer really. like me, Howard Stern is one crazy guy. What's wrong with saying that? Come on. It's a joke. Homo. He did cut some of them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, which one? I can't remember. Look at your clock. It says my name on it. Here, I'll play it. Harris. Hi, this is Mark Harris, the former husband of the great comic, Martha Ray. I know you all have questions like how I married a 78-year-old wonderful lady, a legend at that. And how alert was I during my testicle reduction? Well, I was so alert that I was so stupid to let him go tighter, tighter, tighter. See, but he ruined he it. It would work. He ruined them. Yeah. He's not funny when he no. tries to he ad lib. He's ad living. Kill the joke. Read these. That'll be rain. Read these. I want you to be funny. Which one? All of them. Just all of them. Read them. Here, try it. And try and do it funny. I mean, try and just read it straight. That's yeah, when you're you funny. Just read it straight, you'll be funny. That's when you're funny. All this trying. He to never be knows straight. when he's funny. Straight. I have to produce him constantly. Yes, you do. Here, try and read it straight through in a, in a nice clip. If I could see, I don't know. All right, go ahead. Get your eyes fixed. We'll leave out the uh, just off. Read it. Leave just out read the bad it. parts of Martha. Go ahead, just read it. Hello, I'm Mark Harris, the former husband of Martha Ray, and she was the greatest comedian and. She's a great lady. I'm not getting to say that nonsense there. <laughs> of course, I only sampled Martha's wares a few times when I gave them out, fatigues, because I... Forget I'm, it, forget yeah, it. You I, you're not funny. You're no, not funny. I don't find that funny. You're not funny. It's not. So then he wrote... Then he says, can you contact the Snapple people for me? I wrote a jingle oh, for them. Oh, great jingle. What is your jingle? You want to hear it? Yeah. You thought but I you, only sing legit. This is the world's worst jingle I ever heard. Oh, no. This is horrible. Really? This is horrible. Would you play it through and let yes. the audience judge? In fact, I guarantee you, Robin, you will be screaming for mercy when Leo I play the Lion this. thought it was it. wonderful. I'll sit through it. Huh? Robin, you, when you can't take any more, just scream out. All right. Okay. And it's be true. I will. I got so bored during this. I had to turn How it off. Long is the jingle? The it goes on and on. Long. It goes on and on. This is horrible. Probably two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Jingle? Yeah. Listen. It's on cassette. First of all, it sounds like a guy peeing oh, through the whole commercial. Geez. All right? It doesn't even sound like that was my ten year old pouring this. It sounds like a guy in a toilet peeing. I'm so thirsty. I'm so dry now, drinking Snapple, it is my high now, <laughs> you should try it, there's Snapple diet, I see flavors and fruit taste that really savors, keep on drinking, and stop my thinking, when I go shopping, I will be stopping mm -hmm. to buy some Snapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mercy, it's not, it's not even funny. It's not Amazing. funny. It's going no. nowhere. It's no. awful.
Uh-huh. It is awful. If you say so, Howard. Please. So now you heard me sing in Baden Baden, and you said it was really good, came into your own. So you yeah, that, that was great. Oh, that was that great. That was good. Well, then you should have brought your homosexual boyfriend in here and played a little and done something good that you've been working well, on. Well, I think we're going to get rid of him. I'm going to have an open call for violinists. Any violinists, call Howard Stern. Have you done with him already? You broke up with him? Yeah. Oh. Just about. I mean, really? I'm going back there to make sure. <laughs> Maureen, you're on the air. Hello? Hey, it is. Hey, Maureen, hi. How you doing, Howard? All right. Enough with the faggots, Howard. Oh, faggots. We, we got uh, too many of them, and I think it's a disgrace. Well, then don't bend over. Greg, you're on the air. Yeah, what's up, Howard? Hey, man. I love your show, but what's up with this dude, man? <laughs> you can't take it anymore? No, nah, man. It's making me sick. <laughs> a lot you of have guys... a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Dave. You're on the uh, line. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just have a question for Mark. Um, in being gay, I know there's a lot of, uh, you know, the AIDS worry about that. With going into all these bars and hanging out with all, with all the other gay and homosexual people in the world, is, it, is AIDS always really a problem on your mind? Well, I don't do anything sexually that I would get the disease, and I don't hang out in bars. You do all, no. I don't, so I, 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 no, I don't believe I do. No. I don't do. So, uh, you haven't? It's uh. a concern like anything else. I mean, I think hepatitis B might be a bigger concern. Really? Really? Yeah, it is. So you won't get AIDS because you don't—you're not a Tukas Tarzan. Right. Right. Oh, well, is that oh, true, Robin? No, that is not true. But you can get you... AIDS orally. Yeah, from oral yeah. sex. Yes. Yeah. To what extent? I mean, what do you mean to what, uh, extent? what extent? If you, if you have a cut in your mouth or something. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's, it's the. Uh, Mark doesn't. Have well, I won't it, disappoint Mark. you. I'll stay healthy. Well, Mark doesn't you know, have. Uh, always that chance. Yes, yeah. yes, there is. Mm-hmm. One can only hope. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, that's raunchy. Uh, I'm just kidding. Of course, we all love oh. Mark Harris. And then we'd have Biblically, to take care no of him, Howard. Now stop that. What'd you yeah. say, Robin? But then we'd have to take care of him. And right. you'd be the Thanks. first. You've got either. plenty of money. You're such a good lady. All right, anyway, Mark Harris, so you're not going to come in with the violin player the next time? Well, I'd like an open call. All violinists call Howard Stern. I need two for the act. All right. Um, so you're gonna play I, need I just so wrote a jingle. Too. I just wrote a jingle. I'm so thirsty. Pull your pants down. Let me touch you. Let me feel your round ass. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> that proves the butt that mine stinks. I will open my mouth so wide. Uh, I don't know. It's very difficult. That's a tough song. Uh, hi, Bob. You're on the air. Bob? Hmm. Guess she's gone. Anyway, Mark, so you're, you, what you're here to say is you're doing well. Thank God. Your act on the road is what now... What is the latest thing? This, this nightclub act? I'm going to do an act in uh, Los Angeles. We're looking between three rooms. Uh, a very nice person. Do you ever get discouraged? Because I know things no. haven't really happened for Who you in cares? show business. No, no, not at all. They don't. haven't. I mean, you've put together so many shows. And, so, right. you know, there was the hotel deal and... And I'm left with all those oil paintings of so many stars. The artist died, unfortunately. Oh, dear. I what know. is she talking about? I don't know. She remembers that I was going to do a hotel up. She is you know. all over the place. She can't even have a conversation with me. Oh, but you could. Ask me a question. There was I'll give you a direct show. answer. Well, yes, but since my face remember left, you had, he had all those. He bet us $5,000 each. He was going to have a hotel Mr. named Paganini. after him. Right. What was the name of it? Mr. Paganini. Mar- this theme song. Right. And so I commissioned this artist to do paintings. One of you, awesome. too, Howard. It's a very nice Thank one. you. Uh, uh, Mark, so in other words... Discourage? No. No, because the hotel you were going to put together failed. The Broadway show you were going to put together failed. The TV pilots failed. Everything right. failed. And do you think that bothers me? It may bother you. you. At my age, the worst thing anybody what can tell me is no. Yeah. What about the game show? Yeah. What happened to that? I didn't pursue that like the others, but I don't intend to either. And then there was the talk show where he was going to do a woman and a man. Yeah. yeah. That was part of the cooking and everything. It was very funny, actually. Oh, right. No one else found it funny, I guess. Well, maybe not. Right. But do you think that should deter me? <laughs> At some point, maybe you say to yourself, when this, is, do you get this business discouraged? isn't for me. Well, with my new songs, right. introducing uh, music. And Quickly, what is the play going to be that you're putting together now? I'm the, not putting a play. Well, what it, whatever it's called, the nightclub act. What is that? Is there a theme? What is it? Just Mark Harris sings? Mark Harris sings. Uh-huh. But it's a working title, My Life is a Joke. I see. And you will make fun of yourself in this? I'll just tell the truth. I think that's funny. I see. You think your life is a joke? Yeah, but in a good way. Right. It's a fun-loving I way. I mean, you know, a lot of celebrities in real life uh, have their uh, illusions on stage. Right. I've been living my life full out every day, 24 hours a day. Okay. So, so now, the ex-wife who's still having... 
relations with him? Is we're there a very relationship close. We're very there, close. or are you just doing her occasionally? No, we're very, very close. Joe, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, Howard. Yeah. Listen, Joe, I'm, I'm a 20-year-old bisexual. I don't flame, but I'd like to meet Mark. Really? You want to do him? I don't know if I do him, but is, is he like a sugar daddy? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, he's got two and a half million from Martha Wright. Really? No, oh, yeah, he'll take care of you. Mark, how you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm not a sugar daddy and not looking for blind dates. Come on, Mark. Come on, where? Chris, you're on the air. Yeah, get this butt-smelling faggot out of the studio. Your house. nose is too close to your mouth if you smell. He's sickening this guy. Some people are... Uh, they can't take it. Some people can't take Mark. Not tolerant at all. Personally, I love listening to Mark. I can listen all day. All day. Yeah, that's all the day. best thing I've heard all day. Uh, it's the God's honest truth. You want, to page a, uh, page. you want to play a legitimate song? Uh, do you have one? Yeah, I gave it to Gary. Yeah, I think he, he couldn't. He didn't think it was oh, so legitimate. Okay, okay. All right. Whatever. whatever. Is there, okay, quickly sing a little something, yeah, acapella. No way. Even the taxi driver asked me this morning. I said, not at this hour. You will not sing acapella. No, I'm too tired. All right, next time you come in, come in with the violin player. Well, open call. Give All me right. a violinist in New York, and we'll play. He's dumping that guy. All right. I can see it. Yeah, I don't think he uh, put out enough. <laughs> no, I met somebody else. Oh. Who'd you meet? You see this clothing I'm wearing? I really met a baron where I was performing in Baden-Baden. Oh, and dear. he and his mother took me shopping. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> Seriously. She's the only one who goes to Baden-Baden. And oh, he's a baron. Baden-Baden. So nice. They named it Twilo. Looks like Brighton Beach. Baden-Baden. Really? It's, it's the best. It's the best. Baden-Baden. <laughs> this guy's having a good life. I'm Nobody having a wonderful life. Nobody else knows about Baden-Baden. He, Baden -Baden. he is so. traveling like crazy. <laughs> And Ainsley, you're on the air. All right, yeah. Um, I want to ask Mark what ten schmucks are going to show up for this show. What? I didn't understand. She says, what ten schmucks will show up for this show you're putting on? Ten schmucks won't. People with culture will. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. No. Ten violinists? No, two. You don't no? think anyone will show okay. up for Mark's show? Hell no. <laughs> and if you play that song again, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> your don't worry. No chance of that happening. No way, man. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, Mark, you've infuriated the entire audience <laughs> once again. Yeah. And uh, good luck on your trips to Bottom Bottom. Bottom and, Bottom. Well, he'll be going to the bottom. The Baron. <laughs> the Baron Bottom. And I'm, I think I'm glad you met Baron someone. Meet you. Please come in when you have a violin player. Yeah, no, bring the, the Baron. Yeah. Yeah, bring in some of your men. That's, That's what we want to meet. Oh, the men. The yeah. Okay. Bring in your boyfriends. We want to meet them. Bring the Baron. All of them. Bring the Baron. Oh, He's baden. so handsome. Baden, Baden. Baden, Baden. <laughs> Ish man, talk us about Baden. I really, you know, I could do the psychoanalyst after this. <laughs> you did fine. I did fine. <laughs> yeah. He's Compared to what? Me. What? He's a dickweed. Uh, <laughs> calm down, honey. <laughs> what, is she in a garden? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yes. Mark. Yes. He's a dickweed. Come in with your... Oh, you do punch that in all the time? Come, Who's gardening? Come, come here with one of your boyfriends, like the Baron, one time, Almost. will you? No. I'll tell you the truth <laughs> after the show. You will know. No. I can Why? see that. Why? Why? <laughs> I, I mean, they look at this and say, what's wrong with them? They think uh, Americans are crazy to begin with. All right. Well, there you go. Darn. Rod, Rod, what do you want? Uh, you know, I feel bad for the guy, you know, he, everybody's criticizing homosexuality, but if you'd be shocked to find out there's more than we know, you know what I mean? What are you saying? I'm saying, you know, you, you know, he's, everybody's criticizing him being gay, you know, let him be gay. Right, I agree with you. Be gay. There you be go. Gay. Be, be gay, gay as you want to be. I don't think we can stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you climax. Electroshock therapy wouldn't stop him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, maybe the electric stuff might help him out. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Mark Harris, everybody. Mark Harris. To a man who can't say fuck on the air without getting in trouble. Howard Stern. Next, we have Mark. Thanks for coming in, man. It's always good to check in with Mark. Hey, coming up next, the girl who lights up a room, and Ed McMahon is calling us. You know Ed McMahon? You do know him personally? You do. I don't know. I can't hear him. Think no, Mark he doesn't. No. He isn't projecting. I say, do you know Ed McMahon? Personally, no, but I've seen him at events. You have? Yeah. In Beverly Hills. Well, he's going to be calling in. Oh, good. Anything you want to ask him? No, just send him hello. I will. Never been a friend of Martha Ray's, uh, Ed McMahon? I'm shocked. Figured I'm he would have sure known. he knew him. Yeah, but uh, whatever. So uh, we'll be uh, speaking with Ed McMahon later, too. So that's going to be good. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right. Here's the moment you've been waiting for. Mark Harris married Martha Ray. He, she died. He inherited all her money, about $3 million. He must have gone through it. Cowboy. Yeah. He must have gone through all the money because he's at it again. He's marrying another old rich woman. 78 years old. He's been traveling all over the world. The man's a homosexual. And now he's marrying another woman. 
He somehow convinced some woman to marry him. I guess these old women want a man. I guess you get a little loony when you're old. Here he is. He's dressed in a suede jacket. Don't, don't model. It's on the runway. So happy. Yeah. So gay. What? We can't hear you. You're having more surgery? Well, I was... Wasn't the last surgery a disaster? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I was in the hospital the other day here. I'm all black and blue, Lennox Hill. I thought I was having appendicitis. So... Uh, what was it, AIDS? God oh. forbid. Right. Okay. Of course. So, uh, and that's the only negative thing about me. Mm hmm So, therefore, I uh, found out it's a uh, hernia on the right side. Last year, uh. it was on the left side. So, I'm going home after the show, going to a hospital. A couple of months ago, weren't you just living with a man in Germany? Living with him? Yeah, well, no. were you were we you a were lover? Sure, we were singing. We had sex. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Now you're telling me you're and not a homosexual later. anymore. I never Here. said I was a homosexual, but, but it after suits your the needs. guy with the violin, wasn't there another guy? God. Yeah, there was another guy pursuing me and sending oh. me roses. But what, I mean, what, <laughs> does that constitute an orgasm? No, but you uh, were making love with another man. David. David. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was just a few well, months ago. I had a now, and within a period of a few months, you met a 78-year-old woman. I met her when I was with David here in New York. Uh, okay. As a matter of fact, when I did your show in Who is this Lyon, woman? Just let me say this. All right. When you pulled that show up, mm -hmm. I saluted that song to the lady named Jilda. Isn't everyone going to say that you're marrying this woman for her money? I mean, they said that about Martha Ray. Okay. He doesn't mind. Her parent, I mean, her daughter was furious that you got all the money. Right. Isn't, isn't this the same thing again? Can I ask you... Do you care what people say about you? That's how much I care what they say about me. Right. How did you meet this 78-year-old woman? And you're attracted to her physically. Do you want to see a picture of beauty? Yeah, yeah. I want to see a picture of her. Let me see that. Because you're saying 78. And Let me see. I should look like this at 58. Give me that picture. This is an outrage. Our, our, our... Be honest, Howard. <laughs> she does not look 78. She looks like your grandmother. Oh, come on. Oh, for God's sake. And she's sake. listening to this. I don't care what she's listening to. Well, you should. She, she should be listening to this. She's a ve she should be listening and listen carefully. Yeah. This guy's marrying you for your money. Please. We've dealt with that. Oh, Mark. What do you mean you've dealt do you, with Are you going to sign a prenuptial agreement? Oh. A prenuptial yeah. agreement? Are you willing to sign an agreement saying you will not get a dime from this woman when she dies? I would put it this way. If I could sign an agreement, what's hers is mine and what's mine is mine, I'll sign. Yeah. <laughs> now. So you want you want me... the mother load. <laughs> now, well, before yeah. we get to that. Let so me you will not sign any agreement? Let me thank the Will you he sign an agreement? Yes, no. You will not sign an agreement? 47th Street, Harvey. <laughs> Bruce from Nagan Jewelry. Why will you not sign an agreement if you are in love? If you're so much in love, why do you want something from her? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with security? Oh, please. Mm. So that's why you're marrying, for security? No, we <laughs> happen to be having a great love affair. Oh, please. And from will you make to love to any men while you are married to her? No. You will not. No. He says she's cured him of his bisexuality. Yes, Have you, you had sex with this woman? Just a minute. She Have you had sex with this woman yes. yet? Yes. How many times? We didn't count, but it's been mostly every night. That many? Yeah, last night. Intercourse? No, you have another word for it? Yeah, well, I know yeah. that. Well, you enjoy oral sex from guys, so maybe yes. maybe you just get oral sex. You fantasize. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the cure, what she thinks is the cure for bisexuality. Anytime you get the urge. You know what the cure for bisexuality is? This. Money. Lollipops. <laughs> That's what that it is. Lollipops. It to me. Yeah. You, you know you love being the. You're a very feminine man. You are clearly gay as can be. But in more your than eyes. that, you never go with women your, your own eyes, age. People think you are vulgar, and I don't. No, no. You never go with. I am vulgar. Oh. You <laughs> never go with women your own age. Well, I was married to two of them. They okay. were younger than I was. Right. Yeah. You know Did you're homosexual in your heart. No. You know you love yeah. men. First of all, if I was homosexual, it would be in my crutch, not my heart. Mark, this yeah. woman is so out of it that she doesn't know you're a homosexual. Yeah. Is she senile? She can take you on verbally and make you mincemeat. Bring her in here. She here. I want to meet her. I thought we'd leave that for the TV show. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if we're going to be married, forget about Tiny Tim. It's you I want under the chuppah, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> the chuppah. And what if, does sleep. she have any relatives? Do does she have relatives? Does she have children? Well, she's a lovely daughter. She does. A lovely daughter. And who wrote me a lovely How many heterosexuals do you know go, lovely daughter? How many? I yeah. didn't count. The, you just did it. None. 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 Zero. Okay, so that makes me gay because yeah. I said lovely. It's I have come to your show repeatedly for... Jackie's going to look at the pictures of your, of your and wife. And he's going to comment for her excitement. <laughs> what do I know what he's going to do? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I'm secure with but myself. If this woman had no huh? money, Mark, would she still be as exciting to you? In bed, yes. Mm. 
Mm. And you wouldn't mind that she couldn't provide you with security. You'd love her anyway. I don't think it would be a priority. My show business is a priority. My show business? Oh, <laughs> hey, I just did a very good show in Jamaica. Three nights. I think you'd prefer all the soldiers in this picture before. Yeah, not really. It's a picture of Mark and his and new fiance. And there's a bunch of soldiers behind him. And you know he wants to turn around and make out with every one oh, of these soldiers. Sure, 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 sure. Look at those soldiers. Oh, Are you crazy? Look me in the eye and honestly tell me that you love this woman. I love this woman, but I'd give her up for you, Howard. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt that. I do. <laughs> you look, you talk like a tanta. There is no man, there is no heterosexual on this planet. Not a tanto. That talks like a tanta. <laughs> Talking about that, people actually stare Here. at me in Rome. This Here's your picture. Did you see these, Robin? Yes, I saw them. He yeah. showed me in the green room. She's 900 He's years so old. so excited. People know me only by my voice, not by my... Life. How much lubricant do you need to do her? And don't tell me you don't. We don't. There's oh, no lubricant at all. They're oh, just mind. ripping up the sheets every night. Every night you're making love. Not field crest. No. And, she, and who proposed to who? <sighs> Marriage comes up like everything else. Uh, How long have you since, known her? Since November. I met her the day before I came here and sang that song. And all I did was go into a shoe store to get a shine. And you were getting a shine. And she was a lovely woman behind the counter. And I said, is that what New York has come to? Beautiful women working at registers behind shoe stores while everybody's polishing? I didn't really understand it. And, uh, and she's a wealthy woman. I what is she doing that. working in a store? She owns all of them. Oh. But she works at them. Yeah. yeah. She's a great nephew, Charlie, in Port Authority, Drago Shoes. Hello, Charlie. I know you're listening. Um, <laughs> and you went into the shoe store. You, you said, you're a beautiful woman. Why well, are you I working on your show the next day? I'm tributing this song to her. Mm -hmm. And I did that uh, song. Yeah. Well, I like that uh, Betty Davis music. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. So in Rome, yeah, well, you would. Nice You're gay. Me. You're from the Howard Stern show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was very nice. You know. Mark is gay. Yeah. Listen, okay. let me let me say it the way it is. Yeah, you do. You OK, do. let me say it the way I believe it to be. OK, but that does not make it factual. Mark is gay. Yeah. Mark. For some reason, he's got he's got enough money from the Martha Harris estate, but he wants more. I don't Martha think he Ray. has enough I money. Think I think right. the money must be President gone. President Bush called to Martha Harris. Go is ahead. the money is the money gone oh, from no, Martha Ray? No, 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 no. no. How old was Martha Ray when you married her? Uh, seventy four, seventy five. How old were you? Forty two. Mm -hmm. So you're doing it. History repeats itself. I wasn't looking. I wasn't shopping. If a real gigolo went looking, he'd never find. And uh, the whole story of romance and all that stuff with her. So what could I tell you? God bless me. Well, why don't you two double date now that Mark's got a girl? Oh, and we're coming to Howard's house for dinner. No, you're not. Yeah, why not? Yeah. What is it, Gary? I, I know we're probably working towards this, but I just got to know, Bob Bob Mark. Bowie. I got to know. And, and just be honest, really. I've been honest. Okay. You haven't been honest since you sat down. <laughs> yes, I have. G Gilda. Gilda. Is that her name? Gilda? Who's Gilda? Gilda. Therapist? No, Gilda. 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 Yeah. Who is Gilda? Gilda's Beyonce. the girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, Gilda. You've been dating for four months, right? Yes. You're engaged. Yeah. We got have it. commitment rings right. today, and she's designing these diamond rings uh, that we're going to be matching. I know this is a very private issue. Have you Can slept with her? Yes. Oh, we got over that already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. He, he said he slept with her a hundred times. He sleeps with her every night. Hey, but, but, but no, but you, I mean, you guys have sex. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a movie I was watching last night. I, I was just, there. I, 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 That's amazing. Mark, what you know, is I know you, amazing? Because, because she's you, 78 years old. You, we don't believe you. Flat that, out, don't. I don't you really care anyway. what you believe. I don't believe it. I think that Mark has a radar in his pants for yeah. money. Yep. Yeah, the coffers are getting well, a little low. How much is Jill DeWirth? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know her net wait, worth. Let's go don't act like you don't. Because you know, she sort of told me. She's, she's, I won't give it all away, but she's a, an heiress to a big company, correct? She's a shoe heiress, and I'm a lost soul. And how And how? <laughs> I don't know. He, he uh, I'm not how he much do you think she's worth? You know, it sounds like a lot. He, he named the company. and I, Millions. I, I'm not into the whole Park Avenue thing, but I think it's one of those famous shoe companies. Very. Does she have a big expensive apartment on Park Avenue? She's a very beautiful co-op mm -hmm. that I'm going to redesign. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. He's starting right to right move it. In. Oh, Where did no. the disco ball go? Oh. Yeah, whatever, happened to the place, oh. whatever happened to that place that you, were, that you like, leveled and were rebuilding? Whatever happened? He rebuilt Martha Ray's house. And then, and then what happened to Truly it? Truly magnificent. And now that you're going to have a television show, I think you should come yeah. film the party. So you right. still own it? Beautiful. Of course I own it. 
Hey, my mother didn't raise a stupid child. He built child. a disco room for Martha Ray. <laughs> okay? It's now a 1,200-foot uh, ballroom. It's a ballroom. High ceiling. She couldn't ballroom. even blink, and he built her. That's not That's true. right. Yeah. She didn't even know where she was. Yeah. She knew what planet she was on. He's building a ballroom. She, she knew what that. planet she was on. Martha had it all together. Uh, who is the woman you brought with you today? My doctor. I, only, I never had a therapist before. Uh, uh, hold on. I want to meet your therapist in a second. got to take a break. Please. Gotta take a break. <laughs> He's just too funny. You are so entertaining. Yeah, I mean, can, so hey, entertaining. Hey, Bill, you I believe this? <laughs> no. What, this this homo, <laughs> homo, scumbag, yeah. grave robbing. Now he thinks he's a gigolo. I don't he think, think I'm a gigolo. gigolo. If a real gigolo would do this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, he says he's in love. We'll meet his therapist in a minute and find out how the real this all is. Should be so lucky. All right. I did write this song for you. It's the battle of the Titanic nitwits, Scott Salem and Fafa Foley. The what thing I'm pissed off about is I don't get to read news day. Right, you and know, Gary I'm, does. You know, that's Scott, exactly what, what time thing. do you go home? Uh, usually between 12 and 1. And what time do I go home? Around uh, 4 every day. I, I'm in here at 4. What time do you get in? You have been in here at 4 since you were born. Bull S, because How I was here. Know? I wish there was a time clock. You don't know. I'm here every day at 4. I was here this morning, but, uh, like, at I think since we yelled at you, you've been here at no. 4. No. Absolutely not. No, look, here's the point. I am here every day, you do, 5, 4, You 15. get crazy every That's not year. Four. <laughs> but I work That's after four. 12. But I work after 12. I don't take a lunch hour. I never All right, do I take a lunch hour. Listen to me. I mean, I, you know, I don't understand. You see, your rationale is you don't get here at 4. Hey, you're the one who brought up that. I don't take a lunch hour, Gary. Yeah, don't read I'm Newsday. supposed to get two hours overtime. I'm you're, the one who, you're the one who brought up the Newsday thing. I'm just, I'm just fighting back. Hail to the king of all instigators, Howard Stern. Is there anyone phonier than Dustin Hoffman on an award show? For your costumes and for being there every day and saying that was a good take. To the makeup lady, Joy, who said your hair is supposed to be like this. Uh, to my stand and cast self, who helped. To John Seal, who was a photographer. This is what the people mean when they accept awards and say that the crew is a part of the character's performance. And most of all, thank you, Barry. <laughs> because you brought that part of yourself to this part that I played. And we we really were the, the twins of the Bobby show. Quash begs us what? <laughs> it's the Howard Stern Show. Hey, uh, Mark Harris is here. He is marrying a woman, 78 years old. Yes. Mark's very concerned that um, we not offend his beautiful new fiance. She must have a good sense of humor, though, if she's Great. going with you. I mean, she is the closest thing to Rosalind Russell and Auntie Mame. When you go out to dinner, who pays? Be honest. I do. She does. We alternate, honestly. And you've been traveling all around the world with her? We had a time. First of all, let me tell you what happened in Miami. She has a place there, too. And it's not a senior citizen's home. Her next door neighbor's fifth. So he only goes with rich women. Well, you got to hear this one. Of course. That's what I'm telling Robin, you. Robin, her hey, here's... friends. Yeah. What happened? Comes to the door in pajamas, this Marilyn O'Brien. Martini time, trying to play a tape deck, networking. Then this very Christian lady, Lord. Look how much fun he is having. Oh, he's a, I tell you, I'd like to follow him around. Do you know that in the middle of the night the police came to the development? No, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Janice, you're, you're on the air. Janice? Hello? Yes. My name is Janice Holly, and I'm calling from Canada. Yes. And I just want to let you know that I was with Mark and Gilda in Jamaica. Oh, hello! And oh. it was wonderful. <laughs> is Mark there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hi, Mark. Jan, your philosophy, we're not here for a long time, but we're here for a good time. Exactly. Is the bottom line. That's it, Mark. That's why Mark can get a hold of people like you. <laughs> now, here is, uh, you used to be married to Martha Ray. The whole family was mad at you for it's that. It's not a whole family. There was one angry daughter. This is Danny, Martha Ray's nephew. He's mad at you. Who's Danny? Danny? Oh, come, oh, oh, come on again, Mark. I exposed you two lies last time. You never time exposed you. me. Where does your name appear in any court of law? I have but all the papers. Who are you? I, I am Nick's nephew. Come on, Mark. How Will could I come it? on? I never heard of you except you keep calling Howard Stern. People can call here and say they're anybody. Do they you know Nick? Can, can I tell you something? Yes. I know my, you My can father's say name was Steve. They were top dancers together. My uncle was Nick. He was married to Martha Ray. Will you cut the, the crap, please, Mark? Just talk to me. Then I'm what? not calling you to threaten you. you I'm, ca threaten I'm calling you to ask you one simple question. And Robin keeps on asking you. You won't answer. She, uh, and I'm asking you, did Martha Ray have a medical problem when you met her and you married her? 
She was a stroke survivor. That's exactly right. Was and she, she on medication? And she with a four-pronged cane. Was, was she on medication? I think she was. What did you do sure. with the four-pronged sure. cane? Was, was, were. Mark, what? was she of sound mind? Yes. No. Yes. Never. In the courts of law, she was found by the chosen psychiatrist of the judge. Is she was competent. Old lady in my you got the money, so she must no, have been she competent. She was competent. She was competent? Competent. Or she incontinent. Was, she was competent. Why don't you tell the world what you did to her daughter? What did I do to the daughter? What the daughter did to, daughter. to the mother. I did nothing to the daughter. You nothing. You every penny from the family. Excuse Don't me, me that, there were Mark. ten wills, and because of me, the uh, the daughter with a codicil got fifty thousand dollars. Without Mark, that, remember, she was remember, in for one dollar. Sit down with me in the Grove. You were just in Miami. Why don't you have the balls enough to sit down with me and talk to me? Why do you want to talk? Why to do I have to sit and talk to you? Because you and I are not I, related. You're, you're Martha never you, put you, you in a miss, will. You were nothing to Martha. I Obviously. Let me tell you something. The last time I saw Martha, she embraced me with my uncle. Hey, listen, Martha I embraced everybody. I, 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 she was I'm a lady. I'm not old women trying to grab any dime that falls. Well, okay? if you're rich and change your genitals, maybe we'll have a date. All right. Well, there it is. Mark, Mark Harris. Now, who is this woman you travel with? This is your therapist? Yes, I've I seen her on TV. A therapist. I've seen this woman on television. She's very famous. She's very good. She and did she does, say to you? My corner did she say, if she is a, it like it is. If she's a therapist, did she say to you, Mark, look, you're a very feminine man. You've had homosexual relations. Why don't you ask her? She's right, a therapist. Bring her in. Yeah, I, I would like to know what she tells Mark this is, behind closed doors. Uh, excuse me. If one's feminine, uh, does that stop an erection? Yes. It does. Yeah. Not in my case. I proved my point. This is Dr. Hi, Doctor. This is Dr. Gilda Carl. Now, are you a real doctor, like an MD, or are you one of them phony baloney doctors? PhD? Oh, anyone can get that. I'm a relationship therapist. Really? Yeah. Well, here's a Have relationship you gotten for you. the two of them? <laughs> yeah. Now, seriously. Yes, yeah, seriously. I've seen you on TV. You seem to be very bright. Yeah, and you always Thanks. give good yeah. advice on these yeah. talk shows I've seen you on, so you can't be... <laughs> Isn't Mark getting married again for money? I question that. And? and it certainly seems that way. It does. It certainly does. Yes. Now, do you believe he's actually <laughs> in love with this woman having sex with her? Well, you know, they know each other for four months. How in love can anybody be in four of months? Of course. Why do they have to rush to get they married? Are, they may be in lust. Now, right. I, I thought... Originally, They're not. Well, we He's more in lust with me. You're the only guy for me. <laughs> right. Because you have a few bucks. Mark, you see that even this famous therapist is telling you you're gay? Let her... Con no, she didn't say that. Is he gay or not? Well, I wouldn't say gay. He is definitely <laughs> bisexual <laughs> by his own admission. Isn't he very, very effeminate? He is a feminine male. Yes. He is definitely a feminine male. Yeah. What did you of, say? But a lot of women yeah. like that, Howard. Really? A lot of women prefer that. Really? Because these kinds of men are sensitive. What are they, fag hags? Oh. I mean, to put it loosely? Well, not it's necessarily. It's not been done loosely. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> not they, with you it has. Well, women oh. may be fag hags. Right, women that's what I'm saying. Men, but not necessarily. Oh, yeah, the the my, True or false, doctor, the only interest here is the interest on her bank account. No. True or false? I think true for marriage. True. Yes, if he's intending to marry her, that's the reason he's married. Why do they have to get married after? Why are they engaged after? Because Mark will well, not be with her unless they get married and he has a financial interest. Well, but I'm with Robin. Why get married at this point? Mark, answer the question. Why get married at this point? Because the woman's 78 years old. Hey, I'm taking a plane. I'm going in the hospital for an operation. I can go first. You should wear a mask at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I but, was but, but, once but fancy. But in all gentleman. fairness, in all fair fairness, guys, I met the woman. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, you yeah. interviewed uh, Gilda. I sure did. Okay. Isn't that amazing? He picks a therapist named Gilda and a woman to marry named Gilda. All right. Now, tell me what you learned when you interviewed his betrothed. <laughs> I asked her how she felt about the homosexuality bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. She said bisexual, but okay, it doesn't okay, matter. Whatever. Okay. I asked her about that. I said, aren't you concerned about other men? And she, her philosophy, interestingly enough, is don't ask, don't tell. Like yeah. the president. Well, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Uh -huh. She doesn't don't, want to know. <laughs> hey, don't the president has got more action now, than I do. Are you offering therapy to uh, Mark Harris? Is, are you his therapist? I'm his therapist. You are? Yeah. And Why is Mark in therapy? He's always seems <laughs> Why? so happy to Because he's a homosexual marrying woman. He was never in therapy before, but right. it did. And was Mark honest in the therapy sessions? Was he saying, listen, I'm so gay? 
he's, he's been very honest. He has. Yeah, because I'm raising all these issues. I mean, you know, you've seen me on television. Yeah, you're very direct. My word. No, you're very direct. I've seen you. You're and good. I could raise more than issues. Yeah, you're on that. You're <laughs> and He's raising it for men and women. You're on that with that Yenta, uh, Sally, Jesse, Raphael all the time, right? Isn't that <laughs> true? Sally's a great lady, yeah. and she is a lady. <laughs> She's a lady. A lady. You wouldn't know a lady if you saw one. <laughs> really? He would know lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put it this way, if you yeah. bend over and crack a smile, I'll know the difference. Frank, you're on the air. <laughs> yeah, how are you? How are you? Okay, I know the uh, lady that uh, Mark is uh, going to marry. Really? Yes. I had a restaurant on 3rd Avenue years ago with a husband who was a very wonderful guy. Big, tall, good-looking guy. He came oh. in every Saturday night. We celebrated a birthday for her, as a matter of fact. Is he still alive because Mark would like to go out with him? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he would. He would date the whole family. <laughs> All right, so what do you at have to say? Time, the birthday, she was in her 70s at that time, right. in, the, in the early 80s. Yes. At least at the, at least 70, 70. So what do you have to so say? what's the deal? She, well, she's got to be at least 90 now. No. She's 78. At least. 78. 78. I, I, I don't know you say. She's about 4 foot 2, and she's 90. He's a, no, not, she's not. It, ask the no. doctor. Come on. She's not. She's a, she's a, she's no, a nice-looking woman. She's, she happens to be a nice-looking woman, and she's extremely together. Really? When I raised these issues, she said, don't worry. I know. I know what I want. It's okay. Wow. And so she, she wants to go through with it. She wants to go. She's a lovely woman. Man. And she's in heat for him. Wow. Well, I and I'm tell in heat you, Mark is very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, he very sure is. <laughs> yeah, but he's married. Yeah, yeah, cook, I too. Why does she have to marry him? I can cook. Why does she, as the doctor says, why does she have to marry him? Lewis, you're on the air. Uh, Mark, hi. Hello. Do uh, you remember me? Who are you? I'm a male escort. I dated Mark. And I, you dated me. I never called an escort, never paid anybody, so it's all bull. No, no, you picked me up on Sunset, the summer of 96. I lived with you for two weeks, Mark. Where'd you live? Where did I live? Uh, we lived in the uh, Sunset Motel. You're really crazy. You what never stay there? No. But what year are you even talking? Where do you hear this? Summer of 96, Mark. Really? Summer of 96? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 96, uh, I was in Berlin, I was in Hollywood, I was in New York, but I'm, I'm, I wasn't on Sunset Boulevard. I think there were a few stores, a few You've never stars. picked up a man on Sunset Boulevard? Never. I think that was, and I don't know all their names, but got caught up, right, you so. know, with a tabloid show. Okay. <laughs> Money's on Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. could call here and say, I, I killed Nicole. You know, I mean, come so on. Wonderful. They could say, you would you admit that? I, I don't think that'll happen. No. <laughs> God knows Wait what they'll say. I don't know who Nicole could have call. kicked your ass, buddy. <laughs> I don't know who these... You know, people can call to be sensational. That's okay. I but love publicity. But you know publicity. what's funny about Mark? He didn't deny anything. He just no. said, Where Deny? Did I, I never picked somebody up on Sunset Boulevard. He believed... What summer was it? He's trying to narrow down the That's all. Mark, answer the question. As the doctor asks, as Robin asks, as I'm now asking. Go ahead. Why do you have to get married? Why can't you just continue to date? You've been traveling through Europe with this woman. Yeah, it seems um, like you're already together. What do you need marriage for? You're not going to have children. Right. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> and I raised the question, if she didn't have money... Oh, I love money, that sound. If she didn't have oh, money... Listen to how he loves the sound. Now, right. Why not? Yeah, he gets excited over that. Yeah. He sure does. Come again? If, if, he, if, <laughs> if, he did, if she didn't have money, right. would you marry her? Mark? If she didn't have money, oh. would I marry her? What's that O in the background? <laughs> Look how he's stalling. He can't even answer. <laughs> yeah, was, he, he's got to repeat the if question. Tomorrow like if tomorrow Jill money, if tomorrow Jill's money was all gone. Jill who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the story? Mark? Tomorrow the story. she had a financial, you know, all a hell reversal. broke loose. A reversal. Right. All right. Right. We would live together. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I'm giving uh, Jilda a copy of my book, Don't Bet on the Prince, because I'm afraid for her. I, I'm really, I don't want her afraid to Afraid for her? Well, yes. I don't want, Is my name OJ? Hold, what are we, no, crazy? No, we're not saying, you know, you can, you can kill somebody emotionally, too. I would never, and she knows that. The doctor's saying, Mark, I'm, very loyal I'm person. I'm concerned for her, as it would be for any woman that you would get involved with for the sake of money. That's my The doctor hit it right on the head. I'm not involved for the sake of Mark, money. Mark, you can't, you cannot. Not to be there. You cannot rob an empty house. Wait a minute. Do you ever get into it with him about his relationship with Martha Red? Yeah. yeah, and he and he he talks about her a, a bit with. Love. He is the gay Jesse James. Well, oh. Jesse James. That's right. Was he gay? I don't know. You are the gay Jesse James. He talks about her lovingly. Yes. He he has. Well, he loves old Hollywood yeah, like all he homosexuals. Loves the fact that he got three million dollars when she died. All homosexuals love that era. 
Well, Mark okay. is caught up in it. Glamour. And even Glamour. while he was with Martha Ray, he was with <laughs> men. He was with men while he was with Martha Ray. Of course. <laughs> yes or no? Oh, yes, there was somebody. I'm trying to remember. Did in France. Mar okay, wait, wait. My, my concern for all women. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not Sunset Boulevard. He only received oral. That's Norma oh. Desmond. Well, you see, now that's it. Touch me here, but and, and if you don't touch me there, it's not sex, right? Mm -hmm. No, I never said it wasn't sex. He's I afraid of I'm anal coming. sex. He doesn't want to get AIDS. I'm not afraid. No. It's not in the you mind. So where it was Is that your thing? You, know, you don't like to bend over a chair and have a man uh, do things to you? I don't want anyone to bend over. If they do, go do it with who wants to do it. What are you into? Just oral sex? Yeah. Yeah. But love is more. You want a <laughs> Lo love is more than putting flap A into slot B. That's what you, That's what you and think. I have, love. Well, wait. Yeah, well, he fans well. himself with her checkbook. Well, you know, I, I would like you to wait a little while longer. She's a lovely we woman. We are waiting a little while longer. So, so when's get the wedding? Married. When's the wedding? We didn't set a date. Maybe my 50th birthday? When, when is that? Is that? February 1? Wait till the wedding. What's today? <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. But in all honesty, I mean, you're coming down so heavy on the lady, and she is such a lady. No, we're not coming down summer. on her. No, we're coming down on you, not her. You're going to go down on me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I said I'm coming down on you. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not into that. <laughs> will you have sex with other men? Will you have sex with other men when you are married to Jilda? Jilda will be the first I'll commit to. Well, that's yes. not completely. The question. Completely. That's not an answer. That is completely. not the answer, and that's that the, was question the question I raised no? with her, and right. that's my concern. You know, uh, people can say up front, "Oh yeah, well, as long as I don't know, it's okay." <clears throat> you know. Oh God, Howard. <laughs> that Sorry, was Howard. Not my middle of a therapy session. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, but uh, my concern is: so what happens if she finds out that you have strayed? somewhere else if i just told you i would not and i would okay. live up to that commitment have you ever been able to not a liar? If, no 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 if robin if he, no if he's living up to that commitment and i will and you know what there's something to She'll smell it on your breath mark if you're lying <laughs> oh really you tasted it howard and let me tell you something what love means to mark M love is the withdrawal window at the bank <laughs> okay that's yeah, love. I mean, he, you know, the, the moment Direct she, deposit, she got that's him, love. the moment she said he could redecorate her apartment, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that's what he's in it for. Oh, he I loves guess. to spend money. Nelson, you're on the Somebody air. Somebody else's money? Nelson? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Mark, didn't yeah. you, uh, after Did Martha died, didn't you, uh, didn't you buy a, uh, a, uh, fur store? No, Jill, Dr. Gilda is wearing one of my fur jackets. I make yeah. them private. Is that right? But, yeah. yeah. Did it, but, did it, oh. did, wasn't Martha an uh, uh, animal rights uh, activist? And no, used no. her money to buy a uh, fur store. Let, Did no, you take all of anti-fur no. uh, Martha Ray's money? Martha left X amount to Peter for the welfare of animals. Martha wore chinchilla, unendangered uh, species, mink, sable. Mm -hmm. She did wear fur. Absolutely. But she believed in the humane treatment. Now that PETA has a stand that let there be no cure with animal testing if there has to be a cure for AIDS, I say let those animal activists take the place of animals. They're behaving mm -hmm. like wild animals anyway. Yeah. I said, well. Yeah, I thought idea. that caller said I went to bed with him too. It was only an animal joke. I don't know. Wishful thinking perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Hey. All right, let's hear from Larry. He has something to say. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah, uh, I can. I got a point to make. I think that he just married Martha Way. They went to court. He got smarter. He's just married it to do it the second time better. Yeah, were you there to help Martha through crisis? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't want to be anywhere with Martha. <laughs> Your misfortune. Join the club. Well, you know, we're all all pointing <laughs> fingers here, but you know, this woman's old enough to know. She's seventy-eight. Oh, she's old enough to know for two of us. She's more competent <laughs> than I am. Trust yeah. me. She's she, cool. She, I can't wonder. wait to meet her. <laughs> well, the way either. you're going on this show, I can't. No, I will her. treat her with respect. You, you I should. have a problem. No, you should because she's yeah. a lovely lady. She's yeah. lovely. She has wonderful friends. Yes. Uh, like well, Eleanor listen, Ross, a wonderful opera singer. Let me say this. Yeah, another one with money. Exactly. Uh, you know how Mark is. He loves the, the whole ambiance, the lifestyle. He does. He does, and of he admits it. Of course I do. Doctor Gilda Carl who has just written Don't Bet on the Prince, talks Certainly just about this. Mark. Don't Bet on Mark was the name of the book originally. <laughs> well, how could you bet on me? Your, you own, be a princess. your own therapist is saying, yes. stop. And are you going to listen to your Does therapist? that mean no more relations? Yeah. But I know you no, want... What I are we stopping? The money. I didn't say stop relations. I said, before you get married, why don't you just see where this is going for a while? We are seeing it. We're watching it unfold. But, I mean, I don't understand. But why does the marriage come up all already? Money. That's right, Robin. Money. You're money. You're unfolding your uh... commitment. You can commit to one without another. You can commit without marriage. 
Yes, I, I'm aware. Yeah, but you can't get any money without money. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll commit. Notice how well, first of all, it's but she could die. Seriously, at her age, she could die at any moment. I'm Mark the one going care of. for the operation Friday. I could. You drop know, dead. you survived everything, Mark. Yeah. Anyway, Mark, you don't die. One thing I notice about Mark is these young men who have no money. Mm -hmm. He never asked for commitment. No. <laughs> David was not poor. <laughs> but was he poor. as rich as Jilda? Jilda's no, no, his lover is as rich. You know what Jilda. kills me too? I would guess I don't know Jilda, but her husband probably made and all would this you money. You say something? Not, yeah. No, you're wrong. Who she made all the money? She did. Okay, so she, she never had to work for this money. Her immigrant father. Imagine her poor immigrant father yeah. oh, who busted yeah, his ass to make all this money, and now she has it, and Mark's going to end up with all of it. He told her a I need long half. time ago when she was a young child, yeah. Gilda, don't you be stupid. Right. Okay? She tells the story all the time. She's still with me because we're having a great time. Okay, so She's let's done say, nothing stupid. Okay, let's say she doesn't want to sign a prenup. Then where? What happens? So, Mark, that's yeah. perfect. I'm off to Berlin. Yeah, we'll, live to Berlin. <laughs> well, I still have an apartment. But uh, what? Uh, I can't. How could all these hypothetical things? I mean, uh, you, what do you want to do? We're having fun. You want to make fun of well, that? Well, that's good. No. You can't go fun to jail for having fun. You know what? Laughter is relationship glue, and you guys are laughing a lot. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. I think it's terrific. Oh, there's plenty of glue in Mark's relationship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I think you're awesome. Thank you, bro. It was great. Can't wait for Saturday night. Thank you. But get this damn homo off. Oh. Oh. Where should I go? Oh. In your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not homo. This Hold up, caller. He's not homosexual. Is hatred he, uh, something to honor? That guy is no. full of hatred. No, absolutely. Very. Alan, go ahead. Oh, this crazy thing. Why don't you just go write a book? There's enough homos out there that'll buy you. Yeah, if I write a book and tell you how to do it, will you bend over, moron? You don't got to rob these little old ladies. You're really an asshole. Who's Who's a bigger scumbag? Him or Corey Feldman's father, Howard? What do you think? Corey Feldman's father's a very nice gentleman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very nice gentleman. Yeah. There you go. What a homo. He's man. not a homo, but sir, Mark, you have a problem. Mark, let me uh, congratulate you. Thank you. On your new relationship. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this you is the mother load. You have to admit that it's hard for people to understand. <laughs> hey, it's been hard without your understanding. Trust me. <laughs> it is hard for people to understand. You do know that, right? I don't really uh, care. Is there any big Mark Harris news other than your relationship? Are you going to be Could in any shows? For May, uh, Could, for May you're going to have some. He has favor? a big announcement in May, in but May. he has been touring and singing everywhere. And having a ball with it, really. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I bet you've had a ball. I bet you've had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Benoit balls. <laughs> and I don't he needs shoot a couple of months of uh, more therapy for a while. How many <laughs> sessions has he come to, doctor? Oh, several. He has. Just, but just several. But, but well, he does what, everything very quickly, as you know. You have a private practice? I'm sorry. Yeah. Why did you go to therapy? Because I only came here for the glamour and the therapy, and I wasn't getting anything more out of it. Mm -hmm. And then I figured, let's do a professional here, because she's, she's really good. Why what? did you choose Dr. Gilda Carl? Because you uh, saw her on TV? No, no, no. We met at the Friars Club. Yes, I saw her on TV. But uh, I didn't you, even know who he was when he yeah, came up to me. She thought I was an You're a big TV therapist. It must cost a lot of money to go see you. What do you charge? A couple I'm hundred bucks an hour? Jacket. Come on, take <laughs> yeah, it out I'm and trade. Wearing his, I'm wearing his mink jacket. <laughs> Doctor, what do you charge? Seriously, what is it to see you? Uh, 200 200 an hour? Yes. Hold the pays. No, I wouldn't accept it if Jilda paid. No. Right. And Mark pays you? Mark pays me. Really? See? Yes. yes. Mm. Well, probably there. He thinks you're rich. I don't understand why he's going. What is your <laughs> no. goal in therapy? I don't know. I don't know. Are you married? No. You're, you're single? Trying I'm single now. I would like a therapist like you. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, Wait, that'd be Robin fun. has a good point. Robin, Robin, what is this? Seriously, do you think I need therapy? Yes, but Robin. really, what? <laughs> intense therapy. <laughs> Doctor, do you ever uh, get it on with any of your patients? Are you kidding? Let's no, say I come in there and I need some help. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say you come, I need help, but I would never, really? never. No. Wait, oh, I don't no. believe that. Howard, oh, would sure you say you something do. nice to no Jilda? No digital uh, manipulations? <laughs> say what? something nice to Jilda. Jilda, I want to say something nice to you right now. Get away from Mark. <laughs> you hear me? Never Quick marry as you can. him. Never marry Use him. Use him. Never marry but him. You know something You're a lovely different. woman. You don't need him. But, but, you know, there is some. There are some very nice qualities to this man. He, oh, of course. Well, I don't Mark's like great. A very devoted father. He, <laughs> he you think father. that's funny? He, you're running around with guys in France while you're being a dad? When is he ever there? Daughters were not in France while I went with that guy. Yeah. But, I mean, really? how devoted are you? With me on other you're always in Europe. How could you be devoted? I take my children to Europe as well. You do? But and I don't he, do and, dates And he's looking towards the wealthier women as in, in response to wanting a good life for his daughter and his children. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, you can question why he's doing this. <laughs> right. But you understand that he's really looking to make a good life for his kids. He makes someone a good pet. He would. Oh, oh I'm just a chichia. A real chichia. You want to put water on me? Is there any chance your your fiance will strap one on? Oh. And do you, Mark? I, that's sick. That is sick. That's oh, no. Fair enough. What is it, Gary? It, Mark, in all fairness to you, I, I'm not sure how many daughters do you have. I have five. Because I spoke to one wow. several years ago. <laughs> who didn't really want to? You, I spoke to one several years ago who didn't want to come on the air, who was very unhappy with the way you treated her as a father. You know, and then it must be a crazy caller because it's not my children. They love him. So. I don't know. I mean, I, you don't know. I mean, I don't know who these people are calling me. I picked them up on Sunset Boulevard. What can mm -hmm. I tell you? Right. Anybody could call. Maybe I went to bed with Clinton. I don't know anymore. Maybe you did. We, oh, we who have knows? to talk about that. All I wanted was the Medal of Freedom. No, the girl said she was your daughter. She actually called from her garage with the motor running. Oh! Oh! Bobby, you're on the air. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can hook this guy up with uh, that pimple face Ralph. So good to those two bags. Yeah, you're going to pull out his blackheads and suck them. Ah, All right, look, Mark, Tell please. every time you get a moron Mark. on the phone. All right, listen. Mark. Oh. Mark. Jilda uh, wouldn't like that. Jilda, beautiful woman. Yeah, Jilda. Obviously, she's not going into, into this with her eyes closed. Yeah. No. She's no. old enough to know. Old enough to know. I think it's a little sudden. I do. Definitely. We're not getting married right away. But I'll need to meet Jilda, and we I will talk to her. We want to be at the wedding. Though. Yeah. We, oh, we don't want to miss that. <laughs> yeah. We want to be there. <laughs> I'd rather be at this wedding than any other wedding in the history of the weddings. Because? Because I don't believe it. I have to see it. Oh, that's okay. Then we'll do it at your house, Howard. Have you know, he married Martha Ray. He changed her diapers. He was very good to her. He was very good you to her. You changed Martha Ray's diapers, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. You did? He was very good yes, to her. Yes, I did. She was I grew in up with a cerebral palsy brother all my life. You did? Yes, I did. You see, your you aunt Sally like... knows that. Everyone everyone you ever uh, went with uh, has is infirmed. No, Jill's is not infirmed. No. I may be a little crazy, but she's well. All right. Well, anyway, congratulations. Thank you. You and Jilda. I want to thank Dr. Gilda Carl. Don't bet on the prince. How to have the man you want by betting on yourself. She's a relationship expert. All right. What about, where's your husband? You divorced? I divorced him. You did? Yeah. All the experts divorced. That's right. They're all single. Of course, we know better, and then right. we look for a better one. Did he cheat on you? Is that the problem? No, never what had happened? that as a problem. What happened? We both grew in different, in different directions. Yes. So did Mark. Well, <laughs> Mark is going in no, different directions by himself. in different yeah. directions. <laughs> Dimensions. <laughs> right. Well, congratulations to you both for finding each other. Mark, you should be in long-term deep therapy. Oh. Yeah, he should be in 24-hour We're going to work therapy. on it. I wish Mark would marry a, a wonderful man. Yes. That's I don't what I wish. Want, he doesn't want I one. Don't, I don't want a wonderful well, man. Well, we'll see about that. Of course, Renier is available. Well, whatever. Well, he says he doesn't want a man now. I think Mark's fantasy is he will get married to a very wealthy woman like Jilda. That's not a fantasy. That's not a fantasy. They will have two or three years together. She will die. No, she will not. And Mark will He's then be so free wrong. to date young boys who will yeah. want his yeah. money. To fly around uh, with wrong. all the money again. Right. Isn't that so interesting? Wrong. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Spell that comes around. That's exactly what will happen. And hopefully uh, the young oh my, boy will take your money. I don't want to see that day. I don't want to oh, see that day when Mark's an old Nobody could take my used. money but my children. Mark will be at Jilda's wake nude. Oh! He'll <laughs> be at Jilda's yeah. wake with a date. That is my Gilda, prediction. Jilda, that's a shock jock talk. Shock jock. But I want to meet Jilda. I want to make sure she knows what she's doing with Well, me. you better say something nice to her. I'm saying mean, something why, nice right why now. Would she want to I have your best her? interests at heart. Okay, I believe that. All right. I want to see the two of you together. Then okay. I'll know. Okay. All right. And meanwhile, we'll work on him. Good. <laughs> Work on him, Doc. A couple massage, more tune -ups. If you fix Mark, you're good. Oh. Yeah. If you fix Mark, you'll be the you will be greater than Freud. <laughs> you understand? You're not kidding. So maybe nothing's broken. We'll Except find the out. Hernia surgery. Trust me, something's broken. Just the hernia. Mark Harris, good luck with your hernia Thank operation. You. Thank you. Mark thinks he got a hernia from his tummy tuck. He, th he thinks his hernia is moving around. It's on the left. Yeah. It's on the right. Well, no, no, you had a, you had a stomach the other day. You had a stomach lift, didn't you? Three years ago. Yeah, I just I had Mark in here. I, I had Mark's had pants lift. off during the uh, commercials. He was showing me his stomach lift. Yeah, why had did lifted. you wipe that? Yeah, he had his uh, testicles. Yeah, had no, his I had the testicles, testicles lifted. lifted. Yeah. The only thing that's real is the nose and the eyes. You think that no, your eyes were done? Yeah, but I mean the the shape is still the same. Oh no, they're not. Oh, yes, no. you got we got female eyes. You got liberal I had eyes. them before. I mean, <laughs> he has eyes for green. Change nationalities on it. I don't believe you got your hernia from your tummy tuck. What I get it from? From lifting Jilda's money. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, no. He hasn't been there long enough. <laughs> yeah. And only your therapist would know. Mark Harris, yes. who used to be married to Martha Ray, who perhaps will be married to Jilda. After this show, it's questionable. Right. Oh, oh, we could break up your relationship? Well, Jilda loves me so much, and I love her, that I think we could come through this. Oh, dear. This Chris? has been so traumatic. You're on the air. What is it? Howard. Yes. Hey, I, my name's Chris. I'm a police officer from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Something nobody's touched on yet is this guy is a predator. What? There's a good chance that uh, if he marries this lady, she's going to die possibly soon after he marries her. Yeah. There should be a watchdog watching this guy. He might poison her or who knows. That's sick. Mark, is that possible that you will try to well, kill that your... Well, not so going to tell you. That is so... so I mean, he's a police officer. A wild. <laughs> who cares if well, he's a police officer? Well, he yeah, has some information. Some of them are the biggest nuts right. in the world. Well, beating well, people. he sees a lot. Come on. He has seen it all. He's given I, Mark ideas. I mean, I God. I Thank you, officer. It's really no, sick. Nobody I, thought O.J. could do it. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and police and Rodney King, that was right? Come on. Hey. I don't what do you that was an accident. Don't I don't think he has that in him. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, I, editor also. Right. Yes. And I was... Uh, yeah, predator. Yeah, People will you know, think I visualized some woman in a wheelchair. All I did was going for social. I want predator. Yeah, who's going to roll her down the aisle? What did you say? Officer, what did you say? He's going off to all these old ladies with all the money because none of these young girls have any cash. So he figured right. it's going to be easy. I well, this is officer, a Officer, respectfully, I say to you, take out your pistol, bend over, and use it. Uh, wow. Wow. Very strong words from Mark Harris. Up. Very strong words this morning. Uh, Gerald, go ahead. Oh, uh, Howard, why do you got this homo on here? What is, the older you get, the more naive you get. How can this lady not Did you change the dial for one second while this homo was talking? It would be a good story if she was like Martha Ray's long lost sister and she's setting him up and then on her diet. Right, listen, listen, the last listen let's, that call her bathed. let's hope that uh, Mark Harris has a happy future. <laughs> and Dr. Gilda Carl will read your book, Don't Bet on the Prince. Mark, we expect big news from you in May. Can't wait yes, to meet you, Dave. Yes, I'll be And we cannot wait to meet the future Jilda Harris. Thank you. <laughs> I have to go rest. <laughs> what a bag!